Hello, everybody. Welcome to a very special playthrough of Pokemon Sapphire. Today I have with me my two good friends, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. What's up, boys? Good evening, boyos. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Joey McLoey. Uh, okay then. We are going to be attempting a randomized Nuzlocke of Pokemon Sapphire. Standard Nuzlocke rules. We can only catch one Pokemon per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies, and we have to nickname all of our Pokemon. Furthermore, we won't be using items in battle. We can still use revives though, right? Off to your usual sleepy start, Joe. I can already tell if anyone is killing this run, it's going to be you. Boys, quiet down. In terms of what's been randomized, we have wild encounters, held items, field items, abilities, base stats, move sets, HM compatibility, and evolutions. To save us some time grinding, the level of all trainer Pokemon has been lowered by 20%, and wild Pokemon are boosted by 20%. This is so when we catch something, it's usable immediately, and so we don't have to grind at Victory Road as Ruby and Sapphire are notorious for their level jumps. Gyms are type-themed, and important trainers such as rivals and gym leaders have one extra Pokemon. Sound good? Hell yeah, let's get this run going. All right, ready when you are. Perfect, I'll play for this episode and we will take turns going forward. I'll put the battle style to set, and is there any particular border you guys want? Ooh, I like the rainbow one. Well, honestly, not a bad choice, Joe. What about the blocky one? It reminds me of my staple combo piece, Block Dragon. Hashtag free blocky on Twitter. Donnie, stop it right now. Already starting with some hot topics, I see. I'm going to pick the cloud Altaria 1. It's not too fancy, but not entirely plain either. Ooh, the things I would let an Altaria do to me. Joe, you too. Stop it, please. Okay, we need a name. Anybody got any suggestions? Ha! That's easy, Barack. USA, to celebrate our love for this magnificent country. USA? What does that stand for? Fucking hell, Joe. This is why we worry about you. That's the name of the goddamn country you're ruling over, you fucking idiot. Huh. Oh, yeah. I vaguely remember something like that. Well, this doesn't bode well for our journey. Say, Joe, what's your Pokemon knowledge at anyway? I'm not gonna lie, Barack. I'll be impressed if he even remembers the type chart. Uh... I'm okay up to this gen, I guess. Was more of a red and blue guy, you know? Fair enough, Joe. Donnie, what about yourself? While I haven't played all of the main titles, I have been known to ladder OU on Pokemon Showdown throughout the years. I could tell you all about the Weather Wars, the Megas, the Z-Moves, Land or Us, Stealth Rocks, anything and everything, baby. That's great, but have you ever played Sapphire? Not a fucking hope I would ever willingly play this piece of shit. Game Boy is mid and cheap, the graphics are garbage, there's no fun battle mechanic, trumpets are ear aching, and box art legendaries are stupid as hell. This game fucking blows, and the only reason I'm giving it a shot is because you two will be playing the other thirds of it and it's randomized. Jesus Christ, what the riggedy fuck was that about? You could have just said no, Donald. All right, boys, it's starter time. Can you pick Charmander for me, Barack? Do you know what randomized means, Joe? Lie noon. Absolute fucking trash. Torkoal seems like a solid choice. Hey, yo, it's Pikachu. I'm going to pick the fire turtle. Any objections? I wouldn't actually mind Torkoal. As you said, he's solid and should be dependable, unlike Dementia Joe over here. Oh, no, wait. That's Pikachu. For fuck's sake, Joe. You sound like every typical mother who points at any given Pokemon and calls it Pikachu. Ah, bruh and Sand Shrew were in red and blue, so there's no excuse with them. Run away, you hate to see it. Decent stat spread and moves. You know what? Early game this can put in work. Personally, I value Pokemon in a randomizer to have high attack stats. Not that I have done many Nuzlocks, but what is the point in having a stall team with no wall breakers when the chance for learning a decent move compatible with your stats is unlikely? If we roll a 200 attack Crawdaunt, but he only learns special moves, what's the point? I have to agree with Donnie on that. Big attack number means better chance of winning. Damage is the only way forward. Before I give my two cents, I'm going to nickname this Torkoal after the Smoke Master Snoop Dogg. Oh shit, it's the gloomy Blunt Blaster himself. Oh fuck, not the dank weed wizard. Yo, you motherfuckers are all cute trying to throw me for a loop. Ascended Sensei, what are you talking about? I see that my fucking Torkoal is a girl, she like life. It ain't shit but a fat vagina. Pretty sure those aren't your bars, Mongo Tree Blazer. 
Yeah, whatever, man. Listen, all I'm saying is, is you calling me a bitch or what? Young Snoopy, we would never call you a bitch, homie. On God, you are G-Dog and the number one reef blower we know. Huh. All right, we cool. Keep it blazing. Wow, I was just trying to pay respects to a brother. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, I think the most optimal way to approach a run like this is high defenses. I don't mean full-on stall tactics, but the best defense is the best offense. When going out into a crazy, randomized world such as this, you really don't know what could come your way. You may get embered by a bar boach. You might get thundered by a raiku. That's, of course, the beauty of it all. But in my opinion, it's valuable to have your mons be able to live more hits to scout out your opponent and counter them accordingly. I know at lower levels like this, it doesn't matter. We could really mash the A button and we should be safe. But in the end game, the room for errors and damage rolls can be run ending. I see what you're saying, Barack. You know me, I love building walls, but pure strength is too valuable in a match. If I can outspeed and kill my opponent before they retaliate, then it doesn't matter how offensive or defensive they are. Preach it, Donnie. Although, again, I have to say I do love inflicting status ailments on the opponent. Joe, you'd rather use Spore on an SP on with magic bounce so your old ass could fall asleep again. Speaking of sleep, look, Donnie, it's you, the chunky sloth Pokemon. Oh, shit. Watch out, Barack. Slack King without the truant ability is a real threat. At plus to two team. defense, if Vital Throw does that much damage to a 670 base stat total Pokemon. Even if he lowers my attack, two more Vital Throws is guaranteed to KO from this range. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Donnie, I'm currently on a 49 Nuzlocke randomizer win streak. This is nothing new to me. I've got the plays laid out in my head like a scriptwriter, so I suggest you sit back and enjoy the show. That was kind of bars, Barack. Why, thank you, Joe. Snoop is trying to learn smog? Yeah, the purple gigantic Gange is going straight to his head. It's not ideal, and its low accuracy is frustrating, but at the moment, it's extra coverage and definitely better than camouflage. Poison in the overworld can't kill you in this game, right? It definitely can, Joe. Don't take the risk. Heal however much you want outside of battle. Speaking from experience, there's nothing more heartbreaking than losing a Mon to such a controllable factor. All right, time to battle our hottest rival in the series, May. Barack, can we have a personal ban that Joe is not allowed to play the game when our rival or any other underage girls are nearby? Why stop at underage girls, Donald? Hey, look, she has that trash lie noon you were dissing earlier, Donald. I hope it kicks your ass down the line. I swear to God, Joe, if I ever lose a Pokemon to a Lai Noon ever in my rich and powerful life, I will exile myself to the farthest corner of the earth and torture myself with plastic spoons. I'm kind of curious as to what you mean by that, but let's just be glad we got through that fight with no issues. I wouldn't say no trouble, Barack. That double slap did a number on you. I can see it messing up Donald in the future. I can't wait. Shut the fuck up, Joe. I'll sacrifice any Pokemon you catch just to spite you. Your dusty Cheeto-looking ass better stay away from my pocket monsters. Yeah, Donald, you Oren Guru-looking fuck, we need to work together in order to win this challenge. All right, fine. I'll play nice, you sons of bitches. Say, while we have a bit of downtime, how about we shout out the channel these videos are getting uploaded to? That's a fair point, Donnie. Make sure you subscribe to Game Producer 6. This is literally costing him time and money to run this series, so be sure to like and support the video. Wait. You guys are getting paid for this? We are mainly getting paid because we have to put up with your bullshit, Joe. Ignore those two ass clowns. We will try incorporate some sort of comment question to each video for the shits and giggles. If you've made it this far in the video, comment down below your favorite Pokemon and why. Personally, I love Garchomp. He is a beast and one of the greatest designed monsters in the series. I love Braviary, the icon of America, enough said. Gardevoir is the finest piece of ass I think I've ever okay, seen on Joe, the internet. Let's shut the hell up for two seconds while we grab our first encounter of this run. A seahorse. Delicious. A bit sus there, Donnie. Horsey doesn't evolve until level 32, so it might be a bit of dead weight for a while until it starts picking up the pace mid-game. What the flippity fuck, Joe? Was that a detailed analysis and cautious professional play coming from you? I tried evolving a horsey into a Kingdra back in the day. It caused me great pain. I will never forget those sleepless nights. 
Oh, I'm genuinely sorry to hear that, Joe. What was the problem? Well, I was playing red and blue. I leveled it up to 92 before running my Game Boy over in my sunroof Cadillac. Oh, what the fuck, Joe? I'm just going to name it Save Me. Was Save the Seahorses ever a movement? Yeah, it obviously didn't work, though. My tires pierced that chunky Game Boy color into the next century. You know what? This horsey doesn't seem half bad. Its move set has a bit of synergy with Tor Cole. Not a bad catch, I must say. Please give us Donald that roach balloon, motherfucker. Ha! Serves you right, Sleepy Joe. Another level 32 water evolution. Ice types are a big risk on their own, but as part of a dual type, the stab should come in handy. The wider the type coverage, the better. So I can only hope that its moves make up for what it lacks in firepower. I'm gonna go for smog. It's probably gonna miss two times, then land and poison the foe at the same time. That should be enough for one Pokeball. Come on, Barack. Playing with knowledge is a smart choice, I'll give you that. But straight up, predicting the luck elements is never a reliable strategy. You can't expect things to go exactly your way, given how random some of these odds are. Wait a minute, Donnie, let him cook. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? This is Pokemon, boys. If there's one thing you can count on, it's luck messing with you one way or another. I've gotten ass blasted so many times I start to see the coin flips land as I play. Sugoi. Anyways, I'm naming this feel after the Yugi Tuber D Zeef. Great videos to stick on in the background while you're playing a game or mindlessly editing your own YouTube videos. Now, Intimidate is a fantastic ability. Whether it be singles or doubles, that ability can shut down even the strongest of attackers from any region. It allows relatively worthless Pokemon to become gods in their own right. Look what it did for Hitmontop for crying out loud. Uh... Barack, what are you doing? You only have one Pokeball. Don't tell me you're going to attempt another capture with just a singular ball left. Hmm, another water type. This will make the RNG manipulation even harder. The what now? Okay, if I can get Torkoal down to 13 HP with Tentacruel's water spout, that should give me the perfect seed for catching this thing. I know Fire Blast will at least bring me down to 29 when it lands it, of course, but the water spout roll is hard to call. Smog and Vital Throw combo should give me the perfect yellow health range. Joe, what the fuck is this cryptic manifest bullshit he's spouting? I have no idea, Donnie. I want to say let him cook, but I'm kind of shitting my pants here a little. I'm afraid Freddy Fazbear is going to come out from under my bed again and murder me like an innocent child. Again? Joe, what the piss and leave that brown creepy ass bastard out of this. Twenty-nine. Well, I'll be fucked. The ball's only gonna shake three times now before he breaks out. What a load of dog diddly shit. What the fuck? Donnie, did you see that voodoo sorcery shit? Are we even on the same page as this guy? Joe, that was the most insane fucking call out I've heard in my life. He's nine steps ahead of us. We are fucking amateurs compared to this pro. We need to seriously focus and step up our shit if we want to compete with this kind of mastery. Well, folks, I hope no one wanted a tent of cruel because that bitch is dead and gone. I'm going to go buy Pokeballs and wrap it up. Any last words? Well, let me just say it was an honor to be here, gentlemen. I enjoy playing these kind of games with you guys. And let's hope that this adventure is a success the whole way through. I promise that I, Donald Trump Ketchum, will play to the best of my ability, no matter what kind of obstacle is thrown my way. Same here. I promise that I will give this game my all. I'm going to peek all of my chews and squirt all of my turtles. Joe, don't say that. I've got a bit of studying to do, but I'll come back with a fresh mind. Fire beats grass, grass beats water, and, uh, water beats flying? Yo, yo, what's up, folks? 
Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Since last episode, the team has gotten a bit stronger. DZ has learned Foresight, which is borderline useless, and Save Me has learned Knockoff. Also a pretty worthless move, if I remember correctly. Actually, Joe, this randomizer has updated moves to their newest incarnation. Knockoff has gone up to a whopping 65 base power, although I don't think it's programmed to get even stronger if an item is knocked off. Still, in a seed like this where held items will be common, it's a fantastic move overall. Shush, Barack, let me get my first capture of the run. Oh, my absolute divine. Joe, what a clusterfuck of a start. Did you already forget Barack attempted to capture a tentacruel on this route last episode? Uh, just testing you guys, that's all. Shut the fuck up, you slip-sliding buffoon. Say, Barack, I presume you worked on a farm before, right? Holy Christ, Donald, what the jiggity shit did you just say? Making a comment like that online is bound to get your crusty goo draw looking ass canceled. I'm just saying, Barack, after all that crazy supernatural shit that happened last time, and all this seed talk says it all for me. Oh, I thought it was because Barack looks like a, uh... Looks like a what, Joe? Go on, the whole audience is listening. Looks like a legendary president, that's all I was gonna say. I was waiting for the prime ape comparison. Your ass would have been grass if you had said it sleepy, Joe. Don't you forget that. Nice to see you were thinking it, Donnie, you cock gobbler. Say, Joe, did I just witness you try using an antidote on a paralyzed Pokemon? What was that about? Forget it, Barack. I just misread the name of the item I was using, that's all. Damn it, Joe. Please just try focus for this episode, will you? Once you make it to Rust Burrow, Donnie should hopefully be able to sweep Roxanne with no issues. Perfect. I can then proceed to sweep her off of her feet and marry her within the forthcoming weeks. Jesus Christ, Joe. I want us to be able to prove ourselves as Pokemon masters. Can you please just put aside your pedophilic behavior for two fucking seconds and start cooking in some battles? No problem, Donnie. I call this the Supreme Biden Blast. Let's see, since Rudolph is a flying type, Rock Tomb should clip this son of a bee sting faster than your greasy ass heart rate during lunch hours. Go to sleep, you rotting corpse. And by the way, Vital Throw would have one hit killed that stupid ass reindeer. Oh no, I'm so scared. What am I going to do against one of the weakest Pokemon ever? And it's level four too. Oh God, I'm overloading my Sherbert stick with the amount of stress I'm going through right now. And you call me Sus Sleepy Joe, or should I say Sussy Joe? Jesus Christ, I was joking, Donald, get a grip. Stantler is booty cheeks. There ain't no way in hell I would be scared of that thing. Credit where credit is due, Joe. I'm proud you reacted to that conversion and used Bite to finish it off effectively. Uh, yeah, of course, Obama, thanks. For real, though, this run button is making the game move a little too fast for me. Why does the trainer have to move off like a bullet just because his kicks were changed? Never mind, I understand why. Ooh. Yeah, here comes Papa Joe. Oh, what the fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck, what fuck, fuck, shit, what did the, the fuck, fuck? Joe, for God's sake, calm the fuck down. Don't go busting a nut over a 16-bit Sprite. Sorry, guys, the meds were getting to my head. All this adrenaline pumping through my veins from running is really getting me psyched up. I do apologize. If it was a boy, I would have done the same thing, so that's how you know it was the pills. I'm not surprised at that last statement, Joe. Donnie... Add young boys to that list of people Joe's got to stay 50 feet away from. Already on it, Barack. Young boys and any female at all. Anything else we can think of while we are at it? Ah, uh, what the hell? Go ahead and throw Gulpin and Swallot on the list, too. Excuse me, Joe? Care to explain? Okay, listen closely, Barack, okay? All right, go ahead, Joe. I would inflate Gulpin and Swallot with my rusty, crusty crab-looking popsicle. Fuck, fuck, I would the let the them devour and flower my whizzy glizzy at a rapid no, pace. No, Joe. Turn the away from the light. The succulent and buckled Joe, pleasure I would gain from that shit. You are better than this, uh, Mr. President. Would frizzle my nizzle for real. I am actually at a loss for words. How the hell do we move on from that abomination? All right, time for the first gym. Joe, I just want you to know I lost one thousand percent of the respect I had for you as a man. Not only was what you told us terrifying, I now cannot stop thinking of a scenario where you and a gulpin or a swallot get down to business. My mind is forever polluted. Barack, what the fuck? I was taking what he said at face value. Now I can't stop thinking about him face pounding a poor blob. Also, Joe, this is the catching tutorial, not the first gym. Please pay attention as you might need a reminder on how it's done. Oh, I need to pay attention? How is that tent a cruel doing, partner? You cowardice fuck. 
Let me remind you that I fucking caught the rest of our team and that tentacruel attempt was played to the best of my ability. Shut the fuck up, you ignorant AZ looking dipshit. Go back to your 3,000 year slumber trash bag. Boys, get it together. While Joe is acting incredibly sus, let's remember why we are here. We can't become champions bickering like this. Guys, I'm incredibly sorry. Truth be told, I've been taking new pills specifically designed to help play Pokemon better. The doctor said it would take a few days for the effect to kick in, and side effects vary. Oh, really? What were you prescribed, Joe? Funny enough, the doctor said just take the vitamins you can find in game. Protein, zinc, calcium, HP up, etc. Once you up all those vitamins, your plays will be as good as they can get. Okay, sorry boys, I've calmed down. That sounds all well and good, Joe, but how exactly did you ingest an HP up? Surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. I just found some hoodlum gangsters down a dodgy alley near the White House. I inject myself with four of them every morning. Oh Christ, Joe, as if your life expectancy wasn't already rapidly decreasing. All right, it's capturing time. Let's see what you get, Sleepy Joe. Hopefully something useful that you won't instantly kill. Yep, just as I predicted, a docile Heracross. Damn, bug types suck though. Sorry to be bringing the team down, guys. Apology refused, Joseph. Heracross is an absolute beast of a unit. I remember shedding a tear when it dropped to UU in black and white, but thankfully with its Mega, it shot back up to OU. His typing alone should give us some decent options. If we get Megahorn, I will literally shit bricks right now in front of you. I mean, it has Spore Donnie. That is literally all we need. It's a win-win. If we outspeed, Heracross is untouchable. If we are slow, we are likely bulky, meaning we can take a hit and send them to the dream world. Peep this. Dragon Breath is about to paralyze. I can feel it. Holy shit, Joe. I'm going to start calling you Obama. Oh, fuckity fuck yeah. Let's go, boys. We win run over. Time to shit the brickiest, shittiest shit. Donald, you tangerine turd, leave those pants on. Between you and Joe's antics, the fanfic writers have enough new material to play with after this episode. Oh, Joe, if I didn't hate your guts, I would slide up in those guts right now. No homo. Who the fuck am I playing a kid's game with right now? All right, you guys will love the name. Your wife. Because every time I see your wife, I get mega horny. Get it? Because it's your wife, it applies to anyone you talk to. God, I am hilarious. Even though the name is dog shit, I'll give you props, Joe. I can't wait to get my hands on your wife next time I play this game. Damn. Defense is pretty good and special attack isn't too bad considering we have serene grace to boost our burns or paralyzes if it ever gets a fire or electric type move. With knockoff being special, that only works in our favor. Good stuff. Hey Joe, make sure you beat the lights off that guy. There's only room for one billionaire in this game and that's Donald Trump Ketchum. Well, with shops being randomized, the extra dough would be handy to have. Hey, Barack, what's the comment question of the day for this episode? Well, Joe, you are the one playing the game this time, so it's your turn to ask the question. Just make sure you shamelessly plug the channel as well. Uh, okay, I understand now. Uh, make sure to uh, follow and rate this episode as well as the channel. Game something something eight or whatever his name is. You had one job, Joe. It's Game Producer 6, and it's subscribed to the channel, freaking moron. Yeah, yeah, that's obviously what I meant. Okay, uh, question of the day is, how big is your dog's penis? Obama, please, I can't fucking deal with this guy. Sort him out for God's sake. Okay, Joe, come back down to earth for goodness sake. First of all, the question should be Pokemon related. Second, Donnie, put dogs on that list. You don't have to tell me twice. Joe, control yourself. Oh, squiggly chuff, my ugly buff. Yeah. And it's a boy. Oh, oh, oh. Barack, tell me he kills him. Even better, Donald. Oh, you son of a midget's bitch. Never mind, boys. I will never simp for such a bum-ass Pokemon ever again. What a worthless piece of garbage. Wow, how heroic of you, Joe. Not simping over a baby Pokemon. You truly are America's bravest icon. Anytime, Barack. Anywho, my real comment question of the day is this. If you could have one Pokemon in real life, who would it be? Mine would be Machamp. Not only would his four arms make signing documents in the White House a breeze, he'd also be the perfect bodyguard. Joe, speaking from experience, you can't have other people sign stuff under your name in the White House. Don't worry, Donnie, that's where my loophole would come into effect. I know you love those. I would call the Machamp Joe Biden. His signature would literally be my name. 
And if someone asks who signed this campaign to blow up this 11 year old shit talker's house because he dissed the president in Fortnite, people can say Joe Biden signed it. As long as they don't ask for further details, we would be in the clear. Damn, Joe, that's pretty smart of you. Mine would be Evie. I would have this cute, cuddly little animal trotting around my house, just enjoying life with me. Then after my insane redemption arc, I would have that pivotal point in my life of deciding what to evolve my Evie into. It would keep fans holding their breath until the final second I can see it now. Before I answer, Joe, you better watch this septile. I ain't telling you the right move, but one grass move and save me will in fact not be saved. Donald let the master do his work. Look at this amateur. He's trying to flinch me even though he's slower than me. I'm gonna beat his ass into the grass, no septile. Bars and plays? Color me impressed, Joe. I didn't think you were capable, but I'm genuinely in shock at your gameplay right now. I'll admit, you absolutely whooped him into next weekend, Joe. I knew you had it in you, just a bit of focus, and look what your sleepiness can achieve. The Pokemon I would choose to have in real life would be Mega Rayquaza. He is literally the ultimate assimilation weapon. They made an entirely new tier for his power creeping ass for Christ's sake. A bit bland, Donald, but you do you. We did it, boys. We officially have one of the best items in the entirety of Gen 3. If we get a reliable physical attacker, our team is going to be untouchable. That's going on Save Me for bigger crunch numbers. Joe, don't start with your stupid shit. Crunch is a special attack in this generation. Choice Band doesn't boost its power at all. But crunch is a physical action. You crunch that big max sack of shit every day. Get it right, it's five times a day. I know crunching is a physical action, but because of the Pokemon designers being too lazy to split physical and special moves, they just made all dark moves special moves. That's freaking dumb. All right, I'll rock Snoop with the choice band. Ah, nice. A full restore. That's some nice extra cash in our pockets. I would have saved it for the Elite Four, but selling it now increases our odds of getting there, if only slightly. What the fuck? Uh, thank God I found that. Save Me was really getting low there on health. God damn it, Joe. Your idiotic mistakes are causing us a lot of resources here. Early game, we should be playing smarter so that the rest of the run is set up to be easier. And stop trying to motherfucking cut the tree. We don't have that hidden machine yet. Okay, fine, you big bullies. I'll save this Ultra Ball later then if we need it. Is that enough resource saving for you, Barack? No need to be such a bitch, Joe Seppi. Let the gameplay do the talking. Your next item should prove worthy in our journey. Damn, you know it's good when Barack foreshadows it. Oh, hell yeah. The only thing I love more than bitches is more money. My favorite non-competitive item, if not my favorite item of all time. All right, time to drown these two little gals real quick. Jesus Christ, Joe. You go from one extreme to another. You go from praying inappropriately on little girls to wanting to drown them in the nearby lake. That is some messed up shit. I meant drown them in my cum. Uh, it's daddy, Swallet. Inhale my dysfunction erect missile, Papa. <laughs> Ex motherfucking, excuse me, Joe. I'm going to regret asking, but what the skippity fuck did you just say? Sorry, guys. Let me tone it down for you this time. Oh, it's daddy, Swallet. Inhale my dysfunction erect missile, Papa. Oh. Right, Barack, I think it's about time we deafen Joe in the call. My virgin ears cannot deal with this putrid language he is outputting. True, Donnie, let's just monitor his gameplay. Actually, BRB just going to puke after what he said. Oh, nice, an evolution stone. Hello, are you boring fucks done yet? Fine, screw you two. I'm going to get my Route 116 encounter solo then. Ooh, it's a sussy boy. Hey, Joe, I'm back. I don't know if Donnie is deafened or not, but I was actually straight up puking for the last five minutes straight. Thanks for that, by the way. Anyway, ditto with its 288 base stat total is quite pitiful, but we might get some use out of it. Hey, boys, just back from McDonald's. Had to wash down that disgusting taste in my mouth. Thanks for that, by the way. Also, ditto does not have imposter yet, Joe, and it likely won't have transform either. Joe with the instant smog poison play. Smart move, Joe. This capture's in the bag. Uh, thanks, Barack. I was literally trying not to kill it, but thanks for the support.
Donnie, did you get us anything? Uh, yeah, actually, I got a large Mac fuck you for yourself, Joe, and for Baraka Media Mac suck on D's. No salt, though. Damn. I'd love a salty Mac suck on D's right about now. I'm going to nickname this ditto after what the boys used to call me back in high school. Captain Splurge. Okay, nobody wants to know why you were called that, Joe. Drop it. It's fast with laughable attack. It's special attack is all we need, though. Going to be the definition of a glass cannon, but honestly, it might not be the worst right now. Joe, remember, poison can kill. Oh, yeah, you're right, Barack. I can't let our newest team member die so quickly. Not on my watch. Mainly because it's Gucci, and I don't want to give it up. But anyway, let me get rid of this nasty status. Joe, you fucking dumbass. You used a Rossberry. Splurge is going to die. Stop fucking around and use a goddamn pitcher berry, please. Oh, fuck. Oh, mothers. Oh, fucks. Oh, mothers. Oh, fucks. Double edge kills Joe, don't forget. Barack, you toasty ass wipe. How can you be so calm? Well, I mean, it was either one shot with double edge or use run away to run away. Why should I be worried? Would you be that incompetent to select vital throw? Donnie, I'm so freaking sorry. This robot Obama is creeping me out. I promise I'll never make that poison mistake again. It's all good, Joe. Just head to the center and save this bitch. Phew, that's it for me, boys. I'll see you both next time. I'll see you both next time. Overall, good shit. I'm proud of the work you put in today, and watching you torment Donnie had me dying of laughter inside. Screw you, Barack. I'm finna head back to the drive through for seconds, perhaps thirds. All I have to say is, make sure to subscribe to the goddamn channel, man. What's up, you sons of guns? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke. Since the last episode, our team has been trained up to level 12, and now it's the Don Meister's turn to cook in some battles. Before things start getting weird as they tend to in these videos, on behalf of all of us here in the call and the channel of Game Producer 6, I want to thank you all for the support and feedback that the first two episodes received. I think I speak for all three of us when I say we are very grateful for your positivity and can assure you this series will continue until the very end. Presuming Donald doesn't bomb the run here like Afghanistan. Say what you want, Gandalf, but you aren't going to even phase me this time. Now that the Big D is in control, you two bozos can sit back and enjoy the show. Big D is not catching on. Get your gum shoes, trap pinch fusion, looking ass out of here. Huh. Surprisingly, not a bad start from you two. Anyway, small D, I'm excited to see what your game plan is going to be now that the controller is in your hands. Can I ask what your approach to battles is going to be? Why, it's simple, Barack. Either I already know the best move to use against the opponent considering their type weaknesses, or I click the strongest move. It's child's play, really. That's a fair way to do it, Donald, but would it hurt to put a bit of thought into your moves? Using the strongest move isn't always the best option. If you spam Double Edge with Torkoal, for example, he would knock himself out in no time flat. Listen, Barack, you infernate piece of shit, you can criticize my game plan when it starts to fail. Spoiler, I don't think that's gonna be happening. Barack is right, Donald. Sometimes taking it slow really helps out. You would know all about taking it slow, Sleepy Joe. Your Reggie gig as looking ass was painful to watch last time. After this episode, Big D is gonna be the fan favorite, believe me. Oh my God, will you shut the fuck up? Big D isn't catching on. Fucking stop it. Jesus, Joe, it's gonna be all right. Holy Christ, Christ, baby, what was that about? Yeah, Joe, uncalled for, I must say. I expect an apology from you. I'm only sorry for myself that I have to put up with your goofy ass regularly. Barack is at least chill, you're just a whiny asshole. Oh my God, it's Kakuna. Kakuna Matata, you demented fuck. If that's how you really feel about me, get your crusty mitts out and let's settle this like crab brawlers. Donald, stop it right now. We know if Joe didn't appreciate your company, he wouldn't be here right now. Isn't that right, Joe? Sigh. You're right, Barack, as always. In fact, Donald, or Big D, should I say, I have something to tell you. I've felt this way for a very long time now, and it's about time I told you the truth. Oh, for the love of skitty fuck, what have I done? Go on, Joe. We are listening to your sus shit as usual. I don't even care anymore. Well, to be honest with you, Donald, there's something I really badly need to tell you. Uh-huh, go for it, you creeper. Okay, Donald, um, uh, I love- Go on, what do you love, Joe? You sick son of America, a- America, and I'm the president, bitch! What you gonna do, motherfucker? Kiss my sweet old ass and balls? 
Oh, fuck you, Father Time. You're going to be sucking Big D's Big D in a hot minute, no homo. Imbeciles, shut up. It's our rust turf tunnel encounter. Oh, shit. I fuck with fear row heavy, actually. This might not be bad. Tell me I'm not the only one who cried when Ash left his fear row behind in the anime. That shit had me weeping. It was Pidgey, Ot, you clown. Now a Pokemon like this deserves to live in luxury just like myself. Beep, wrong choice, Donald. A regular Pokeball would have secured the catch. Damn you, Barack. Okay, I won't be bested again. Just to make sure this flying KFC is mine, I'm going to use the Ultra Ball this time around. Beep, wrong choice again, Donald. A regular Pokeball would have sufficed again. Massive L for small d. Oh, oh, oh wait, Barack kind of spitting. You just going to sit there and take it, Donald? Like hell I will. Since you're sucking off the Pokeball so much, let me prove you wrong. Ooh, unfortunate Donnie. This time the Premier Ball would have worked. Who is sucking off whose Pokeballs? I'm interested. It's all right, Donnie. This time the Pokeball will work. I would bet my life, money, and massive schlong on it. Well, I'm coming for that schlong, Obama. And I'm the sus one. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that anymore. Screw you two, but you know what? At least I caught it and it didn't explode or some horse shit. Besides, I have the perfect name. Let me guess, KFC? Also, I didn't want to say it earlier, but how dare you betray your McDonald's pack, Donnie? I thought you were Big Mac for life. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, Obama, were you talking to me or the fear row and I'm Big Mac for life? But sometimes that boneless chicken goes hard after sunset, facts. That's Cap and everybody knows it. Speed and special attack aren't too shabby. It's even got fire spin for chip and T-bolt for coverage. Color me impressed, Donnie. Ha 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 ha. Oh, sorry, you fucksicle. Were you talking to me or the fear row? Okay, you dyslexic prick. I have to ask, why the fuck did you spell it so stupid? Your attention-seeking tangerine ass is so desperate, I swear to Christ. Jump off a bridge and try not cause an earthquake, you worthless scum. At least I'm not a sussy baka like your perverted ass, Sleepy Joe. I'll be impressed if you can make it through this episode without being sus. I'll be impressed if you don't kill anything on our team in the next 10 minutes. Boys, quiet down. Donald has a big fight ahead of him, so Joe, I ask you stop riling him up. What the fuck? I was not rizzing him up, Barack. That's not what I said, Joe. It's all right. He's about 70 years too old for me anyway. Okay. Now I'm ready to go. Let me just put your wife in front and we can start having a good time. Giggity, but leave Michelle out of this. Remember, Donald the gyms are type themed, so the first few trainers are crucial for you to gain an advantage. Of course, Barack. I'm hoping for psychic or even ghost as your wife could plow through like a bulldozer. Giggity, but leave Jill out of this. Normal is a pretty fitting first gym type. We don't have a ghost that can abuse the immunity, but we do have vital throw on Snoop to deal some heavy damage. This is your game to lose Donnie, so make Joe and I proud. Damn, I wish I was asleep with that whismer. Here we fucking go. Joe, for God's sake, why do you say these things? Wait, wait, I meant to be asleep. Like that whismer. Oh, we thought you meant you wanted to have sex with that whismer. Well, don't get me wrong. Given the opportunity, I would smash whismer's cute little butthole until it was as wide as the gender wage gap. Holy fuck. Joe, really right now? Joe! It's one thing to pound a whiz myrrh, but to say that directly after, you disgust me. All right, boys, calm the heck down. A man can joke from time to time. Plus, I prefer loud dread and explode anyway. Imagine how loud the sound of their orgasm would be. Hmm. Huh. You know what, Joe? For some sickening fucking reasoning, I can actually see eye to eye with you on this one. I always thought I was the most normal one here, but this straight up confirms it. Anyway, guys, I think I'm ready for my comment question of the day. Oh, yeah? Good shit, Donnie. Let it rip. My comment question of the day is this. If you could live anywhere in the Pokemon world across any of the regions, where would it be? Mine would be the resort area from Gen 4. I would pimp out my house and have the baddest bitches from all sorts of regions flying out to see me. Good choice, Donald. Mine would be Sunny Shore City. It would be a nice and quiet town since... Only veteran trainers make it that far. I would love to take a stroll along the beaches and nearby routes with the kids. It would be really relaxing, you know? The kimono girls live in Ecruteak City, right? I should have fucking known. Nah, I'm messing with you, Donald. I would actually pick Celadon or Veilstone so I could splash out at the casino with some bitches. Joe, now you're speaking my goddamn language. Turns out you are actually likable when you are awake. 
Bitches are overrated. There I said it. Hoes are only there to shake and break your heart. Why even bother? Hey, Barack, what's the best way to open a door? Pushing or pulling? That's easy, Donnie. Pulling, why? Well, why don't you fucking pull some bitches then, huh? I swear, anyone who spouts that hoes are evil bullshit doesn't have a clue what they're talking about. I'm not saying go marry one, but if you want to have more fun than a low punny ex Lucario fan fic writer, then hoes the way to go. Donnie, as much as I love the hoes, Barack has a point. They do usually just shaky my achy breaky heart. Plus, true love always wins in the end. We all know this. Speaking of true love, uh, my rocket nozzle is about to implode like a fountain of shook mountain doo doo. Oh, uh, uh, Roxy. Joe, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to focus here. Wow, you're really locked in Donald, spamming the same overpowered move you've been using for the past 10 minutes. I know it's optimal, and you know I appreciate that the most here, let's be real. I'm the goat, you're all F tier at best. But just kill those sons of biscuits outright. This rat is getting face fucked. I hope he's into freaky shit. Wait, why do you hope he's into freaky shit? Stay away from the rats, Donald. How many times do I have to tell you? Oh, damn, the natural cure doduo. That was slick play. I'll give that to her. You know what I'd give to her? Yeah, 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 your penis, Joe. We get it. Well, I was going to say phone number and hand in marriage. But I mean, if she gets down and begs for the doodly noodly straw, I have no choice. Boys, please understand that. Oh, we understand very clearly, Joe. I have to say, Donald, even though you're way too overleveled and have a busted ass Pokemon that's carrying you this episode, you are making quick work of her team, shredding her with no paper. Man, I want to just fucking annihilate every baby and stab it in the face a million times now after that Iggly Buff incident. I said it once and I'll say it again. China was on to something with the one child policy because those bastards deserve to die. Yeah, yeah, and you want to shove far fetched leaky leak up your ass? Whatever, Joe, shut the F up. I'm cooking up the fattest dub I've made in my life. Donnie, you're four times weak to flying. One wing attack and your wife is getting smoked. Nah, let me lower his speed real quick so I can knock him off into next Christmas. Holy cannoli. He's actually trying to throw, isn't he? Donnie, how can you go from abusing sleep? The best status in the game, especially for myself, to leaving yourself wide open to a one-hit kill. That shiz don't make no sense. Have a bit of faith, boys. Let's be honest. I had this in the bag from the moment I started playing. Why? Because that's when we decided to use our trump card. Damn, that was pretty badass Donnie. Congratulations. You earned us our first gym badge. I'm sorry, Roxy, we've got to go our separate ways now. It's not you, it's me. Well, specifically, it's my cock-blocking presidential buddies here who won't let us freak on the down low. I hope you can understand, baby. That was pretty emotional, Joe. Creepy, but emotional. And fuck me with Applin sauce. Conversion two. Guess we will be selling this as soon as possible. Pretty much what I was thinking, Donald. Let's heal our mons and run that goon up real quick. All right, Splurge is in front, so hopefully Spark or Bubble can just one-shot whatever this goon has in his party. I'm expecting an easy win here, Donnie. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? It's only a Reggie. Will you both calm your tits? Don't overthink it, Donald. Uh, 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 Bubble. Oh, say Viper sucker, he overthought it. Well, now you better pray for a low roll or Splurge is dead. And there's the freaking Blizzard. GG. Splurge, you better live this, you pussy. Wow, God likes you today, I guess, Donald. What's your next move? Snoop, smoke this blocky, fucky, cocky ice bitch right now. What a play. This goon has your number, Donald. All right, funk this noise. I know my accuracy has been lowered, but this 360 double edge from across the map is going to wreak more havoc than ISIS. Fair play, Donnie. You took care of that swiftly. Team Aqua ain't messing around. They've got goons like this running around with legendaries. I'm kind of shitting my pants a little. Okay, maybe I already did. Fuck me, that was way more stressful than it had to be. I'm gonna make it to do Ford to get an encounter or two before signing off. Great plan, Donnie. Do you think Devon Corporation is the Pokemon world's equivalent of Apple? I'm not too sure about that, Joe. Wouldn't they be the Roe Tom phones? Wouldn't Clemont be Steve Jobs? A bit of a reach there, Barack. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Look, Joe, it's you, you sack of shit. President of Devon and Pokemon Sleep. When would I ever wear a hat like that? 
I think it's more so the gray hair, Joe. And Pokemon Sleep is going to be a banger when it drops. I cannot wait. Same here, Barack. All right, boys, time to set sail. Anyone want to start with their pirate song? Uh, I guess I'll go first if you two don't mind. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Take a good hard look at the motherfucking boat. Yeah. Daylight come and we want to go home. All right, guys. One, two, three. Barack, what the absolute fuck? How did you manage to sneak a whole ass orchestra into your room without us noticing? Barack, that was flames. You should pitch that cover for the One Piece live action and in return ask Netflix to cast you as Mr. One. I prefer Monkey D. Obama. All right, you raggy racist bastards. Can you just get on with your encounter already, Donald? Fine, I'll catch two Pokemon and leave the other encounters for you, Monkey D. Obama. Nothing wrong with another normal type. Keeps our weaknesses at a minimum. Well, when our whole team gets swept by a Medicham, I'll let you give your two cents, then Obama. Shut your crustle ass up right now, Josephine. I know a good mon when I see one. Right now, our only liability on the team is D. Zeef. And even at that, his evolution might completely turn things around. Having a mono team is fine in a run like this, as all we need is to be able to cover our weaknesses with our random moves, trust me. It's too early in the game to say we are getting bad RNG, Joe. Quiet down and let the big boys cook. I hate it when you two gangbang me like this. On my mama, never say that shit again or I will beat you like a paralyzed spoink. Hey, you actually caught it, Donald. Oh yeah, can you name me all of my failed encounters, Joe? Go ahead. Oh wait, you can't. Big D is on top and he's ready the shaft. Blast your asses into outer space. Big D is on top? Yeah, that's bullshit. Ahahaha, <laughs> good one, Joe. How did you know I was gonna name this piece of bull wonky bullshit? Seriously, without its fairy typing, Grand Bull is so lame. Oh, look, here he goes with his fucked up naming conventions again. You can't just try and be normal for two seconds, can you, Donald? I swear to Satan, whatever I hook right now better be worth it. Give me another normal type, I swear. Ass munchers on a stick. To be fair, Donald, she's only a mere eight levels away from evolving. Remember, evolutions are randomized, so we could get a legendary out of this. Isn't it kind of fucked up how Zigzagoon can only move in zigzags? Like what if its family was killed right in front of it? That tormented little shit would have to move 90 degrees to try and kill the murderer. But isn't the bishop your favorite chess piece, Joe? It's literally that as a Pokemon? Nah, the bishop is my favorite piece because I value its morals, its dedication to our Lord, serving church services to give hope to the people, and bringing little boys around the back of the church for a private playtime session. All right, I'm gonna call this adorable little guy. Ziggers, any objections? Pretty cool name, Don. Ex motherfucking, excuse me, you clockwork cock gobbler. What did you just say? Uh, it was nice knowing you, Donnie. Oh God, uh, uh, Ziggy, I said Ziggy. Physical bulk and hit points are pretty good. Looks like we have a reliable physical wall on our hands. Move set is pretty good too and he's rocking mixed attack stats. Shell armor, instant dub. His stats don't really matter and Christ, look at that move list. Fantastic Mon. It pains me to say it, but that was a pretty great showing, Donald. I also have to admit that was a pretty decent showing, Donald. You and Joe are actually pretty good. I underestimated you two. Thanks, fellas. When you light the fuse, you get fireworks. What can I say? Anyways, boyos, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Catch you later, guys. Hey, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Last time we obtained our first gym badge thanks to Donald, and today we are getting right back into it by heading north for two encounters. I will also be facing Brawly before we sign off today. How do you think that fight is going to go, Barack? Can you use that future sight shiz of yours to predict the outcome? I'd be interested to know, too, actually. Hmm. Give me a second. Let me open my third eye and tell you what I see. I see electricity. I see darkness. And I see blood. Oh God, you're gonna lose something, aren't you, Obama? And here I thought you were the best one in the call. I guess I was mistaken. Wait, wait, I see something else, Donald. Oh shit. What is it, Barack? Well, according to my calculations and predictions, you're a bitch. You don't need three eyes to see that, Barack. Very funny, you idiots. Is no one going to comment on how Donnie knows Blastburn now? Isn't that kind of a big deal? Isn't your weight a big deal? 
Say, Barack, can't you just manipulate our encounters to be really good Pokemon? Unfortunately, I haven't mastered that cursed technique, Donald. Since randomizing is a modification of a Pokemon game, I haven't quite been able to crack the code on how it works quite yet. War Turtle, what is it good for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. What the frick? That was strange. You don't know Edwin Star Joe. His stuff came out around your time. Oh, did he collab with Bach? I love his symphonies. Fisting Your Mom in E Major is my favorite. Can't say I've heard of that one, Joe, so I'm going to move swiftly along. I need to just throw a Pokeball, then Rock Tomb, and the following capture will be successful. Joe, did those spies come back from Obama's house yet? Did they figure out how he does this wacky shit? Funny story, we couldn't find his address in any documents we went through. As we speak, there's 1,000 spies searching five miles around all the most famous cotton farms in America. Why not just ask the local crack addicts where they get their bricks? Hey, shit, head one and two, how about you shut up for five seconds? Plus, I only deal with Molly nowadays. Shit gets you higher than a drift loon holding an air balloon. Or higher than Eternatus pussy. Eternatus, if you will. How do you legally kill an elderly person? Pushing them down some stairs should do the trick. Hey, Barack, why don't you name it Wart after the best final boss in any Mario game, Wart from Super Mario Brothers 2? That's a dumb name. Why don't you call it something fun and adorable like Squirty? How in God's name is that adorable Joe? I'm just going to call it Squad, after the Squirtle Squad in the anime. Those guys were badass. The Squirtle Squad was cool, but I preferred Misty's tight ass. I'm actually starting to not get disgusted by your statements, Joe. You know that? Wow, Donald. She's 10, you sick fuck. How could you? I have to agree with Joe. You aren't disgusted by Misty's tight ass Donald? Were you choking the chicken to season one of the anime again? Stop it, you sickos. Enough of this gang banging. Say that again, I will punch your lights out faster than a rapidash. I can't wait to see what our next encounter is, boys. Oh. No, Joe, please. Don't you do this. Joe, Not today. stay Not strong. Today. Keep please, it inside. Please. The kids are watching. Fuck. Really stubbed my fucking fuck fuck toe on the fucking corner fuck. Anyways, what was our encounter? Oh, it's Gardevoir. What do you mean it's Gardevoir? Are you not going to use submission on your Onyx right now? Do you want me to? Jesus, Joe, nobody wants to see that. It's just that Donnie and I really thought you were going to use explosion on your Steelix right now. Again, it sounds like you want me to. I mean, I'll do it, but only because you two are forcing me to. No one is forcing you to release your Akins right now, Joe. But it's Gardevoir. Hello? Are you not infatuated? Um, you both can see that it's a girl, right? Oh, oh yeah, now I get it. I see, uh -huh, I see. Why didn't we think of that of sense, before? Actually. Of course. Yep. Now, Gal-8, on the other hand, could slice and dice me up any day. I would let it clean my insides out from my back door with its sharp tonfas. It could bullet punch my sack and pokeballs any day of the week, Friday not included. Not only was that disturbing, but I have to ask, why is Friday not included? Because that's when I'm choking my chicken to Misty's tight ass in season one of the anime. The fuck? Joe, you just said you were disgusted with me over that. Doesn't mean I disagree, Donnie. Wait, Joe, so that was you re-watching episode seven of the Pokemon anime on our shared Netflix account? Seriously, every time I load it up, I forget what episode I was on because your corny ass was rewinding back to an earlier episode. Who cares, Barack? It's only season one. The most mid-season of all time, and that's pure facts. Diamond and Pearl were peak. Dawn Solo's your fave. Facts. Oh, ho, ho. You did not just say that. You know season one is my favorite Donald. That's it. I hope you didn't like bullshit, because he's about to die in a hot second. Barack, what in Torterra cock are you doing? Holy conky, funky dunk. Barack, I'm sorry that I'm sorry. Don't let anyone die, please. Listen to me, you Bidoof-looking dickwad. You will never, ever diss the first season of the Pokemon anime ever again. It is literally God-tier fiction, and no one can say otherwise. When I was in the White House, I would watch every single episode every morning before starting my presidential day. It was my one true motivation. The character writing is impeccable, the pacing is beautiful, and the humor is timeless. And that opening, like, seriously, who doesn't want to be the very best like no one ever was? That's why I do these challenges, to prove to the people, to anybody, that I am a somebody. I prefer that other opening. How does it go? Walking down this endless highway, 
Nothing but my friends beside me. Holy shit, unbeatable is a total slapperoo. I forgot. Thanks, Joe, you pile of balls. And Joe, you senile ass wipe, you can just go ahead and shut the piss up for a hot cocoa minute, you pedophilic hypno looking ass. Gen 3's anime was pure fan service and not in a clever way at all. No, Barack, I won't stand for this slander. So let me get this straight. Are you saying you didn't pop off when Charizard Seismic tossed Artie Kuno in the battle frontier? Is that what you're really saying right now? I couldn't give a single fuck about that moment. Cap, 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 cap. Someone locked this pants here looking ass up for telling the biggest lie in the history of mankind. You nostalgia glasses twat box. Shut the hell up about Gen 1. It's trash, get over it. And that's coming from a guy who lined up outside GameStop back in 96 to buy Pokemon Blue. Holy, what the... Joe is on demon time right now. You know, I had to lay the smack down, yet that shiz was raw. Nice we caught the waifu. What are you going to nickname it, Barack? Well, let me just say you are both mega evolved assholes. Just because Gen 1 is my baby and you two don't see eye to eye with me on that, doesn't mean you have to go and roast the ever-living tepig out of me. To keep you two from bitching at me, I'm going to call this Mon Peak, since you both probably think she's god-tier design, you jackasses. Funny enough, I don't even like Gardevoir's design that much. Cool in battle, but aesthetically it's like a 6 out of 10. She's all right. Same here, Donnie. As I very clearly said, I would prefer Gal Aid to sledgehammer my Gigantamax balls into the afterlife, if anything. Unfortunately for us, you made that very clear, Joey. Thanks for that utopia touching mother trucker. While it's fresh in my mind, I actually have my comment question of the day, guys. The question is, what is the best Pokemon spin-off game? Oh my god, Mystery Dungeon. And it's not even close. It's randomly generated gameplay is super simple to pick up and surprisingly deep once you get into it. You want to talk about peak? And that's literally how anyone would describe Mystery Dungeon story. Explorers of Sky is not only one of the best Pokemon games, but one of the greatest video games ever created. God treated us nicely when he bestowed that gift to us humans back in the DS days. Not a bad choice, Joe, but I have to go with Pockkin Tournament. Not only was I top three player in the world at one point, but I was even meant to be in top eight of EVO back in 2016. I decided to drop out last minute to focus on my upcoming presidential campaign. But there is still a part of me that wonders what damage my Weavile could have done. Damn, I wouldn't give up an EVO top eight for presidency, Donnie, you madman. My answer would have to be Pokemon Shuffle. Candy Crush used to be my go-to-shitter game and would hook me for hours, don't get me wrong, but Pokemon Shuffle is so addicting that I start playing while taking a shit. And by the time I'm finished my play session, I have to shit again, therefore causing me to play another seven hours of Shuffle. It's a vicious, never-ending shit cycle. I'm talking weeks on weeks here, boys. I don't even remember what the kids look like. Do I have kids? Okay, Obama, we've heard enough. You need to sharpen up. Joe and I need to see your full power on display for this gym. Show us what you got. You think talking about my shuffle addiction will affect my mindset? Don't make me laugh, Donald. I still won't even need 1% of my power to solo this gym. Oh, I'm so excited. What type is it going to be? Oh, Mama Senorita, it's poison type. Everybody start freaking out. What if I happen to run into a dust ox or Nito Ran or come spelled forwards? Don't you mean muck spelled backwards? How the heck do you spell a word forwards, Barack? Not gonna lie, boys, Luster Purge Ziggy, no diffs this gym up to the leader. Guess we will be stepping ever so slightly closer to our first evolution of the run. Oh, by the way, Joe, before I forget to bring it up, next time that you're playing, you'll be able to use the old rod north of Rustboro and Petalburg City to get us two encounters. I thought it would only be fair to leave those for you since Donald and I got some encounters already. Aw, oh, sick, that's very kind of you two guys, thank you. But why do I need to whip out my crafty cock to do such a thing? He meant the old rod item, Joe, not your wee-wee. Oh, good. Glad we straightened that out. Unlike my cock, that stick is bendier than Pharaoh Mosa on a Saturday night. Preferably in my bed, but not necessarily. You sick sack of shit, Joe. Shut up, fat ass. You look like Meow Scarada's gooch. And don't lie to me saying you don't know what that looks like. You've been on Twitter since Scarlet and Violet came out, so I don't want to hear a goddamn word. I prefer Scale Dirge Gooch, so excuse yourself, dick squeeze. Okay, here's my plan, you bumbling idiots. I'm going to fight one more trainer just to gain a little more experience, then I'm going to go for Brawly's throat. How does that sound? 
Well, going for his throat is a little sus, Obama. I can't lie. But aside from that, I'm excited to see how you play. Joe and I are very excited to see you feel the pressure a little bit and potentially lose a mon to some whack-ass crit. Sadly, he's right, Brock. We want to see you freak a little in this playthrough. Pause, just so we don't feel totally separated from a man with your skill and knowledge. <laughs> your first Donald. What? What? Okay, Joe, sign me the fuck off this Barack pack. He's gonna summon Lucifer himself to torch our asses to the Shadow Realm. I'm not ready to die yet. Wait, Donald, think of his prophecies. Electricity, darkness, and blood. Maybe they're all in our favor. Maybe we paralyze his mons. This gym is naturally dark and blood because his Pokemon die? Nope. The electricity is the fucking Spider-Man on the screen right now using thunder. Oh, we are boned like a Marowak. I'm just going to continue playing optimally, you shit sniffers. You can piss and moan all you like. I'm not as dog water as you make me out to be for some stupid reason. I don't even think we can fucking paralyze anything with our mons without splurge. I'm waiting for that arachnid bastard to electrocute Ziggy into the next dimension. I've actually come around to her now. I love Ziggy. Please don't jinx it, Donald. Oh, fuck my mom with a cowboy hat on. What the puke nuts is this? How did you find out about the cowboy hat? Did Joe Mama tell you our secrets again? Okay, 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 Barack. We need to be calm the hell down. Please tell me your next move is super safe and not going to cause any more adrenaline to course through our veins. Ha 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 ha. This one is for you, Donnie. Hey, you what the fuck? Fuck. Oh shit, piss fuck, fuckity. Jesus Christ, Barack. What the living fuck are you doing? It's called, I am the greatest president there ever was. Of course, you donut scoffers wouldn't know jack shit about that. I would love a shuriken to fly through my window and blind me right now. I can't take this. And how on God's green Jupiter did you know Donnie would outspeed their Barack? Not gonna lie, I didn't know Donald you Hariyama built fuck. I'm telling Giratina your location, you worthless coward. Have a bit of freaking faith in my god tier ass. In fact, I might just fuck around and go for blast burn right now in the rain and see if Donnie is lucky to survive another round. My meow stick pussy wouldn't be able to handle that, Obama. Please no. Then shut the goddamn door and let me settle this. They call me Alakazam the way my IQ exceeds 5,000, you idiotic slow bros. Barack, I'm sorry. I'll do whatever you want me to if you get through this battle with everything alive. I'll give you a billion. I'll be your best buddy. I'll suck your middle toes. I'll skydive from the top of Trump Tower. Are you trying to cause a 10 out of 10 earthquake, you Dynamax plump? Also, sucking middle toes? Please. Everyone knows the little toes is where it's at. Nice and crispy. I'll need at least 40 crispy Mackie D's after this episode, holy bazongas. I had a feeling the next move was going to be needle arm, and honestly, I'll take it. Our special attack is 49 right now versus our 23 physical attack. Having a great grass attack pack, a nice meaty punch will be great for our team going forward. Speaking of, look, it's come spelled forwards, tread lightly, Barack. Oh, ho, ho, thanks for that warning, Joe. I will now proceed to style on your asses harder than a cinder ace in a football league. First, I'm going to put this not safe for work thang asleep, then knock off its twisted spoon. Its boosted confusion might prove to be a problem if I don't weaken it a little bit. Aha! Get paralyzed, Obama, you spoon levitating chump. Oh, it won't be the last time I get paralyzed, Donald. Next, it will be bullshit. Then it'll be me when your mama licks me tonight. Jesus Christ, I can't keep up anymore. Donnie, you are getting toasted by the fire type Barack. Your bitch ass must be grass or ice, the way he keep hitting super effective. Also, are you cheering against or for him? Make your goddamn mind up, you conkledur looking ass. Okay, keep your eyes peeled, especially if your name is Dick Donald Trump Ketchum. Man has more names than his shitty net worth. Watch as I style on this goober. I'm going to intentionally use Thunder Punch, despite it being weaker than Shadow Ball, letting myself get paralyzed. I will then proceed to break through paralysis five times in a row while living on about uh, four hit points, I'm going to say. I might as well start spreading my cheeks, no homo. If things pan out the way you describe them, you might as well just bend me over, pause, and fuck me to Timbuktu and back, no homo. I will then proceed to gobble pause my words, assuming you don't throw your schlong down my esophagus. 
I swear if these prophecies come true, I will let any Pokemon tear my glory hole until it is 120 centimeters long. Super no homo. Donald, you can't just say the gayest shit ever and follow it up with no homo. That doesn't make it right, you're still sus af. That's like going to an elementary school and killing five kids, but saying no murder afterwards. Does that mean you didn't really murder them? Maybe the murderer was the friends we killed along the way. Life is too short, Joe. When you have absolute fiends like Barack running around, it makes you appreciate that you can't hold anything back in life. I just gotta say what I wanna say, because tomorrow this Nuzlocke run could be over and I won't be able to say anything anymore. You feel what I'm saying, homie? Wow, this is what my life has come to. A cheese puff giving me life advice. There's the fifth turn in a row with no stun and shadow ball to kill the shadowy ball. Looks like things went just as expected. Get ready, Donnie. My rusty toes are ready. What the barnacles am I dealing with? You know it's bad when I am the normal one within the episode. All right, Broly, I came here for the throat and I just got my dub, so do your thing, throat goat. No homo, though. Finally, something Barack agrees with me on. Not gonna lie, Trump, you make the sus shit look easy. I find it really difficult to spout such vivid imagery, yet you do it with such finesse. All right, let's settle on a deal. I will train you in the ways of the sacred homo arts if you teach me your secrets and strategies used in battle. How does that sound? Sounds good, buddy. Defenses and HP are amazing. Moveset is good too, but all we need is recover and toxic and we can solo just about anyone. Meh, this thing will be good for an evolution, that's about it. At least it's got Blizzard. Did you two just make a homo pact? Is that what happened? Don't dwell on the details, Joe. Just remember, I absolutely owned this game today and just opened us up to a ton of new encounters. Donnie, any final notes? Why, yes, Barack. As my father used to say, next time I see you guys, don't get caught with your balls wrapped in a barbed wire. No, no homo. homo. His father used to say that? Good morning, chums. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, we will be cruising through Slateport City and attempting to catch quite a few monsters. Quite a normal start from you this morning, Joe. You feeling okay? Usually you're spouting wacky shiz the minute the video begins to play. Hey, yo, Barack, what's your limp dick doing on this random ass beach? And there it is. Good morning to you too, Joe. By the way, my black flute wouldn't fit in your bag. Straight up. Grabbing your first encounter, Joe? Hopefully it's something nice and easy. Ruff, what ruff, the living fuck? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Damn, Joe, I didn't know you had that dog in you. You struck me more of a Scooby-Doo type of guy, you feel what I'm saying? Okay, real talk. How the hell am I supposed to capture this thing? And can someone have 911 on speed dial in case I start having a stroke trying to bag this doggo? Only pussies have heart attacks in these moments, Joe. Stand your ground. You got this, you handsome devil, you. It's a fucking legendary Barack. Some people can't even catch these guys with infinite pokeballs and resets. And here you are trying to ask for a miracle? If you're looking for your miracle, I got the seed, Donnie. Oh, is that so? Sorry to hear you have to go back to work, Obama. The episode only started. Tell Farmer Wilkins I said hi. You racist jamboree. And I'll have you know it's my day off today. My potato plant harvests were impeccable yesterday. You should start growing carrots on your farm, Barack, and call it the Donald Field. I bet the insects and other animals will coincidentally overload the field in tasty manure within a week. Why don't you go to a nursing home and call it the Joe Fuck Fest, huh? Oh God, your wife might be in trouble, guys. Michelle is a strong, independent woman, I'll have you know. She is far from in trouble. Here's a question for you, Barack. Can she handle a fire fist? Uh, a what now? He means fire punch, Barack, and that answer is clearly no. Get your wife out of there, Joe. Let me clarify for the people I did mean getting fisted anally by a hand that's on fire. Yeah, try watch One Piece after that. Anyway, Snoop is clearly my best option here to resist the fire fist attack. Plus, I'm sure he'd be so high he wouldn't even feel it pierce his backside. Not gonna lie, Joe. I'm actually impressed with your gameplay right now. Sure, you lit your wife on fire a few times, but what great husband hasn't in their lifetime? These small sacrifices have to be made to catch a rare digital pocket monster. Am I right? Thanks, Donnie. I supremely appreciate the support. I feel like I can do anything when you and Barack have got my back. 
Wait for it. Any second now. Wait a minute, Joe. How many Pokeballs did you buy before catching this thing? Uh, does that really matter right now, Donnie? We were having a touching moment. And here it comes. Joe, I genuinely forget how many we had left. So how many did you buy before starting this episode? Well, you know, I bought a decent amount, let's say. You fucking worthless hyena. You shit brick. You ball fiddler. You licky, licky fucker. You dream ball gobbler. You fuck. Donald, I'm a forgetful guy. What can I say? Please forgive me. Come on, just forgive him, Donnie. We are all friends here. Everything will be okay. Only thing I'm giving you is my fire fist. You absolutely stupid, insane, ugly, short, greasy ass. You were saying, Doland? I was saying maybe shut the hell up before I use takedown on your annoying Mr. Rhyme looking ass. I knew you had it in you, Joe. Literally out of the 1,000s of possibilities I foresaw, your actions were the only way you could have caught this thing. I will always remember this moment. Haha, <laughs> funny dog, go bark, bark. Immunity to poison and look at the HP and speed. If we keep this thing alive into mid-game, he should be an absolute beast. Well done, Joe. We owe you one for this legendary capture. I'm also going to grab cut while we are here since Donald is a flipping imbecile forgetting it last time he played. What a waste of a move slot and a waste of time. You won't find any decent items or get any kills with that whack-ass trash heap of a move, Sleepy Joe. Oh yeah? Watch this. Hey, why, yo, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. You can't do this to me, Joey McBlowy. Oh, well, I think I just did. Finally, Donnie will be useful for something. Our new HM slave. Next will be Rock Smash, then Strength, then Fly. Perfect. Wait, why can't I cut down this tree? It's not those trees, Joe. It's the smaller bushes. The ones that look like a wig on a stand. Jesus Christ, this is the guy who caught a legendary Pokemon? A Pokemon that was featured in the third movie, no less? Banger movie, Charizard absolutely went crazy in the final fight. What are you talking about, Joe? He got his ass whooped. He was taking lucky pot shots at Entei, none of which even made him flinch. Then after like three or four fire blasts, Lizardin was literally about to get stomped out. He was three seconds away from getting his skull blown off point blank range. It was still a sick fight scene, Barack. Of course, Charizard stood no chance against an overgrown Flare Eon, but the choreography was still amazing for the time. I agree with Donald on that. It's not always about winning or losing. Sometimes you want to see big hulking creatures have an absolute slobber knocker of a fight. Still, Charizard didn't win that fight. That's the only point I was making. He's on fraud watch anyway, that overrated piece of sawsbuck shit. Whoa, whoa, the Gen 1 stand doesn't like Charizard. What kind of psychological trick is this? No tricks, just treats Donald. In the Indigo League, he was fine. I didn't mind him, but as the series and movies went on, he just became an ass pull every time. Like being able to defeat Iris's Dragonite? Please don't make me laugh. Oh, ho, 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 I'm laughing at this though, bitches. Lucky egg, let's go. I'm gonna shove it up my ass. Cut the clowning Joe. And keep that egg away from your ass. I ain't pulling it out this time. What do you gay marsupials get up to when I'm not looking? Nah, it's specifically your presence that arouses us, Barack. At least that's how I feel. Come here, fishy fishy. I'm not surprised the little swammy swimmers keep swimming away. You're creeping them out, Joe. Weird. My call-outs usually work on kids. Uh, here we go. Here we flippy mac dicks, dippity go. Dicks! Dicks! Ouchie mac motherfucking ouchie! I really need to fix this desk, my fucking fuck fuck toe keeps smashing into it for fucks fuck! Anyways, another Gardevoir isn't that crazy. That's dupes claws, right? How in heaven's sake do you keep stubbing your toe? More surprisingly, how are you not stroking your Orthworm to the Gardevoirs we keep encountering? Trust me, Barack, it's just a phase every man goes through. And woman, probably. Once you mature enough, though, all you can think about is Gallade close combating your extra-large anus. It's literally on my mind, 24-7. I would rather, uh, deep throat Gallade's arm with a side of dick cheese. No homo, though. How was that, Donald? Oh, God, that was the best you had? Let's just say we have a lot of work to do, Barack. Damn it. It just doesn't come so natural to me. I'll try to be more sus next time, I promise. Are you going to whip out another surprise performance today, Barack? That shit caught me so off guard the other day, I've got to say. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks, Donnie. But, no, there will be no other performances on this boat journey. 
That band was a steep cost the other day. I almost didn't have enough money to buy a Chibi Vic teeny plush I saw online. Oh, that sounds super cute. Can you show it to us, Barack? Well, I can show you in person, Joe. Just go to your mama's house. I left it there last night after I railed her like a car coal. Oh, shit. Sick burn. Oh, yeah. Is that so? Well, I fucked your mom last night like a Doug trio. What? I don't really get it, Joe. Did you have a threesome with someone and my mother? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Last night, I pounded your mother like a fennekin. What? Joe, fennekin learns scratch, not pound. No, nah, no. Nah, wait. I got it. Tonight, I'm going to solar beam your galvantula until unknown starts sky dropping a Z-move salandit backwards. All right, Obama, give me the news. How long does this pit of head have left until he permanently faints? Well, supposedly he was meant to die like 25 years ago. The nurse joys say he keeps hanging onto his focus sash for dear life, literally. Your mom is my focus sash and your dad is my waifu. Anyway, who is it this time? Oh my God, it's Godzilla. This would be quite the catch. Between this, the Entei, and the Heracross, we would have an unstoppable Generation 2 team. All right, Donnie, time to switch you in as I don't give a shiznitch if you die or not. Wait, Joe, watch out for pursuit. Do you know what randomized means, Donald? Didn't I ask you the same thing in episode one, Joe? No, you asked me if I was single, and just to remind you, no. Winona still has my heart. He's going to fucking pursuit your ass. I'm telling you, he won't don. Ah, you what the fuck? Holy Finian shit. That's what I'm talking about, Donnie. I knew you were cooking. You put my sage advice to good use and called out the goddamn pursuit. What a play. That was just my Gen 4 ladder PTSD kicking in. My actual guess would have been he uses Spark or some mad crazy shit. Uh, yo, what the frickity fricky frick? Joe is in DJ mode. That's how stunned he is at Donnie's play. Let's freaking go, Donald. You are whipping up a gourmet meal right now. Good shit. I have to switch. You I have moron. To switch. I He's have going to, to pursuit again. I Don't kill Donnie. Switch. Don't kill I me. To I want to live. I, I want to, to live. Oh. Oh, well, it was only Donnie. The fuck do you mean it was only Donnie? You bastard. You should have thrown a Pokeball. You knew it had pursuit, you fucking asshole. Man, fuck you, sleepy cocksucker, Joe. Oh, would you look at that? This Tyranitar is fast. That'll be good for us. More than a cheap-ass fear row ever would be. I hope Donnie gets manifested into the real world. Kills your whole family, cucks your wife, gets her pregnant, aborts the baby, shoots Keanu Reeves, pimp smacks a hoe, pimp smacks a Joe, and then drops you from 10,000 feet in the air. Finally, I hope it blast burns your car. Gasp! Leave my car out of this! Who is out here cucking wives? That's no good. Oh, look, it's Keanu. Your voice sounds like Poochiana shit. You good? I am good, Mr. President. Thank you for asking. Now, who wants to shoot me? You want to see me do the Matrix trick again, don't you? Also, call this thing King Kong. He's my favorite monkey of all time. Anything for you, Keanu Senpai? Well, uh... I don't know who would ever say they want to shoot you, Mr. Keanu. Is this true, Bebop? Not at all, Reeve Slice. To quote Donald Fudge Face, I want a cartoon bird to come to life and murder a sweet, innocent child, then unload a full magazine into John Wick's thickety-splickety skull. Something along the lines of that anyway. Gosh darn. Donnie boy, don't make me go and tell Santa to put you on the naughty list again. Mr. Keanu, I'm truly and deeply sorry. Forgive me. Haha, <laughs> of course, you little jester, you. All right, fellas. Don't go throwing too many daisies at each other. Fun is only safe in small doses. Drink some lukewarm water when you get the chance, okay? Man, I don't know what it is about that guy, but he's just so damn lovable. I agree with you, Joe. It almost makes me not sad to see Donnie go. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is like the 87th time I've suffered heartbreak in my life, but this time it's a little bit easier thanks to Mr. Reeves. I owe him one. Let's check out King Kong while we are at it. Effect Spore is a pretty good ability for Gen 3 standards, and those stats are juicy. As we know, his moveset is pretty ballin' as well. Another brilliant catch, Joe. Well done. I'm going to put her straight on to the team, seeing as we have a slot open. Jesus Christ, Joe. Have a bit of sympathy for Donnie, would you? It's like you don't even care that we are down a Pokemon. Okay, real talk, I do care, Donald. I just don't want to think about it too hard, as the negativity will affect my gameplay. It will have a knock-on effect 
and kill even more teammates. So let's just move on as quickly as possible. Okay, you know what? You're right, Joe. Donnie was an invaluable ally. But at the end of the day, we lost one Pokemon to gain another. We went even in that exchange. And you know what? It might turn out better down the line. LMAO, this man thinks he can compare a fear road to a T-tar. Get lost, you guzzlord looking fat ass. Hop on a go goat and lose some pounds, Snorlax's twin brother. Ha. That's too far even by my standards, Barack WTF. It's okay, Joe. I don't give a shit about what Barack says right now. All that matters is that you paid respects to Donnie. That means more than anything to me right now. Anytime, Donald. I do miss Donnie a lot, but he would want us to raise our heads up right now and beat this son of a gumball game as soon as possible. Thank you, Joe. You always know just what to say. Donnie would also want you to hop on a treadmill using extreme speed, you munchlax, butt muncher. Now shut the hell up about a fear row. He's dead, murdered, absolutely slaughtered. So I don't want to hear about his weak ass anymore. It's Charbok. Who the hell is Charbok? Charmander's inbred brother? That's his name. I don't know why they keep misspelling it in game, but he says Charbok in the anime. So it's Charbok. 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 I think you're starting to lose it, Joe. Drizzle's a disgustingly good ability. Considering other abilities are random, it's very likely we will have other Pokemon with Swift Swim or Rain Dish. Hell, even if we got a Thunder TM to synergize with the weather, I would be happy enough. Eruption ain't gonna do shit, so hopefully it will weaken it for an easy capture. Joe with the great move choice. Although wait until you see what the Arbok is about to use. Oh, plow my guts. No toxic orb. D-dance on dancing big D's D. Let's freaking go. Yeah, you said it, Donnie. Slide Arbok's tail down my foot and wrap his mouth around my fist while having the sexy time? I'm not going to lie to you, Barack. That was Mudsdale shit. Go, go, dookie. I honestly cannot tell if you were trying to be sus or having a stroke. Is everything okay? Those numbers overloading your brain again? Just throw the fucking nest ball, Joseph Joestar. Well, since Obama just spoiled that, we caught it. Call it Solid Us Snake from Metal Gear Solid. Those games are pure perfection. They make me cry every time. No, no, call him Samuel to represent my people. Arbok looks like a guy who would be tired of these mother freaking snakes on this mother freaking plane. But he is the snake on the plane, Barack. I'm calling him Snack so he can gobble me up later. Ugh, I feel like I've been in this line forever. Oh my God. Obama, you deal with this. Okay, Joe, listen to me very carefully. Get the fuck out of the line right now. This isn't your role-playing server where you pretend to line up behind kids at an ice cream truck or whatever the freaky fuck you do on VR chat. We have a game to play, you sloking dick, so move along before I let this gun blow in your face like an urshifu. Yeah, Joe, you drift loon prick. Do you think Obama and I have Dialga chilling in our house with infinite time to watch you do this creepy bullshit? Screw your head on like a magnemite and start running like a score bunny, you white fuck. What's that? My comment question of the day? Yeah, I'm ready with it. What the crock of rock cock was that selective hearing? All right, boys, my comment question of the day is this. What is your favorite Pokemon movie of all time? Mine is definitely Lucario and the mystery of Mew. Though the first ever movie with Mew is an all time classic. This one just barely tops it. I'm pretty sure this is why Lucario has such a massive fan base. Aside from the fact he's also in Smash. So much to love here, but my absolute favorite part is the Reggies and their sounds. Even to this day, they are still crafting memes about such wacky, destructive titans. That is a pretty good movie, Joe. And I wish Regirock would uppercut my great balls someday. My fave has to be Hoopa in the Clash of Ages. So many overpowered legendaries here. Need I say any more? The lore and backstory to Hoopa was also so sad. I just wanted things to work out for the little guy. But anyway, the big badass fights and clashes were definitely the sickest part. The movie feels like a fantasy Ubers match at the Pokemon Company. Very good choices all around boys. Mine would have to be Pokemon the movie, I Choose You. Not even because it's a retelling of the first few plot points of the series. Though to see Ash set off on his journey in such high quality definitely hit me in the feels. The pacing and fight scenes were a standout in this one. 
Plus, Marsh Shadow is just such a cool Pokemon. I've never met anyone who doesn't like it. He's a sick little fighter. Holy shit, we all actually agree our choices were good. But quickly, boys, can I ask, did any of the Gen 3 or Gen 4 movies miss? Rise of Darkrai is top five easy, the Deoxys movie was incredible, and the Manaphy Pokemon Ranger movie was top tier too. Come to think of it, the Latias movie was phenomenal, and the RC Us movie slaps too. Joe, you might be cooking. Not only in movie tastes, but Joe is cooking in these battles too. Donnie, Team Aqua is drowning in L's right now. I'm about to make them wet their pants. They'll regret the day they ever tried to take down Ziggy. Who is four levels away from evolving, by the way? Looks like we will get to see its evolution next episode. I'm so excited. I hope it is something busted that will carry us to the Elite Four. Although that being said, has anyone noticed this run has been going a little too smooth? You're right, Joe. We almost have three gym badges, yet we only just lost our first team member. Are we really that skilled at this game? Are we really going to solo this challenge with your wife, Ziggy, and King Kong? I'm a little worried we are going to just plummet in kills out of nowhere. <laughs> Wait until next episode, fuckers. <laughs> okay, what in the cleaver fuck was that? Brock Ayo, you good, my guy? Sorry, boys, disregard that outbreak. The demons just took over for a second, that's all. Donald, what in the totodile munch was that hunch? Is someone going to die next episode? Unfortunately, that's what it sounded like, Joe. And next episode, it's my turn, fuck. I'm shitting harder than a slakoth right now. I'll not get my pussy pounded like a purloin. Quiet down, boys. Think nothing of it. Look, we get another encounter in the route up north. Then let's call it a day. What do you say? You can relax with a fat Mackie D's to rest easy until the next play session, Donald. Well, in honor of Donnie dying, I was actually thinking of getting some KFC boneless chicken if anyone wants to join me. Thoughts? That's very thoughtful of you, Donald. I'll come with you. If Hell you to the motherfucking no! Hey, Donald Coxlobber, catch him! You betrayed the McDonald's pack for the last fucking time, you fake Rodom fan bitch. You're gonna kill everyone next episode. Dog is dead. Ziggy is dead. Your wife is dead. King Kong is dead. If you could kill God, you fucking would you wasteland shit stain? Get fucked by a claw, Witzer's meaty claw, jackass. He's oh messing God. with you, oh Donald. God. Don't oh listen God. to him. Oh God. He's just trying oh to get in your head. Oh You've got this oh champ. Oh no need to worry. Oh oh You're God. the king. All right, let's end the video on a banger. Give us something meaty to work with here. Meaty is an interesting word choice there, Joe. It's Wuggy McSnuggy. Wug Trio is from Gen 9, you traitor. Oh, mill tank balls. And on a banger, this fucker says, what the actual fuck are you doing, Joe? Just because the video is longer than 20 minutes doesn't mean you can fall asleep at the wheel, you fucking trubbish. Side note, isn't it strange how Wiglet and Wug Trio aren't Paldean forms of Diglet and Dug Trio? They aren't even paradox forms. It doesn't make any sense. I always saw them kind of like Illumis and Volbeat Barak. Psychic time. Oh, mill tank ass crack. At least this Diggy Ziggy killer is asleep. I have every right to hunt down its family while he's asleep, but I'll be the hero and set aside that killing spree for now. My hero, not killing or touching kids for once. You sure are the pinnacle of heroic bravery, Mr. President. Man, I would love for a Doug Trio to get on a train and run me over. No homo, though. How was that, Donald? No Barack that was literally wet booty clappers. Peep this. I would love a Doug Trio to run a train on me, then run me over with their 40-inch erect rubbed-up cock sticks. Omega no homo. Ah, I see. Let me try again. I would love nothing more than a Doug Trio to fuck my wife thrice. No homogenized milk, though. How hard is it to say you want a triple threat sweat match between three greased up brown sticks coming out of the ground? The anal probation rotation would be a continuous ass blasting cycle. No homo. Damn, Joe, that was slick. Why am I such a failure? How can I predict Pokemon plays down to the very last detail, yet I can't be sus at all? God gave me a shitty hand. I'm the Magikarp. You guys are the Gyarados. Don't give up Barak. You just need to find the right balance. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. It took me 20 years to get to where I am now. Don't get me wrong, having money helps you never get depressed. But I'm sure one day you will find true equilibrium. Damn, these edibles been hitting different. This Cheeto really is giving sage advice right now. Well, this Cheeto's about to gobble the biggest glizzy from KFC and jizz in the meal. Call it the cum bucket. Plankton and the Krusty Krab don't want this smoke, believe me. 
Never mind, this crosses the line. Thank God you're about to catch this thing, Joe. Nice, I've caught every freaking animal in my balls today. I'm quite proud of myself. We all know what the nickname is gonna be, right? Three bros chilling out, why who else could it be? Sometimes we bicker and sometimes we argue. But at the end of the day, we do these things because we care so much about each other and the journey we are on together. All right, Donnie, I'll be in the limo outside yours in about 10 minutes. You sure you don't wanna come with us, Barack? It's getting a little late for me, guys. Thanks. Enjoy your chicken and cum bucket. Oh, trust me, I will. He's still a traitor. What's popping my lovely bundles of joy? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today it's Donald's turn to wreck it. No Ralph needed. I'm excited to see how today goes. Yo, what's good, Barack? You're sounding a bit strange today. Is everything good? Everything is absolutely flipping fantastic, Joe. The weather was good yesterday, so the farm crops have been growing nicely. How did you fruitful boys get on at KFC? Not gonna lie, it was strange, Barack. Donald only ate 26 family buckets instead of his usual 34. I couldn't stop worrying about him since. Speaking of that peachy mother lover, is his discord bricking up? He hasn't said a word. Obama, you psycho, don't you speak to me ever again. After last episode, I'm trying to play cautiously and focus with all my heart and soul. What? I'm confused. What happened last episode? Is it because I said Big D will never catch on? The truth hurts, Donald. First of all, Joe, that was like a million episodes ago. Second, I go by Girthy D. Now it has a better ring to it. Third, I'm talking about when Barack switched out with Sukuna last time. Keep your cursed energy away from me, demon. Oh, I love sorcery fight. Barack hit Donald with a black flash. Or I guess for you, it's just a flash. Ryoki Tenkai. Oh, for ugly dick. Here it comes, Joe. Watch out. Fukuma, Mizushi. Sukuna, spare my chance, yes. Please. Wait, I only watched the dub. Can someone translate that for me? Malevolent. Try. Oh, Sirs get shit. Donald, why didn't you tell me it was the ultimate domain? Take Joe, please. Give him the eternal sleep. He's always been looking for death. Ah, uh, ha, ha. I'm just kidding, guys. That wasn't really Sukuna. He's fast asleep right now. He won't be bothering anyone anytime soon. So he does reside in your body, Barack? All right, enough about cursed energy. Back to the gameplay. Celebi is a pure beast and easily top 10 Pokemon out there. The OG Dialga. Rest in peace, you fucking onion fairy. Are you fucking kidding me? This movie made my heart wither and die, and you call fucking Celebi a fucking onion fairy? Rest in peace, you fucking onion fairy. No, Celebi is not an onion fairy. Species, onion fairy. That's not even Celebi's real species, you dog shit. Type, onion fairy. Shut the hell up, primate. Anyways, let me tell you, boys, if we had a Celebi, we would be unstoppable. Honestly, even if we got Mew or Jirachi, it would be curtains. 600 base stats, mythicals can never be bad in a randomizer. Donald, are you sure you'll be able to handle the May 2 fight? It's called a run killer for a reason you know. I'm gonna focus punch this bitch into next Saturday. She's the one you should be worried about, Barack. Yeah, worried about what I'll do to her, maybe. Fuck up, Joe, he's focusing. Oh, Sharpedo Pedo Penis, it's a Nazi. Dog is about to smoke this iron golem. I might fuck around and make an iron shovel out of his corpse when I'm done for gits and shiggles. Wait, why did you call him a Nazi, Joe? Because in Diamond and Pearl, he does the Hitler salute Barack. They censored it in other Gen 4 games. Wow, that's gas. Oh God, um, I mean, wow, I did not see that coming. Well, you'd want to start doing the Sieg Hell and stand at attention, you dumbass. This fight ain't no cake in the park. Cake? Did someone say cake? Remember, we can't use items, Donald. So if we get too low on health or get a status inflicted to us, then we have to play around it for the rest of the fight. Listen to him, Donald, he's the god at this game. I'm not a beginner, Barack. I won't let our Pokemon get paralyzed or burned or any of that nonsense. Oh, Excadrill ass shredder. Are you for fucking real? Here comes your wife. Damn it. I told Melania to stop coming when the boys are around. He said, your wife, Joe, don't you mean Jill? I heard what the man said, Donnie. On Christ, if Psycho Boost hits, I'll be pissed. What's the switch, Donald? I ain't no pussy. Knockoff would do hella damage. You're fucking throwing? 
I wish Psycho Boost would go through the screen and fucking eviscerate Donald. That was some next level dog shit right there. Holy cow. No! What the fuck do you mean, no? You fucking sunk yourself, you Delmize dick diver. I hope a bear tick ravages your body and the fuck off reaches a bumfuck mountain. You're useless, Donald, useless. As far as I can see, I didn't do anything wrong. Aw, oh, hell no. This munching Koopa-looking ass isn't getting away with this one. Your opponent went for one of the strongest psychic moves in the game, which was boosted by same type attack bonus on our low special defense Pokemon. It was a guarantee one shot since the beginning of time and space. But oh no, let's not blame Young Goose and his crusty, dusty, fat ass. He's perfect in every way, and we all love him. Very, very much. And now Lai Noon is here to bone you like a Lucario. If I lose to this Lai Noon, I will go into outer space, find aliens, and give them permission to kidnap me with upside-down shopping carts. And now he's burned. One leaf blade crit and bullshit will be turned to bull doo doo. Are you free for two funerals this Thursday, Barack, courtesy of our beloved Oompa Loompa here? Trust me, boys, I will not let bullshit die. Let me cook. I am him. Sit the zippity fuck down right now, Don Dozo. Let me bring you back to Earth before those aliens and I probe you, South Park style. Let's get the facts straight. I am him. Joe is closer to me than your trashy ass. More like you are her, you worthless bitch. Flock off, Featherface. Even May says I was better than she expected. Yeah, she was expecting you to lose five Pokemon. But no, you are the master after all. You only lost arguably our most overpowered one. This makes me appreciate you that little bit more, Barack. You truly are America's greatest icon. Look, guys, I'm sorry your wife is dead. I really am. These things happen, though, don't they? Of course, Donald. She was a noble sacrifice. Just don't tell anyone about the body. Same here. The fridge was empty last night, and I was as hungry as a hecking chonker. So luckily, you won't have to worry about the body with me. Uh, Barack, I was talking about the Heracross. And Joe, our Heracross is a guy, so what were you also talking about? All I will say is, why do you think I was hoeing up Melania earlier? Anyways, guys, don't try contact Jill anytime soon. Donald, if you want to skip these trainers for now, that would be a smart choice. We have like three encounters coming up soon. So we could use these trainers next episode to train up the newbies. I can also knock out Cycling Road in the Trick Master's house. I love his little puzzles. Are you shitting me, Barack? What kind of a puzzle is using Cut 2,000 times? Or Rock Smash 80 million times? I'd rather watch a tandem mouse evolve violently. The implications on that is disgusting, Joe. Well, my schlong is disgusting. It literally looks like a dried up furret. But hey, what can you do? At least it can still use acid spray. I cannot believe we have two in the dead box just after I opened my mouth last time. Okay, I'm gonna stay focused for the rest of the run now. I've loved and lost, and I can't do this again. Hey, yo, presidents in this bitch? Yeah, yeah we, we in, in this, this bitch. bitch. Sicko mode. Good defenses and great speed should be reliable enough. If the three of us just work together for once, we can do anything we put our minds to. You said it, Barack. To cheer us up, I've got our comment question of the day. The question is, who is your favorite gym leader in the series? Mine is Jasmine. Her first fight of two Magnemites isn't too special, but then she womps your team with a level 35 Steelix out of left field. If you didn't pick Cyndaquil, this fight was pretty tough. But her rematch in Heart Gold Soul Silver is just unbelievably OD. Metagross, Empoleon, Skarmory, for a post-game fight that is some serious firepower. Wait, watch out for the ghost girl, Donald. Joe, what the hell are you talking about? Oh my freaking God. Which, 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 bitch, which, 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 bitch, which, which. Donald is in sprinkler mode right now. Mine is Raihan from Sword and Shield. Let's set the record straight. That man has the sauce. Facts. He could riz up any chicken galar if he wanted. He's also one of the strongest gym leaders canonically. They say if he moved to another region, he could easily be champion, but he decides to stay in Galar for the salty runback versus Leon. Yes, he's also black, but that's just a bonus here. Not even a standout feature. Fair enough, boys. Mine is, uh, who's that seventh gym leader from Sinnoh? Candace Dick fit in your ass. 
Did I get them? Did the viewers fall for it? Wait, Joe, I don't think it was Candace. It was definitely something starting with can, but I can't remember. Yeah, like, didn't she love sweet things? Like those delectable treats, what the hell are they called? Ha, good one, Donald. As if a plump print plup like you could forget the word candy. Candy snuts, snuts fit in, in your, your mouth? mouth? Oh, Ziggy fucker. What the hell, guys? I thought we were all friends here. Ziggy would never fuck you, Joe. Sorry to tell you. And that's what you get for trying to deez nuts our audience, our beautiful, gracious audience who has subscribed to the channel and liked the video by now. That's true. I do apologize. But I would let Candace stockpile, swallow, then spit up deez nuts in that order. Her boosted defenses would crumble at the sight of my shriveled centret. Did, you, did your dick just de-evolve? Is that what just happened right now? It's a serious problem, I know. I've been trying to primal reverse it for a while now, but it just keeps using minimize instead. I know the feeling. Some dicks use explosion. Mine uses self-destruct. It's awful, really. Can't say I understand the feeling, boys. Oh, look, it's Buzzwool. That's not Buzzwool, Joe. That's Electabuzz. From Gen 1, Jesus Christ, you really are useless. Oh, darn, that's my bad. This is the guy Smoochum evolves into. I remember now. Thanks, Donald. I'm sure you've played Gen 1 multiple times, Joe. You're telling me you've never used one of these things? I've played red and blue probably 2,604 and a half times in my life, and each playthrough is the exact same. Charmander, all the way until the Safari Zone, catch a Dratini, do the missing no glitch, and spam rap as a level 100 Dragonite for the rest of the game. The thrill and satisfaction of stun locking my opponent gets my heart pumping. Fuck this Buzz. He's got Psycho Boost. Kill it with fire! Murder! Murder! Are you telling me you've done that playthrough over 2,600 times, Joe? How the hell is that fun? I imagine my Dragonite wraps my rival's final Pokemon to death as I wrap my hands around his neck and choke that cocky bastard until he lives up to his name and physically turns blue. Kill him with a crit, Ziggers! Shut the fuck up, you whale lord sucker. Don't go killing our fucking encounters just because you can't admit you made a mistake. Don't go blaming Psycho Boost for nuking a fighting type, you naive fool. All right, time to send this green bitch back to the hospital. Wait, did you find Wally? It's Where's Waldo in the U.S., Joe, not Where's Wally. I'm talking about that shitty little Pixar pixie dick robot Wally Barack. That bastard owes me $20 for buying his drinks in the club last time. Why were you drinking with a fictional robot in a club? And did you just call it the club? Stop trying to be hip, Joe, you old Azelf looking ass. Well, this seems like a bad matchup. Iron defense versus drill peck and resisted eruption. All I ask is that you don't sacrifice Ziggy like you did your wife Donald. And don't try be a hero and break through confusion. No one thinks you're cool, you fat so. Don't bring your wife into this ass clowns. Bullshit is going to start cooking with tea punches left, right and center. A few electrical jabs should pummel this watery doggo. Please, I got this. We are down the Electabuzz from the right route, and you've already killed a Pokemon. If you lose someone else, we will be at a net loss of minus three for today. Donald, don't play stupid. Fucking button mashers, I swear to God. Hold on, let me cook. Activating the comeback mechanic. Ha ha ha. Well, that was bullshit. Get it, guys? Are you for fucking real? You are trash, scum of the earth, worthless ass, should have been killed and suffocated at birth looking ass. Fuck you, obesity incarnate. If you put down the controller for one second, you could have used your pea-sized brain to figure out that you're an utter dipshit. You are a waste of time, Donald. Diabetes should put you out of your misery right now. You two are fucking me up big time. I said, don't bring up the past with my downfalls, and all you packets of balls seem to do is bring up how ass I am. Well, maybe if you stopped nagging on about my weaknesses and gave me proper support, we wouldn't be in the shitter right now. I know the viewers were probably worried we had an overpowered team, but now I hope you see why we need it. Joe and I can get by with the most mediocre monsters, but... The Chode Choker here can't even fucking win with moves like Spore and Shadow Ball. How do you let someone with Spore die? Like the enemy can't pull the Sleep Claws card and we can abuse that shit until the mill tanks go home. But the penis slobber here can't even do that. He'd rather let his Pokemon hit themselves 
in their fucking confusion three times in a row. What a fucking noob. You disrespectful Maractus touchers. That man can make a mistake every once in a while. You two are no fucking, we're near perfect. Oh, trust me, we can all make mistakes. But what you've done today can be seen as war crimes in some countries, you fool. Well said, Average Joe. Look, boys, it's fair to say my plays haven't been great so far, but I promise you I will make it up to you guys with an absolute fuego encounter. This will be the Pokemon that begins the Donald J. Trump Ketchum Redemption arc. Cringe, but still better than the Donald Volleyball Milf arc. Personally, I can't wait for the Barack Meteor Mashes a Carbink arc. The manga version goes stupid, if I recall correctly. All right, here we go. Lady Luck, please suck me and don't cuck me tonight. Get fuck money, yeah. get bitches, yeah. get money, yeah. get bitches, yeah. get money, fuck get fuck bitches. Me. Rest in peace, you fucking onion fairy. Oh, hell to the no, we ain't doing this again. I swear on Muhammad, I will catch this thing no matter what, boys. I feel like I owe you two that much, at least after my piss poor performance today. Just watch out, Donald. This thing is definitely powerful and should be great for us if we do catch it, but be wary of its power while it's the enemy. Aw, oh, shit, here we go again. He leaves in the psychic type to Mega Horn. What a pro. Listen, if anyone has learned the importance of switching out Pokemon, it's Girthy D. I'm gonna chop this spring onion perfectly. It'll complement my roast remoraid for dinner. Don't even joke about killing this thing, Dolan. As Joe said, we are at a net minus three today and the adventure is slowly starting to buckle up on us. If we don't play our cards right, the viewers will never see us become champions like we deserve to be. And if I don't get my 50th consecutive win, just know it's on site if I see you on the streets. We already caught Entei. I'm seriously not getting my hopes up for this Celebi. Plus, even if we do catch it, Donald will name it something fucked up and probably kill it after four battles. On my wallet, I will catch this thing. The only thing fatter than me is my pockets, and I'm putting it all on the line. Even if dog presidents and peak have to die, I will catch this thing. Whoa, whoa, back the funk up. We did not agree to this. He has ancient power, get dog out of there. Can you not play like dog water for once in your overweight life and not kill something while simultaneously catching something? The only thing he's catching is AIDS right now. Maybe even a little bit of chlamydia on the side. For your information, chlamydia is my main course. King Kong has recovered, so I'm gonna switch her in, hopefully paralyzed with spark and recover whenever I need to. Foolproof plan if you ask me. Now I know my eyesight is 1.5 out of 20, and I have short-term memory, and my eyesight is four quarters out of 20. But didn't this Celebi use arm thrust a second ago? I fail to accept you can punch King Kong to death. See, what I tell you, she's a beast. I can literally hear your sweat drops hit your mic like it's fucking raining outside Donald. I'm sure Joe can smell the shit you just dropped in your pants too, or maybe it's his own, who knows anymore. King Kong is on a collision course with the Shadow Realm at this rate. Oh yeah? Watch this, you baboon. Needle arm flinch right now. Oh, poipole penis. We living, easy. Girthy D is expanding. But hey, you know what they say, right? They never expect the second recover. This shit is too easy. What, killing your own Pokemon? Yeah, you sure make that look easy. I heard the slaughterhouse is looking for new fucking workers. Slim Shade D. Or do us all a favor and put your own life on the line. I've never been so fucking pissed over something so out of my control. You're literally worse than my eight-year-old nephew and he licks worms for fun. Go munch an omni-boosted dick, you pathetic loser. Man, fuck you, Donald. You couldn't have said it any better, Barack. He is quite literally worse than an inanimate object. How can someone be dumber than a plank of wood? I actually feel violated knowing that I share the same working title as you once had you inside out pussy. I hope you catch this Celebi so I can go back in time and murder you just as you were born, then your father, fuck your mother, then Hitler, then kill Hitler in that order. Wow, if I had a nickel for every time the Nazis came up today, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. What's even scarier is if I had a nickel for every fucking killing spree Donald went on, I'd have even more. 
Guess that's the only win Germany is getting out of this, but fuck my life. It's just the truth. Hey, Siri, set an alarm on my phone for seven years from now. Call the alarm. My old greasy Mudsdale friend finally catches a fucking cabbage and make sure the boy's a liar. Part two plays covered by myself and Barack. That shit slaps. Also, Siri, can you please wipe my ass after what that fuck Donald has done to me? Almost as much shit in my room right now as there is on the screen right now because Donnie boy is playing like absolute cack. I said I will catch this thing and I mean it. I won't let anybody else down. I have to catch this thing immediately or else all of my friends will die. The pain is mine alone to bear and I shall walk this path solo. Bitch, this ain't your pain to bear. You're having a fucking giraffe here. You honestly couldn't give two mega evolved shits about King Kong and I find that very unfair to my homeboy Reeve Slice. I hope he pistol whips your funny bone the next time he sees you on God. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm done with this shit. I don't give a flying press fuck if presidents die now. I made a promise to catch this Celebi, which I will hold my end of the promise. But if you two want to keep bitching about me, then I will have the last laugh. <laughs> what a sore limp dick loser. Things don't go your way and you cower away in denial. Barack and I can very well continue this run on our own in another server if you're going to continue acting like a bliss Cephalon Donald. Calm down, Joe. He's finally caught it. Things are getting a little heated at the moment. Let's just tone it down a bit. You know what? Fuck Celebi. It is now bottom 10 Pokemon of all time. Dialga is cooler in every aspect. This asshole has caused more trouble to our player USA more than any trainer or Pokemon we have come across so far. I feel like there's only one person we could nickname this threat after. I see the comparison very clearly. Don't get me wrong. But Donald, did you ever think, now we have to use Osama on our team? Aren't we just spreading his influence and making him stronger through level ups? Of course he didn't think. Has he been thinking at all this episode, Barack? Who seriously loses three Pokemon so easily? You slice through them like butter holy hell. Look, let's end on a high note. I caught the Celebi in the end that should up our firepower a good bit. I'm also going to evolve Ziggy just to help lift the mood a little bit. Who knows, boys, it could be another legendary. Isn't that exciting? I'm excited for your funeral, that's about it. I also have a feeling that will be very soon. Okay, Joe, that's enough. Need I remind you that the viewers are watching. They don't want to hear this arguing. Or maybe they do. Some of them aren't right in the head, but that's okay, I guess. I just want to take this moment to, again, thank you all for watching these videos. Game Producer 6 is very grateful for all the love and wonderful comments you have been leaving him on these videos. And it's truly a massive motivation booster. He works a full-time job and balances his social life outside of these videos, so releasing them weekly is definitely a challenge at the moment. But to him, your words are more than worth it. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you all so much. I still haven't gotten my check for these first few episodes. What are you talking about? He's handing us cold, hard cash in person, so that way we can avoid taxes. A genius idea, I must say. Even a tax evasion master like me hadn't thought of such a brilliant idea. Yeah, that man really uses double team six times against the government just to dodge those financial deductions. Oh, we get to see the silhouette. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Hmm, not bad. Oh, now I'm excited. If you say it's not bad, it's probably pretty good, Barack. Let's go. You Pinocchio piece of shit, how dare you lie to us like that? What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with another normal type. Plus, it still has shell armor, right? You're absolutely right, Joe. I can tell its HP is already in good condition just by looking at it, which paired with that ability makes it extremely reliable. Speed and defense are great, too. Unfortunate that its special attack is weak considering the moveset we have on it, but we have plenty of levels to gain for better move choices. I would say that evolution was pretty worth it. It could have been a legendary, damn it! You have no right to complain. Just because you don't want to fuck it like the rest of us doesn't mean you can whine about it. Uh, let me be clear, I'm not on that bandwagon. I would not fuck a wiggly tough no matter how much money was on the table. Who said anything about money, Barack? I meant for free, obviously. Don't objectify wiggly toughs, you sicko. They aren't products that one simply buys then smashes. Very thoughtful of you, Joe. Why don't you keep going on about that while I deposit King Kong on the sly? 
I mean, King Kong could catch this ding dong if you know what I'm saying, so there's no forgiveness there, Donald. All jokes aside, it's impossible for these mythicals to be bad Pokemon. They are probably the most consistently reliable Pokemon in any given randomizer. Get in the party, Osama! All right, guys, any final words for our beautiful audience? Yeah, just one thing, Donald. You're a terrestrialized fuckwad. Uh, you're pretty dumb, Donald. And stupid. And dumb. And stupid. And dumb. And I don't like you anymore, you meanie. Wow, Joe's words hit deeper somehow. Hello, guys, and especially girls. Welcome back to another episode of the President's Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke playthrough. How are we all feeling today? Can't lie, Joe, I feel fantastic. I've literally never felt so good in my life, and I don't know why. How are you? Whoa, 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 don't you dare be in a good mood after the suffering and torture you put all of us through last episode. Your thoughtless actions killed some of our best monsters. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should take some advice from low-tier God. Now! Anyways, I'm also feeling pretty good. I got a crisp 30 hours of sleep last night. How are you today, Barack? Sigh. Not gonna lie, boys, I feel like Diglett Dung. I just have been feeling under the weather lately. Maybe it's because of wars happening all across the globe. Maybe it's because of world hunger. But to be honest, it might just be because of a kid's monster collecting game. That's more than likely the case. Just sweet crust, Barack. What the hell happened? Well, last night I was trying to shiny Hunt Rayquaza. I hit all the frame perfect inputs and pulled off the manipulation in record time, but there was a problem when I encountered the shiny. What was the issue, Barack? Did you fail to catch it? Or did you slam your Game Boy down in excitement, causing the game to freeze and lose it forever? No, none of that nonsense. You see, the issue was, he was black. I'm afraid I don't understand. Isn't shiny Rayquaza meant to be black? I hate black shinies! Whoa, 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 whoa! Barack, what the Pikachu Piccadilly shit? How can you of all people hate black shinies? That goes against all rules of nature. All right, Raiden, calm down. I just don't like the coloring and how the black is used. Like, it literally looks like Rayquaza's skin is black. And that doesn't make any sense. Are you a shiny Rayquaza, Barack? Exactly. How would that make any sense? I'm a freaking baller, a legend in my own right, but I ain't no mystical sky snake. Finally, you get me, Joe. Do I? I don't even think I get myself. Both of you need to get some bitches, but that's besides the point. Very interesting thing we've learned about you today, Barack. But at least we know our Pokemon are safe with you in this episode. Oh, I wouldn't say that now. If anything, I think I'm more unstable than Donald last episode or Joe trying to go anywhere without falling. Like right now, my brain is telling me that jump kick will two hit KO. Whoa, this shell gone? Does that sound right to you guys? Well, of course we trust your judgment, Barack. You've never let us down before. Donald's right. If you don't make the right calls, we have no faith in this run. Well, fuck my ass with a pataya berry, Donald. We are boned. Sweet sir, Vine on a stick. We are in for a hell of a ride today, aren't we? Barack, please go sicko mode this episode. We desperately need it. Oh, God, I feel like I'm about to go dicko mode, if anything, boys. Enough about dicks. We are all grown-ups here. I'm going to fish north for our next encounter. Oh, no more dicks. 07 in chat. Come here, fishy fishies. Barack with the Omega cringe today. WTF is going on. This is you every episode, Joe. Never mind, boys. Dicks are back on the table. We Thank the Lord tonight. If there's dicks on a table, count me in, Barack Obama. You guys aren't funny with the sus shit. Grow the fuck up. Why do I have the be the serious one this episode? Obama, you better work on fixing your future site, because at this rate, you're going to mess up real badly. Don't worry. I'm still not like you incompetent trubbish who can't even catch a Pokemon. When I was two, I could still catch Mewtwo in a Pokeball while you can't even catch a fucking Electabuzz. Fact, no printer. So, no dicks? Yeah, why the hell did you even bring up dicks? I'm all for the sus, but you palafin beating mother Trumpers are just saying it to be strange. I hate it. Think about it, Donny boy. What do pokey rappers always say when making a bar about Rye Don? It's possibly one of the oldest Ligma jokes ever invented. Rye Don this dick. So appropriately, I will be calling this Rye Don this dick. Capiche? 
Whoa, whoa, hold on to your basculine biscuits. You freaking misspelled it. You called him penis dick, almost penis dick, but not quite. <laughs> Sukuna, stand the fuck down. I have Gojo on speed dial since last episode. Moshi Moshi. Boys, I can't lie. The stress of that Rayquaza last night was so intense. I called up our Torkoal Sensei Snoop to come through with the fucking skunk pack. I'm higher than a goddamn Alolan eggs egg you tore in this bitch. Guess it's official. The run is over. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, comment, rate, share, tweet, super like, super chat, subscribe, follow, and hit the follow button for more entertaining runs like this. Next game, we will try not to wipe before the third gym and kick Donald off the team. Joke's on you, Sleepy Joe. I'm not even the problem this episode. I swear, if you wipe to that fat fuck Watson Barack. Homies, listen up to the flip dippity plan you dig. I'm going to smoke the cycling road trainers right after smoking that loud, loud red. Get it? Ha ha ha, because he's loud and purple. Then I'm going to flick wick skippity skitty titty bouncing trickity trick. The trick master's house with his amazing and thought provoking puzzles to get some sickity clickity items. How does that sound? Hee <laughs> hee, I like the part when you said flick. So for all intents and purposes, this episode is going to have more filler than Melania's lips. I don't remember this part of the president's plays manga. This episode will still have less filler than the endless eight of Haruhi Suzumiya. It's a he, Luigi. All my homies love Lugia. Does anyone in the call like ho o more? Just need to check if I can still be friends with you guys. I do like ho o but the silver feather flocker is definitely more of a beast. There's a reason he was chosen to be mascot of XD Gale of Darkness. Well, then it's settled. Lugia is the best of the legendary duo from Gen 2. See, the main reason I hate ho o is because this young dick stain in the playground wanted to trade me his machoke for my ho o in the original gold version. He promised he would trade it right back since he wanted a ma champ. Let's just say that eight-year-old fuck got his shit kicked in harder than a hit monly. When you were young enough to be roaming the playgrounds, Joe, world wars were going on in the world, not fucking Pokemania. Are you seriously questioning Joe being in a playground? If you told me that happened last week, I'd believe you. Shit, who told you? On God, this Luigia is putting in work against our team. Is Peak really our best option right now? Honestly, this broccoli is our best option right now. <sighs> Barack, calm down with the mafafa. That shit'll make you ascend higher than Arceus himself. Oh, Lord, he coming. Since our analyst is too busy doing drugs right now, Joe, give me a goddamn hand here. This Luigi is no joke with blizzard, stun spore, and rough skin. If we encounter this thing later on, it could very well spell trouble. Its HP barely moves for Christ's sake. That's one chunky bird. Speaking of chunky bird, have you visited Donnie's grave yet? If you have, yes, that was me who poured apple shampoo all over his tombstone. Don't ask me why, but that shizzle was funny AF. You inconsiderate apom, you know he hated apples. When I see you, Mr. President, let it be known I will throw hands. And that bird shit on his epitaph? Yup, that was me, fellas. Serves that flying finuna, right? If he had just lived instead of dying, I wouldn't hate him so much. In this world, only the strongest survive. And that's just facts. Ha ha ha. Pokemon, am I right, boys? Someone remind me to thank God later for letting Barack do this stupid filler episode with these side trainers. If his patriot-eyed ass went against Watson, I would really worry for our team. Couldn't agree more with you, Joe. I bet nobody in the audience had Barack becomes the weakest of the three on their bingo card for this episode. But alas, here we are. Wait, the viewers do bingo cards? That's actually sick. Well, I actually don't know that for sure, Joe. Holy fuck, it's dog. Snack! 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 You really are in dicko mode right now, aren't you, Barack? Look, don't panic. The rain will weaken his fire punch and Peak has bone meringue. Look at you playing optimally. Doesn't this feel familiar, Barack? Do you want to start sipping some H2O and come back down to earth, please? Not really Donald, but it looks like I'll have to. I just used my future sight to see my own death. And now I understand the morality of life. We all exist on a spinning globe. For what, may I ask? We all live to die. Life is meaningless. We cannot bring our valuables of family beyond the barrier of death. So we must make history here on this planet if we want our lives to be fulfilled with a purpose. I didn't know my purpose. 
Until now, boys, my destiny, my meaning of life is obvious now. It's to beat a children's role playing game with self-inflicted rules. That kind of hit deep, and I'm totally with you on that, Barack. Donald, let's throw our negativity behind us. Turn over a new leaf, shall we? Man, I fucking hate Animal Crossing. It's a figure of speech, Donnie boy. Oh, right. Might be. You know what, Joe? Fuck it. We and this bitch. The three of us are the collective goats, and nobody can deny that. Who's with me? Did, did you just say we are the collecting throat goats? No, I didn't, but I wish I had. You've made me so proud. You're inserting sus stuff into words I never even intended. And I am beginning to analyze and understand pocket monsters on a deeper level. We are the perfect pair. I am inserting what into where? Yes, perfectico. All right, enough of your weeaboo shit. Obama, quick suggestion. Maybe you should use presidents more for two reasons. One, snack with drizzle is taking nine years to complete battles. We should maybe switch, train him, or grab the EXP share now as soon as possible. Two, we all practically agreed we are in this bitch. So how fitting would it be for the three of us to obliterate this cycling road, no exodia? As long as the opponent doesn't have magic cylinder, we Gucci. While we're all in high spirits, how about a good old comment question of the day? Today's question is, what is your favorite ability? Mine is levitate. Gaining a total immunity to earthquake. Sign me the F up. Gaining any sort of nullification to one type can be so important, and I really like Electros for that reason. Having no type weakness is badass. While I don't like Electros because he is one ugly mother fluffer, I do love that ability. To me, nothing can beat no guard. I just really appreciate that such a broken upside comes with such a major downside. Yeah, being able to hit dynamic punches and hurricanes and focus blasts is great and all, but then you could possibly get assimilated up the ass by Fisher or sheer cold which forms a fantastic balance. Two magnificent abilities, boys. Let's go three for three. I would have to choose huge slash pure power. Double attack, enough said. Look at how relevant Azu and Mawile are. Because of these abilities, they would drop down so many tiers if they had any other abilities. Damn, we have been on an absolute roll with these comment questions. I don't disagree with either of your picks, boys. Let's freaking go! Next battle, Presidents, is gonna go ham and terrorize every living soul around them. I Let's get it. Lower the excitement there, Barack. Don't you die on us yet. We can't let that prophecy come true. Joe is right. Don't get too hasty, Obama. Remember to breathe at a regular spin to type of tempo and focus your energy into this next battle. I think the weed is starting to wear off. I'm starting to regain my full color of observation hockey back. Oh, this battle is free. I can see it already. That's the spirit. Style on him, Barack. What you about to do to this sucker? Sucker Chuia. Peep this. Presidents is about to two hit KO with Psychic. This fool thinks Giga Drain will help him recover enough health to live another one, but he is sadly mistaken. Mama said knock you out. We'll watch the Giga Drain. If he gets a crit, we are toast. But Barack can see that two psychics is what's needed, so we already know Dick Tree Bell here isn't going to be critting shit. You got it, Joe. Thirteen is my magic number. Give it to me. Dramatic pause time. All right, enough fun and games. The next Mon is Ponyta, who is getting two hit killed by Jump Kick, neither of which will miss. If you guys had to pick a Doug Trio to be, which one would you choose? I'd pick the middle so I could be a fresh Joe sandwich. So you want to be surrounded by Barack and I's brown, sweaty, presumably naked bodies? Bit weird, Joe, but you do you, I guess. I personally don't get it either, Joe. But just don't bring down our class. I don't want all five of your heavy balls rubbing against my thigh, but if worse comes to worse, oh, I would shit. make a sacrifice. Oh, shit! Magic cylinder! Smeargle shit stains, mag cargo blowjobs, girder fisting, fuck's sake. How the poppy penis plucker did I manage to fucking miss that reading? Fuck. Hey, yo, that shit was so whack I literally dipped. That was some fucked up shit, Barack. Hope that dick is tasty because you fucking choked so hard. You literally gave me a goddamn heart attack, Barack. You fumbling fuck face, you shitty son of a bitch. I guess we ain't in here no more. Bummer. That's all you have to fucking say for yourself? 
I didn't know Michelle was a leaky lesbian because I just found out she's married to the biggest pussy on the motherfucking pokey earth. You stun fisk sniffer. You salazzle smasher. You fuck. Is Barack kills a Pokemon on anyone's bingo card? Well, shit, nobody is safe now. Get the hell off my back. A man can make a mistake. Chill your mother flipping beans. This is not a mistake. You can just glance over Barack. You killed all three of us inside the game and almost Donald in real life. This shit ain't no video game. This is literally life or death at this point. Wake the fuck up. You know you ain't like this, so grow a pair and start butt squeezing these trainers until their booties drop. I was with you all the way until the end there, pervy Joe. Look, Barack, I'm actually just so tired of this heartache at this point. As Elvis once said, don't go breaking my heart. I know I couldn't if I tried, but honey, if I get restless, well, I mean, baby, you know that you're not that kind. I get the message Kamala Cockers, but as I said, that was a one-time mistake. I genuinely don't know how I could have missed such vital information about my foe, but you have to admit, counter itself is a bit unpredictable. Waba Fett was banned for two generations. You know that already, Donald, so I can't say I was the sole reason that loss had occurred. To be fair, the rest of these trainers have been getting vagina vacuum pretty handily, so I guess we should just be grateful that we haven't lost anyone else. That's very true. Can I ask what do you guys see looking at Cray Dilly's neck? Penises. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure I'm not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. Y'all are capping if you say you ain't sucking off Professor Sycamore every day of the week. That man is a professor, all right. Professor of plowing my pinker chin, that is. I do agree with you, Joe. But don't fuel Donald's fantasies anymore. I always find it so strange that these trainers have level six Pokemon. Like in the original games, I think they were level seven Voltorbs. Why? So that they couldn't outspeed your level 20s and paralyze them? I never understood. They also gave decent experience Barack. So maybe to match their EXP scaling? I'm not really so sure myself. I don't have the answer to this. Joe, any ideas? Maybe the Gen 3 programmers just really hated Voltorb. Maybe Masuda said, Yo, make sure to include as many Kanto Pokemon in this game, homie. And then included extremely low-level fake Pokeballs for a few shits and a lot of giggles. At least they don't know self-destruct. That's a big dub on the designer's choice, TBH. Hot take, but Hoenn is actually one of the better-paced Pokemon regions, in my opinion. You don't have any long-ass caves or roots with annoying freaking encounters like Mount Moon or have to fight 20 million Geodudes who all know Explosion. Like Team Aqua is fine. They do tend to use a lot of the same water and grunty-esque Pokemon, but they are definitely not the worst in the series. Yes, Hoenn has a lot of water, haha, ha, say the funny 7.8 may may, but screw you all. Those routes are not nearly as long as people make them out to be, and they still feature a variety of trainers and Pokemon. So sit and swivel, bitch. Donald Ducklet Ketchup goes on a rant part always, plus nobody asked, plus you fell off, thus causing magnitude 10 plus core fish solos your fave. Can you two stop bickering and have a moment of peace for presidents? This man barely even made it through a full episode. Another 07 in chat, please. I apologize, Joe and Spaghetti Sandwich. Let us mourn the death of the three greatest presidents to ever do it. Thank you both so, so much. All right, Tina's dick is in this bitch. Let's go. Okay, so where are we off to again? The dick master's house? I mean, he does live directly under an overpass, so who knows what type of kinky stuff he sells on the side. Wait, is this the first puzzle? Well, peg me with the acro bike. How the goddamn hell would you ever figure this shit out on a first playthrough? Under the table. How do you and Teleon bastards crack this shit day -um? I was literally consuming the dankest kush, and my brain was still operating more efficiently than your stupid side duck looking ass. Quack for me, Donnie. Go on, quack for me. I would quack for Winona to step on me. Is that meant to mean anything, Joe? I'm pretty sure you'd do that for anyone at this rate, you desperate piglet. And here comes the HMO1 montage. There's gonna be more cutting here than a depressed 14-year-old's bedroom. Jesus Christ, Donald, you cannot fucking say that, what the fuck? That shit is a sensitive topic nowadays. Yeah, have a bit of respect, Donatello douche tits. Just because your money fuels your happiness doesn't mean you can comment on razors and sharp edges. 
Plus, we all know teenagers prefer ropes nowadays. Am I right? Obama, no. What the fuck? Wait, is that why in Pokemon it's called an escape rope? If you use it in real life, do you just die? Okay, boys, listen to my wiseness here for a fucking brief second, will you? I know I'm old, like very old. Like yesterday, my left nut started dragging across the floor old. But as I've spent more time on this earth, I've started to understand cultural changes and movements. When I was young and hanging out with Jesus, you would literally get hit with rock throw and rock slide for being gay. Back then, I never told anyone. And I'm glad nowadays young and old people can come out with whatever gender they decide because that shit is bussin' and I fucks with it. Mental health is also an important topic and one of the reasons why I wanted to do this bullshit series with you guys. Sometimes we fight, sometimes we cry, but most of all we laugh and I hope the audience does too. If I can brighten your day and make you 5% happier, then to me these videos are a success. I guess I do this for smiles or something. Uh, yo, what the, the Joe emotional arc is hitting deep right now, but I absolutely agree. Everything you said was 100% true. And I must say, I enjoy my time with you guys here. I hope you do too. I could never stand the thought of sitting in calls with you ridiculous chumps for anything beyond five minutes. But I must say, I've started to enjoy my time so far with this playthrough. And I guess it's all thanks to you guys. Thank you, Mr. Ketchum. Now, can we promise not to make any more distasteful jokes like that for the rest of the run? It kind of ruins the vibe, you know? Absolutely perfect, Joe. I'll stick to being sus and clamping your cheeks with my forensic banana. No problem, Joe. And did you just call me by my official league title? Oh, Josephine, you truly know how to win a man's heart. As I said, Donald, I couldn't admit that I was massively homosexual back in the day because I would have got a rock record of the face. But given the chance, I would have done more than kiss Jesus' cheek, let me tell you. Whoa, okay, I get the picture, Joe. Nah, 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 I'm only messing with you guys. What I can't joke about is his mama, the first MILF I ever met in my life. Do you mean the Virgin Mary? Oh, ho, 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 massive misconception. Every night she got her ass rode, and I ain't talking about no donkey. I'm not saying Jesus was my kid, but there is a slight possibility. Ironically, I pray to God every night hoping that he isn't, because being associated with him just brings about trouble. When we used to hang out, he was the freaking funkiest dude ever but then his wanted level would shoot up like it was fucking GTA, and we would have to sprint like Olympians to avoid death. Remember when we talked about Pokemon? Is that still something we do? To be fair, Barack, you're just cutting a few trees. Keep going, Joe. Tell us about the time Jesus killed a dinosaur with his sandals. Ah, ha, 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 you remember that one, Donnie? That shit had me dying of laughter for years. Um, hello? I don't remember you telling me this story. I'm starting to feel a little left out here, guys. When did we say we were getting our manicures done, Joe? I think it was 2.30 p.m. on the 20th of July at the back of Madison Street, where we used to dunk on those punks back in 88. Do I have those details correct? Correct, Amando Donnie. Your final dunk was absolutely sick, by the way. I forgot to give you credit for it back then. The way you snapped his neck like a glow stick was super satisfying. We flipping murked those suckers. Whoa, not to using memento. Am I right, guys? Whoa, well, Barack, shush for a second. My bestie and I were talking. Did you say bestie? Oh, shucks. Joe Chan. It's true, Donnie. What can I say? It's always been you, Mr. Ketchum. Oh, hell nah. Fuck this raw dog shit. Maybe this will grab your fucking attention, you circle jerkers. Oh, piss right off. Barack, what the fuck was that about? Huh? Well, besties, what did you think of my sick plays, huh? How about you fucking jack me off every once in a while? Did you ever think about my feelings? You two make me sick. The rich get richer. We live in a society. A society of morons, apparently holy kakuna coochie. Barack, you've killed more things than me now, and that's saying something. You're still high, Barack, aren't you? You haven't regained your powers back, am I right? We got to end this episode right now before more lives are taken from Barack's mistakes. No, Donald, I'm as sober as a slow king. Now sit the fuck down, son, and let me give you a music lesson. I have my powers back, and I know the viewers were getting worried about me soloing the verse or whatever, but let this be my one and only call out. If you mess with me or my family, I will line up our team into the perfect RNG value to massacre them in one fell swoop. Hell, even if you guys are being nice to me, I think I might kill off a few things here and there just to keep you on your toes and say, oops, my bad, I made a mistake.
Plus, early game, my power is at its strongest because damage rolls are relatively low. Once we get to the mid-game, my guesses will slowly start to become unreliable. TLDR, you fuck with Barack, you get the twin glocks. Capiche? And there it is, the evil antagonistic monologue. Is this Sukuna acting up again? And Donald, get off Sukuna's dick for five fucking seconds. Him and I negative diff you easy, so get his fucking name out of your mouth. Also, who do you think is fueling my powers? I was pretty good at Pokemon before I made that life-binding pact with him, but I've got to say he's very helpful in clutch situations. I thought this was a filler episode, yet it seems like the plot is thickening more and more as the minutes roll on by. Well, look, Snack gained a decent amount of experience today. We got to use Osama in battle, and we gained a good bit of money. That all counts as some sort of progress, doesn't it? And next time I got to fight Chubbs McKenzie in my first gym battle, I'm not going to lie, boys. I'm sweating piss and shitting piss and coughing up piss right now just thinking about that fight. If Barack had this much trouble with regular ass trainers today, how will I fare against a skillful gym leader next time? You can always pass your turn and let me do it, pissy Joe. I may be pissy, but I ain't no pussy. I'll still give him a run for his money, which I know is something that is physically impossible for a billionaire such as yourself, Donald. Woo! A rare candy. I knew my efforts would bear fruit today. Only fruits you have are on your fucking farm. It hurts to be jealous, Donald. Stay mad, son. According to my calculations, we now have more dead Pokemon than alive ones in the box. How the hell did we find ourselves in a situation like this? Is this truly the best we have? I don't really know, guys, but I think it's time to hit the hay. We all need some serious rest if we want to face Watson next time. Agree, Donald. See you later, then. Peace out, mother fluffers. Well, time to roll another fat J. What's up, chicken suckets? Welcome back to what is more than likely the last episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Judging by how many Pokemon we've lost so far, this episode should be a pure massacre to the fifth degree. So if you're into that kind of stuff, start getting wet, I suppose. Remind me that Donald is never allowed to do intros again and stop being such a negative Nancy. Joe, how are you feeling about taking on this gym today? Nervous? Well, I only shat out my liver this morning. I was expecting a few more body parts to make their exit. But unfortunately, I'm still alive for today's session. Yes, I'm still alive. Well, to be honest, Sleepinator Giuseppe looks like you've got the flying type theme, Jim. Osama bin Laden's ancient power and thunder punch combination should be enough to drop bombs on these aerodynamic douchebags. I guess you could say I'll be towering over these fools. Guys, cut it out. You're terrorizing the audience right now. Oh, for goodness sakes, I didn't mean that. Hey, you guys ever riz a girl who says she wants to fuck you like we fucked bin Laden? What is a man meant to say to such a creature? Well, Joe, I'll tell you what I would do. I would quit my job and go on a three-week holiday abroad with this broad, bring her out for dinner, double-check she's actually a woman, then, once the test results come back, proceed to plow her brains out like a bunnel bee. That's my two cents, anyway. I'd probably reject her and tell her I'm not a freak. Hard pass, baby. All right, Donald has already started capping this episode. You literally have less than zero standards. Man's got minus eight standards. How is that even possible? He is right in that this should be a cakewalk, Joe. Just don't let your guard down and keep selecting the appropriate type effective move. Cake? Who said cake? Crocambouche? Sit the hell down, Lin Lin. Don't go into one of your hunger pangs, you obese psycho. Mama, mama. I don't think there's a flying type that even poses a threat to Osama. The irony. Well, you do have the legendary birds from Gen 1, the Gen 2 duo, and Ray Quaza, that shit stained shiny sack sucker. To be fair, I think you're the only one on this earth who hates black shinies, Barack. What are you talking about? It's not just shinies. My least favorite thing in the whole wild world is the color black. Oh my God, it's a he, Luigi. Wow, I just realized I'm the only white person in this call. Now, Joe, watch out for this spaghetti slurping fuck. You saw how chunky he was last episode when Peak was doing literally zero damage to him. Don't take him lightly. He's really built different, huh? Not only is he a pure wall, Respect! but having rough skin to slowly chip away at your health if you are using thunder punch or ice punch or rock punch is menacing. What the hell is rock punch? Who learns that move? Obviously, Geodude Barak. How could you forget? In the Japanese version, he had a move called Doburu Pisudan Fisto, which roughly translates to two fist puncture, which is one of the most common sex moves in the West. Understandably, 
They censored it and labeled it rock punch in the international versions. Never heard of that move, Joe, and you know me. I'm the guy with the crazy dance move. Oh, we ain't talking about no two-stepper Dougie, though you know all my bitches love me. Just go ask Melania, how does Joe perform the ultra-ton rock punch on her gluteus maximus and watch the fountain flow, baby? Not gonna lie, Joe. I never know what you're talking about 60% of the time. And I'd rather keep it that way. Who the fuck is Joe? Straighten up, soldiers. We have the fight of a lifetime ahead of us. One misplay and the run is dead and gone. Just let me cook Donald and I'll body bag your brother here in no time. Time for Majin Buu to go back to sleep. Murder all of his monsters. Wait, I take it back. Please end the run here and spare Donnie. You want him to die and finish our run right now because of some limp dick fear row? Get a fucking grip, Donald. And Joe, you know this thing has blast burn, remember? Jesus Christ. The one time we encounter something where we have full knowledge of its moveset and stats and you risk it all like a complete moron. I'm not risking Jack, Diddley, or Squat. Okay, maybe Diddley is in danger, but I'm gonna murder this thing harder than Donnie. I can't believe Joe has killed two Donnies now. I thought we were besties. <laughs> yes, keep fighting you two. <laughs> what was that, Barack? Oh, nothing, Flapple Face. Look, it's Toilet Bird. He is eating it up. He, in fact, was not eating it up. Fuck off! I guess I'll see him next week in the Shadow Realm, and oh, that's rough getting paralyzed like that, Joe. Hopefully you can break through the stun lock. Why in God's name did you not go for ancient power? Yanma would have literally crumpled after getting hit by that. Well, I just don't want the fight to be too easy, Donald, that's all. I can't believe the president is choking this battle on Maine right now. Do you not remember how many Pokemon we've freaking lost so far, Joe? Oh yeah? And whose fault is that, huh? Well, fuck. He's got a point there. It's a hee hee, Louis Jackson. Well, Run is dead. It was good while it lasted. Let it be known I never liked you clowns and your goofy cuts, your non-existent swag and rizless personalities. What year is it? I just heard fucking swag and riz in the same sentence. Okay, real talk. I've got to be careful this lovebird doesn't freeze me with blizzard. Remember Red on top of Mount Silver? That whippersnapper used to always freeze my mag cargo in our fights. It was insane. There is so much wrong with that sentence right now, Sleepy Joe, but get the hell out of there. Osama is about to time travel back to 2011 if you leave him in right now. Wait, is Osama dead IRL? What the fuck? Then whose house did I send the Navy SEALs to this morning for mass genocide? Probably some little bitch baby who can't even beat Pokemon X and Y. Also, you're both welcome with killing Osama, by the way. I never get any praise for it, so I would appreciate it if you two spoke your mind right now. Spoke my mind. All right, here's my brain right now, Barack. <laughs> Hot diggity hound our anus, is that what your brain sounds like right now? Understandable to be fair because you're using the exact same strategy Barack was using last episode. Pete can't do Jack, Diddly, or Squat right now. Okay, she might get around to doing Jack later, but that's besides the point. Trust me, I'm gonna push Peak to her absolute limits. This sandwich maker is going to learn the hard way what happens when you try to bring down the team of the White House's greatest presidents. And Barack, I guess. What the fuck do you mean, and Barack, I guess? I'm literally in triple S tier in terms of Pokemon nuzlocking. The tier list goes me, then Pokemon challenges, then Wolfie, then Joe. Who the heck is Joe? Joe fucking mama. She's so high on the tier list because she throws my balls around and captures my monsters with a 100% catch rate. But in all seriousness, the only person to ever come close to my skill in nuzlocking is, ironically, our editor, game producer, Six. Is this where you selfishly point out that 91% of our viewers aren't subscribed to his channel? What? No, screw that dong dangler. We have a fucking gym battle to focus on. Good shit for focusing on the fight, Joe. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I'm still trying to figure out who Joe is. Have I met this guy? No, and you never will, Mr. Rogan. Now go back to making your silly little podcast, you bald bastard. Peak is hanging on for dear life. Holy tropius penetrator. Wait, hold on. Let me cook up something fresh here. Watch this. Snack has D-dance and vital throw that will murk him harder than 198. Oh, shit. That was a freaking bar. Get your motherfucking pokey decks out. How am I slowly becoming the voice of reasoning? Both of you shut up for two seconds. 
Joe, which, spoiler alert, is you, Mr. President. Vital throw isn't going to cause a dent in this flappy bird goober. Now you've set up the rain permanently, so dog's fire punch is going to be crippled as a result. We are fucked! But a plus 10 vital throw can beat even Goku in a fight. And Goku is the strongest anime of all time. Actually, Joe Prince Vegetables is the anime of the times. Fuck you, Barack, you literal Zerud. And cop the fuck on, Joe, you relicant aging dick waggler. Jump kick is going to wipe out your entire clan. Trust me, he's going to miss and one hit KO himself, Donald. Okay, okay, okay. What the shit? I think he just healed himself. His health bar didn't fucking move. Well, I'm still going for the mid game sweep. My attack, speed, agility, AP, DC, IQ, battle IQ, and plot armor are all way higher than this long neck bitch clit, so I really should have nothing to worry about. Should have nothing to worry about? You see he is screeching you right now. Snack is one chomp away from getting abolished from reality. Oh, but look at him dance. Dance, snake boy, dance. Did anyone else feel that statement was racist? I don't know why, but just asking a snake boy to dance feels dirty. I'm about to feel slimy after killing this pure tank with bind. Throw back to my legion of dragonites from Gen 1 who would choke the ever-living shit out of anyone who dared walk in my path. You know, when I was in my prime, I was able to put Bruno in a chokehold? One of my greater achievements, TBH. You think that's impressive? I'm in the same weight division as Crasher Wake. Him and I once got into a sumo wrestling match for 11 hours straight. All things considered, it was a close match. But in the end, one swift brick break to his jaw knocked him out cold. I should have really started with that move, but hey, I got the dub in the end. I hope you dipshits are still paying attention because Snack's defense is at an all-time low. Joe, you in particular are acting suspiciously casual for someone who is facing one of the toughest trainers in the region. This fight is freaking free Barack, just like slave labor. I could literally close my eyes and mash this luminescent pink Game Boy and I would be freaking Gucci. Now I'm not going to do that because I will, in fact, fall asleep because this fight is fucking sleep. Shoutouts to the new best Pokemon spinoff that came out this week. Pokemon Sleep, or as I like to call it, Pokemon Barack. Oh yeah? Well, wait until Gen 10. That's when Pokemon piss and shit come out and we all call them Pokemon Donald and Pokemon Joe. So am I Pokemon piss? Shut up, Necrozma. Neck across small balls more like. Guys, I would really appreciate some clarification. Can I pretty please be Pokemon piss? That's been my dream for like ever. You should both come in a bundle package called Pokemon testicles. You ball-sucking, looking, cucking, trucking motherfuckers. I only come in single packs now. There is no way in hell would I ever be able to fill a full bundle pack with my pipe sauce. Oh shit, the plus six vital throw. Not going to lie, that damage was pretty decent, but I wish we had Thundershock or something that would vaporize this fake dragon in a millisecond. I think Dog's Fire Punch would actually kill here somehow, even in the rain. My God, you boys grow up so fast. Joe, your Thundershock prophecy was quite tear-jerking. I've got to say, I didn't know you had that sort of power inside. And Donald, you not only understood how Conversion 2 works, because let's face it, every time it gets used, every player has to look up how goddamn useless that move is. But you also knew that dog would be able to effectively hit the damage roll in the rain. Look at you two go. Uh, Barack, I didn't know in the slightest that Snack was going to learn Thundershock. I figured dog would be okay because he had high HP, but you know what? I'll take this ass licking for now, Barack. The what now? Okay, guys, let's stop messing around. Where's the third gym leader at? I'm ready to smoke his ass like our Torkoal. You just creamed him, Joe. I'm actually so proud. Let's fucking go. Psychic for Osama or Peak? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? I call bullshit on this, and I ain't talking about Grand Bull. This is some messed up malarkey. This is some asshole tactics right here. What kind of psychic type cannot learn the move psychic? Is there even any? Well, there's Beldum. Unknown. Why not? And Wabafet. But they are all exceptions for a reason. Our team is a bunch of pump chumps, and that's on God. Don't forget we have the mock bike now, Joe. Let me test it out, RQ. <laughs> Slow the fuckity down! <laughs> How the fuck do you steer this shit? Stay back, Lucifer! Paul Sandwich. WTF! <laughs> Joe, bottom right house. That's where Rock Smash is. Get that shit and bounce like an Azuril, please, I'm begging. I got it, I got it. You will never catch me on that torture device ever again. 
Seriously, that thing was zipping faster than a Reggie Lecky. Low-key thought I was going to crash and end the run there, boys. Please forgive me. Get the hell back on that bicycle, Freddy. I ain't watching this white-haired bastard run around the place anymore. Now that we have the top movement speed unlocked, we might as well use it. Grow up and get over it. You know that's USA's hat, right, Obama? His hair color is black or orange or some shit, but all I know is it ain't white. Oh, that sucks. It's not my superior race color? Don't you mean our superior race color, Joe? Why the hell am I not included in our white supremacy talks? Ever since your bitch ass made an oath of allegiance with the annoying orange, we kicked you out of the Caucasian clan. Sorry, not sorry. Well, as long as you two don't join that cool cuck clan or whatever the hell it's called, I guess we can still be friends. Say, Joe, have you got any idea of what your comment question of the day is? Oh, yeah, I actually do. I've had it for a while now. This one isn't going to be a positive question. And one of our commenters last episode coincidentally suggested it. It might start a few gang wars, but brick it, I'm feeling feisty today. The question is, what is your least favorite generation as a whole? I feel the no-brainer here is Gen 1. I love it, don't get me wrong, but it's a byproduct of an ancient era. There weren't many games for the generation because obviously there weren't any established spin-offs or remakes to be done yet. On top of that, compare the graphics and gameplay to more modern entries and it isn't even close. Pokemon feels incomplete without the dark steel and fairy type, as well as the physical special split items and abilities. All right. Nice to see the commenters will be showing up with their pitchforks today. Mine is Generation 7. I was going to say Gen 9, but it isn't over yet, so we have to wait and see what spin-offs and extras that brings. But I think I speak for everyone when I say Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon just weren't it. They are the only third and fourth versions I would highly recommend people to stay away from if you already played Sun and Moon. People say it apparently has a good post-game, but I never made it past the third island because I was too bored out of my freaking mind playing it. On top of that, what side games have you got? Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. What an obvious cash grab. Pokemon Rumble Rush, server shut down. Pokemon Duel, server shut down. Magikarp Jump, oh please just kill me now before the shitty mobile games take over. Okay, you're both fucking idiots. Did you forget that Gen 5 exists? Remember they charged $15 for the Pokédex 3D Pro, a glorified model showcase? Dream Radar was also trubbish, literally. Black and white were okay, but to me they're easily the worst games in the franchise. You're telling me someone's favorite Pokémon is Unpheasant? Unpheasant is my favorite Pokémon, Donald. What you gonna do about it? That's the Gears Pokémon that evolves into bigger gears, right? That drastic design change made me shoot my glue tube all over my 3DS XL back in the day. Well, Joe, let me be clear. Gen 1 was literally peak Pokemon you Kangas Khan feet jacker. It's the core gameplay simplified and brought to its most strategic form. How could anyone hate that? You're lucky I even still have Ziggy in the party, you zigger. The fuck? If this next Mon is from Generation 1, I will commit Sudoku right now live on television. Damn, I'm pretty sure today's Sudoku is pretty difficult. I glanced at it this morning. They only gave us like 45 numbers. That shit is crack. Oh, vagina mufflers. This shell smash sack of sriracha is worthless. Did we need another water type? For Kunk's sake, I hope the next gym is electric so I can send out snack for the rain and let our team get ass wiped by thunder. I hate Cloyster. What the hell did Cloyster ever do to you? Uh, I don't have time to tell the story. It all started when I participated in that underground fighting dojo. Blah, blah, blah. Chopsticks and sharks got involved. Blah, blah, blah. Then Cloyster flew in through the roof. Blah, blah. And that's how I lost my left eye. Now, do you understand? Mickey Mouse on a dildo. How did we get here? It's okay, Joe. I just foresaw that you killed this Cloyster with a crit fire punch from dog after you put it to sleep. I guess you got what you wanted after all, you whiny old saggy sage. Ah, oh, come on, Joe. You were doing so well, and now you ruined it. He always lets us down, Donnie. Oh, so you say I'm a failure, Barack, is that it? Well, you know what? Today's the day someone finally stands up to your Zekrom looking ass. You may be legendary, but you're only one guy at the end of the day. Fuck this destiny shit. Fuck this future is determined shit. If we want to live in the moment, we should be able to choose so. A world with no gods. What? Nani? Get your ass out of here, biatch. Nanda Toll. Joe, oh my God, that was impeccable. 
I'm blown away by that display of pure skill. How the hell did you overcome Barack's vision? Here comes Vaj. Damn you, Joe Sephiroth. I will never fail against you ever again. You hear me? Oh, I hear you best nuzz locker and buzz cocker, as they call you. Guess my willpower just outshun yours today. Maybe actually try a little next time, won't you? I like a good challenge, but that last prediction was just atrocious. I never thought I would see Sleepy Joe talk the talk, only to then immediately follow it up with walk in the walk. I heard this cave was just called Path until Joe stepped into it because he's spitting fire right now. Oh, look, another fucking Generation 1 water type. Uh, let me guess, I killed this one too. Do I, Barack? Well, let me have a look, Joe. Shut the fuck up and silence your bitch ass. Let me cook. Don't you ever dare try speak when I'm spitting nothing but facts you hear me. You always think you are the bee's knees, the butterfly's wings, the cow's tits. Well, newsflash, you ain't nothing but a bum to me. Pack your bags and go back to Afghanistan, you immigrated clod sire tub of shit. I'm the top dog now. Rough, 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 rough. How is Obama catching the biggest L of his life when he ain't even the one playing the game? Oh yeah, it might be over for the Obama stands. Okay, you pack of pseudo wudo shafters, are you proud of yourselves? What do you two want? A fucking trophy to prove that you're somewhat halfway decent in a children's role-playing game? Grow the fuck up. All you two talk about is balls and cock all day while mindlessly mashing buttons, praying that nobody on the team dies. I may have my faults, but that's still a test of my skill at the end of the day. I'm a goddamn human, not a heartless machine. I make the best moves wherever possible. You two have one hand on your thin Lizzie Dickies and the other on your joystick and can't tell the difference of which is which. I don't need to prove to you two that I'm better. Deep down in my soul, I know I'm the undisputed king of Pokemon. I hate to go against you, Barack, because it makes me look racist, which I might be, but regardless, we needed Joe to put in work this episode. He is the MVP of this segment of the game, I can't lie. He took down a gym leader, caught a fully evolved Pokemon, and most importantly, hasn't killed anyone thus far. We needed this redemption arc now more than ever to give our viewers hope that we are somewhat capable of beating this game. Plus, Game Producer 6 has been threatening to chop our testes off if we don't continue this series because his channel will fall off and become irrelevant again. Look, Barack, I can give you a few pointers on how to get better if you want, I don't mind. At the end of the day, this is our collective adventure, so I don't mind giving you a hand job or a hand at the game because we all benefit from it. The only thing I'd take from you is your life, so shut the hell up. No, you shut the hell up, Jenks, before I deep freeze you into the next ice age. Fellas, calm down. The tension is getting very high in here, and I don't want us to fall out. Let's just put our differences aside. And remember, we are working as part of a team here. Yes? You're right, Donald. I'm sorry for all the mean stuff I said, Barack. That was just the adrenaline from the HP ups I consumed this morning. I'm going to try catch this sloppy kaboo toppy now. That is easily top five most cursed things you have ever said, Joe. Jesus Christ. Catching the sloppy kaboo toppy right now. Oh, ho, ho. I wouldn't have tried catching this thing yet, sleepy dick. Oh, fuck you on a Vegas firework, you resurrected donkey fuck. I guess my desire to catch the sloppy kabutapi was stronger than your willpower again, Obama. GG, no re. You cannot call this thing sloppy, Joe, you sloppy Joe. Fine, boo-boo it is. You know what? I'm just going to shut up and move on with the topic at hand, because at the end of the day, I guess you are progressing while maintaining the amount of team members we have, Joe. I will applaud you as a good player for that at the very least, as even Donald and I haven't had the best track record lately. Thanks, Barack. And I apologize for any words that may have hurt your snowflake ass. I'm only joking. You know I have a lot of non-homosexual love for you guys. And to be honest, I think we will end strong this episode. I will get the TM for whatever secret power is going to be and try dodge as many trainers as possible. That way, whenever we can withdraw Vaj and Boo Boo out of the box, they can be used against the trainers we skipped to level them up and gain a bit of moolah. Does that sound like a plan? Very smart plan, Joe. Next episode, I'll head to Fall Arbor Town and bounce back down the route to take down all the pesky trainers along the way. I guess it'll be my turn for a filler episode and for my one shot of regaining your trust. Right now, out of all of us, Joe, you have the lowest death count. You deserve a crown or something. Wait, Frenzy Plant kind of goes nuts. Oh, hell yeah. Osama can learn it, that wacky tobacky weed whacker. I wouldn't be opposed to teaching the move to Osama. He has pretty great stats across the board and is putting in God's work. 
or should I say Allah's work? So imagine what he could do with a stab move, or should I say explosive firepower? Well, now that Joe has slept with someone his own age, I think it's a pretty fitting time to end the episode. Good stuff, Joe. I owe you a slick high five the next time I see you. Yeah, Joe, I've got to say you were really on a tear this episode, and I can't forget the fact that... <laughs> What's so funny? Why the scuffed laughter? Yeah, Joe, if you have something hilarious to say, share it with the audience. Ha ha ha. Well, you see, I made the reporter say, came. What's up, my adoring fans and the people of America? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sapphire episode. Today, the tan Snorlax is going to redeem himself by not letting anyone die this episode. Say hi, Donald, you useless shiz niche. Joke's on you, Sleepy Joe. You're trying to get me riled up before we start just to make yourself look good. But I'll have you know I've hit peak Zen mode. No Darmanitan needed. Speaking of fiery monkeys, what's up, Barack? Thanks for the introduction, you 2,000 ton, Tinkaton twat truck. I'm feeling great this episode. Our editor told me a few minutes ago that we got monetized for this series, meaning our payment per episode has officially gone up to $2.23. That's pretty hype, if you ask me. I don't know how many times I have to remind you guys, but the eight cents you save from tax evasion goes a long way. Trust me. Seriously, you guys aren't joking? You get paid for this? I'm the freaking goat at the moment, and I'm getting abused for free publicity? What am I, black? Definitely not, Joe, and we don't want you to bring down our pride. Thank you very much. Anyway, from the bottom of our hearts, I just want to say thank you all for subscribing and putting this series on the map. We read all the comments on these videos, so your support honestly means the world to us. And Game Producer 6, you are all the greatest. Thank you. So this is my filler episode, right? Who's the lucky individual who I'll be cream pieing today? Oh, please don't assimilate Clerk Leo's back door. We were destined for each other, Donald. I was saving my virginity for him, my one true love. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Joe. I won't be giving my secret sauce to any underage boys. I know you'd never talk to me again if I did so. I'm glad you know your limits, Donald. Okay, you creepy, drowsy fucks. Let's move on swiftly. We have an encounter coming up on the next route, Donald. Make sure it's something decent. I beg of you. Can you not foresee who it is, Barack? Isn't that your gimmick? Well, you see, using it the past few episodes took up so much cursed energy that Sukuna was draining my life force. I don't think there's a point in wasting my energy on encounters that we are going to be running into anyway. It's not beneficial information to us. I can't believe the devs nerfed Barack. We are toast on a stick now. To be fair, Joe, the viewers were getting spoiled by major events the past few episodes. It's not really going to impact our gameplay, but it'll help the audience stay engaged for the episode. I fucking hate Fire Emblem Engage, and that's why they should read the manga. Preach it, Joey! Oh, look, it's waggers. I don't know what that word means or implies, but I'm going to let it slide for now. Oh, heck yeah. Waggers is my wigger for real. Fucking what? It's better than saying naggers. Y'all remember that one South Park episode where that white dilf got away with saying the N-word like 60 times? How the hell did they get away with that? You just answered your own question, Donald. It's South Park. It's part of the holy trinity of uncancelable cultures. It consists of South Park, PewDiePie, and Eminem, all beasts of their respective fan bases who can seemingly never be canceled. Even when they've all said the N-word too, I'd give them the pass anyway. I'd give them the wig a pass if they were in desperate need of it too. God, you truly are a lifesaver, Joe. What did we do to deserve your dying old ass? I'll just call him Wagma instead because I don't trust myself or Joe enough if I called him Waggers. Fair assessment, Donald. I wouldn't trust myself either. I appreciate your awareness, fellas. I really do. How have we both been this week? Have you guys been playing anything or watching anything in particular this week? I keep getting scam phone calls saying, Mr. Biden, you are the president. You have to start coming into work before the country falls apart. Like, seriously, do they not know I'm the president? I don't have time for such fake ass calls. That's slightly worrying, Joe, but honestly, I'm still salty. You won the last campaign, so you should go on a long vacation or something. Maybe to the Seve Isles or somewhere. Any who... Uh, I've been playing Dickman 4. It came out on the Switch recently. Don't you mean Pikmin 4? Why the hell would I pick my men? The surprise dicks is what makes the game so intuitive. Donald has a fair point for once, that sleazy fuck. Besides the likely scams, I went to see the Barbie movie last weekend. Oh, really? How did you find the movie Joe? 
Minor spoiler alert, but I heard the ending was deep and gave a fascinating insight into a woman's role in society. Did you find it changed your outlook on females as a whole? It did not change my outlook on a female's asshole. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If it can't fit my spiky DSI in it, then it's useless to me. I mean, do you respect women more after the movie, Joe? Oh yeah, of course. I respect how fucking hot Barbie is. Now I'm torn between which fictional character I'd rather bang, Barbie or me and Shao? Tough call. My low tick is where it's at, boys. One day you'll see the light. I'm not a serpent snatch snatcher, Donald, for Christ's sake. Oh, for Bidoof's sake, look what you two idiot sandwiches have done. One conversation about women in power, and this bitch thinks she owns the PC system. Get a fucking move on, ho. You can't even wire your emotions together, let alone a computer. Donald with the actual factuals. I love it. Lightning Rod doesn't give immunity this gen, so we still get trashed by electric moves. Still, Rock Slide and Metal Claw is okay coverage with good HP. We could just use it as a fleshlight. Whether it's alive or dead personally doesn't bother me. Flame Body and again good HP on Boo Boo here as well. If we keep this thing for Surf, it'll start proving its worth rather quickly. Drought, so now we have access to Sun Teams. That alone makes Wagma an invaluable member to the team. We better be wise in keeping this little thing alive. Why are we keeping your penis alive again? Ah, <laughs> good one, Barack. And so the dick sucking begins. You two karma chameleons better watch it next time I see you on the streets. Say, Barack, what have you been up to lately? Well, I've been catching up on the old Kitchen Nightmares episodes since they announced that season eight is coming out later this September. After nearly a decade, the goaded Ramsey show will be back on television. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Ram these nuts down your throat, got him, ha ha. Uh, excuse me, Sleepy Joe, was it? Yes, could you please repeat what you just said to my fucking face? Is that Gordino? Oh, hell no, I ain't got the strength in me today to take this battle. You fucking cabbage cake come here to me for a fucking second. You come in here thinking you're the stunky shit because you didn't lose a fucking pocket monster last episode. I'll be sure to get a signed postcard from fucking Chef Mike sent to the fucking White House. Wait a minute, Goro, don't pummel this retired weasel yet. He might come in handy in the next few episodes. Am I fucking dreaming? Or is this flaming hot Cheeto trying to tell me how to run my fucking business? Listen to me, you chunky, winkly dick. Every time I look at your radiant figure, I lose a fucking Michelin star. So get back on the treadmill and keep running until you resemble a human again, you worthless sack of simi sage shaft. Keep it cool, Ramalam. These two are just trying to keep up with my skill level. No need to be alarmed. They're harmless, I promise you. Oh, fuck me, Bardock Obama. Is that you? You gracious pretzel, it's been a while. Fucking hell, what is your secret to looking so fucking young? I'm starting to look like an LGM here with my fucking three bars Wi-Fi signal imprinted on my forehead. Yet you age like the finest red wine I secretly use as the pure A to my beef wellington. I'll never fucking forget that incredible talon flame switch you pulled off in the VGC finals back in 2013. Our fucking team wouldn't have won without it, you absolute legend. Just another dub from my prime era. What can I say? The Obama slash Ramsey combo went nutty back in the day. Now, will you please excuse my two raw salmon skins here for their stupid little words? Why, of course, you fucking goat. That's the least I could do for an alpha male of your caliber. Just promise me you'll never let these two bimbo blocks cook ever again. That shit had the whole of France cringing like, wow, fuck me. You have yourself a deal, G-Dog. All right, fuck me. Thanks for that. I'll see you on Hell's Kitchen, sous chef Obama. As for you other two, fucking piss off. Okay, I have to ask, how the hell do you know Gordon Ramsay Barack? Well, not only was he my personal chef when I was the president, but he also was my doubles partner for the VGC World Tour back in the Generation 5 and 6 format. We called ourselves the sauciest swizzlers because our drip was untouchable and our synergy in battles was even better. Gordon is actually a tactical genius, but if he was knocked out by an unlucky crit or status ailment, well, it was downhill from there. As he would say, fuck me, this is feeling as worse than eating a Tauros cunt. They do eat weird stuff over in the Europe, so I don't know what I expected. But hold the freaking sex phone for a second. How come he's not the personal chef of the White House anymore? Well, he heard I was leaving and that son of a cutie fly dipped. His loyalty made me shed a tear that day. I can't lie. 
Yeah, the same day I started as America's greatest president, we got a new chef called Paul. Pretty sure that rat-a-tata bastard tried to poison me a few times. That Polish fuck. Oh my God, I want to chop Paul's balls off and eat them. It probably still tastes better than the shit he brings out of the kitchen. Now you skinny midgets are making me hungry. I would kill for Toro's cunt served with a side of Paul's balls. Mmm, yummy. You two are some of the sussiest mother fluffers alive. Y'all need therapy. My therapist committed sauce on the side after hearing that I ate my dog. Ah! Clerk Leo, let me gaze into those eyes of yours. Check me out at the till and make me pay with my pom-pom routine. Please. Get your oracorio looking ass out of here, MJ. Say, boys, I actually have a question in regards to wiping out in this run. If we lose our full team of six and black out, or should I say Barack out? Fuck you. Even if we have Pokemon in the PC, would you consider the run over? I personally wouldn't, but I know some hardcore players would see that as an instant loss. So how are we viewing this rule? Well, for the past 49 runs, I had the rule where if I had another six Pokemon in the PC, so basically another full squad ready to go, the run wasn't over. If I had five or less, then I considered it a loss. That way I could still manage some of my resources in the PC and didn't encourage me to just sack everyone in my party once I got to the elite foreign champion. That's a fair way to do it, Barack. So if we wipe out once while we still have six monsters in the PC, we get a self-revive and can keep going once we deposit our full party in the dead box and withdraw a completely new team. How about we keep this to once only during the whole run? So if we wipe out a second time, regardless on if we have another team ready to go in the PC, the run will end then and there. That seems fair enough to me. I like that idea, because if one of you two idiots wipe, that ain't my fault. We shouldn't have to stop playing, because Barack has another fucking aneurysm. Okay, chuckle fucks, how about we up the stakes a bit? If any of us wipe out during this run, they have to suffer something, some sort of punishment or penalty. Whoever wipes has to suck the other two off live on camera. Watch me guillotine this cheap fuck. Common Donald L right there. You can't use one hit KO moves like me. You stack attack a built kunkwad. Pipe down, Chimchar. I want to ask my comment question of the day. Now that the British angry video game nerd is gone. The question is, what is your favorite Pokemon song of all time? Are we talking theme songs from the anime or OST or what? Yeah, just music from the games. Everything from the mainline games to the spin-offs are included. But maybe in a future episode, we can ask what opening song is the best. All right, let me start off. Dialga's fight to the finish from Mystery Dungeon is an absolute banger. And I know you'll agree with me on this, Joe. It's got final boss theme energy and bucket loads. There's a sense of hope and emotion, yet equally it feels like an impossible obstacle to overcome. This gigantic, draconic menace just stares you down while this bombastic track tries to keep your spirits up. I really can't describe how it felt the first time clawing through Temporal Tower, only to face this behemoth at the top. I'll always associate that feeling of triumph with this song. Oh, Barack, you are cooking the most medium-rare dub of your life. Talk your shit, dog. That song is okay. I'd give it a strong 5 out of 10. If you want a real final boss theme, look to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's final boss versus the AI professor. The beginning reminds me of early Mega Man stages. Then it just keeps building and building like a garganackle until you hear that sick yet somewhat familiar kick-ass rift. Then the music breaks down again, giving a real sense of hope. Then the fucking beat drops and that's when it clicks. It's the goddamn raid battle theme. The motifs carried over are just unparalleled for a Pokemon game and that's undeniable. That's a fair point, Donald, but I don't think a final boss is what a Pokemon game Look, is about Joe, anyway. I'm about to cuck you right now and bang this old lady until she toxic croaks all over me with gunk shot. I'll get her to call me tired and weak and drowsy just to fuck with you. Donald, will you just move on for fuck's sake? Just because you like to imagine yourself riding a 300-year-old woman doesn't mean you can try play out your wild sex fantasies while Joe and I are around. We are trying to answer your question, you inconsiderate asshole. Have a bit of respect. Just sweet crust Barack, it's called a fucking joke. You know those things we keep telling throughout this series. Or do you believe that everything we say is true? Are you telling me Joe is an actual pedophile or that you love seven white cocks draped around your neck? Fucking Jiminy Cricket Donald. I only love yellow and blue cocks draped around my neck, you boomer. That's my sussy student. Enough rapid ashing around, proceed Joe. 
All right, boy toys, my favorite song is the National Park theme from the Joe Toe games. The beginning is so soothing and relaxing, like I could genuinely imagine myself strolling through a sunset-lit park, listening to such a calming tune. Then the track absolutely peaks with a melody that I can only describe as nostalgic. That's when you rendezvous with the gang. Your best friends come running over laughing, spreading high fives, and happiness all around the friend group. Life just hits different then. It's a perfect culmination of melodic genius and emotional construction to bring the piece to a sweet yet memorable end. Damn, that was some deep whistle, Joey. You top percentage rap mother bumper. Plus that botanic sage mashup is a tear jerker. Don't tell Jill, but that song always reminds me of my childhood crush who always wanted to take over the world. She's now wanted for 151 accounts of one gen degree murder. Ah, the memories of running from that blade. OMFG Joe, you win on this one. That song is art and literally music to my ears. I love that song. I've never heard the mashup. I'll be sure to blast it on my AirPod G Max Pros later on after we are done with this episode. You know, I keep 20 packets of pocket tissues on me at all times. So bring on the tears. Kind of reminds me of our editor's favorite high school anime. The one with the secret baseball mini game, the little ball busters or something. Say, Donald, how are you finding the team so far? How are the new catches getting along? And would you say there are any major weaknesses or gaps in our team? To be honest, our team is looking pretty snazzy at the moment. Vaj's rock slide is pretty strong, coupled with her attack stat. And once we start getting some water type moves, the same type attack bonus should make her a capable special attacker. Boo Boo is doing pretty well too, and very much falls in the same category. I'm very confident in our team right now. Well, now that you've said that out loud, I guess that means somebody is gonna die relatively soon. Well done, you totem looking ass Digimon. Hey, no sparking Pokemon versus Digimon wars here, Joe. Relax. And have a bit of faith in Donald. He's been cruising with no bruisings this episode, so I don't think we could have asked for more from him. What can I say? I don't know why you two ever doubted me. I am the freaking greatest of all time. You might as well call me the Michael Jordan of Pokemon. Just don't ask me for a butt scan right now. You may or may not find a remote controlled vibrating butt plug giving me hints on which move to use, which is being controlled by famous Poketuber Small Ant. That's all I'm asking for. Wait, what the spookity maniac trick did you just say to me? I know the feeling, Donald. Did you both know I was once a chess grandmaster and top three chess players in the world back in 1996? Oh, really? That's quite the impressive feat, Joe. What happened? Did you lose motivation or concede to playing competitively while you were still hot on the pawns? Picture this, boys. It was the World Championship Chess Finals back in 96. That year it took place in Las Vegas. I was soaked in cash, bitches were swinging out of me, and all 16 of my chess pieces were personally handcrafted from eight karat gold and diamonds. I was pimping to say the least. Naturally, I curb stomped all my opponents and made it to the finals with relative ease. Then this smug little shit proceeds to win eight games in a row against me and doesn't even pop off at the end. This little fuck had the same poker face on since the day he probably came out of his fucking mama's womb about 12 weeks prior. I'm convinced he used the same tactics as you to win Donald. I'm still pissed to this day. So let me get this straight, Joe. You think that a six-year-old kid won against you in chess by using a remotely vibrated butt plug to tell him the best move to make? I mean, that sounds believable nowadays, but not back then for a six-year-old. I have to agree with Donald here. This doesn't seem like something a kid could do. Who makes butt plugs suitable for a six-year-old anyway? I feel like that should be illegal. Who was this kid anyway, Joe? Just this Norwegian dick face called Magnus Carlsen. Never heard of him before. Apparently he's okay at chess nowadays. I would smoke him in the salty run back. He doesn't want these issues. Like who would test these vibrators? Hey kids, who wants a free prototype butt plug? I wish my butt plug would tell me about moves my Pokemon could learn. If Boo Boo got like solar beam or something, we would be chilling right now. Damn, the power of Donald's ass expander is too strong it seems. I would rather plug myself into a live socket with a metallic fork I would rather take some advice from Eminem and shove a more Pico up my ass through a tube screaming, fack, fack, fack. Let that little asshole aura wheel on my asshole. Oh, yeah. Well, it's time to test this new special beam. No cannon needed. Well done, Dickolo, you Namekian, no genitalia looking ass. Ain't no way in hell we live in two razor leaves. You fucking choke artist. 
It's fine, comatose Joe. Solar beam is easily one hit, killing this hentai artist. Bullshit mode activate. Saved by the Barack, the story of Donald's life at this rate. Now listen, they never expect the second solar beam. Get back in line, you right you rat bitch. You are so fucking worthless, I don't know why Archaeus ever created you. Oh wait, I do. To make all of his humans point and laugh at your existence. And to remind me that I'm never as fucking trash as you will ever be. Sharpen up, Porygon, you jagged shit, and stop making stupid plays. The audience literally think you're the worst player out of us three, so stop trying to show off. They hate you. Excuse me, Gandalf the Gay, you better start sucking me. Who won the last poll that GP6 put out on his community tab? I believe it was me, haha, get trumped. Oh, please, that shit was more rigged than your actual election. Plus, now that the audience has seen you can't be trusted, that opinion would definitely change. Exactly, Barack. After this episode, we will get him to run the poll again. No relay race. Mmm, I get it, Joe. That was a freaking bar. It took me a moment, but that was pure fuego. You just spit hot damn. I don't even get the sentence at face value. What does that one word mean? Run? What the lily pup does that mean? It means go outside and touch grass with your feet, you idiot. Oh, trust me, I would touch Bell Awesome with more than just my feet. I'd unleash my eruption all over her. Sorry, guys, I'm back. I had just muted myself to pump a quick one out to the swallowed on the screen. You can eruption Bella Delphine Donald as long as I get to horn drill this large mouth mammied mother sucker. No, I did not say Bella Delphine. I wouldn't be worthy. Man, that was a weird phase we went through in society. She was literally a clout chaser, addressed her fans as simps, and broke character all the time, yet her following was freaking huge a few years ago. I never understood the e-girl hype. Maybe I just have that thing called standards. What I will say is her 6-9 parody, I'm Back, was better than the original song. Not that it was that difficult to begin with, but credit where credit was due. Both of them really said, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Every time I hear that line, my opinion changes on it. If you're on 50 pounds of that classic Escobar shiz, then that line goes hard. But when you're sober for only three hours a week like I am, the line is pure mighty and a shit. At least her bath water tasted nutritious. I still have some left if you guys want a glass later. We fucking don't. Now play the goddamn game, you simp. Just to put everyone's minds to rest, yes, I make sure I am sober for these videos. Whenever I'm in the office or out for presidential duties, I'm definitely on that rust pack. Why else would I fall down so many flights of stairs on so many separate occasions? It's actually quite impressive, Joe. You should start speed running Super Mario 64 and soft lock yourself in the princess's secret slide. Then you could endlessly fall down that deep and empty void for the rest of your life. Soft lock, bitch, they call me Simple Flip Senior. Give me a fucking slope and watch the BLJ magic happen. Simple Flips? What a great entertainer that guy is. One time, he accidentally started streaming on kick and proceeded to pound King Thwomp's pussy nine times in a row before sleeping left side up in front of nine billion people. He's one of them Jeff Bezos kind of guys. I can confirm that all actually happened. It pretty much sucked granddad's bulk up balls that he got a cease and desist from Nintendo from that. But you can't win them all, I suppose. You know what doesn't suck granddad's huge power balls? The fact you haven't lost anyone yet, Donald? I didn't think you had four brain cells to keep your concentration up this whole episode, but you have been dealing with these trainers in an effective manner. Be proud of yourself, you little nugget, you. Thank you, Barack. Finally, real recognize real, if only we were rewarded for such smart play with a legendary like that, which is on the screen. All legendary Pokemon have the most badass sprites in the Gen 3 games. Just wait until Mewtwo comes back out onto the field and tell me that boy isn't stanced up. He is chilling like the freaking villain he is. I flipping love it. I would love another legendary Pokemon, don't get me wrong. But we have a dog already, and more importantly, Osama Bin Laden. If we have another rare monster, our levels will go up way slower since we would then have three potent Pokemon who are on the slow EXP curve. As much as such power is tempting, we have to remember that having weaker or specialized Pokemon isn't necessarily a bad thing, as they will gain levels quicker and they still serve a purpose. There is no knowledge that is not power, Mr. McBlowey. I couldn't have said it any better myself. I'd rather have our whole team levels balanced across the board, mixed with weak and strong Pokemon. 
than three underleveled beasts and three neglected rodents. That's true, but couldn't Osama and a Rottweiler just solo the game themselves? Why should we bother raising these inferior units if we literally have America's greatest threat waiting to explode on the opposition? Well, let's say we pumped all of our time and energy and, and experience and effort into Osama. Then we end up fighting the seventh gym, which is fire type. Who do you think would win in a fight? A level 42, Osama bin Laden, or five level 38, Ho-Oz? Important question, does Osama know explosion yet? Ho-Oh would be an even better reward than a Mew 2. Rainbow Chicken Nando's tasty looking fuck would make a great addition to our team. My only worry would be Donald wanting to eat him since apparently he is a KFC whore now. Yo, you listen for a sacred fire hot second? I ordered chicken fillets and put my dick in it. I call that bone chicken. Oh God, Gordo was right. I'm never letting you brothers cook again. Nice to see we are still your bros, Barack. That means a lot to me. Are you done for the episode, Donald? Yeah, just swinging by the center for a quick heal. You two can log off for the night. I think I did pretty well today, redeemable, some might say. You definitely did great today, Donald. I promise I'll be on my A game next time. No more throwing for content, I promise. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, Donald absolutely demolished the couple of trainers down south of Fall Arbor Town, and today we are going to complete the loop back to Rust Burrow. That will give us two encounters, a couple of items and trainers, as well as ending it off by obtaining the EXP share. Does that sound like a plan, boys? Sounds about as planned as my birth. Take that as you will. How was the KFC Donald? Not gonna lie, boys. I felt very woozy after my 68th family size bucket. I don't know why my stomach was just refusing to consume that tasty aff boneless chicken wing. So you're saying your body couldn't accept a 69? Go figure. I see we have teenage dirtbag Barack today. Don't forget your desert underpass encounter as well as the second fossil here. <laughs> What in the Mewtwo finger balls was that? Sorry guys, I think my mic software glitched for a second. Anyway, Donald, you copper aja weighing plump. That path only exists in Emerald. I don't know why you couldn't eat your usual 200 KFC buckets, which is a shame considering you played so well last episode, you hot dog gargler. I don't know why either, but I'll make up for it tonight. Anyway, Mudshot is actually a decent TM. It's no earthquake but at least it can provide a ground type move to someone who may need it down the line. You said it's slacking. I've trained up the team since last time, so we'll get to see old faces who haven't fought in a while. Squad the war turtle and save me the horsey you're in this bitch. Wait, is Wagma one level away from evolving? Oh, happy days, as my grandpa would always say. Get back to work, you wagger. Don't you fucking bring up your grandpappy Joey. I served under him for 14 years growing up. The pain and torture he put me through was borderline societal, if you know what I'm saying. But what goes around comes around. That was definitely the most satisfying trigger I've ever pulled up to someone's skull. Wait, you killed Joe's grandpa, Barack. That's insane. I never thought you'd be the type to kill someone. What are you talking about? I've caught four bodies this week already. The only thing you're bodying, Barack, is this game. And even that's debatable. You pull up to record these episodes sometimes 20 minutes late usually high like a Steelix, and then proceed to have all our Pokemon fall to one HP and claim it was on purpose. Cut the bullshit, no Grand Bull. Those times were pure luck, and everybody knows it. Once I start personally training Donald as his sensei, you'll be left in the dust with nobody to stand by your side. No friends, no skills, and definitely no bitches. You're on Fraud Watch, Barack, you Lechonk built fuck. Dad, stop fighting. We are witnessing greatness here. Wagma? Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Wagma balls over a pit of sharks. This evolution sucks, Pyroar ass. Oh, I can't believe it evolved into Pyroar. Yay! Wait, what the fuck? This ain't no sexy hot dog that I want to use hydro pump on. What gives Barack? I forgot to mention in the first episode, but while evolutions are randomized, the Pokemon will only evolve into a Pokemon of the same type. Unfortunately, of the billions of water types, we still managed to get a regular ass polywhirl evolution. Not my fault, bozos. Well, that sucks more than dub wool titties, Barack. This guy's basically useless until we get a stone or King's Rock hard rock cock. Well, suck them sheepy milkers then, Doland, and Yosef don't for a fucking second get comfortable after trying to diss me. 
I'll make the White House self-destruct like a wild, shiny geodude if you don't start putting some damn respect on my name. You've got a lot to prove with this next encounter, Barack. Joe is exerting his pressure. You think I'm shitting and giggling, Barack, but I ain't laughing. This next encounter has to be pure, unadulterated fuego, as beautiful as May on a Friday night, or even pretty damn fly for a white guy, which I know you struggle with, but step up your game, dog. You're washed. Let me reveal the goddamn truth. Hey, Donald, want to know why you couldn't eat another chicken, you fat, seismitoed fuck? Hold, Lee, mega chicken. Here's your fucking reward for last episode, Donald, my wannabe bestie. One slight problem, this dude is built different. He is strong af. If we are going to catch him, you better start wishing to Jirachi right now. That did literally fucking zero. Oh Christ, stab, fire blast, shit, shit, piss, shit, balls. Hold up, hold up, we living. Easy, get that zigger out of there, Barack. I just did the maths in my head, guys, and we have no one who can take a fire blast. Snoop smokes that shit. He's about to get so fucking high, he'll reach heaven. He might end up moving there. Please live, Snoop. Live. Everybody is in crit range of death. I'm sending a snack for the drizzle. Fire Blast only has three more uses anyway, and then we might be able to celebrate catching this thing. Watch it have thunder or some spectre or shit. Good call, Barack. Maybe Snack can pull off a paralysis with Thundershock. I know that's not the best thing to bank on right now, but what else have we got? We don't have fucking dog with us for hypnosis. Boys, this pride flag wearing Superstar has soft-boiled and fucking fire blast. This shit would be over if we caught it. Okay, I'm gonna Thundershock once more, then go for a manipulation to see if I can force a paralysis. It might be too late in the battle for me to get a Reliant Seed is the only problem. Barack, I am dead fucking serious. If you need to pull out Sukuna for this fight, I will let him finger bang me to death. Calyrex cock. It actually has frack and thunderbolts. Start packing your motherfucking bags, boys. This series might as well be over. Oh, it's so Jover, guys, isn't it? Wait, we are so back. Don't give in, boys. Act like a woman, Barack, and manipulate this delectable bird with a stunned leg or something. The fight ain't over until the fat lady sings, and I don't hear Joe's mama yet. Did you just hit me with the fucking Joe mama right now, really? Also, she's actually humming the black and white emotions theme right now in the shower. What the bloody hell? I mean, send pics or it didn't happen. Are you fucking serious right now? Oh yeah, it's so Jover. We're, We're so, so back. back. You got some fight in you, Snack. I believe you can fly. Drizzle is the freaking goat. He still has two fire blast PP, so maybe sending in one of our water types is our best choice. They definitely wouldn't live a thunderbolt though. Peep this. Why did squad dodge when you said penis? Oh God, my 2000 year old heart is racing. You will definitely need another heart transplant after this, Joe. Is this a safe move, Barack? Leaving squad out in the open susceptible to a T-bolt? I don't mean to doubt you, but holy Tangela hentai, this is crazily intense. Judging by how much snack took, we should live one T-bolt on two HP with a good roll. The odds are in our favor, trust me, guys. I've lost sight of the RNG, so I'm not really sure which of these balls can catch it. I got distracted, forgive me. I am Sukuna. Bow down to me, peasants. Uh, Barack, you good? You're looking a little demonic there. Oh, Lord and Savior Suki, you have returned. It's been 3,000 years. The new age of Pokemon has finally come around, and I'm here at your service, my Lord. Oh, how I have waited for this moment for your triumphant return. Get the fuck off my dick, Don Fan, or whatever the hell you are. Nice to see you've gained mass since the last time we saw each other, you vegetable dodging douche face. Brock's unoptimized play was pissing me off, quite frankly. So I've taken over to save this run. You may bow down to pay your respects to my wickedness. I'll suck your thorny dick, my lord. I'll take a cursed dynamic punch to the rear. Say the word, and I'm yours. Hate to interrupt this one-sided homo fest, but save me is not living a thunderbolt. Let me just clear that up real quick. King of curses, more like slow king of nurses. Ah, the legendary special grade youngster, Joey. I've always wanted to personally spar with you to see exactly what you're made of, but I guess proving you wrong in Pokemon is just as good. How is my son doing? Did he ever get his revenge on you after my death? I've fought countless foes in my life. I don't remember any of their names. Who was your son? Why, it was Magnus Carlsen, the king of chess. 
Oh, that butt plug sucking fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So many questions. Joe, you were a special grade sorcerer? Sukuna's heard of you? And my lord, you have a son who played chess? This is some messed up frizzle. It was just a phase, Donnie. Don't look into it. If Save Me dies, I will assassinate your son Sukuna with a scope lens bullet seat, I promise you. If Save Me dies, he dies Joe. Only the strongest survive, and if he's not fit for an encounter as tough as this, then I don't care if he rots away in the dead box for the rest of his days. You won't get away with this, you evil tall prick. I will figure out a way to revert you back to Barak, and then I'll spin your block. No prison realm. With all due respects, my lord, that was some heat Joe was cooking up. Everybody stand back before I expand something other than your domain. You are literally nothing other than a bitch sukinator. Get Cho's satanic little marshadow looking ass out of here, you pathetic loser. Ryoki Tenkai. Hit him with it, my one true god. Baru Kenkin. Oh, sweet. We caught the hope. Oh. I know you all appreciate how much I love the Gen 1 anime, so I'm going to call this Bad Boy Day 1. He was literally Ash's Day 1, and he gets huge respects for that. Get fucked, Sukuna! Thanks for the free legendary biatch! What are you talking about, Joe? Don't pay him any mind, Barack. Squad was a small price to pay for such a powerhouse. I can't even be mad at you for that sack. Sorry I kind of blacked out there. Hopefully everything was okay while I was gone. Yep, everything was just peachy while you were barocked out, Barack. I fucking knew you would say that, Joe. And look, it's that whore again. Get a fucking kitchen in your house, woman. You good for nothing. I hope this Birdo has some good stats. I'm dying of thirst here. Do us the honors, Barack. Hopefully he is a beast in some attack stat and can bulldoze through the rest of the game for us. 107 special defense and 90 special attack? Oh yeah, his fire blast is dangerous. One rock type move, and not gonna lie, he's gonna die a thousand deaths, and he isn't the fastest either. I can definitely see him making it to our final team for the Elite Four. He also has flame body, so if he's against some capable physical attacker, he could potentially burn them and make their subsequent physical moves much weaker. Not gonna lie, boys, I'm excited to use him next episode. Me too, I can't wait to use the Dragon Ruler of Infernos the next time I play. You better showcase his pure strength right now, Barack. Well, let's look at it this way, boys. What type can really counter this incredibly powerful pocket monster? The only thing that comes to mind is rock types, because if they're partially ground too, then Thunderbolt doesn't affect them, and they resist our nuclear fire blast. But if we are up against a rock type anyway, we will be switching out, so it's safe to say this Egyptian god card is an unbelievably lucky min-max machine. With our 100 plus spit F, we could honestly tank water and electric type attacks pretty well too. This burb is making my good rod turn super. I wonder how he tastes as well. The bird or your super rod? The bird Joe, I know how my super rod tastes, has a tangy kick of mustard to it, nothing special. Okay, this is the last thing I want to talk about while day one is making his debut battle. Oh look, Santa's little helper is next on the chopping block. Watch me electrocute his ass until next Halloween. Okay, now can we solo the game with our team of legendaries? Osama, Dog, and Day One could collectively take down any trainer across the Ho In region, so why don't we just rock this game socks off? Osama bin Laden has been my dog since day one. How did you know, Donald? And keep your socks on your spindle-tangled feet, Azure Flute Fiddler. Again, not a wise move, Donnie. We already went through last episode why that would be a bad idea. Our viewers, which 60% of aren't subscribed to us, by the way, don't want to sit through that long Onyx-ass explanation again. Do you think if I go to McDonald's and ask for the ho ho special, they'll know what I'm talking about? No, but you'll find plenty of chicken and hoes at Hooters. Isn't that basically the ho ho in a nutshell? Very curious as to how much damage we would take from a special attack. He is eating it up. Where's my toilet bird gang at? Ah, ah, ah. I'm about to pull the fucking sniper out called Kingdra and 360 kick scope Joe's fucking skull into the furthest pocket dimension. Thank God I am normal. That is all. Anyways, bozos, calm the hell down. It's time for another comment question. Can you make it interesting this time, Barack? Your questions are lame as hell usually. What in a zelf ass crack are you talking about, Joe? This creeper sleeper has a point, Barack. You always ask the boring questions, so liven it up a bit, will you? All right, you sack sap sippers. Here's my extraordinary question for everybody. 
What is your Pokemon hot take that gets everyone pointing swords at your throat like that one guy from the Disney movie Tangled? The what movie? Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that the meme from Twitter? Wow, Joe, Twitter is that website's dead name. You inconsiderate blow-up doll. They go by X now. Have a bit of fucking respect, you misgendering prick. All right, screw this Funkatron. We ain't talking about Twitter changing to X today. That's a topic for another time. Anyway, my Pokemon hot take is that Mega Evolutions are the worst mechanic ever brought into the series. Whoa, fuck you. Put me in coach. I'm ready to fucking obliterate him. Rough, rough, rough. Relax, rough. Donald, relax. That is quite controversial, Joe. Jesus, but please, elaborate on why you think so. I have a fair reason why I think this, and it's a huge problem once you look at later generations. People usually cite Mega Evolutions as the first new battle mechanic, but I call bullshit on that one. Z moves coined that term. Mega Evolving only applies to specific Pokemon, and it's blatant favoritism in the grand scheme of things. Did Lucario, Blaziken, and Garchomp need another busted form? I'm surprised Pikachu didn't get a fucking Mega. But now that we are past Gen 7 and Megas are totally absent from the games, what has happened to those new forms we got? Oh, that's right, they're gone forever. Mawile and Sableye, they've gone back to being useless. At least Z moves, Gigantamaxing, Terrestrialization, and Z moves are all universal. Anybody could use them, not just the lucky ones. Rough, rough. Hold it down, Donald, please. Honestly, Joe, that isn't a bad point you make. Totally valid, I will give you that. I still love Mega Evolution, but I can see why people who have the same outlook as you would hate it. I hope you can accept losing Donald forever, because he might never get over the fact that someone dislikes Mega Lop. Okay, okay, I've chilled out, damn it. Joe, that is the worst take I've ever seen in my life. I just want you to know that. Anyway, I don't really have any hot takes the more I think about it. I like all generations somewhat. I like all the spin-offs. Designs from all games are good. Music is always superb. Lumineon is a top three Pokemon easy. The modern day games need more polish and Battle Revolution is a classic. Wait, what the fuck did he just say? What, do you not like Battle Revolution? No, no, he was talking about that Pokemon you just said. Lumineon? Who the hell is that? Oh, you mean the best water type of all time. When I played Diamond for the first time, no joke, I boxed my level 48 Empoleon so I could use this adorable little monster on my team. And he did not disappoint, let me tell you, he soloed like half of the Elite Four, put a dent into Cynthia's team, and even helped me with Waterfall and Surf in the overworld when I needed it. Talk about versatility. You should rot in hell for that, you uncultured swine up. Everybody forgets about that stupid little fish family in Generation 4, and I mean everybody. Every time I need to complete the Pokedex in those games, I am always missing number 134 and number 135, which happened to be that little dick cheese and its pre-evolution. What's next? Sunfloor is the greatest grass type. Back off that copium, you cheese snickerdoodle. Massive Obama L, plus you fell off, plus you're a hater, plus Lumineon Solo's your fave, plus don't care, plus eat crow gunk's ass, plus ratio. At least I had a decent reasoning as to why I said what I said, but you just have an outright wrong opinion. Its design is so basic, it's shiny as nothing special, and it literally doesn't have any standout stat. It has three stats at 69. Is that why you love this thing, you horny bastard? How can a Smogontier whore like yourself even consider this Pokemon somewhat decent? I would never 69 it. That little fishy fish is my innocent sweet child. I would never lay a finger on it that way. I'm a man with a dream, and a dream that one day I will live in peace with my favorite water type of all time, Lumineon. Viewers, this is your two-time favorite president from this series. The fuck? I hope they roast your ass in the comments. Anyways, time for a new encounter. Please be my sweet Lumi Lumi. Oh, skitty shit, it's skitty. I would say this is a good find. It's got a super low catch rate, and chances are we will get a moonstone in Lily Cove to evolve this little sucker. I'm gonna call this little guy Rainbow, after the fact that its name always reminds me of Skittles. That's super ironic, because don't you find the Moonstone straight ahead of you in the base game? Joe's demented ass came through for once. What the shit? I got mad skills, Donnie. Well, that was quick. We have upcoming story stuff with the villainous teams, but we don't have to battle anyone here like they force you to in or ass. Anyway, here's my hot take. Dexit was a good decision on behalf of the Pokemon Company. Would programming all 1,000 plus Pokemon into Scarlet and Violet made any sense to begin with? First of all, I think Gen 8 and 9 did a perfect job of balancing each route and region, 
with a variety of Pokemon. If Game Freak had to make every Pokemon available in the wild, things would have got messy, you can bet on that. Second of all, it encourages players to use Pokemon that they may never have considered before. Instead of Donald soloing Sword and Shield with Lumen Eon, he now had to choose between maybe a Barrascuda or Gastrodon, which broadens a player's perspective, maybe changing their opinion on what they thought about certain monsters. Lastly, it allows Game Freak to pour some extra time into polishing the games. Instead of spending hundreds of hours programming Pokemon that not many people would even care about to begin with. So why do X and Y have less glitches than Scarlet and Violet while simultaneously having more Pokemon available? I am under no obligation to answer that question. Could you imagine how much worse Generation 9 would have been if they did spend time adding all other 600 or whatever Pokemon back in? It's still hashtag screw Dexit on these streets, Barack. There's no harm in having the option of every single Pokemon in these games. Plus, you're telling me Pokemon, the company with billions of dollars to splash out on, doesn't have the time or resources to pump every chump of a digital monster into the newer games with decent animations. They absolutely freaking lootly do. They just rush their games for the sake of having a holiday release and farm money from the Christmas buzz every single year at this rate. Again, I'm not saying it's okay for them to release these games in hound our piss quality, but they still had extra time on their hands because they had less work to do overall. Don't forget, guys, to comment your hot take down below after liking, commenting, and most importantly, sharing the video around on X. It's fucking Twitter. Or Twatbook or Snappy Chatty or whatever. Be prepared for some more gang wars when you leave your opinion. We're almost at the Devon Court, boys. Any closing remarks? Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, myself and our editor, GP6, just caught up with the One Piece manga right in time for the special episode airing about 25 hours from now. The teaser basically spoiled it for the whole internet, but just in case any anime onlys are watching, you're in for a treat. Let me just tell you that. Oh yeah, I'm actually an anime only watcher, Joe. I can't wait for that episode. Luffy turns Super Saiyan Beast Gear 10 and shits on Kaido harder than Scratch Man or something? Yeah, sure, that sounds like something Oda would cook up. Anyways, besides that, just my usual Sunday antics. Trying to beat my record of jacking off 37 times in a row to a screlp. Last week, I only hit 19, so I'm a little ashamed of myself. Rightfully so, Joe. Did I not teach you anything? I'm heading to Mackers to get back into the routine of stuffing my cheeks harder than a greedent. I might even mess around a tiddly wink and get myself a grimace shake. Heard that purple shit goes stupid as the new wacky slush mix. All right, Donald, sorry to hear you won't be around for next week's episode. If you know, you know. Anyway, Joe, you ancient power brainiac, thanks for the EXP share. Hopefully the Pokemon sleep sales are coming through for you and your company. Yeah, the game is popping off Barack. Thanks for inquiring. I love how players are experimenting the quickest way to access the Shadow Realm from their sleep to try and shiny hunt Dark Rye. That determination is so powerful, I love it. All right, speaking of Dark Rye, my Uber is outside. No Groudon. To everyone watching, have a beautiful day. Your support and love towards this series honestly means the world to the guys, and more importantly, our channel creator, Game Producer 6. Don't forget to do all the interactive stuff like you all usually do, you absolutely amazing people. Until next time, have a fantastic day. What's up, Weed Whackers? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, I'll be attempting to make it to Lava Ridge Town after foiling Team Aqua atop a fiery mountain. How are we, boys? I'm good, Joe. I feel a little funny after the grimace shake I got in Mackey's the other night, and the details of how I got home were a little fuzzy. But Lord Grimace's juice tasted divine. How are you, Barack? I'm good, brothers. I just finished picking around the farm and locking up for the night. My cottons got absolutely destroyed. It was a tough working day. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your cottons got destroyed, Barack. How are you going to sell them now? Why would I sell my trousers? I'll need them for work. Their deep pockets are great for holding my pills. Oh, Barack, we've been through this. Donald and I really think you need to seek help. Just because you've been sucking ass at Pokemon doesn't mean you have to continue taking ecstasy. You know, I meant my focus medication, Joe. Nice to see the rich and rowdy racists are both with me here today. Can you both believe we are 11 episodes into this marvelous journey? Isn't that insane? We've come a long way since Little Root Town. That's true, Barack. I've been thinking about the growth and changes I've gone through since we started this adventure. Life sure is short, ain't it?
The hell are you talking about Snorlax? You literally haven't changed at all. You're still ass cheeks on a platter when it comes to this game. And you're still a choice banded asshole as far as I can tell. Did you gain weight? Is that what you mean? I honestly can't tell since your whole body just meshes together like a muck. Well, at least I still have all my vital body parts functioning. Unlike your kidneys, lungs, left nut, eyes and ears. I'll have you know it's my middle nut that doesn't work, you imbecile. Numbskulls, can you get along for five seconds, Jesus Christ? I was thinking maybe we could play something else soon just to freshen it up a bit on the channel. I'm sure game producer Six would enjoy the change of scenery. Who is that guy? He sounds like a glizzy guzzler. Guys, if you want Joe to regain his memories, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribing will save his family from being held hostage. And if you send us a pic of your credit card, as well as the three funky numbers on the back, we will send you a nice MS paint picture in the post. I did not agree to any of this. I would love my family to be massacred ASAP. No Rocky. All right, I recant what I said. Let's face it. The only thing Joe is playing with is little boys anyway. So why do I even fucking bother? I might just play around with your emotions if you keep disrespecting me. Remember who's the goat here. If I have some spare time, I might even play around with my middle nut. Isn't it dumb that in Sapphire you have to fight Team Aqua on top of a fiery volcano? How the hell does that make sense? To be fair, both Aqua and Magma have ridiculous motives for their evilness. How would flooding the world fix its problems? Isn't global warming doing that for us? And making more land isn't going to fix shit. Overpopulation is going to catch up quicker than a Jolteon. Smoke these runs, Snoopy. You have a fair point, Barack, but for Spinarak's sake, the viewers don't come here to be reminded of their impending doom and how the Earth is globally fucked. In the next 100 years, they come here for the content, the plays, the laughs, the cries, the Jews. No one comes here for that last one, Donald, you Dorito dust sucker. Yeah, you are a dirty toe sucker. I saw what you did with your dog the other night. Cringe. Anyway, I'm going to pop my zigger in the front. Motherfucker, what? Just to give a variety of monsters some screen time. As the newly crowned go to the team, I'll keep our levels balanced so you choke artists don't ruin the fun for me. I am literally not even that bad. I am literally the greatest. I am literally in the Pokemon League. I am literally getting a sore back from carrying you buffoons. You are literally gay, Donald. You are literally a shuckles asshole, Donald. Even if my Ziggur gets burned here, I'm pretty sure Drill Peck still kills this noodle bitch. You are edging me with a wiggly tough, Joe? My ex-president gets edged by kawaii, thick, pink, jiggly, wiggly bunny girl. Prank, gone wrong, gone sexual. Amateur just turned level 23. Won't last 30 seconds. I see you bought my new Playgirl CD, Donald. I'll be sure to try and squeeze the orange juice out of you tonight. No homo. Run it back, run it back. Uh, let's see. I'll be sure to bounce on you like Hop Pip and Leaf Blade your left ass cheek relentlessly. Super no homo. One time for the one time. Close it out, Barack Chan. Uh, uh, uh. I'll focus blast your dad until he faints. Come, Barack, come! You should have wanted my dad to come. Damn it, I was doing so well. By the way, boys, did you see the comments on the last episode? I know we asked for your hot takes, but some things were said in those comments that should have never been spoken. Yeah, the craziest one was the guy who said the physical special split was a mistake. What the fuck kind of ganja was he smoking that night? Sure, it screwed over some Pokemon like Sceptile, but they should have just given him better moves in the generations after. But others like Absol, Sneasel, and basically every special ghost type were saved by the change. Now, nah, Donald, I agree with that guy. The craziest comment I saw was from a girl. That already fucked me up, knowing whatever this bitch said would make her look like a clown. Come on, give her a chance, Joe. What was her hot take? She said black lives matter. What? I know, I couldn't believe it either. All lives matter, don't they? Ah, uh, I see, I see. You're saying black, white, brown, orange, purple, and even gray-colored skins matter. Good on you, Sleepy Joe. Well, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Donald, mainly because your fat ass would start eating it. But white lives matter the most. I don't want a hard life. I don't want to be a slave. I don't support the working class. I don't want to end up like Barack, who works tirelessly on a farm every day, likely because of his skin tone. I'm not saying the farmer is racist, but I'm just saying that might have been a factor going in your favor during the interview process. I didn't even do an interview, Joe. LOL. -O. Well, there you go. Case closed. Duskull emoji. Wait, Joe. Shouldn't you heal before fighting Archie? He might have some weapons of destruction in this fight. Better to be safe than sorry.
Yeah, you're right, Donald. BRB. Here you go, Joey McSucky, or whatever Donald calls you after dark, you got this. If you start losing the fight, just push Archie into the gaping pit of lava behind him. Have some trust in me, Barack. I'm practically invincible. I'm going to hit him with the one-two, then proceed to buckle his shoe. You don't even want to know what comes after three and four. You'll sleep with some whores? Nope, I'll sleep with some boars, which could possibly be Archie's first monster here. Oh, God, not Fappy. This thing is no joke, guys. Prepare yourselves. Shut the front door, Barack. We are over a fire pit, so I'm about to cook with Snoop. I'm whipping up a freaking clutch dub, and he's sowing the Mary Jane seeds as we speak. Bulk up will boost our defense to the point that if it happens to have a super effective ground type move, Snoop will live that shit 1,000 times out of 10. I'm kind of glad we got rid of Vital Throw for Rock Smash. The fact it made Snoop go last hurt his sweeping potential, but we still have double edge in the bag to Oko any punk that gets in our way. This goon doesn't stand a chance. We don't have enough bulk ups to sweep anything right now. Everything on his team will take two or three rock smashes to kill at this rate, so my suggestion would be to hit a double edge, then double dip. My suggestion is to stop gargling love balls every time you play Barack. But who am I kidding that won't stop you from your guilty pleasures? I fucking love when 21 Joe is in the building. His savage mode hits super effective every time. Osama! A la snack bar. Did you just say snack bar, you thick, fat, say, titan-built fuck? Go back to blocking up bridges in Kanto, you gargantuan snoring prick. Do I have to pull out my flute to wake him up? Actually, screw that shit. I have a battle to focus on here, you idiots. Just ask for my OnlyFans later, and that should relinquish the thirst. I am the hottest 18-year-old on OnlyFans. Don't forget, Joe, you have day one there just chilling. Rain-boosted water pulse from Save Me Will Slash Sand Slash his ass into the grass. I expected Archie to be a bit stronger than this, not gonna lie. Doesn't Sand Slash look like he's pointing at his ass? It's like he's saying, penetrate me, Mr. President. Oh, yeah. I hope your house gets fucking seed bombed, Donald, you terrorist. Anyway, Joe, get comfortable while you can. Once the trainer's Pokemon start reaching 35 or 40, I can't remember which, they will start having forced, fully evolved Pokemon. That means they could have started off with a Dratini that gets forced evolved into a Salamence. We gotta watch out for that difficulty spike. Whoa, why are they being forced to fully evolve? You have to consent to these kind of things, Barack, you Sharpedo looking ass. Consent is badass, don't forget it. No one consented to your birth, yet here you are, you Moo Moo Cheese Gobbler. Joe, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that Snack will eviscerate this man Tyne with a Thundershock, or Day One would end the bloodline with a T-Bolt if you so desire. So many powerful options. I feel complete. Ah! Thank God this shit is over. You played well, Joe, I must say. Omega sus and a little bit of cringe salad on the side. But overall, you drowned this wet bastard more than my escort from Monday morning. Why a Monday morning escort, you in-denial throat go-goater? Gotta start the week with a bang, literally. As I said, you boys will see the light and how the hose will make you feel a special way. It's something that marriage or true love or any other type of voodoo bullshit will never be able to give you. Love! Love conquers all. Love is the answer I've been looking for. Ah! I swear to God, get me the fucking exorcist blade and I will use cut on Joe right here, right now. Giratina has fucking taken over his body, and I'm the only divine human left. You're lucky you monsters don't get shoved into my pockets right now. I don't play no game, boys. Holy shisa, that was some heat you were packing, Donald. I can't tell if the fire gym is nearby or if that's your freestyle going off. Good shit, brother. Flames shall gather around those that you adore. Mankind shall repent for their sins. <laughs> Joe, my motherfucking Ziga, are you fucking good? You've been spouting nonsensical shit for the past minute, and I was trying to pay you no mind, but I can't avoid it any longer. Yeah, baby, I'm good. How about you? I'm just gonna kill this latte ass's ass real quick, then get my encounter for the root. Is that okay? Is that a crime? Will someone pat me down and search me for something explicit if I commit to such a heinous act? The only thing I'm patting is me dad. Rest in pieces, you ugly cuckling. Okay, of all the references in this series, that, by far, is the most obscure one. 
viewers, I apologize for that. I wonder if our editor is suffering burnout or he's getting so tired from doing these videos weekly. Who knows at this rate? All I got to say is that he is the real life equivalent of Draco Meteor hitting a cliff ferry. I swear to God, Joe, you better not gain a transformation in this episode. Barack last time caused a simping side of me to appear that I wasn't proud of, quite frankly. Plus, it's not your power-up arc yet, son. You know what? The Moltres molester has a point for once. You're still in base form, Joe. See, that's where we differ, Donnie boy. I don't need a bullshit-ass pull power-up to be the god of this game. All talent, no luck, baby. Let me show you what separates the men from the girls by flawlessly catching this next encounter with absolutely no issue whatsoever. Wow, you weren't joking when you said this encounter separates the men from the girls, Joe. Oh my God, it's Pika Blue. Wait, I'm so confused. What's Meryl got to do with having a divide between the inferior female and superior male gender? To simplify it for your pea-sized brain, Donald, Azuril has a 25 to 75 male-female ratio, while its evolutions have an even split 50-50. Because of the way gender was determined in this generation with personality values, female Azurils have a 33% chance to evolve into a male Meryl. Quite a phenomenon to witness, but Azuril is the only Pokemon capable of doing this. It was also patched from generation six onwards. TLDR, a third of Azurils, Grow a penis upon evolving. That's the fucking best thing I've ever heard. Why is that the best thing you've ever heard? Stay away from the blue mice, you prima Donald girl. All I ever wanted was the world Joe. Let me ask you this. Would you do anything for me? Or perhaps buy a big diamond ring for me? The most I would do for you is commit euthanasia, and even at that, it would cost you a trillion pokey dollars at least. Shit, that's actually a freaking sweet deal. I'll take you to the dick ick shop. I'll let you lick my massive cock. What? The fuck? fuck. You ain't ever heard of Nifty 50. You boys need to get a life. Go outside, breathe some fresh H2O, you dummies. You want us to fucking water breathe, bitch? Do I look like Tanjiro? You're more like Inosuke, and Joe is obviously Zenitsu. Welcome to the party, dick shop. Anyways, boys, I have my comment question ready. Today's question is, what is your favorite Pokemon event? It has to be linked to an actual in-game event. Mine is the Vic Teeny in the Liberty Garden from Black and White. I think it's fascinating that there are plasma grunts on the island searching for this little fella. Then once you find him and catch him, you realize just how freaking awesome this dude is. His presence guarantees victory and literally always puts out a peace sign to assert his badass behavior. I freaking love him. Vic Teeny is an adorable little guy, I will admit. Mine is Birth Island from Generation 3. Landing on an island with no music is quite a surreal experience for a Pokemon game. And all you have to work with is an overburnt Dorito that keeps slipping and sliding every time you interact with it. Once you figure out this wacky puzzle, Deoxys runs up on you and shows you what it means to be a legendary in the world of Pokemon. I'll never forget hearing that theme for the first time. Come on, boys, let's be honest. The clear winner is Arceus from the Hall of Origin. You play the title screen selection soundbite, then the actual title screen music plays, and you start to ascend the fucking stairway to heaven where you come face to face with God himself. He then challenges you at level 80 no less and proceeds to be the most difficult capture in the whole franchise. Walking above Spear Pillar for the first time was absolutely surreal. That was a good one, Donald. Your choice was absolutely putrid, Joe. I fucking hate Gen 5. Wait, Joe, I think we still have a rare candy in our bag. We can evolve Dick Shop straight away if you use it on him. Don't forget we have an egg in this town, too. I know, I know, and I will be sure to fish in the hot spring as well. As long as the fishing line doesn't get caught in that old guy's G-string again, we should be good to go. The more I hear you talk, Joe, the more fuel my nightmares gain. You obviously can't fish in the hot spring, you idiot, but there is a hidden item in there. Wait, really? Lure balls, dive balls, saggy balls, which one is it? I think it's the rare STFU balls. I see them all over TikTok and Kick Cock lately. Anyway, I think you should leave the gym for Donald next episode, as Flannery will definitely cause your Mount Moon to use eruption if you try and fight her. I would erupt in her moon so hard. Just feed Dick Shop the goddamn drug candy? 
You're just trying to promote your own products now, Barack. Nobody buy his Max Mindstorm mushies. They're crusty and overrated. What a coincidence. Just like your Smeg McDonald. From Dick Shop to Dick Gobbler, we got a final evolution, but at what cost? This blows Pidgey PP. I prefer Fennec and Phallus. How dare you diss this happy boy? I wish I called this man Robbie Lyle because he literally has a freaking dub imprinted on his forehead. Dub was so big I got it tattooed on my foreskin boss man. You mean forehead? He still has pickup and he just learned a decent fighting type move. Is it really that bad of an Evo? Well, let's give him a fair chance. Stats are everything right, Barack. Let's just see how good his defenses are. I know you value those two stats, in particular your serial killer. That wasn't even a Pokemon pun, he just called Barack a serial killer. What the fuck? <laughs> Boys, he is gonna turn fucking inside out and start writhing in pain the minute a leaf touches him. Holy shit, I have literally never seen a worse special defense stat. A starving African child has more defense than this thing. And that's why they call it a blue waffle. Wow, that was possibly the lamest flipping story I've ever heard. Are you serious? I walked 500 miles, then cycled 500 more just to be the man who traveled a thousand miles, and this is my reward. Here, doggy doggy, come and deliver me the sweet embrace of death. All right, you proclaimer. Electrike isn't actually that bad. He has one weakness, which is ground, and he's our first electric type. He could evolve into Raikou or Zapdos, so keep your hopes up and he might just be worth it in the long run. What is with all the goddamn electric dog type Pokemon? You have Jolteon, Raikou, Luxray, Manectric, and fucking Yamper. Why can't we have more electric birds? Or an electric mole? Or an electric mobile phone or something to keep the kids invested? If they made a phone Pokemon, that shit would be outdated in like two generations. Anyway, quick proposal, Joe. You should head back up the mountain to talk to your mama for lava cookies. They're literally cheap-ass full heels, and we can buy a boatload of them now to save our money in the long run. I hear full heels are taxed in the Pokemart. That's why the cookies are so much cheaper. Again, this is just something I heard. Definitely not something I can 100% confirm and say that I'm involved with at all. That double entendre was absolutely nutty. Of course you know all about it because you're a snaky tax evader, but also because you're an obese cookie monster fuck. What a bar. Wait, who said what about chocolate bars? I'm interested. Lava cookies are Mount Chimney's local specialty. Try one. It's just 200 pokey dollars. Thank you, dear. Obtain the lava cookie. USA, put away the lava cookie in the item's pocket. I actually cannot believe he fucking read that text box 187 times. Why did you read it so slow and agonizing every time? More importantly, why the hell did you read through so many times only to click no? That was literally the biggest fucking waste of time. It's all about the immersion and the dialogue, boys. If we breeze through this game, we will miss the best parts in a heartbeat. I don't want to rush through this adventure, because before we know it, we will be standing atop the pillar of Hoenn, laughing down upon our enemies. And when we reflect on our adventure, I want us to reminisce of the best moments, you know? Joe, hitting deep, late in the video, part always. But in all seriousness, I get what you're trying to say. Before we know it, the series will be over someday. So let's enjoy the ride while we are here. I actually want to put it out there that our editor has plans to do a big giveaway by the end of this series. The details aren't set in stone yet, but if you're interested in what it could be, make sure to join the Discord. It could be a voucher or a gift card or something. He's not too sure yet. GP6 doesn't really care about the money gained from these videos. So he wants to give back to the people for getting him this far. Invest back into the channel to keep it growing. You feel what I'm saying? That sounds pretty nice of that dickwad. Good on him. It looks like one of the requirements for the giveaway will be to subscribe to the channel and join the Discord. So make sure you all do that now while it's fresh on your mind. Screw you two. I'm not subscribing to no one. My sole subscription is to the one and only Markiplier. Daddy, daddy, Markiplier. Okay, shoot me with a Pokemon gun. You calling it a night, Joe? Yeah, that's me beat for now, guys. Thanks for joining me today. No problem, Joe. And good plays as always. You smoke those grunts harder than a smoke screen. Pure, unadulterated facts, Donald. See you later, boys. What's up, my inside out Gore Abyss snatchers? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. 
Last episode, Joe surprisingly played competently enough to not let anybody die. And today, the greatest nuz locker in the world, a.k.a. myself, intend on doing the same. What's up, boys? I'm good, Donnie. Just home from shucking a boatload of corn on the farm. How are you, Joe? I told you to stop sucking a boatload of cum barack. That stuff is nasty. Plus, I'm sure the other farmers will rapidly start to get jealous of your slurpy skills. Besides that life advice, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Had a nice healthy breakfast today consisting of ass cheese, buttery toes dipped in milk, and a slab of Marmite. My energy levels are through the roof today, as you can tell. Whoa, easy there on the shouting Joe, and may I say that breakfast sounds disgusting. Marmite, what the hell is wrong with head chef Paul? How dare he serve that to a man of your stature? I'll whoopity scoopity his ass next time I see him. No Kanye needed. No, you just killed the baby T in this dick. How could you, Donald? I loved him with all my heart. Joe, loving baby penis dick? Is that what I just heard? I can't even act surprised anymore. How are you never locked up for this shit, Joe? Why do you think I wanted to become president so badly? Yeah, I was running to be America's greatest leader, but also running away from the popo in 56 of the current United States. Literally, my first day in the office was spent hiring secret spies and agents to catch the bodies of the cops who had any leads on me. Then I cleared all criminal convictions from my name, and here I am today. Yes, here you are today, admitting to all of those crimes on YouTube's biggest gaming channel, whilst continuing to say stuff like, I want Bombhead from a Dusk Noir, gonna nickname him Sloppenheimer. Baby PP, Dicky Bo, watch out. Spare his teeny weeny ass Donnie, I beg. Which part of Dusk Noir would even give that sloppy toppy? The top head or the stomach head? Ask Grovile from Mystery Dungeon. Him and Dusk Noir were hate-fucking every second dungeon. A part of me loved it, and another part of me creamed over it. Hey, yo, what did he just say? Look, it's Reggie Cock. Which one of us has the best Reggie impersonation? Who wants to go first? All right, let me go first. I've got this. <laughs> what the flittle fuck was that? If there was a Reggie Payne or Five Nights at Reggie's, then that was a perfect impersonation, Joe. But Flamigo Balls, that was not even close, son. All right, that was a gosh darn joke, Reggie Bomba. Let me try again. Reg, 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 Reggie Ice. There you have it, folks. There's your comment question of the day. Who has the best Reggie cry out of the three of us? Also, don't forget to leave your impersonation down below. Make sure to include as many funky symbols as possible. That's a great comment question, because now that means we have less time to pad out for this video, and the viewers get like four or five minutes of extra smack talk from the three of us. Isn't that sweet? Wait, don't you have a giveaway or something to talk about, Barack? I thought I saw that in the script for this episode. I fucking knew this shit was scripted. There's no way you hobos would intentionally be so trubbish at this game. Oh, shit. So my amazing viewers, on behalf of all three of us and our editor, Game Producer Six, we have decided to do a giveaway for you guys to pay you all back for the amazing support and love you've given the series. As we said in a previous video, we want to give back to the awesome community by doing a few giveaways, so this episode will mark the first one. There's a few steps that need to be followed, which Donald will explain, since for some sick fucking reason, he's your favorite character on this show. Joe, what's up for grabs this time around? Well, viewers, you're all in for a treat. This giveaway will feature Donald's secret cum sock signed by his mother. Yo, what the fuck? Boys, that is too far. You fucking snitched on me to my mama and she agreed to sign that shit. Man, fuck y'all. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Though some of our thirsty viewers are probably disappointed now. Anyways, no joke, we will be giving away five zero dollar gift cards. This is all thanks to the loving supporters on buymeacoffee.com forward slash game producer six. This is the main way our editor is able to fund this series, and so he can purchase extra PlayStation 5 controllers, which is one of the best controllers ever made. Fuck the Xbox Pro controllers. If you own an Xbox in 2023, you need to get your life in check, you bum. You said it, Joe Jonas. You ancient American dragon. Microsoft fell off after the 360, and that's a goddamn fact. Anyways, as I said, somehow Donald Dick Inhaler is our two-time viewer champion, which freaking disgusts me. Viewers, how could you betray Joe and I? Young Goose here is the fucking pinnacle of corrupt nationalism and genitalia warping. And for some reason you all... Reggie, 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 Reggie,
Well, I guess I am the only human alive now. Joe has now joined the dark side. Ivy sore shit. Wait, does that make me Darth Vader? A white-skinned fellow wearing all black? Obama, I am your daddy. You fucking massacred that quote like a masquerade. Donald, please explain the rules before I pull out the twin iron hands on this sucker. All right, all right. Here's how to enter the giveaway. Step one, put a 44 Magnum up to the side of your temple and pull the trigger, Persona 3 style. Step two, once the cops find the dead body, they will proceed to burn you to sacred ash and spread you across Joe's front garden. Step three, Joe's infant puppy will proceed to launch Dog Dookie at your cremated ass so that all three of us can laugh our asses off. Only then will you be entered to win one of the five $0 prize cards. I know that sounds like a lot for a $0 giveaway, but I guess if you want to generically help the series and channel just a like and a comment will help out too. Sharing is also incredibly underrated and I bet your bitch ass wouldn't be able to share this video on X or Facebook or Reddit or Bebo. You need to heart more of my posts, Obama. Anyway, good luck to all viewers entering to win the illustrious gift cards. It will be rigged just like the election, FYI. Is anyone even surprised anymore? What would you guys do with the vouchers? Probably wipe my ass with them since I'm literally the president. Just to clarify, because Donald is a belly bolt fuck, there will be five winners for this giveaway. So realistically, your chances of winning any of these vouchers is pretty high. Next time we do a giveaway, you will have to be a member of the Discord. So make sure to join that now if you want to keep up with the episode previews and be included in future giveaways. Well spoken, boys. Now time for a gym battle. Time to rock this bitch around the Christmas tree. Shut up about Christmas. You gonna start using beat up on your Santa Conda right now, Joe? Oh, fuck. Where's Donald's come sock for a second? <laughs> we forgot to point out for the audience, but this gym is rock type in case you couldn't tell. All I have to say, Donald, is that you know where the giga drain button is. So clicker that thing until the cookies come rolling in, you grandma clicker. I know you're my clicker, right, Barack? I thought you boys were ziggers. Did something happen? Can I just clarify, I am not anyone's clicker or zigger? Shut the fur alligator fuck up. That shit was never funny and never will be. Joe, you reshy ram cracker looking ass, if you call me a zigger one more time, I will permanently zig a fucking bullet through your skull. And Donald, you zangu zigger, why the dippity shit are you using dragon dance with snack? That doesn't boost your giga drain and you ain't one hitting this soul rock. I'm doing it for the quickness Barack to make sure our snacky snack moves first. I'm going to need more speed than Joe at the weekend with that fresh Colombian snow. Speed? Yeah, I love I show speed. He's my clicker for real. Did anyone see his schlong last week, by the way? That shit was insane. How could anyone miss it, Joe? It was all over X and Facebook. Even my mother saw it, though she commented on it saying his dick has gotten smaller. I don't know what she means by that, but ha ha ha. Let's forget about that, shall we? Shit, it's on Facebook. I meant, did you see it on the hub? I had to claw through like 300 pages of BBC to find that thing, but it was well worth it. You're lucky, Barack. At least at every family get together, you get to see his magnificent sausage with perhaps a bit of simisir sauce, no homo. Focus on the fight, Buizel. One unsuspecting ground move and Snack will shrivel up and disintegrate in an instant. Oh God, it's the eight frenzy dick monster. I told you we are better off as friends. You're a nightmare. Oh, so he used to hide under your beds and tickle you at night too? Ah, uh, sweet, sweet childhood. Prediction of the fucking century. Now Donald is getting his snake tickled by the pickle dickle monster. Joe, you really are the MVP holy wiener schnitzel. Where would we be without you? Probably getting whipped on your farm, Barack. So thank goodness for my graciousness. What do you mean, Joe? That's my 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. shift every Wednesday. 11 hours of straight whipping. I'm going to evolve into an all creamy one of these days. I swear to fuck. And when that destined day arrives, I'll cream you. Ha ha, get it all creamy, I'll cream you. Anyway, enough about my spongy soap. This gym ain't shit. You can tell Flannery is a noob. If she had a Swampert or a Don fan, I might have been worried slightly. But right now, I'm just thinking about how I'm going to fall asleep tonight, knowing Cray Dickey will be watching my every move. Oh yeah, Swampert, my favorite fucking rock type. Just because you want a mud kip to roll out over your gyro balls doesn't mean you have to say it out loud, you and bread, idiot. Hold the mother freaking row, Tom phone for a second. I just got a ducking huge wave of nostalgia. Does anyone remember the Bloody Biscuits Lil Leap only run a Pokemon Emerald? 
The series itself only has like 2K views max, but holy shit, that guy was definitely one of the forefathers of Pokemon challenges and Nuzlocks. He is obviously more well known for his Kingdom Hearts speedruns and challenges, but he also would play through Pokemon games without using healing items and under leveling his team. Jesus Christ, I know I'm old, but fucking bite me, that was an ass blast from the past. Sorry folks, the ads are over. We are back to your regularly scheduled shit show. Donald the Shield Don Shagger has decided to choke the battle once again. Who leaves a Torkoal in versus Kabu Tops while the rain is out? I guess I gotta make this last spliff count. What is bro smoking? Snoop is big chilling like a villain. Hyper Fang is a powerful move, and realistically Sky Attack is too risky to use in a Nuzlocke. Go ahead and teach our little Chihuahua that, Donnie. As long as you don't make Tricycle Hyper Fang your right ass cheek, then of course, Sleepy Joe. Caterpie Cock, never mind then. Delete that move, you edging electric bastard. Hey, Donald, where did your car go? Huh? Lol, lol, lol. Aw, oh, fuck. I didn't want to talk about that today, but I guess you heard Obama. Well, after I ran over those seven Chinese kids, I had to roll my favorite McLaren into the Earth's magma core to dispose of the evidence. Of course, the genocide of their entire family was then carried out, but I'm a little sad about my whippity whip getting burnt to a crisp. We lost a real one this morning, boys. Whipping it. Oh, God. Balls. Wait, slow the nippity fuck down. That all happened this morning. What the conk? Donald, when were you going to tell us all this? Preferably never Barack, but hey, it's not like anything can be done about it now. Flanny still has Joe as her second name. I thought I told her after our divorce she had to drop that shit. Damn it, Flanny, you immature, hot-headed linchpin. Her name is Flannery. Why do you keep calling her Flanny? It stands for Flat Fanny. Screw you, Flanny, you Flanny fiddler. Oh, uh, who am I kidding? I still love you, baby. I'd give you the hydro pump any day, the new TM50. The reeds! Donnie, did you see that? Did you see the reeds? Donald! Yes, Barack Oscara, I did. I'm gonna hang on to Hydro Pump, but it's great to see day one and Snack can learn such a powerful move at least. Again, Snack defying the fact that he is a physical sweeper part, always. But let's just see what type of moves he learns on level up. Good call, Donnie. Another win under our belt and we are officially halfway through the adventure. I guess you can nab the fossil in the desert, fight a couple more trainers and then end off the video there. Next episode, I will face my father in our toughest Pokemon battle yet. Obviously, my in-game father, not my real life one, still waiting on that milk. I would love to milk Maze Magmortars while she takes a fossilized shit on my ancient power chest. Wait, don't let her get away. Head after her and ask her, would she be down for that Donald, would you? Make yourself useful for once. I will absolutely not be doing that. You're going to horny jail right after this episode, Joe. No, don't send me back there. Should I go back through previous routes and fight some more trainers before the upcoming gym battle, Barack? Otherwise, this episode will be shorter than usual. And I don't want to start the gym before your turn rolls around. Hmm. My only issue with that proposal, Donald, is that the previous trainers will be such a low level now in comparison. Power creep is hitting the hoe in region pretty hard right now. I actually think you should go ahead and battle a couple of the gym trainers in Petalburg City. Why not? It's not like I would have had issues with them anyway. You can go up the left side of the gym and pick off a few of those trainers, and I'll start the next episode tearing up the right side. It would be more effective for our team levels and money that way. How does that sound? Sounds like a plan, Obama man. I'll be sure to revive this fossil before heading over to our poppy's gym. I love the fact that the one time the player character actually has a father figure in a Pokemon game, you have to whoop his ass to continue the story. That's more ironic than an iron leaves. Nice to see that awful Marmite breakfast isn't affecting your bars today, Joey. Chef Paul better get his shit together before I tangle his ass like a Tangella. Wait, you guys have got it all wrong. This breakfast wasn't made by Paul. I fired his ass last week like a Charmeleon. What? Why did you fire his smexy ass? Well, you see, um, remember the last time you were going on about having Toro's cunt served with a side of Paul's balls? Funny enough, that was exactly what I had for dinner that night. I figured they just cut open his sack and marinated his testicles in some spicy barbecue sauce and served it to me. I was sadly mistaken. Turns out the chicken legs and chicken breasts that accompanied that dinner were actually just Paul legs and Paul breasts. So I went to his funeral the next day, respectfully walked up to his coffin, opened it up and whispered, you're fired, buddy. 
I then yeeted the coffin down the church steps and ran like it was Pokemon Dash. How many people have died since we started this series? I'm genuinely concerned. Speaking of dying, look, it's your wife. Remember when you threw for content and choked in that May 2 fight, Donald? Ha 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 good times. Oh wait, no they weren't. You Musharna muncher. You literally left it in versus a psychic type and expected it to live. I still get a little depressed every night, Donald. Never forget. I'm actually grieving here over Chef Paul Barack. Have a bit of fucking respect, will you? I'm so sad to hear that he passed Joe. Who is the new chef of the White House? Well, Barack's brother, Andre Rush, is back temporarily. He actually updated the formula on the pills I take for this series. His zinc shots hit different, let me tell you. His back shots also hit different. That's actually how I got that famous scar inside my asshole. What? Joe just said that was your brother, Barack. I mean, send a snap of the scar or I don't believe you. Hey, yo, I noticed neither of you fungus fuckers said no homo after those statements. Joey McBlowy is suddenly concerned. I see you picked up my favorite TM rest, Donald. I officially give you permission to nickname a Pokemon after me and teach it rest. No, Joe, don't fall for it. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me, Joe. You want to make a binding vow over it? Oh, what the hell? Sure, buddy. Great success. I will be sure to save this crucial vow for just the right moment. You will regret having agreed to this, you old hag. Found your glasses, Barack. Thanks, Mr. McBlowy, but please break that vow right now before it's too late. Sukuna has been trying to entice me into a binding vow for weeks now. It's something got to do with this playthrough, but I'm not foolish enough to agree to anything that fool says. Call off the agreement, Joe, I beg. Huh? What did I agree to just now? I can't seem to remember. Gosh darn it. Man, I sure do love abusing those with memory loss. Yippee! That's one point for Gigantamax D. Don't worry, Joe. I've got your side on this. I won't let Minimize D follow through with his dastardly plans. That's very sweet of you, my homie Nomi, that I've known since the dawn of time. The fact you would die for me means a lot. I never said that! Just a quick question, though. Who is Joe? Seriously, why do you strangers keep calling me that? Wow! This actually isn't a stunt this time. He's straight up forgotten who we are. I feel bad for you, Obama. Well, this episode has been nothing but a load of cloth shit. Impidimp dick. There's no redeeming it this time. Yes, sir. The Donald episode redemption arc has begun. Let's freaking go. Come to Daddy D. Kippers. I don't know what this chode chomper is celebrating about. Another fucking water type. Like, for fuck's sake, let's grab Snack by the Behind and five other water types. Call it a rain team. Can't wait for this muddy rubber blubber to evolve into another whisk cash or horsey. The only acceptable evolution at this point is toilet bird. Gang, gang, we eating it up, bitches. I have to agree, Joe. We are in the fucking slums when it comes to type variety right now. Water and normal are what we specialize in. And at this rate, it's looking like a liability more than anything. What has more water, the entire Earth or the president's Pokemon box? Well, the Earth has Africa, so I think we win automatically. Not to mention that the other stars of our team aren't even good against water. Day one has Thunderbolt and high special defense. Yes, but if we come up against a Kai Ogre with like 200 special attack and bubble, we might as well get anally horn drilled for a millennia straight. Snoop gets smoked against waters and not in the way he likes it either. Dog would get turned to literal dog water too. Osama is pretty much our only option, so let's hope we don't get a water-type gym. Well, regardless, this gym is actually pretty free, except for the leader. Most of the trainers here will waste one turn setting up using an X item, so if we actually got water here, day one would sweep with T-Bolt. No diff. You can also evolve Kipper with just one level up, Donald, so we might get a great monster at the end of the day. Let's not lose hope you eradicate Built Chub. Well, at least I don't let sludge bombs drip out of my asshole like yourself. You pea-sized shrewdel sucker. Let me see what horrible typing this gym is. It is definitely water type, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yep, uh-huh. Fuck. Well, look on the bright side. Our strategy of sweeping with day one should work on most of the trainers. To be honest, Daddy Norman might have some unevolved Pokemon that won't be able to dish out a lot of damage, even if they happen to have stab super effective moves. I want to say this is in the bag. But knowing you knob gobblers, you'll end up losing someone one way or another. Oh, I would literally kill to have you call me daddy like that, Barack. Do it. Do it and make me feel complete again. Maybe in an alternate timeline, Joe, where we end up playing through Fire Red or some shit. But never demand either of us to call you daddy again. 
I'll make like a cartana and slice your ass up in a second with this metal. Barack, did you forget, you flailing, failing homosexual, that you are the one playing next episode? If someone dies, it's a direct result of you fucking up, not us. So much for being the 49 Nuzlocke and Cumshot champ. Oh, you want to fucking go, Donnie boy? You want to start pointing fingers and using blame thrower, you M bore chunk? I'll scoop your body up like a vanillish Afton style, baby. Start stuffing you into a mimic you suit and spring some traps on your ass. Ouch. Did Donald's attack get cut in half because that was a fucking burn? Will of the mother freaking wisp type of burn, baby burn. Disco inferno dancing ass. Respects to you, Jojo. Not only are you possibly my prodigy and goat when it comes to Pokemon gameplay, you're the sickest and slickest hype man. Oh, barack son. Does this mean we are besties now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you jump the fucking gun, you gibble gooch sniffer. Come back in 2,000 years to see if you're worthy, peasant. Really? You two are arguing while Kipper is evolving? Have a bit of funking respect. You want respect? Here's your bitch-ass respect, Donald. Oh, look. Kipper evolved into fucking Donald micropenis Trump Ketchum. Oh, wait, no, that can't be because he's too skinny to be Donald. Even if it was a whalerd, he would look like a dot in comparison to your humongous or Venus sore penis vor looking ass. <laughs> Are you mad, Barack, because I declined your bestie requestee? I'm sorry, it's just I value my besties to such a high degree that it's only a limited circle of friends. You have to really prove yourself to get into this cool Klux club. Donald is in that fucking circle. He is more circle than the figurative circle itself. Chill, Obama. Oh, my Lord. I won't chill. You chill! Uh, good work today, Donald. I'll catch you around, bestie. So that's when I plunged the knife right into his back. I let it slide down his spine and proceeded to munch on his intestines until he finally stopped writhing in pain. Oh, hey there, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Pocket Monster Sapphire version. Last time, Donald absolutely smoked Flanny, even though she was a rock-type gym instead of fire. And today, I'm going to be putting my father in a body bag. I think this has to be a record. We've scarred the audience already, and we haven't even started discussing anything yet since you never even asked. How are we doing today, boys? I'm fine, Joe. I I'll never be able to eat any intestines ever again after that story. So thanks for that, Barack. But I guess I'll have to just start replacing them in my diet with some more McDonald's apple and cream pies. How are things, Barack? Oh, it is lit today, boys. The za I picked up last night from the plug went absolutely stupid. I'm still higher than a raging bolt right now. The little sparky woof woof is evolving. It better not be pure bullshit type. Oh my God, fuck yes, we finally get a Pikachu. Come to Master Joey. Wait a goddamn second, that looks like Pikachu. He smells like Pikachu and I bet he tastes like Pikachu, but there's something off about this guy. Go ahead, Joe, you sack of Smeargle Smegma. You've got this, I believe in you. Wait a second, this chick is kind of decent, not gonna lie. She's got great defenses and HP, above average speed, an okay attack. I think this is the first time anyone in history will say this, but I actually think we will find this puzzle useful. Quiet down, Barack. I'm trying to use calm mind here for a second and find out what's up with this funked up Pikachu on the screen. Wait, I've got it. He's meant to be blue. Pikachu and Ruby and Sapphire is blue with minus signs on his cheeks or something. Case closed. I will sear plus signs into your cheeks now in a minute, Joe, if you don't boot up that brain of yours soon. Ha 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 ha. Cheeks? Like ass cheeks. I get it, Donald. You're freaking, geeking, fucking, clucking, and sucking hilarious my brother. What do you say I call up an armor rouge tonight and get her to fire off a few armor cannons at us in the bedroom, huh? Would you boys be down for that? <laughs> oh, you guys are into Serileg bondage. That's why you're being so quiet. Let me dial up the nearest strip club and see where that gets us. Barack, we don't know how to tell you this. Uh, actually, why the fuck am I beating around the burning bush that you're smoking? Donald and I are concerned for your health. Um, also, we're worried about our team for the episode, mainly that, but 5% of us combined is worried about your personal health. You've been smoking more and more blunts as of late, and if we want to win this Nuzlocke, we feel like you should be giving it 100% like Donald and I. We hope you understand our words. Y'all are jealous of this turt wig I be burning. That's it, ain't it? What if I don't comply with your pathetic no drug rule, huh? What you gonna do about it, you whiny ass bitches? Barack, grow a pair and start acting like a grown up, will you? Our dad is literally awaiting us to challenge him, and you are puffing the crispest cabbage I've ever seen in my life. 
Why can't you ever smoke when it's Joe and I's turn? Why is it always when you're in the cockpit? As much as I love Pitt's cock, Palutena is where it's at, boys. I'm just going to park that there before my kid Icarus's start uprising, if you know what I mean. Anyway, Splurge is murking this Gyarados, so let's all just calm down. The Abominator has got this. No more risky plays, okay, Barack? I just need this crit, Joseph! All right, this was bound to happen. Everybody say goodbye to Splurge now. <laughs> Rest in peace, my son. Well, the comments are going to have a fucking field day. Barack is officially the worst player out of the three of us. Man really did drop bombs. Hiroshima looks tame in comparison to the killing spree he's been on. Fraud Bama is back on the map, boys, reminding us all that he sucks cast form snug little balls on the daily. Let's freaking go, you amateur. Oh, God, you're so right. Audience, I sincerely apologize for not keeping a freaking ditto alive. I know you all wanted him for our Elite Four team so badly, and for that, I truly deserve the biggest Dunsparce cap there is. Oh, wait, no human on this planet actually gives a shindiggity shit that Splurge died. At least now, Joe will stop forcing viewers to call him Captain Splurge after locking them up in his basement. What I do in my spare time is irrelevant right now, Barack. Sure, Splurge was weak, but for a generation, three ditto he put in work, 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 work. Rihanna-style baby, he transformed my life into something meaningful. I loved him, guys. I really did love him. Well, if he was such a beast, why didn't you call him Jimmy Donaldson, huh? Clearly, that didn't fucking help. Ditto is as worthless as Mr. Beast himself. Huh? Who are you? I'm Mr. Beast, and for every Pokemon you keep alive by the end of this battle, I will give you 10,000 Poke Dollars. Well, walking bestiality, you finally show up. You have no friends here, and this time I'll beat the brakes off you like a mock bike. Nobody will save you from my destruction this time. Yo, Beast Boy, what's up? It's been a hot minute. How you keeping? Oh, Donatron, how's it been? I haven't seen you since our private jet race. Still using double team to avoid those taxes, I presume? The student really has become the master. Non to toe? Donald, you know my sworn enemy, Jimmy, a.k.a. Mr. Beast? How did this come about? Also, watch this solar beam. It's going to get nominated for Pokey Play of the Year. Christ, where do I start? It was back in the early days of the YouTube while I was sucking on a blue chew. 2009, I want to say, I entered this competition for a small YouTuber back then. Dude had like 10 subs. Anyway, it was a challenge of something along the lines of walk along this tight rope above a 50,000 feet drop and win $5 million. Me and four other guys entered. They all died of fall damage, and I made it across after about six hours of focusing as hard as I could. That's why they call me OJ. It was the purest concentration. I didn't think the little shit would hold his promise, but lo and behold, that ended up being the first ever Mr. Beast video, and is what made me a millionaire. Is this true, Beast from the East? It's true, Joanna. I warned Donnie's friends to wear the feather falling boots. Of course, I had to remove the video when YouTube updated its policies on showing dead bodies on their site. Thanks, Logan Paul. You ruined it for us all. Quiet down, Mr. Bitch. I have family business to take care of here. If you choose a move other than Thunderbolt, Mr. Fraud Bama, then I will call off the 80 assassins that are stationed outside your home. Obama, you don't want Jimmy Smoke? He probably has his 80 most try-hard subscribers outside your gaff, ready to quick scope your ass across the grass with a red camoed intervention. Please listen to his requests. Do you think your empty threats scare me? I fucking dare you to try and shoot me. You will never penetrate my 40-foot fortress. I'll send the pin missiles out after I deploy the spikes on your ass. Please, Barack, you're acting cringe. Just let this fur alligator die to his own parish song and go on beast mode will let you live. If not for me, for the viewers, please. Boys, I was destined to duel Mr. Beast for decades now. It was prophesized that his monopoly on YouTube would be overthrown eventually, and I want to help Game Producer 6 reach that goal. Enjoy that gym badge, Obamna, because you won't be alive to see it much longer. Wait, GP6 doesn't want to surpass anybody on YouTube. He does it for fun, remember? What? Guys, he's behind me, isn't he? Guess it's just you and me, Donald. How are you, my handsome guy? Piss off, Joe! Good news, boys. I just got a critical hit on Mr. Beast in real life and one-shot him. Bad news, I have nowhere to hide the body, and I have no idea if it's safe to ever leave my house again. Joe, can you get the military to help me out or something? Surprise! 
Mr. Beast hired a squad from the army through me for the day. They're only camping outside your house for 24 hours, then you'll be safe. Well, hopefully my Grubhub order gets here without getting blown up like an electrode. After acquiring Surf, so many new encounters become available. Make sure to teach Boo Boo Surf. He's starting to become one of my favorite mons we have. Great stats, fantastic coverage with poison, water grass, and dragon type moves, and solid typing. Yes, he will get imploded by a vine whip, let alone any other grass move. But as long as we play it safe, he could actually put in some real work throughout the rest of the game. Plus, we can actually get our encounter here in Petalburg by surfing. We have another possible new recruit down south on Route 105, then again on Route 108, then finally, our last capture on the abandoned ship. Not to mention the plethora of items we can get along the way. This is going to be more exciting than polytoed pussy. Drizzle all over my face, you slimy frog. Great analysis, Joe, but you're incorrect about one thing. You cannot get an encounter surfing in Petalburg City. Yes, you can, Barack. No, Joe, you actually can't. Yes, you can. You can't. You fucking can. You fucking cannot. Easy, guys. Holy lumbre tacos. Is it really that big of a deal, Barack? If you're certain about your statement, just surf around on the water tiles until Joe is satisfied with the results. How about that, huh? Can you two numb nuts grow up and start acting like the adults you're supposed to be? Oh, uh, fine. One eternity later. All right, Puchiena, I'm satisfied with that. What the real purpose of that test was to make sure your goofy Draco Vish looking ass got used to the swimming controls. This ain't no Majora's mask. The swimming isn't easy after control. So I wanted to make sure you were capable for the seven seas we are going to need to traverse for this journey. You made me surf around for six hours straight just for that? Go make out with a maw while for me, Joe, will you, you rat a tat -a bastard Is that meant to be some sort of punishment? I hope that kawaii little kitty chomps my ass into the next generation. Pokemon piss and Pokemon shit. Shut up and counter time! Corvy Knight, where's my Tinkaton hammer before I whack this wacky racer back onto the Saturday morning cartoon slot? The OG Spike Setter. This man was a menace in gold and silver. His triple layers were so tasty back in the day I'd call him onion. Also because he was commonly ran with Celebi in Ubers. Rest in peace, you fucking onion fairy. Donald, I swear to Christ, if that is you using your entraining future sight to tell us Osama dies by the end of the series, I will fucking turn you into an onion fairy. Even I cannot see if that death occurs or not, so please do not speak any further. Ah, uh, um, haha, what are you going to call this little guy, Barack, my lover, scrubber? I'm going to call him Super, after Super Scarmory the YouTuber. As if Bloody Biscuits wasn't nostalgic enough last episode, I took a little dive into where Super Scarmory is at now, and apparently they stream on Twitch as the King of Zeal. Skarm, if you ever get this message, I just want you to know you were one of my defining Pokemon Let's Players back in the day, and I hope you're keeping well. I've accepted you are pretty much never returning to YouTube, but as long as you are doing something happy, I'm 100% glad about that. If one of the viewers could try and pass on this message or something, I would really appreciate it. Damn, that was emotional, Barack. I feel nostalgic about this guy, too, even though I've never heard of him. Thanks, Joe. How about we make that our comment question for this episode? Viewers, who is your favorite PokeTuber ever? My favorite has got to be Wolfie VGC. He's the type of dude who would show you memes on his phone and you would sit there and laugh at every single one. Dude is a pokey pimp. He consistently performs well in tournaments, makes great YouTube content, and it honestly feels like he knows the games better than the devs at times. If I heard he was a play tester for the next games, I'd be at peace knowing the singles and doubles balance would be in good hands. Wolfie, let me just say, if given the opportunity, I would jiga drain your cherish balls any day of the week. Hit me up, whenevs. That's an excellent choice, Donald. Our editor actually kind of looks like Wolfie if he was ugly and unsuccessful. Game producer six is built like a cleffa fused with a chime echo, whereas Wolfie could catch this super rod any day. What about yourself, Joe? Well, my favorite PokeTuber is my brother in Christ, Shofu. That man's Wi-Fi battles were crispy back in the day. I like all of his content, and if he ever needed, I would offer him my mother's birth canal on site. His bars are absolutely fuego, and his Pokemon ciphers are better than 99% of other rap artists and collaborations. I've signed up to be on the next Pokemon cipher. If you guys want to hear a verse I wrote, 
You got less bars than Mahogany City Joe, but sure, I don't really give a flying Pikachu anymore. Go ahead, spit some urethra water real quick. One time for the one time. You snipper whoppers, it's DJ Blowy. Call me Cramerant because I'm about to gobble these rats' paws. I got flame on the brain. Infern aped is what they call me. I monkey around like Barack. He got that prankster hey, like you a Hey, what the fuck? Key. Joe, you son of an ambipom. I know I did not hear what I just heard. I thought you were the son of an ambipom, Barack. I miss the good old days when Joe would orgasm over a swallow. This racism is just so out of pocket, like the rest of the series, really. But God almighty, you have to be a different kind of twisted to enjoy a series like this. Even more messed up to create it, actually, the more I think about it. Not to mention that opening bar was for alligator cheeks. I was going to ask the viewers to try get Shofu to react to it by sharing it. But I'm just more embarrassed than anything right now. Oh, Poppy Swallow, come to me and make me come to you. <laughs> Speaking of cheeks, I would stuff his diamond studded stomach with my cloth stick and blow him up like a wheezing. Wheeze, wheeze, wheeze. Get Ziggy out of there, Barack. You've already claimed one life this episode. Is that not enough? You guys do know we have a rule where if a Swalot kills one of our Pokemon, it doesn't count, right? They literally get sent to the purple haze heaven where all us Swalot stands aspire to be. In fact, I think if it wipes our entire team, we win the Nuzlocke challenge completely. Try it now, Barack. What kind of sick pleasure are you getting from all of this, Joe? I will absolutely not be letting Swalot claim any lives today. Well, he just killed 40 million right there. I mean, I will not be letting him claim any more lives. You can still store 40 mil in the tank? That's pretty impressive, Joe, for someone like you. To be fair, Donald, it's only thanks to the pump chump slump god himself, Leonardo da Vinci. He trained me on how to store more semen in the sea of men down under, if you know what I'm saying. He also taught me how to use a hidden blade, but I gave up that assassin life pretty quickly. Speaking of, does anyone know if they're still making Assassin's Creed games nowadays? I gave up after Black Flag. The series was just getting too convoluted and seemed more like a cash grab as time went on. Well, apparently there's a new service type of game called Assassin's Creed Infinity that acts more like a progressive story and expansion, kind of like Grand Theft Auto Online and Fortnite. It just gets continuous updates or something. I'm not really sure that's all I know. I prefer the earlier game, Ass Ass in Your Sister's Mouth, Brotherhood of Gang Banging Shadows. I was one of the main characters in Act 3 of the story. If I could just understand 10% of what you're saying, Joe, I'd be happier than a why not. My plan is to just dunk on everyone coming up with Osama and make a quick stop to the Pokemon Center. We got lucky enough to pick up a water stone so we can actually evolve Wagma this episode. Doesn't that make you want to punch a Ralts right in the face? Not really. Bruised babies work very ineffectively for child labor. Wait, I forgot again. What did we name our Poliwhirl again, guys? What, you mean Slicema? Slicema balls. Wait, fuck me. That's not how it was meant to go at all. Damn you, Joe. Do you even understand who you are talking to, boys? Ninja may have contracted and popularized Ligma, but I was the one who created it. 5,000 years ago, what do you think wiped out the dinosaurs? A puny rock on fire from outer space? Reality check. It was Ligma. Oh, you think Ligma is your ally, but you merely adopted the Ligma. I was born in it, molded by it. Posting Ligma in 2023? That's Omega Cringe Joe, I thought you knew better. Plus, you just completely ruined one of the best movie quotes of all time. You know, there's a joke just waiting to happen about you being the Batman or something, Barack, but that's just low-hanging fruit. So low, it's rubbing off my middle nut kind of low, and I have standards, so I ain't going there today. Standards? The fuck? Referencing controversial topics that still plague the earth today and constantly admitting to genocide and pedophilia is all perfectly fine. But calling Barack Batman is a line you don't dare to cross? The series continues to surprise me. Holy and mega yanker. Wow, really couldn't ask for a better evolution than this. Give me Lapras. Sorry, boss man, just had to climb 98 sets of stairs to witness this massive dub from the top floor. Our first fully evolved starter Pokemon of the run. And a freaking amazing one at that. Blast Toys is hands down one of the best and simultaneously most underrated starters of all time. Catapult Turtle is ready to OTK the opponent, bitches. Run away, you hate to see it. Our two turtle Pokemon can flee with no issues that's ironic. But those stats all around are incredibly well balanced. 
I can't pick out a single bad stat he has. Wagma has become a jack of all trades, master of none, which isn't too bad considering we didn't have anybody like that before. Finally, we are making fucking moves with the team to keep up with the power level of our legendaries. We have two more encounters left before we sign off for the day, so hopefully they will be a highlight of this episode also. It's just going to be another two water types. Why should we even bother? I can't wait for Squirtle and Octillery. I was thinking more Articuno and Mantine. Damn, you boys are both onto something. The next one, I feel like it isn't quite an Articuno joke. Similar in some ways, but not at all in others. Oh, it's a blue little birdie, isn't it? It's a goddamn Latios, isn't it? I would let him drop a Draco in the fissure of my ass crack. I can't wait. I'm over the Pokemon moon. The fuck? Fucking Azelf AIDS. What is this? This worthless Excadrill anal liquor can go packing back to the North Pole. The only person going around with a big white sack handing out presents to kids should be me with my aura spheres and 40 million seamen. I saw that Wagma learn rock throw get that ziggy wiggy waggy bastard in here now to obliterate this piece of shit. Calm down, Joe. We can't afford to kill any of our potential captures. I hate MFs who kill off their wild encounters in a Nuzlocke just because that Pokemon is perceived to be bad. I'm starting to realize every creature has its use, you know? Where was this Donald Dickinson when he encountered Electabuzz, huh? You murdered that TCG tyrant for absolutely no reason. We could have used an electric type back then. Obviously, I was talking about every Pokemans except Electabuzz. Who the hell likes that sweaty Yeti asshole? Personally, I prefer Magmar's reaming, steaming back door. I also love that his head is shaped like a booty. He could flame body my cock down the side of the old chateau whenever he wants with that gyat. Quick reminder that the giveaway is still on at the moment. For a chance to win up to $100 in Nintendo eShop and Steam cards, be sure to check out the last episode. It takes literally two minutes to do and is free to enter and is the best way to support the channel besides donating. We have also set up a Buy Me A Coffee account if you'd like to donate. Link is in the description and there's a post explaining why exactly it was made. Enough sappy shit. Balls, 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 balls. Excuse my French, but what the shisa was that? Did Joe just spam the balls chant on main right now? The sad part being it actually worked? Just when you think you know someone. The balls chant has never let us down before, Donald. Why are you even surprised? I'm going to call this Fluffer Christmas. Generic as hell, I know, but I was just thinking ahead about the forthcoming videos in relation to timing and scheduling, and at the pace we are going, we will probably finish this playthrough before the weeks of Christmas. Hopefully this series is done before like the 7th of December because our editor's job is going to consume his life after that day. That's why he should quit and get a real job, like being the president. It's not even that hard. Donald was able to scrape by without many complaints. Bro, you work on a farm. Get your literal corn-looking ass out of here. Back to the game. This song is so amazing. It mixes all sorts of weird emotions together to create this melancholic piece and gets you questioning this area. What happened to the people on the abandoned ship? How did it end up so tattered and torn? The song has also a creepy undertone that give you that walking over someone's grave type of shiver. Jinkies! I had a feeling this is what you two were trying to predict, my fellow students. Going off my calculations here, just a singular great ball should be enough to capture this Remy Boy's Remy Raymarade. Fetty Barak in the building. He's like, hey, what's up? Hello. This little guy has drought, which is insane. We can literally start the weather wars two generations early if we feel like it. You're right, Donald. We can literally build whichever type of weather team will benefit us the most for the final gyms which is incredibly handy. I'm gonna call this little guy Legends because this video is in fact sponsored by nobody. This video is sponsored by nobody because our content is too crude. Shouldn't we tone down the harshness a bit, guys? I like having money, you know? Just because our advertisers are limited doesn't mean we can't gain any beneficial ones, Sleepy Joe. We can still get Manscaped ads and they can send you a ball sack shaver, perhaps? Oh, penetrate me upside down Malamar style, never mind. If any hair shaving product companies are out there, I need a fucking lawnmower to cut the grass around my sizzling sausage. Last time I tried to do it, I whipped out the hedge trimmers and those bastards broke off after three clean cuts. It's like a tang growth down there. I seriously need help. 
You need help in more ways than one Joey. Say, boys, anyone got any plans for the weekend? As I said earlier, Barack, I plan to just monkey around like yourself. I promise you, I will send you to the planet of the apes one of these days. I'll neutral be donkey punch you right through the Milky Way. This is why he calls you a manky Barack. For myself, I just plan to stay up all night to get lucky daft punk style. Will that lead to massive sleep deprivation? Yes. Do I give a cryogonal fuck? Absolutely not. It's been a long week, boys. Let's just end it on a positive note this time, okay? You're totally right, Donald. Let's just be grateful this episode wasn't a total massacre and pray to whatever pokey god is out there that we get through the rest of the game smooth sailing. All right, time for me to take a short 15-hour power nap. Time for a cheeky McDonald's Mac Sippy Sippy Cup. Yo, everybody. It's me, your favorite American rapper, Joe Ryda. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. We've got a ton of new encounters and areas to explore today, thanks to my favorite HM Surf. So today we will be sailing the seas in search of some powerful items and treasures. How are you today, my brothers from another moda? I'm good, Joe. Grabbing your Route 134 encounter here, I see. Good way to start the video. Sup, boys? I'm doing pretty well. Let's get this episode off to an electrifying start, yes? Kill him! Eviscerate him! Allow me to demonstrate how to catch an Electabussy. Even if our whole team dies, I will catch this thing. Mark my words. Start unmarking those words because he is a level 33 with sheer cold. Do you want to roll a 30% chance to lose four Pokemon in a row? I don't know about you, but I don't like any of these guys. Joe! Uh, okay, fine. Wagma has run away so I can safely escape this six-fingered freak. I don't want to hear you spout some nonsensical nonsense, Donald, that I couldn't catch this guy. If I genuinely didn't care about the team, I would have let whoever had to die just to prove to you I'm better at you than catching an Electabussy. What? Joe, I can't say shit about catching that yellow furry fuck, so why would I rub it in your face? You are literally a better player than me in every way. I can't deny that. I had an epiphany recently that I need to stop dissing you guys when you are clearly leaps and bounds ahead of my skill level. Well, I mean, Barack, don't get me wrong, you were literally choking harder than an evolved Machop last episode, but why should I bring you down over that? We all need to work together to make the magic happen, right? Who's with me? I agree, Donald. We need to stop our bitching and focus our punches on this Pokemon game more than ever right now. Joe, I have to say, you are literally the GOAT. Your gameplay has always been like a Daru Maka, pure fire. Finally, I'm getting the goddamn respect I deserve. You two chums aren't so bad yourselves. I just happen to be bringing my A-game to all of these videos. Mama didn't raise no bitch, though I only realized that back in 493 BC. Anyways, I'm swinging by New Mallville to get some more items and encounters, but this filler episode will be just as good as the G8 arc. And what a fantastic arc that was, best buddy. Say, could you sign my poster of you that I have hung up in my room as soon as you get the chance? Just please don't judge me when you see what photo it is or when I tell you the things I've done to it. I'm not surprised about your naked celebrity crush poster of me, Donnie, but wait until we get our encounter. What the hell is that thing? I don't think I've ever seen that Pokemon before. Its name is Armaldo, but its code name is Gay Porn. He's got a very unique ability with its own set of rules and fun interactions in battle. About 34 of them, I believe. Just look up Gay Porn, Rule 34 on Google, and you'll probably see the full list of effects. All right, bet. Alexa, look up the 34 rules of Gay Porn on Google. Thanks, you slimy Pichu rat bastard. Now my Alexa is telling me something absolutely diabolical about a Vaporeon. I wish to discuss this no further. I actually hate that copy pasta. Such a cool monster destroyed by the horny community. What a damn shame. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon wow, is the most- Wow, look at that, Joe. Let's go back to sucking you off. You're the greatest, the finest, the bestest. I literally want to be you when I'm older, Mr. President. Here comes daddy. Here we go with the sus shit. Joe, we talked about this. You cannot be calling digital kaijus your daddy. That is an absurdly wild kink that you should keep with your mistresses. Barack and I don't want to hear about it. What? It's a reference to Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky special episode number two, where we get insight into Guildmaster Wigglytuff's childhood and how he got along with an Armaldo, who he ultimately looked up to. This Armaldo was a criminal, unbeknownst to the young Igly buff at the time, but the two went Lefties. on so many memorable explorations together. It inspired Iglybuff to become the great explorer 
we know them as today. That shiz had my heart weeping, yo. Anyways, you sick fucks, I called this guy daddy because he was literally like a father figure to the child prodigy. Why do you always gotta make me out to be some sort of freaky deaky abomination? Damn, I know what you mean, Joe. That special episode was low-key a tearjerker. I can't lie. Surprisingly, a wholesome nickname coming from you. Thank you, Barack. I genuinely love that Armaldo and his character arc. I do always wonder about the Guildmaster, though. What type of adventures did he go on as a rookie explorer? Or even as a Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff before establishing the Guild? By the way, guys, there's some static encounters in New Mallville here that will be randomized. Will we count those as separate encounters, or are they fair game, too? Well, we already encountered a plusle, which is dupes clause anyway, but normally I say all static encounters can be caught. How about for this run, we limit it to just one? That's fair Donald, you population bombing Q-fant looking ass. One more encounter in this area, and we will leave it at that for the statics. Thank God we have Wagma with Runaway, otherwise some of these wild Pokemon would actually end up being a threat. These wild Pokemon being level 30 for this portion of the game is actually a nice challenge, but I kind of regret lowering the trainer's level so low. 20% makes them feel really weak in comparison to the wild mons we can regularly grind off of, you know what I'm saying? Yet you two idiots still regularly lose team members. Anyway, quiet down you loud red lumpers, it's time for another encounter. Oh shit, so that's what the Guildmaster was doing during their teenage years, hanging around in an underground power plant. I think I know what you're gonna nickname this guy if you catch him, Joe. Cheap fuck! Ah, cheap fuck! This guy is a cheap fuck. I'm calling him cheap fuck. Black Friday sale looking ass. Discounted because he's missing his goofy ah parts looking ass. What is this? The one hit KO showcase episode? Are we going to encounter a mind reader plus Fisher Teddy Ursa next? At least Legends is two levels higher than this pink punk. So he's unaffected by horn drill at least. But still, what a load of horse shit, I must say. Joe's luck is slowly starting to run out. I'm starting to worry about our team once again. Please don't let anybody else die, Joe Seppi. But please at least try to catch him cotton-eyed Joe. You see this cheap fuck going for the horn drill again? Even though it doesn't affect us. This jiggly wiggly shit is so lucky that I don't kill it right now. I told you boys I was on to something when I said all Igly buffs should die. As Hitler once said, exterminate all the buffs, puffs, and toughs. You know life is going downhill when you start quoting Hitler. You know I had a few chats with him pre-World War II. He was surprisingly nice, had beautiful bright blue eyes, but my God, he always smelled so bad. I would always buy him aftershave and deodorant for his birthday. That dude was so gassy. Anyway, yeah, cheap fuck is what this titty impersonator is being called. And I don't want to hear a goddamn word about that battle. May Wagma rest in piss. Rip in pepperoni, sweet prince of Persia. Speaking of, look, it's the yellow flute. A useful flute if we were playing with items on. But alas, we have to put up with the stupid confusion hacks now in every battle. I love how powerful they are in a normal playthrough. They're more broken than a freshly encountered Koraidon. Let's be honest. The flutes, which includes my penis, are more broken than a Cubone. You go ahead and wear the skull of your unalived mother and tell me you aren't emotionally unfixable. Don't worry, guys. I can fix her. Just leave the sweet talking to me and I'll be married to that depressed Cubone in a heartbeat. You cannot fix her, Joe. You are not that guy. I'm sorry to shatter your confidence like that, but it's true. You've got to accept that you can't fix every female you come across in life. You're not a fixer-upper, you're not Bob the Builder, and you're most certainly not the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. That's great, Obama, but let me fix this run real quick and not lose peak to this stupid lead Ian. That would be a disgrace to all the fans who are rooting for us. We've come so far, yet Victory Road and the Champion seem so far away. Do we really have what it takes to be a master of Pokemon? Like, do we even have the skills to be number one? Well, let me reassure you, Joe, by saying something wild. I want to take the ultimate step, while also finding the courage to be bold. Oh, hell no. If you think I'm going to start quoting such a bum-ass song, you've got another thing coming, you ultra beasts. That opening is worse than shiny hunting a starter in sun and moon. Why do they have to make a big fucking song and dance about receiving your first Pokemon? Bring it back to the good old days where you pick a Pokeball, and ten seconds later you're battling with this guy against your douchebag rival, or in the wild for survival. But no, in Gen 7, I have to wait over three minutes just to see if my Litten 
is a non-racist color. As the saying goes, if the kitty ain't white, say good night. Or if the owl ain't dark green, start sipping that dank lean. Make sure that pop Leo is dark blue. If not, start fucking a paralyzed Pikachu. That's my personal favorite. Okay, now you're not even remotely making sense, Donald. Electric types can't be paralyzed after Gen 6, so what you're saying doesn't even logically add up. What a moron. Say goodbye to Harry Mama. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Joe. Harry Mama instead of Harry Yama. That is officially the pokey pun of the episode. Good job, you relic and agent prick. I can't believe I've done all this work to get through this dungeon in record time, and nobody is complimenting me right now. I literally wrapped this place up like my team of Dragonites from Red and Blue, and even used the run button without throwing up from dizziness. Yet I hear no applause. What happened to calling me a legend and a mythical? Huh? Well, to be fair, Joe, you lost Wagma. That's a pretty big hit to your credibility right now. I'm not saying you're on Fraud Watch, but I'm just going to wait and see how the rest of this episode plays out. If you make it to the Weather Institute by the end of this episode without losing anyone else, I will cement you as the greatest Pokemon player of all time. How does that sound? I second that statement from Young Goose over here. All my future sight is showing me as an image. I can barely make it out, but I think it is Dick Shop putting in God's work. He obviously pops off this episode. I can see he goes on a rampage, so please be wise in using him, Jojo, and don't let him die. I see he gets a pretty broken move next level up, too, so keep that in mind. You septile suckers better be ready to praise me as Lord Biden by the end of my play session. Did nobody notice I picked up leftovers a minute ago? Are you two scrolling on your iPods again going through Instabook? Well, what about this item? Wow, that's amazing. I know, I know. Thank you, thank you. That is seriously a game changer. Holy tropius banana, is this for real? You're welcome, boys. I'll take that Pokemon Player of the Year award whenever you guys are ready. I think I'm going to cry. Wah! Hush, hush, Joe. Will you quiet down for a second? There's a Cinderace on X who's having a massive OnlyFans sale. Rabbitfoot picks for $30. What a bargain. Call me a bug type because I'm weak to this fiery bunny and I'm about to vol beat my schlong. It's super effective. But my loving friends, I just got us another EXP share. Isn't that cool? Aren't I just the bestest? And look, I got TM24, which is super power. That is sweet. I'm going to teach it to Wagma. You let Wagma get fucking buried by a horn drill. Sleepy Joe cut the stupid shit and save that beast of a move later. Speaking of beast, damn Obama, this bunny got me bricked up. Yowzers! I don't want to let off a water spout yet, but the water pulse is already on the way. God, I love you, Elon, for bestowing this on the timeline. For real, for real. I'm pulling up X on my eighth monitor. Hold the Pori phone for a second. That Cinderace is a boy. You can see his fur it's sticking out of his boxers in the third photo. Wait a second. That's our fucking editor in a furry costume. You two are getting bricked up like a stack attacker over our fucking editor. Oh, hell nah. That is another level of down bad boys. I'm so ashamed of you right now. Repent for your sins. I respect the hustle. If I was a year younger, I'd be doing the exact same thing as that gorgeous creature. Just withdraw daddy and go around collecting items, Joe, will you? Donald and I will be busy for a second. Guys, to rescue Game Producer 6 from having to sell his body online to these two creeper peepers, make sure to subscribe to the channel. A simple like and sub will be enough support to show GP that he doesn't have to do these cringy TikTok dances in a furry suit for the series to grow. You know it's bad when a male Cinderace doesn't even arouse me in the slightest. Oh, for God's sake. He just deleted his OF page now because the viewers subscribe to his YouTube. That is pure ass in a bucket. Bud do in a blender. Drift loon at a birthday party. Raw dog and non-pog dog shit. You always have to ruin the fun, Joe. Nice to see the Biden ball swinger is back in full force this episode. Does your evilness know no bounds, little Joe Peep? I hope your flock of sheep perish. I'm just going to surf around a little bit, as you said, Barack, my nibble nobbler and grab an item or two. Then I'll proceed surfing Weiss to continue the story. Guess I'll ask my comment question for the video. What direction is Weiss? Don't tell me that's Kanye's new tormented baby. Don't think about it too hard, Donald. Anyway, my question is actually in relation to the new Pokemon games. Are you going to be purchasing the Teal Mask DLC for when it releases on September 13th? I will definitely be getting it. These new areas and expanded stories will definitely have more polish in it than the base game, which is all Scarlet and Violet were missing, really. Diplin is going to be my dipper for real. Fuck you, man! And I'm honestly just excited to see what Pokemon will be brought back onto the Switch. 
in glorious high definition. I have a feeling it's going to be DLC of the year. I can't wait. Whoa, slow down there, Weepy Joe. You need to pass me off to your dealer because that copium is extra, extra strong that you're puffing on. You cannot say high definition and switch in the same sentence. That is false advertising. DLC of the year for a Pokemon game, I wouldn't mind, but you know, this year we got like a billion Splatoon 3 free updates. PD Piranha returned in Mario Kart 8 with some cool tracks. And Monolith Soft casually dropped a peak story expansion for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Future Redeemed is literally one of the greatest DLCs of all time. That's a goddamn actual factual. Okay, no need to go on a gamer rant, Donald. You alpha rapidash built shit. Are you getting the DLC then, or is that a no? Of course I'm not. That would mean I would have to buy Scarlet or Violet in the first place. And I'm not supporting Game Freak's lazily developed games. Otherwise, they'll just abuse that undying fan base and continue to make subpar games. Hold on to a Carablast cock for a second. A few episodes ago, you said the final battle against the AI professors was your favorite Pokemon track of all time. Doesn't that mean you played through the game and beat the final boss? What? No, of course not. I found that song in a playlist on YouTube called Hype Pokemon Music to help you ladder Pokemon Showdown. That song came on and I shit you not, I, I reversed six owed Freeze Eye and a clutch King Gambit sweep. Since then it's been ride or die with that song. Oh wow, a King Gambit sweep. How very technical and skillful of you, Donnie. No one has ever won a match like that before. I could beat you in chess or King Gambit dittos, Joe, so stop the hating you clef key cock blocker. Wow, okay, I guess Donald's answer is a no then. As for me, I will be getting it, but more so because I want to see what the Indigo disc is all about when it releases in winter this year. It seems to be the finale of SNV's story as well as an expansion on the lore of terrestrialization. Plus, there are rumors to say that there is some connection to Generation 5 remakes or possibly a Legends-type game because of a certain character in that DLC. And Gen 5 is one of my favorites, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. And here we go with the Gen 5 nonsense. If you guys put a gun to my head and asked me to list three good things about Generation 5, I would tell you two things. One, the fact it is based off of the U.S. is based, and of course I love it for that. Two is that Braviary was born from that generation who is my favorite Pokemon of all time and represents America's freedom. But then I would proceed to pull the trigger myself because that is literally the only two good things that originate from black and white. It's ironic Trubbish was introduced in those games because that's exactly what they are too. It's also ironic that you're such a lousy bitch, Donald, but you don't see anyone talking about that, do you? Your opinion on Gen 5 is honestly worse than Lei Chonk Poo Poo. I remember when we were lining up outside of GameStop and your eyes had that bright glint inside them. What happened to that positive Donald? Where did that childlike wonder go? What happened, you say? Well, I talked to Bianca for eight seconds. I encountered a lily pup that wiped my Oshawott out. I fell asleep during the first introduction of Team Plasma. I started to feel like you, Joe. So I did what any sane man would do in this situation. I proceeded to head smash my DSi until shards of glass from the dual screens were stuck in my forehead. I told the doctor the full story. She gave me the crispiest fist bump. 2010 was such a wild time, huh? Are you stoned, Donald? Women can't be doctors. They can only be nurses. I wouldn't trust a bitch with my heart transplant that I get done every century. Speaking of stoners, there he is, folks. The king of getting stoned, Stephen Stone Jerner himself. Legend has it his mega evolution item was meant to be the skin wrapped around a blunt. Mega Metagross was also meant to be holding four freshly lit Zazas and gain the fire typing. Unfortunately, the game would have been rated T for teens, so they scrapped that plan and gave him a stupid ass stick pin instead. Man, I miss Squad, don't you guys? Squad was a noble sacrifice Joe piss off, and let me rewind this back for a second. How would including that quadruple loud pack only have gotten the game a T for teen rating? Why not M for mature? Because more teens actually smoke weed every day compared to the average 21 and above adult. It's a sad fact, but it's a reality we unfortunately have to deal with. Damn, that is some messed up scaroopy shit. I didn't know that was an actual statistic, Obama. Source? My source is, I made it the fuck up. Get wrecked, Dolan, you starving my boss, you fuck.
Thank Arceus, I'm a capable player because the ridiculous stuff you guys come out with is so annoying half the time. I'm trying to concentrate and keep Osama alive. If I start going along with you chuckle fucks and let my gameplay go into autopilot, well, you know, Osama, autopilot, you know what would happen. Kaboom! Womp womp. You two better grow up and get out of your silly little ha-ha moods because this game is no joke. This is life or death. You don't know the feeling of getting horn drilled and having to suck it up because the game cannot defeat you. Not like this. This game is nothing. My mental state is so impressive they call my brain mess prit. My emotions are fine-tuned. This game will not break me. Hey, Joe, guess what? What is it, Obama? Your dick looks like a watch hog. <laughs> Rip bozo. Shut up, Barack. I don't have time for your games, you dark rye. Why do you call me that Joe? Is it because I am a badass or because I regularly give nightmares to kids by bombing their hometowns and stealing them away from their families? You regularly do what now, Barack? Nah, homie, it's because you're black. Hey, yo! What the Gligar? Ain't no way bro said that. He's looking for the smoke. Now it might be over for him. All right, the gloves are off. No more silly, goofy ha-ha mode. I'm gonna spin your block like a hiss ooyan lilligant. I'll get the drop on you like a swoo bat and punch your lights out like a hitmonchan versus a lantern. What are you trying to say, Barack? Are you not black now? Am I missing something? Uh, I mean, no, you're not wrong. Let me be clear, I am still black, but the way you're saying then it Then shut implies... the fuck up when your master's speaking. Be yach. I'm literally just stating pure facts. No printer. I see you as black, I call you black. Simple. I see Donald as a fat gargantuoso Snorlax. I call him a fat gargantuoso Snorlax, plain and simple. Go back to your farm, you ungrateful Dino looking ass. Whoa, whoa, slow down there, you Aloma Mola rider. Don't bring me into this. I was just sitting on the sidelines. Don't be hitting me with these strays. Sitting on the sidelines because you always get benched. Why am I not even surprised anymore, you gimme goo gulper? The power is really getting to his head. Let's dial it back a bit, Joe. Things are resembling a heat more here with how hot this burn intention is. I know Osama has been cooking, but now he's sleeping like a time bomb. He will get his chance to blow again soon, but maybe it's dick shop's turn to bring in some shmoney. Fair point, Barack. A stab surf in the rain? Ain't nobody living that. Send your strongest soldiers. I bet they getting washed for free. Hopefully I don't get dissed for contributing to the conversation, but up north, you have your Route 119 encounter Joe. Don't forget it, because this is when the power scaling starts to get a little crazy. Oh, thanks, Donnie. I actually totally forgot. If you hadn't said that, I might have accidentally killed any wild Pokemon. It's the route with the never-ending rain, right? At least there is a visual indicator for when it changes to that route. So I'll be Gucci to catch whatever we run into. Hmm. Okay, guys. Based off this battle, I know what's going to happen next episode. Enjoy these happy days while they last. What the fuck? Why is it always when it's my turn, you just casually drop some cryptic narc shit like this Barack? What did your advanced observation tell you this time? Don't forget to pick the citrus berries, Joe. Sorry, that was my farmer side coming out of me there for a second. And Donald, it's actually got nothing to do with my fortune telling abilities, but rather next episode will be slightly different for the series going forward. I think it'll be a much appreciated change, but I promise you guys it's nothing to be worried about. It's also got nothing to do with the fact that Dick Shop dies next episode. Oh, fuck. Spoilers. No shot. No way he just said the spoiler, then put the tag at the end of the sentence. Barack, tell me it's a lie. I like Dick Shop. Please tell me he doesn't actually die next episode. This is your one and only out, Obama. Say it was just a prank. Please. Screw y'all believe what you want at this rate. All I'm going to say is you better make this capture worth it, Joe, just to be safe. Oh, it is so Jover. Wait, wait, we are so back. Day 97 of commenting that game producer Six should hack in a Lapras for Joe to catch. All those comments on the compilations were worth it. I'm actually going to use Make It Rain on My Pants. I don't know why Joe thinks this is hacked. This is the purest Colombian luck I've ever seen. Wait, Barack, I didn't forget your first vision. You said Dick Shop goes on a rampage, which he hasn't so far. Don't tell me we fucking axe this Lapris from existence. Oh, heck no, Donald. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Hold on, something ain't right. My visions have gotten blurry. Wait a minute, guys. I think I've figured it all out. Dick Shop will go on a massacre this episode, as you said, Barack. You were right. You never said it was going to be our Dick Shop. I've cracked the code. There are only two things that are cracked here. 
that Lapras and Dick Shop skull. As much as I would love to catch this guy, my heart is absolutely breaking right now. And now is not the best time to mention it, Joe, but yes, this is another Generation 1 water type that we can catch. I really can't think of many left that we don't have, but we lost a whisk cash for an arguably better monster all around. Don't let his doomed desire go to waste, and please play as calculated and carefully as you can to snag this sucker. It's so hard to fight these inner demons who want me to click Vine Whip. They seek revenge for my number one solo hit, Dick Shop, now streaming on iTunes and Amazon Music. I literally have a fucking demon living inside of me. If you're struggling right now, you wouldn't be able to survive a day with Sukuna tormenting you from the inside. He keeps bumping the same four Eminem songs on repeat at full volume. And it's irritating as balls. You also lost the bet, Joe. Nobody has to call you the GOAT because you slaughtered not one, but two invaluable team members before making it to the Weather Institute. Don't become a weatherman anytime soon, best buddy. Donald is spitting fuego. I'm actually so depressed right now, I thought I was the GOAT, but really I'm just a sham. I'm going to call this dummy, lap or ass question mark. I swear it's funny, but right now everything is pain. So maybe it will make me kerfuffle next episode. I have no energy to continue, so I'm going to save outside this chick's house. Any final words, guys, because I sure as heckle don't have or want to say any. Uh, Joe, don't let it get to you. You're still the goat in my heart. And to be fair, those were probably the two most reasonable deaths so far in the series. A one-hit KO move and transform? And from two Pokemon you had to try and catch on top of that? How is a man meant to combat that? Don't beat yourself up over that chum. Donald's right. The game went full on cheese mode and sandwiched you relentlessly. Next time we continue the adventure, Donald is going to go ham. I just know it. Sigh. No, it's raining all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like or comment or share this video to maybe cheer me up from such a rough session. I'll see you all next time and stay awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, I, Donald J. Goat, King Trump Ketchum, will be making my way downtown to the Weather Institute, possibly walking fast. Team Aqua are up to no good, so it's time for the greatest trio to put a stop to their antics. What's good, guys? I'm great, Donald. I have a surprise for you in this first battle. I hope you enjoy it. Great, now I'm worried. Why do you always do this, Barack? As if my day couldn't get any worse. Just sweet crust! What the hurt your hell is this? Barack, explain. Well, you see, boys, while I was sitting alone in my basement last night, listening to the literal screams of the voices in my head, I was reflecting on our journey so far. I've been enjoying this playthrough, but I couldn't help think there was something missing. After a lot of consideration, I knew what it was from the last episode. Heartbreak, watching two of our favorites die because of Joe's shitty play. It enlightened me. It got me excited. It got my rock hard. My lust for blood was fulfilled, so naturally I hacked into your computer Trump and boosted the enemy Pokemon levels back up by 20% to around their original levels. Yahoo! Aren't you both over the Pokemon moon? Oh, but when I go down to my basement to listen to the voices and cries of, please let me go, where's my family? Everybody uses judgment on me. I see how it is, you racists. The difference is Barack's voices are in his head. Yours are really trapped in your basement, Joe. Anyway, Mario Obama, are you serious? Why would you want to inflict more pain and suffering on us after the last few episodes? We've lost so many lives as it is. Come now, Donald. What's a few more scores to the tally? Also, what do we think about this evolution? I wish you'd ask me to come now, Barack. I can show you that my practice is really paying off. This duck ain't even gold. I always said Pokemon should have stopped after Generation 1 because the newer names and designs are so convoluted and ridiculous. Like, what is this non-gold fuck even meant to represent? Ironically, he represents stupidity. Starting a petition to re-nickname this guy Sleepy Joe. Wait a damn minute, boys. We are so back. We've got drought again. That Groudon was foreshadowing. I knew it. His stats aren't even bad either. He's pretty balanced across the board. Thunder Wave is great for crippling the opponent anyway, so this guy may just turn out to be the legend his name preludes to. Which is ironic, because this episode is sponsored by... Nobody, absolutely nobody. Our editor is poor and is back doing his OF sale, this time dressed as a Rillaboom, which is more up my alley, I'm not gonna lie. Just a quick reminder that there's a buy me a coffee page in the description for anyone who's willing to donate. Or you can leave a super chat in the comments below to support the making of this series. 
Let's just say if there was a theoretical program used to possibly emulate our presidential voices, it isn't free to use and costs quite a bit to make every episode. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So any support from the community would be appreciated. If you aren't willing to donate, go use high jump, kick off, sky arrow, bridge, ya bum. Joe, relax, my guy. What has gotten into you? I heard you say you weren't feeling too good today. What's the matter? You feeling a little drowsy? Other way around, Donald. A little drowsy is feeling me. His hands are doing some good jobs, if you know what I mean. That is an image I really don't need in my mind. But in all seriousness, what's up, Joe? We're all friends here. We can talk about these things because we have much non-homosexual love for each other. Well, I feel that way. I don't know about you weirdos. Weirdos? Friends. I meant friends. Anyway, tell us what's going on. Feeling a little crabby? Again, a little crabby is feeling me, but I'm not even into it at the moment. Like he's going to town on me right now. I might not make it out alive, but eh, it still ain't cheering me up. What? It sounds like you struck the treasure of pleasure, Joe. For as long as I've known you, you've always gone on about getting freaky and geeky with a crabby to make yourself feel like a kingler. But now the day has come, and you are not even enjoying it in the slightest. All right, shit, you're clearly beyond depressed. I don't think anyone can help you. Sorry, not sorry. Your best friend gets depressed while a one-foot crab annihilates him. And this is how you respond? That doesn't sound like bestie behavior to me, Joe. I'll just email my bestie CV to you again since your dog ate the last one I sent in the post. Excuse me now, what dog? Oh, you haven't heard. Joe got two new dogs a few weeks ago when this series started. He called one of them Entei, after our Entei called Dog and the other called Stoutland. Or was it Stalin? I don't remember, I get mixed up between the two. But anyway, I mailed my bestie resume to Joe recently, listing all the reasons why I should be his bestie. My skills in curling hair, seeing the future, above average schlong, yada, 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 yada. But lo and behold, Stalin ate the 53-page application when Joe wasn't home. Isn't that such a shame? Damn, Osama is putting in work. I'm proud of you, Donald. Let's forget about this depressing topic and make like a reboot and run, run, run. Wait a second. Obama, did you not know that Joe has skillage? Wait, shit. That's not the right disease. I meant he has eczema through a pet allergy. You're telling me you didn't know this basic fact about Mr. Biden? Pretty sure Julius fucking Caesar even knew that. Nani, is this true, Joel? I didn't want you to find out this way, Barack, you impotent dick loser, but it's true. I'm not currently accepting bestie requesties, so I shredded your stupid little novel like an abyss seeking giratina. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, now you know, Zig. Oh, for goodness sakes, Joe, can you at least sing the song to commemorate Dick Shop? Fine. Don't blame me if you shed a few tears, though. I really miss the dick ick shop. Goodbye to your really nice cock. Okay, boys, I'm not even joking when I say this. Lapris is top three months we have caught so far. Easy. Great stats all around, especially his HP, which is the most important. He's got a bad move set, but this man has transform. We can just shang sung ourselves into the opponent and batter the goddamn brakes off them with their own move set. The ability to shape shift could honestly come in clutch. If we come up against a Luigia, for example, we can paralyze with legends, switch out into lap or ass, then change into that beast and start sweeping these sons of stitches. I can already tell he's going to be one of my faves. That's for damn sure. That was a beautiful analysis, Obama. I'll be sure to not let lap or ass get schmurdered on the beat. Let me just rearrange the team here a little bit. I might bring day one just to be safe now that all the trainers' levels have been raised. Cannot believe you flicked on hard mode while we weren't paying attention. Damn you, monkey dory. Just take boo-boo and leave day one Donnie. Maybe I'm acting paranoid from ingesting five extra iron bottles today, but I cannot stand the thought of Osama and day one possibly getting tombstoned in the same fight. Boys, I'm not even joking when I say this. If Osama and Day One both unalive in the same battle, I will use destiny bond on a Nigerian child. You may as well sweet kiss me goodbye at that rate. Leave Barack's kids out of this, Joe. Anyway, let me give my favorite item, the amulet coin, to snack. And then I can try to put in some work against these grunts. I know the rain being set up every fight is going to slow the game down to a puku muku pace but I will take any means necessary to win these fights. Donald, I cannot believe you pronounced that name fucking flawlessly, you robotic Porygon Z looking ass. My ass also looks like a Porygon Z, irregularly shaped and infected. 
Boo Boo, switch on the blast burn. The rain is up anyway, so it shouldn't really do much. Blast burn looking a little different nowadays. Donald choking Mega evolved cock looking the same, though, thank God. Now hear me out. I'm pretty sure surf in the rain kills. I don't care if surf murders his entire species and clan. You are under no circumstance staying in against this fool. Literally anyone is a good switch here besides Peak. She's a little too low leveled to be considered a reliable tanker. I know he probably has a pain in his back from carrying your weak bitch ass all episode, but maybe if you ask nicely, Osama will help you bomb this blaze ickin Kentucky chicken. Listen, Osama will do whatever I command him to, okay? Don't you dare forget who caught this explosive little guy. That's right, me. God damn it. Jumbotron D is back on top dickheads. I would say it's getting hot in here because I want to take off all my clothes. But my brother Osama can never be hot. He's got the pumpy. Who's pumping something hot? Osama can never be hot. Perspiration ting fam in it. Never taint my brother Big Shaq's words ever again. That accent was worse than your gameplay, and that is saying something. More like Blaze Icken has the hydro pumpy goddamn. And you set up the rain for him too, Donald? Are you using that future site to try and wipe our whole team? Cough it up. Who paid you to start throwing like this? Joe Mama paid me to throw all right. Throw it back. Holla at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind that shit for a second. Did, did you just say Joe's Mama paid you to throw it back? Oh, hell no, bro. The block button ain't enough. I want him dead. You kind of sounded like Crash Bandicoot there, Barack, with your woes. I was running through the six with my woes. You know how that shit go? But anyway, back to Donald's chubbiness trying to twerk and somehow my mother paying for it. I will have a serious talk with her the next time I see her. Anyways, viewers, I would like you to imagine something for me right now. Close your eyes. Picture a lowly lit, mostly dark room with a single wooden chair. The chair has three legs. You go to sit down on the chair, but someone drags it out from underneath you and your booty hits the floor. You look up. Who is it? It's Donald Snorlax, extra large J. Trump douchebag, who's rapidly approaching you trying to grind against your pelvis. Now open your eyes and look down. If you still have a penis, uh, I'm sorry, but that's technically a negative growth boner. You are gay. After hearing that story, your dick should have fallen off completely or shriveled up so much that it goes completely flat against your body. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, everybody, but you're all gay. Welcome to the club. Who is it, Raiden? Show me. Show me who did it. She kind of bad, though. Is that Frost? You're gay, Donald. Ha 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 ha. Funny reference, though. That is one of the greatest videos of all time. Anyways, how are you finding the difficulty increase? I see you're having no trouble so far, which is reassuring. It's a little bit of a step up, of course, but these goons are getting clowned on like that circus you used to work at Barack. I used to love that funny bit where you would just walk out into the middle of the arena. No makeup, no wacky costume. It was literally just you in a black suit. <laughs> that was always my favorite part of the whole show. I know Donald. It was always a fan favorite bit, but I never understood why. Where's the joke of me just standing there with a single spotlight on me? Were you scratching your armpits, Barack? Were you making monkey sounds, huh? Were you peeling a banana upside down, huh? Oh, oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Of course I fucking wasn't, Joe. Why? Oh, well then, I don't know why people found it funny either. You racist Galarian suck at you. I'm sure you'll be sad to hear those performance days are behind me. Now, there's nothing I enjoy more than coming home from a long whippity day and work on the farm and chilling with my two good friends, sometimes puffing that ganja. I've been trying to cut down on that gloomy gloom pack. I'm sure you'll be glad to hear Joe. Now, I'm down to only 33 blunts a day. Talk about progress. How about we spark one up to celebrate, huh? Well, here we go. I only have one thing to say to you, Obama, you druggo. What is it, Donald? You poison-type, plump, pawnyard, steel-wing, backwards cap, dumbass, shadow-forcing kids like this. Reggie, 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 steel. You Persian perverts! How come every time the golems appear on the screen, you two malfunction and spout some extra delectable bullshit, huh? I think you two were red G's in a past life because you have not passed up an opportunity to do those stupid ass noises in a hot minute. Because it's fun, Obama, okay. What's wrong with having a bit of fun? You know what else is fun? My comment question of the day, which is this. Who is your favorite rival in all of Pokemon? That includes anime exclusives like Gary Oak and Paul. Well, you just answered your own question there, Donnie boy. Did you forget to put on aftershave this morning? Because I will smell you later. Gary Oak was just a straight up pimp. 
a babe magnet. That man pulled up to get his first Pokemon and had a squad of cheerleaders outside. How cool is that? On top of that, let's get the obvious out of the way. He is a whale lord sized asshole and I love that about him. You hated the way he treated Ash, but you had to respect him because he was still a better trainer in every way. He collected 10 out of 8 gym badges in Kanto, for goodness sake. He literally makes his own rules up about getting into the Grand Pokemon League. His game counterparts do not serve him justice, and don't fucking get me started on that cartoony, goofy, let's go Pikachu and Eevee twat face. Trace, I think, is his name? He is as big of a pussy as Cloyster is. And I seriously don't understand why they butchered Blue from the originals to be such a pathetic rival. Well, given the art style and hand-holding nature of that game, is it really a surprise that your rival is a cowardice, happy-go-lucky ducky? I'm not trying to defend him here at all. He's still more of a mistake than women in power, but for the type of gaming it was, it made sense. I understand that Joey, but I still hate his guts. To be honest, all Pokemon rivals are pretty much bent booty lickers. Even Gary's redemption arc is ridiculously dumb. He becomes a Pokemon researcher like Professor Oak, which is fine. But why did he have to become humble with Ash all of a sudden? Where's the conflict? It's so obvious when new writers took over for the anime because they themselves didn't even understand the legacy of the characters they were doing up. Long story short, all rivals are as useless as a 500 pokey dollar magic carp. I agree that dickhead rivals are the best Barack because my favorite rival is Silver. Oh look, I'm even fighting a Sneasel, which he uses on his team. I just love the fact he's another guy who's strolling about the Johto region trying to Sorry, what was that, Satan? Let me give you a hand purging all those souls. What the fuck? Someone just explained to me why this diabetic clink clang cunt keeps fucking losing our Pokemon. How is gameplay this utter Toracat shit even legal in this day and age? You're a fucking mess, Donald. Do you hear me? A worthless hunk of skrunk junk. Now Barack is going to come back as high as a goddamn Lunala, and we have to deal with it. Why don't you just choke on a wad of cum instead, you blip bug bastard? I'm tired of it. Hey, you good, Barack? Everything okay at home? I'm just so sick and tired and sick and mother fucking tired of the heartbreak and pain. When is it going to end? Why do I have to be paired with two idiots for my 50th Nuzlocke run? For what grievous sin have I committed to be cast such judgment by R.C. Us himself? Just end it all. Put me out of my misery. So, Joe, your favorite rival is... May? Uh-uh. It's fucking May. Uh, I would do outrageous things to her, but I'm not a dragon. I would plow her into the dirt, but I'm not a ground type. I'd give her my AIDS, but I'm not a poison type. I'd split my pain with her after I split her. Red sea open and split your fucking skull wide open. I wouldn't even feel sad if you left Donald or committed sauce on the side. Don't tempt me. I will leave if I feel like it. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I can't even recall what happened there. Donald, did you die to a critical? I guess that is unlucky, but you know, Snack isn't the greatest defensively and has low health, so switching out should have definitely been an option on your mind. You're rushing too much. Remember, you can't see into the future if you're blinded by rage or greed or food. How did you know I'm in my hangry mode, Obama? I apologize, but it's been 17 minutes since I last ate. Of course, I'm going to play sloppily. I have newfound hate for you, Donald. I can't stand by silently as you let our whole team get slaughtered. This is not the Pokemon adventure I signed up for. You betrayed me for the last time. Take Osama down south and train him up a bit against the skipped trainers. I hate to use such scummy tactics, but at this point, what other choice do we have? Fine, but I'm doing this because I want to Barack. Not because you told me you're skanky manky. I wish a manky would cross chop my nuts right now. Holy shit, I hate you, Don. All right, time to take down this bitch upstairs. Watch this all of a sudden be the easiest fight ever. I hope so, since you can't even deal with some bum-ass grunts in the organization of Team Aqua, and now you want to fight one of their leaders? Donald was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. I love when we make obscure references and like two people in the comments understand what it is. It makes my spritzy tickle, if you know what I mean. You know what I love? I love when the commenters joke I love it with... when you shut the fucklet up. You swan a sack. Your right to speak has been revoked. I genuinely hate you after today. Donald, go lick the dick cheese off your greasy ass fingers and toes. You crummy, cummy deadweight. Leave. Go! Nobody wants you here! 
I know you just got grounded by that smackdown Donald, but please don't let his words harm you. He's just a little upset over Snack's death, which I can't blame him for. He did catch him after all, and he was like a son to him. Real talk one time for the one time. I'm not feeling the vibe right now with you, Joe. Keep this up, and I'm off the goddamn team, and I ain't coming back. That's all it took. Hold up. Let me cook. You're as useless as an assault vest. Why not? I'll rattle you like a pseudo wudo. I'll shift the tree to its fifth round. Then you'll see the dot and feel the nuzzle of the leaf once this bullet seed blows. Piatch! Damn! Everyone hide your ice types because Joe is fire blasting at anyone and everyone. Donald, I love you, brother, but I'm afraid there's no coming back from that absolute destruction you just took head on. Unplug your controller dog. Look, thanks to lap or ass, I brought Wagma back from the dead. Maybe I should play like a certain fraud and let them die again, huh? Huh? Wouldn't that be hilarious if Wagma died twice? I can't help but laugh at you, Claude Zars. I'm literally the fan favorite player and you treat me with as much respect as Barack gets from working on a rinky dink fucking farm. You're both comedians, honestly. This battle is comedic. Get this double substitute stalling shit off my screen. I love defensive play, don't get me wrong, but this is just purely toxic. Have a bit of dignity, Donald, and try make this battle more interesting, would you? Literally more toxic than a grimer like yourself, Donald? Is your middle name Feebas? Because you're the ugliest motherfisher I know. How come when I sweep two of her Pokemon, you're both too busy saying the shittiest rap lyrics ever made? But when I dial it back a little bit, start to plan out my strategy and utilize what I would call the optimization station, you critical hit bastards get all up in arms about my plays. Joe, you in particular are seriously getting under my skin. One look at Barack and I have to forgive his horrible roast since I'm reminded that he is black. You zigger! But your Pokemon white privilege ass is frustrating me. You better watch your Luna tone with me, Grandpa. I'll soul rock your socks off, so piss right off. I've got at least four million plus years of life experience over you. The average Roman had bigger balls than you, you spend-a-built fuck. Choo-choo, here comes the optimization station, my scrunklies. I know when he's going to use disable, so I switch to signal beam so that I don't get caught in a vine whip stun lock. I literally can't believe how goaded I am at this game, holy banana bonkers. I bet you both just wish you were me, huh? Physically, definitely not. Mentally, I am quite impressed, Donald. After the relentless roasting from myself and Joe, I really thought you would have broken down right now. But you're on the cusp of victory. To be frank, Barack, I don't like hot sauce. Anyways, if I'm being honest, I am like one more diss away from becoming eternally depressed. If you could both stop attacking me like a zigzagoon, I would really appreciate that. All is forgiven, Donnie. You know I love you. I know your limits. Quick question, though, because I'm an arrogant Excel gore and totally wasn't paying attention. But didn't we have that last Pokemon you defeated? I could have sworn we had him last episode. Who was he again? Oh, I missed you, Dementia Joe. We are so back. Yes, we did have Blast Toys in the previous episode. He was our short-lived but very prideful member, Wagma. Wagma dick in your face. L-M-A-F-O, I'm gay. You think I'd forgive your dumb, dud, dumb, dumb ass so easily? Get jabated. You fucking killed my son a snack, so get wrecked. Wow, we got a Spiro. He will literally evolve in one level up, so that'll be a nice little event to already look forward to for the next episode. I'm looking forward to the Donald Trump jackass arc next episode. It's really just a compilation of all the stupid, idiotic, she stuff that Donald does in his regular everyday life, but with a laugh track slapped over it. That man is peak comedy to laugh at, not laugh with. God was cooking when he created this joke of a human being. Bro is man tyke in real life. Why do you even exist? Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. You're both so funny. So funny. You are right. I am trash. I am the worst one here for some reason. I have been a fool. I was blinded by the lure of adventure. I have endangered the realms and betrayed the elder gods. The blame is mine alone. But I'm still better than you two Heliolis Cumpers. I might just hit you both with the memento or healing wish. I'll set up the team for next episode. But after that, you're on your own, bitches. Fuck y'all and Joe Mamas. Donald J. Trump catch him as peace and out. Deuces, suck you later, or whatever that Gary Oak shit was. Um, I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. Let me go try butter his cheeks up. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Barack Obama and Joe Biden's duo, Nuzlocke of Pokemon Sapphire. Somehow we ended up outside the Weather Institute since the last play session. And today we will be getting the Devon Scope and catching some new Pokemon. What's up, Mr. President? 
Hey, Barack, taking on our epic rival, May I See. Whoa, whoa, don't you mean bootylicious rival, Joey? You forgot to take your carbos again, didn't you, you little vile plume numpty? I guess something along the lines of that, Barack. I know I'd usually be screaming and moaning and using bubble beam right now, but it just doesn't feel right. I know the 83% unsubscribed viewers are watching, but considering it's just you and I in this call right now, it makes me a little uncomfortable, you know? Well, let me do it for you then, Joe. Ooh, yeah! What comes after April, May? And then my schlongo bongo, Shamona. I'm about to hee hee this gal, no MJ. The electro web is about to unload, following the discharge. I don't know if it's just me, Barack, but I feel like something is missing this episode like a vital part of the president's play experience. I can't put my finger on it. I haven't the slightest clue what you're talking about, Joe. This series is called President's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Presidents, plural, you and I. It doesn't say the Tragic Trio, the Sea Salt Trio, the Destiny Trio, the Wug Trio, nothing like that. Stop questioning the series and let me cook. Maybe I am just imagining things. You're making quick work of my pre-ordered wife here, Barack. I'm proud of you. Pre-ordered wife? Now that's the type of creepy stuff I was waiting for, buddy old pal. I strive to be the creep god, Barack. Well, it's nice to see she still has that slow bro on her team from the second fight. I think it has psycho boost, but I'm not too certain. Which one of us even fought her on that route, Joe? Maybe it was one of our special guests. I think John Wick blew her to smithereens back in episode six, which sucks because I really wish she would blow me to smithereens. Bummer. Now we're talking. That's my bestie that I was waiting for. Lap her ass has got to get out of here though ASAP. No Rocky. Peak has signal beam, so maybe she can chip away at this bulky douche canoe. What about a thunderbolt from day one, Barack? I would say that would kill. Not a bad option, Joe, but just to be safe, I'll bring out our higher HP monster instead. With the increase in enemy trainer levels, I'm not even going to play risky from now on. I will try and focus my energy into every move I make. As Tupac once said, is that a gun? Oh, Christ, don't shoot me. I don't really see the relevance of that quote, but still I see no changes. Can a brother get a little peace? It's war on the street and the war in the Middle East. Hashtag it's time to nuke racism, am I right? Anyways, Barack, have you been doing much lately? Well, actually, Joe, funny you say that. I've been watching these videos from alternate timelines of us playing through other Pokemon games. There's a Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Yellow series. Those two are my faves at the moment. But there's this orange prick who features alongside us. I can't even remember his name. I just skip forward 10 seconds until his chat tot screech using voice is done speaking. Thank God he doesn't exist in our videos, right? He sounds like a heavy metal sack of Shaka Zulu. Leave my ancestors out of this, Joe. Also, it's about time we got a confusion with Signal Beam. Now smack yourself real good, you molasses bro bro. Slow bro is low key a threat on this file. We better stay sharp like a car tonno when this thing appears. Couldn't agree more, oldster Joey. All she has left is the ace of her team, which if memory serves me correct, is not that hard of an obstacle to overcome. Linoon! Ah! He always loved Linoon! Who always loved Linoon, Joe? Huh. I'm not sure. That was just a natural reaction I got from watching the game right now. Very strange. I do apologize. It's okay, Joe. Just don't go around spreading lies and pretending anybody likes this mon. If you hail Lord Ziggy, that's fine. Just don't bring up his evolution. The Bible is against that, remember? Don't blame my homeboy Joe Sweet Crust for that. He didn't write the book. He just read whatever was in the motherfucking book. I'm in the mood for some sugar-free black coffee on the beat all of a sudden. I should probably stop dissing this lie noon and its entire lineage because she is crippling the MVP of the team as the turns go on with Sludge Bomb. A crispy rain-boosted stab surf from Boo Boo should be more than enough to drain this rodent of her life. I guess we have to be more thankful that we have each other Barack, two of the greatest nuz lockers and buzz cockers the world has ever seen. If we had a third person helping us with this run, they'd probably be as useful as an archaeops and let us down. I guess what I'm trying to say is, thank you Barack for being my partner in crime and partner in time. No Mario Brothers. Oh, Joe Chuan. I'd love to be your Mario brother partner in time. That game is a freaking masterpiece. That final boss theme slaps. Before I get sidetracked, go ahead and say goodbye to your waifu or side piece or your star piece or whatever this situation ship is. Although this girl sparks love in my heart, she ain't my main act trick. She's my side act trick. Sayonara, maybe baby. If you love them, let them go. That's why I always release my 31.6 IV competitive Pokemon after each generation officially ends. It's funny we bring up the Mario RPGs because recently those fans have been eating good. 
We have two remakes of arguably top two Mario RPGs of all time, The Thousand Year Door and Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo. You bet your bottom dollar I will have both of them on day one. No ho-ho. Super Mario RPG? Now that is the only one just for me. Never got through Geno's maze, though. At least you gave up once the music hit literal peak, Joe. Gave up? I've been trying daily for over 27 years now, and I still can't follow this blue cursed ass clown. Maybe they'll make it easier in the remake and give the player a sat nav or Apple Maps. Apple Maps? That would just make it harder, Joe. Keep up with the times. Shut up, Barack, you manky mother lover. I hope you're having a good day, darn it. Well, screw you too, Mr. Biden, you squishy, squawkabilly built bestie. I wish there was some outside factor that allowed us to express our rage properly within these episodes, like some pudgy, great, tusk-built moron. Anyways, I'm just surfing down south to pick up a few items before entering Fort Tree City. Hey, yo, what the dog doing? He's level 41. Holy Palkia, that is hella high. Don't worry, I'm just shape-shifting into this woof-woof to see what moves our own dog will learn once he reaches level 41. The body slam and high jump kick combination, would you believe, is decent coverage, since it can cover the rock and steel checks that would resist our normal type attacks. While false swipe isn't ideal, there are still plenty of Pokemon to catch on this adventure, so that would definitely come in handy for the next few episodes. Maybe I should swap Dog to the front of the party so he directly gains more EXP. I wouldn't really worry about that, Barack. There's still a few trainers left on this route, and it's raining. His fire fist won't be doing much, and a surprise water gun could do some seriously irreparable damage out of nowhere. Like an RKO. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Just let that doggo chill in the back building up some experience for now, day one or lap, or ask and cook instead. Very insightful information, Joe. For some reason, this episode just feels stress and diabetes free. So I feel like I can communicate with you from the soul, you know? Man to man, goaded president to goaded president, lover to lover. This is coming from my heart, not Sukuna's, just to let you know. No spoilers, but have you been keeping up with the Jujutsu Kaisen manga? Speaking of, we've actually added a JJK and One Piece spoiler talk to the Discord, as well as a section to discuss any Pokemon-related adventures that members are currently going on. It's a lot of fun to see what everyone is up to or thinks of the latest chapters. So be sure to join using the link down below. We are also accepting mod applications for the server, since GP is an inadequate wishy-washy and doesn't even understand how a thread works. I'll all out pummel his nutsack later to compensate. Anyways, to answer your question, I haven't been keeping up Barack, but hopefully Fraud Kuna will start biting back soon. It's go Jover for him. Excuse me, you insolent sunkern? Care to repeat that to the king of curses and king of stealing elderly people's purses? Psych! I'm not even giving you the chance. While you were busy plugging the Discord, day one had adapted to your infinity Biden barrier. I then copy and pasted that knowledge onto my move set while holding a wiki berry, therefore restoring my cursed energy meter, allowing me to raw level three sand slash your ass into the grass frame one. Omaiwa, Mo Shinderu. How in ponyta piss did you manage to kill me in less than 0.01 seconds? None of it even made sense. Still makes more sense than the latest chapter. All right, time to diffuse this cure in black and take this shitty little Zekrom out of me. Oh, thank God. And to think I was going to listen to that man and shove a gerbil in my ass through a tube. Anyways, I take it you called me here for a reason, you Cyrus preaching scoundrel. I won't keep you long, Barbara. I'll make it snappy. I've watched how ass your gameplay has been over the past couple of episodes, and I have a proposal. I would like to make a binding vow with you. Here are my conditions. First, when I say the word in chain, we swap out for an entire battle and I take control of the gameplay. I will literally play as optimally as possible and solo the poor trainer I end up against. Second, you forget that we ever made this vow. How does that sound? That sounds fine, but what's the catch? Why does there have to be a catch? I just want a good old fashioned Pokemon battle where I can rip the opponent to shreds. Ah ha ha ha. Okay, you're right. Here's my final rule. If we end up using this pack before the series ends, you must let a Pokemon die for free during the Elite Four. But what if we don't need your switcheroo? Well, then you play the E4 as normal. Hmm, I'm not sure if you can be trusted. Then eat this critical pursuit. Goodbye, day one. Okay, fine, I accept. Ha, I'll give you the flame body proc as an apology. Could you really not calculate that pursuit crit damage, Barack? You poor slow pokehead, I have a feeling you'll need my help sooner rather than later. Oh, uh, 
what just happened? Uh, what just happened? Joe, you're alive? How in the Sizzlepede did you survive? I never go around without quick revive, Barack. As they say, if you want to get up, you need a little revive. It's insane how Sukuna one-shot me through my juggernaut, though. That lucky punch bastard double-swiped me. How dare he? Did I miss anything while I was unconscious? I don't think so, Joe. But I get the feeling that something terrible has been done in our time away. Let's try break away from whatever that craziness was and ask our comment question. Sure thing, my closest companion. What have you got for us today? Here's my question for the viewers and yourself, Joe. Who is your favorite looking shiny Pokemon? There are a lot of great answers to this question, so choose wisely. Let me start. My pick is a bit unconventional. My favorite is Blacephalon. His regular design as it is looks pretty wacky and insane, but the shiny version turns his body blue and he looks like a raving disco ball from the club. Brings me back to my younger days to when they literally invented the disco ball. The lights are complemented much more on the blue body coloring than the white. Out of all shinies, I'm sure nobody was expecting a creepy self-imploding bomber man to be my answer, but for some reason I just really dig it. Brings me back to the days when a foxy lady called Blacephalon would blow me in the club. Forget Sloppenheimer, that was some literal bomb head. My answer has to be Milo Tick. It's a simple one, but goddamn is it effective. The golden scales complement the newly blue shaded eyebrows magnificently. It is true beauty in Pokemon form. But the main reason I love it is because of how elusive it feels. First, you have to go through the trouble of finding a Feebas, which can take literal hours to do. Then spend another ungodly amount of days or even weeks fishing or breeding to try and obtain the shiny version. Then after jumping through more hoops to evolve it, you finally get to witness a phenomenal sight. It also helps that this gorgeous creature is competitively viable with it being a defensive wall. Elusive, Feebas, a wall? Hold on, I'm starting to remember something. A rotund elephant mother plucker. Something, something done. Don something. Don, 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 Don. Don fan. That's probably what you're thinking about Joey McSlowey. Anyways, I'm getting right back into sweeping these trainers with day one. It feels good to be on top again. We also have an encounter on this route that we can't forget. It's never good news if Sukuna is popping up, so we need all the firepower we can get. It's been a while since he's appeared in one of these episodes. I wonder when he's going to show his Wimpod ass again. He literally fucking murdered you five minutes ago. How have you forgotten your own death within an episode, Joe? Nah, bro. Ain't no way. I would have remembered taking him down to Brown Town Barack. Besides that, I'm always forgetting my near deaths. I've literally been running from the Grim Reaper himself for how many millennia now? Christ on a mock bike, Joe, you have more plot armor than Elaine's Charizard. Like seriously, how in the distortion world did Ash's Grey Ninja lose in that fight? That man is busted AF, but just because Ash wasn't allowed to win a Pokemon League yet, his poor team had to catch some fat L's. I'm pretty sure I was catching some fat Z's during that fight. You're always catching Z's tiresome, Joe. Back on track, it's been a whole episode since our last wild encounter, so let's make this a good one. Sunny side up, just the way I like them. I'm going to presume you mean the egg part, not the baby part. But before this gets weird, let me just say I love Togepi. It is god tier Pokemon design. In the anime, that little guy was so dang adorable. Gen 1 stands are back on top where we belong. The fact that it's an egg Pokemon, which was foreshadowing the breeding mechanic for gold and silver, is also a 5000 IQ play from Game Freak. A bit weird to think the bottom half of the Togepi egg is the exact same one it was born in, but that's a bit nitpicky. Although I usually want to drain all the blood from baby Pokemon, or just babies in general, should I say, Togepi is actually all right. Its final evolution, Togetic, is pretty cool, if not a little underpowered. I still like him, though. You know, it evolves into Togekiss from Gen 4 onwards, Joe, right? Wait, really? Hold on, let me open Microsoft Edge to Yahoo search what this thing looks like. I'm pretty sure your brain operates on Bing, Joe, either that or Windows 95. That would explain why your IRL speed stat is so low. I'm telling you, it's because I'm always carrying around this lagging tail between my legs. I saw that he has synthesis, which is a great healing move. That means we can use him on our OP Sun team that definitely synergizes with each other. I can't wait to use this chubby little guy. What the, what the hurtier hell was that? Let's just ignore that for now, Joe. Before Giratina scoops me up Afton style, what are you going to nickname this Eggy Weggy Barack my savior? Well, of course, I'm going to pay my respects to the best season of the anime by nicknaming this cute little powerhouse Chucky. 
Oh, for falling's sake. Why is it always when I bring up FNAF, creepy shit starts to happen? I spook easily, Barack, but I have to ask, why Chucky? Because in the show, Togepi says, Chucky, 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 pre. On God, I implore you to go listen to him speak. I cannot unhear it. I suppose Halloween is coming up next in terms of useless holidays, but that's not part of my faith, so leave me out of this Barack. What are you going on about Joe? Even though you're Jewish, you still have to celebrate Halloween. I'm not Jewish. I've told you I'm shroomish. I pray to Lord Berlum six times a day. I pray he spores me beyond the afterlife and further beyond the boundaries of death. I wish to Jiraki that he choice ban my punches my kneecaps for all of my sins I perform in the morning. Then I pray nine more times in the evening after doing some moderately evil sins. They're bad, but nothing compared to what I do every day at dawn. This is the salvation I aim for, for he alone is the honored one. What the hell do you do to dawn every day? You know what? Just shut up, Joe, before I murk you. Oh, it's a baby version of our editor, GP. Does he call himself a haunch crow because he thinks he's a pimp or a mafia boss? That's super de duper cringe. I can't lie. Well, there's our first sand complimented ability, I suppose. Her stats are actually okay. They almost look like a normal Merc Rose, fast with decent defenses. If she just had better moves, she would be a pretty reliable member. For now, I'll just take the EXP share and funnel it to Dog. We have a static catch up ahead, too. I just have to no scope this invisible Rotom hacking little shit off the bridge first. Just don't get a collateral with Steve O. I want to see a Jackass 5 before I ascend to heaven. Gosh darn it. A putrid little insect reminds me of an old friend, a small, insignificant little worm. Oh, who am I kidding? He wasn't small. I can't even remember his cheek stuffed name. Spoilers to the viewers, but this thing is getting caught in the first ball. Enough said. The pool of bug types to evolve into isn't particularly great in this generation, but at least it's a fast evolution. We should be able to witness it before the end of this episode. What a cheerful and eventful day it has been. Why can't it be like this every week? What are you going to call this scraggly little scaboodle? Well, Wormpole always reminds me of the boss Empress Bullblax from Pikmin. And this one happens to be a female, so I'll call her Bullblax. Say that reminds me, didn't you buy Dickman for or something a couple of weeks ago, Joe? I keep seeing trailers for it on the hub and it looks erotic. Have you beaten it yet? I have not beaten off four men's dicks simultaneously yet, Barack. I'm slowly but surely getting there. I think Gordon Ramsay was the one who bought that game when he was featured a while ago. It sounds like something he would do slash cook slash play slash enjoy. I think you're right there, Joe Cephalon. I know you saw my sniping skills earlier with the Devon scope. Gordon is actually the one who taught me how to use it back in the Modern Warfare two days. I ain't talking about the shitty remakes, the OG Xbox 360 days before they fell off. No shot. You're capping Barack. Are you for realsies? Did you forget the orgs that wanted me on their teams for the circuits back in the day? I went beast mode with the intervention. Let me demonstrate again. Skippity bop, beep bop bop pow. I can see why FaZe wanted you so badly on their Modern Warfare 2 team for MLG 2010. That'll teach that roly-poly Snorlax wannabe blocking the way looking ass. The voices, I keep hearing them. Just release those damn kids from your basement and you won't have to listen to their cries, Joe. Or for God's sake, just feed them and I guarantee you they will stop. While this voice sounds like a child's and I can definitely imagine them begging for a hundred happy meals, it's built different from the others. It's like he's been shut off, possibly exiled to ultra space. What could we possibly do? Well, you seem to get these dimensional screams whenever you bring up fat Pokemon in a negative light. That's one piece of the puzzle, but what you would do from there, I'm not quite sure. Maybe to fill this dark void, we have to start throwing our love balls out into the open. If you've unzipped your pants, Barack, now is your chance to put those bad boys away. Shit! Uh, what are you talking about? Ha ha ha, great plan. Joe, let's start expressing our appreciation for whatever it is that we've lost. Hey, mysterious figure, I miss you like a focus blast. I love you more than a heart scale holding love disc. I'm attracted to you like a magneton. Who has the ability to cute charm. You may just be the needle king to my needle queen. To keep things simple and clean, the future with you doesn't scare us at all. Nothing, Nothing is, is like, like before. before. Hold me. Donald, it was you the whole time. Oh, my God. It's all coming back to me now. I remember what it is I lost. Oh, Joe, such a warm welcome back. You miss me? Strong words, you choke artist. We had lost our deadweight team player. This episode was missing an oversized, garganackle-built shit talker. A Draco Zolt-looking mistake. 
How could I forget you, Donald, you Dynamax disappointment? Ha ha ha, screw you too, AZ. I hope you haven't been touching any ogre pawns while I've been gone. You falling feeler. I'm starting to remember now too, guys. The series was missing the Doug trio. It looks like our destinies have brought us back together. I don't appreciate the overrepresentation of white people between the three of us, but whatever. That's not the point. Nah, Donald's representing the Tangerines, Barack. He ain't white in my eyes. We don't accept him into the Cool Chucks clan. Oh, sweet. Forgive me. Guess we repping all sorts of ethnicities here. Say, Donald, what did you get up to while you were gone? Well, fellas, I went on a bit of a journey while I was away. Let me just say, it wasn't easy. First, I started to reflect on why I was playing like such law punny cheeks, but I couldn't come to a definitive conclusion. So I pushed my body to its absolute limit. I 100%ed Pokey Park Pikachu's adventure with just one hand. I beat Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia using my toes to draw the capture circles. And I grinded out the Battle Palace silver medal. Whoa, 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 calm down. Someone get the medic, he's gone insane. Joe's right, Donald. They force U.S. prisoners to play an hour of the Battle Palace whenever they cause further trouble in their cells. I've heard they even use that mode as a torture device in some countries. Guys, trust me, I literally went through it. I even set the battle text to slow for extra pain. Youch! You must be a shell of a man right now. And that's just for silver? If I've learned anything, it's this. Seriously, fuck that facility. Don't worry, I'll get the gold symbol next season. As awful as all that sounds, I'm glad to hear the Donald training arc has been a resounding success. What power-up did you end up getting? All will be revealed in due time, Annihilate. Let's just celebrate the fact that I'm back in this biz niche. Be honest, how much did you guys miss me? Well, did I miss much while I was gone? Guys, it's been like 40 minutes. Can one of you freak choos answer me? You didn't miss much. Great communication, you frost last munchers. I'm sure glad to be back. You're back for this immaculate evolution. Be grateful, you sleazy, cheesy slur puff. I don't know how to explain this phenomenon, but this Evo is making my body use Harden for some reason. It looks like we will have to wait until next time to unlock this chick's potential. Say, Joe, I don't know about you, but all of a sudden I don't have the energy to continue. I'm going to sign off for today. Thanks for co-hosting the best episode to date. You're the greatest as always. Oh, Barack, I couldn't have done it without your dazzling performance. I'll see you Tuesday for our next secret group orgy. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the President's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Last episode, Barack and I were getting along like a plusle and minin, but then flump-faced Donald here made it feel like a Zangoose and Siviper gang war. Today, we are taking on the sixth gym. You always have such a way with words, Joe. Hope you're doing well, my boy. It looks like this gym is going to be either an ice or a ground-type theme, judging by the opposing swine up. Hopefully we get ground. How are we today, guys? I'm absolutely fantastic, Barack. Did you both see the comment section sucking me off last episode because I was missing? What can I say? I'm literally the GOAT. I only watched half of the previous episode before going into a Mackey's food coma. These videos are so boring without me, god damn. I missed you, Donald. I can't wait to Excadrill sweep your confidence by the end of this episode again. Bullying you is just too damn easy. Aye, aye, aye. My little butterfly. Okay, okay, I'm not one to dunk on bad Pokemon, but this mask on, mask off little guy is pretty ass if I do say so myself. One switch into Stealth Rocks and she is instantly dead. Yes, Stealth Rocks. That hazard that definitely exists in this game, you dipshit. Her HP and special stats are actually pretty great. Plus, why do you always have to judge a Pokemon by its battling capabilities? I think Masquerain has one of the best designs ever. Ah, oh, that's sweet of you, Barack. Thanks, Joe. I especially love the fact its head looks like a bong. And there it is, Barack Obama, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, I just want to put it out there that I'm very nervous having to play today. The gym leader of this gym is, well, I don't want to say... Your wife? What the frick? How did you both know? Well, you let that slip a couple episodes ago, Joe, but I'm not surprised you've used amnesia since then. Side note, it looks like we got ground type, and if Rock Tomb from Groudon is only doing 10 damage to our doggo, then I think this gym is pretty much in the bag. The only thing in the bag is that fresh Colombian Coca-Cola, Donnie, because I may have screwed us over. Oh, Tepig on a spit roast. What have you done now, Joe? Here's the thing. 
When I drafted out a complex diagram of which one of us would be playing the game at each point in this playthrough, Barack was actually meant to fight Winona last episode. However, you threw a water shuriken in the mix when you got fucking blazed in episode 7. And your Snoopy Doo looking ass decided to do the Trick Master's house instead. That pushed back everything by one episode and now I have to fight my gym leader of a wife. Now physically I have never had an issue with beating the living daylights out of her. But here's where the issue lies. When we got married, I made a vow that I would never beat her in a Pokemon battle. It would be a disgrace to her title and job, plus she would literally be worthless to me, as that bitch can't even cook a dry coconut curry. Who can't cook that shit? All you do is nut straight into a bowl of rice and the dish is done. Wow, Joe, that is a crazy callback, I must say. But there's something I don't understand. What happens if you win in the battle? Does she send a Hitman or Hitmonchan or Inteleon Assassin after you or something? Even worse, we get a divorce. Wait, that's all? You made it out to be a worse punishment, no Zoroark? Shut your bitch ass up, you literal Zoroark! Winona is my fucking one true love, my childhood crush, my teen lover, my adult dream gal. Why do you think I gush and cream over an Altaria so much? Because we first made love on that thing flying around Hoenn? Sorry boys, I know this run means a lot to you, but if I have to use Explosion and end it here, I would rather do that so I could use Explosion in her guts tonight. No flame orb? Whoa, whoa. Use calm mind there, Joe. Let's relax a bit. I think you're just afraid of entering back into the singles bracket of love, aren't you? If that's the case, Donald and I can give you a few pointers and pokey pickup lines if you so doom desire. I would love to pick up Pokemane and Batista Bomber through a steel chair. Let's do this shit, Barack. For Joe! Wait, let me use water pulse on her before you skull bash your face, Dondre the Giant. You already catch my drift limb, Joe. I know there are some single fellas and single she-males out there that watch these videos looking for a bit of love. So how about we give them some of our best hits we've used throughout the years? You can jot them down as well, Joe, so you can drop these big, sexy one-liners next time you're at the playground. I don't need your corny, thwacky-ass puns. I'll have you know, I've gotten plenty of bitches in my days. Honestly, what I can say is the chicks with dicks from the Middle Ages hit different. You couldn't tell if anyone was a guy or a girl. Shit had me looking like Professor Oak. I kept asking what their gender was, even though they were right in front of me. Obviously, I couldn't give a rattata, and we would use swords dance anyway. Although there was nothing I craved more than a choice banded lick from the Mona Lisa herself. Just finish this dumbass puzzle. I don't know anyone that likes this knockoff Tetris gimmick. It's so freaking dumb. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this series. I'm going to let my loving wife sweep our team. So be sure to like and subscribe and join the Discord. And Listen be sure to me, to you shed into muncher. We are not losing the run here. Maybe we can reignite your talon flame of love with our romance. Are you with me, Donald? I like that idea, Barack. I've got a couple of whoppers in the chamber, so how about we let them off? Whoppers? You have broken your McDonald's contract for the last fucking time, Donald. I can just end the episode if you guys want to Press go. Press A right now. Reggie Biden. Oh, muck sandwich. Well, since you dildo scratchers have caused this breakup, give me some new material world to work with here. For I am the material girl, after all. All right, I'll start. If you want a girl to be interested in you, all you got to do is walk up to them, tap them on the shoulder, and whisper this in their ear. Hey, shawty, I'm trying to divide that pink pussy like Audino. What's up? That was atrocious. Don't listen to him, Joe. Try this. Camera up my anus and call me Daddy Maxi. There is so much wrong with that, I don't know where to begin. Oh, I got one. Is your name Fionn? Because I'll rearrange your guts and turn you on like a new iPhone. Ooh, okay, that was bars. I'll give you that, Donald. Both of your bars are ass on a cheese platter. I can't believe I'm going to tear my lover apart in a Pokemon battle. I wish it was physically, and so would she. I'm going to switch out Dog since he's feeling drowsy. That chancy lucky bastard. More like, I'd love to chancy those panties hit the floor? Huh? Make me drop my pants like a Scrafty and I can start spamming foul play. Don't let that intimidate you, baby. My dick will blow you up like a Quilladin. If you want the seed bomb, you gotta hit the wood with the hammer. Are you implying you want your schlong smashed in by a mallet? Let me guess, your shorty rides with that gigaton hammer? Wait, Joe, Winona wants to know what your favorite Pokemon type is? What? I thought she already knew. Obviously, it's dragon type. I'm dragging these nuts across her face, then I put the apple in her mouth. She let it ripen, then took them out, saying, damn, these apples weigh a ton. Okay, you're totally delusional, Donnie. I think you're just imagining this Imagine scenario. dragging these nuts across her face. Then I put the apple in her mouth again. Go to it! Okay, pause with the bane net. Was that demonic screech you just let out, Barack? I think that was a DN overload, Donald. Don't worry about it. Ask Candace about it later. Guys, I'm not going to lie. 
Although most of your lines have been shitter than a cacnea, they are somewhat giving me the motivation to plow through my wife in a Pokemon battle, unfortunately not in the soul chambers where we usually do it. Can I join in and give you some hot foy cocoa pickup lines? All right, the floor is open and the mic is yours, MC Blowy. Drop some pure crocolore on these hoes. One time for the frickety frick frick one time. Here it is, the Inferno Overdrive. Okay, here I go. Let a shadow Venusaur rave on me until my penis soar. Huh? Well? Well, that was just a letdown. You said it, Obama. Beyond disappointing, I must say. What jigglies have you been puffing, Joe? What about this? I'll ride you like how sleepy Joe fucks dead Gardevoirs. Oh, damn, ain't that a darn tootin' good one? Not peak, please. You can't just get pissy, Joe, because one of your pickup lines fell flat. Stop acting like such a privileged little shit and get your act together. Sorry, boys, I lost my cool there for a second. I sincerely apologize. I'll take your criticism better next time. Gomen Nasai. That Japanese was more scuffed than your gameplay, and that's saying something. Barack, get us back on track with the love liners, will you? I thought you'd never ask Donnie. Let me tell you about this chick I met last week at the bar. I walked up to a shoddy and said, yo, you a beauty, and you fly. She said, what Chu want? I said, well, I'm trying to ride you more like. Maybe get that dick slurp twice, call it crane dose She said, you're pretty tentacool, but I ain't trying to absorb all that. I'm a make like a stun fisk and bounce. I told her I wasn't leaving without getting some of that tail on the low. Let's just say she did more than that. She gave that double sloppy hit Montapi, and at the end she swallowed. It was super effective. That was insane, Barack. Funny enough, last week I met up with a goth girl at an anime convention. She was cosplaying gender bent Ichigo in his hollowed form. I strolled up and said, Hey, yo, baby, don't drop your mask, or else I'm gonna have to call you Mummy. Mummy? Are you British? What is you talking about, Don Dozo? Mommy, you know, like mommy, like mommy milkers goth girl step on me, GF. <laughs> See, Barack gets it. I told her if you need more heat, I can heat more. If you role play as Durant, I will eat your insides. Next time you see a pokey gal you want a cue bone, hit her with this. Just saying I'm trying to make you bloom like a vile plume, yet keep your mouth dripping like a gloom. That sounds bell awesome. Run it back, Donnie boy. I said to her, when I'm done with you, you'll have to pull this stick out your ass like a Brakeson. Are you a magician like Hoopa? Because every time we meet, you make my clothes disappear. You're just like an ancient prison bottle of Chardonnay. You age like the finest wine. Oh, hell no. I'm not letting that fly, you want to be Fletchinder? That one was awful. What about this? I can promise you my dick is not a galisopod. It won't make an emergency exit after its first hit. I don't think you're getting the punches with these lines, Joe. How about you just focus on the battle? Anywho, Donathan, recently I met with a cat named Lytton. I told her I'm trying to see if that pussy is fire while I make you incineroar. I want to wrap you up in my white string shot, spupa style. I prefer scattering my bugs across her face. Nice one, Joe. Now you're getting the hang of it. Fun fact, your mom used rain dance on me last night. I think it worked because my naughty polytoad started to drizzle. What do you guys think about this one? Hey baby, if we started dating, let's move to you, Nova. Because the first route I'd love us to explore is for you to pat the rat. Damn. Even though Gen 5 is dog dookie buns, you were spitting with that one Joe. Wait, Osama is gonna die. Dodge it! You were close. Hold on, guys. I've got the ultimate pickup line. Hey, Zeus on a tricycle, Joe. That was too close for comfort. You better prove your worth and learn from all the wisdom Donnie and I have bestowed upon you. Listen up. In the sheets, my game freaks. I asked her, can we take the best parts of our X and Y and make a Pokemon Z? Damn, Joe. You get a round of applause from me on that. Officially Pokey Bar of the episode. Well done, bestie. Same here, Josephine. You came out of that battle with no casualties and left half of our audience soaked like a sobble. Thanks, you two, but I really couldn't have done it without your help. This will make losing the White House and kids to Winona so much easier. We got Luster Purge, which is a massive freaking dub, and I think I'm going to slap it on day one to solidify his beast of a moveset. Oh crap, baskets, I never realized the consequences of this divorce going through. No, I need the White House unoccupied for when I win the election in 24, damn it. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed that last segment. I know the guys have been cooking those lines with our editor for a few weeks now, and I can't wait to see them plagiarized all over TikTok and Facebook and Twitter and Croc Rock. Oh damn, I just thought of one. Rock my cock like a croc. Did you guys have any leftover? Yeah, I actually had one left, Joe. I'll leave you unaware like Glenn Quagsire. Giggity, giggity. 
All righty then. Thank God you left that cringe one out, Barack. I'm going to fly back to Petalburg so we can finally get our encounter for that city with the good rod. I'll go to the scorch slab on Route 120 and get an encounter in there also. That little cave off the coast of Fortree City, according to Bulbapedia, there are no wild Pokemon in that cave in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Only the remakes. As I said, I'll go to the Scorch Slab on Route 120 and get an encounter in there also. Do you just not believe a fucking word I say? You'll be wasting your damn time trying to get into a battle there, Joe. I'm with Donald on this one. Please don't waste our time, Joe. Every episode of yours, you waste so much time doing the most pointless shit. Please, I beg of you. If it's pointless and it drags out, that's what our editor is for. Even though he is a goomy looking sack of chewia, he knows when it's best to cut out the boring crap. So why doesn't he just mute your stupid ass every episode, Joe? Giggity giggity! Well, who could have guessed we would catch another water type? Welcome back to the president's monotype water run of Pokemon Sapphire. If it was Ruby, it would be a mono ground challenge. I see what IGN meant by too much water now, for fuck's sake. All jokes aside, Quagsire is a great Pokemon. I know his ability is partially why he has been viable for so many years. But this derpy little guy also has a brilliant type combination. If he is even slightly bulky in either of his defensive stats, we should be in a favorable position. Just please don't lose dog while you try capture him, Joe. Do you want me to do the guaranteed giggity ritual then, Barack? I mean, I wasn't going to force palm you, Joe, but please, if you wouldn't mind. No, no, it's fine. I'm a little rusty, that's all, so please forgive me. Giggity gig, giggity giggity, giggity giggity gig gig giggity, giggity giggity, gig giggity, giggity 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 gig giggity. That shit doesn't even sound like a real word anymore. I'm presuming I don't have to ask what this goober is being nicknamed, do I? Dead right, Donald. There's no need to ask. Joe is naming this guy after the secret safe word he uses with your mama. It's ironic, because Quagsire also looks like my penis. Time to go scorch some slabs. Oh no, he's genuinely going to try find a wild Pokemon in a cave with no Pokemon. Lord Arceus in heaven above, please save us. Why didn't anybody tell me there was no Pokemon in that shitty little cavern? What a waste of time. What day is it? How many hours until the dawn rises? Slowly losing the will to live. Joe, please ask comment question before I perish. No song. Oh yeah, I forgot we do those. Today's question is simple. What is your favorite alternate form, Pokemon? I don't mean regional variant. I mean just Pokemon who have form changes like the Rotoms, the Oricorios, etc. My favorite is Duskmane Necrozma. This is like the Vegito of the Pokemon verse. His only bad stat is speed, but with such an incredible psychic steel typing, does it really matter? This regal lion will chew your ass up in a second. You know a Pokemon is going to be good when it learns Stealth Rock as a level up move. This thing is practically the poster child for uber power creep in Generation 8. My personal favorite is the Dragon Dance set. As sweeping little wusses online with it brought about some salty comments, let me tell you. Do I even need to comment on how badass its design is? Wait a minute, you just obtained total redemption from me, Joe. My fave form has to be Landurus Therian. You said Duskmane is the poster child of Ubers? Well, this Nimbus riding beast is the biggest celebrity of OU. Your viability in X and Y was determined by one question. Do you hold up well against Lando T? They even tried to sneakily nerf him by removing knockoff in Scarlet and Violet, but that didn't stop my boy from grass knotting Great Tusk into the Shadow Realm. His versatility is beyond absurd. Choice scarf, band lefties, rocky helmet, the list goes on and on and on. Until we get a bustedly fast ice type that can smoke Lando in one shot consistently, he will remain the king of overused. The only downside was paying real life money to get him. But hey, that's what PK Hex is for, am I right? I agree with your choice, Joe, as the Necrozma forms totally saved that Pokemon from being forgettable. Lando T, on the other hand, was totally unnecessary. As regular Landorus is so busted, they've tried to test him so many times, and he consistently gets banned from OU. Why can't they give an alternate form to a Pokemon that needs it, like Love Disc or something? What are you talking about? We already have its evolution, Aloma Mola Barak. Let me smoke these trainers real quick before we continue. See, that's one thing I never understood. The designs between Love Disc and Aloma is just too similar to not be some sort of evolution, which it desperately needed. I hate to sound like Trump, but that was one thing about black and white that always annoyed me. You're slowly starting to see the light Barack. 
It's like how bouffalant should have been an evolved form of Toros, and everyone would have totally been okay with it too. It's cheap DMC, reboot looking ass, just gets worse and worse the more you think about it. Trust me. Okay, well, Brock, you still have to answer what your favorite alternate form is. Let me just run into our potential next capture before you go on your stupid chimchar ass tangent. You motherfuckers manifested this. Another water type. I'm gonna kill him. Murder, murder, murder on the dance floor. Blame yourself, ancient gear evolved graveler. My favorite form change is Deoxys. In the Generation 3 games, it was a pure mind blow which form you would get. And on the school playground, nobody knew why it kept transforming as it traded between games. Then when you could choose your form at will in Diamond and Pearl, the lead game changed as we knew it forever. Deoxys Speed ran a monopoly on the entry spot. It was layers upon layers of spikes and mind games. Who would taunt? Who would trick? Who would shadow ball? Did the opponent have sash? The schmixies this form brought with it were ridiculous, and the other forms brought their own unique play style to Ubers. All answers, very solid gentlemen. Viewers, don't forget to leave your answer in the comment section below, along with a like and subscription. All Creamy is a very close runner up to Lando, in my opinion. The amount of options you have to change this Pokemon's appearance is incredible. I love how we didn't even do our dramatic pause for this love disc. You just caught it without a pop-off or yelling at all. Joe, I'm proud of you. The amount of attention we have given this thing is already too much for my liking. I'm calling it love dicks, and that's the end of that. He might even be accidentally released in between episodes. Who knows? Even if we edited the script so it dies earlier than scheduled, no one will show up for its funeral. Wow, I love this new cold-hearted Sub-Zero Joe. You still have access to the big red button nuke in the bathroom of the White House. Why not use it to drop atomic bombs on this heart-shaped fishy fishy? Because as Grandmaster of the Lin Gay, it would disrespect all of our morals. Plus, if I blow up this totally legit sapphire cartridge, I would lose dog and boo-boo. They're like my only friends at the moment, so I can't part ways with them just yet. Cheer up, Joey. We are nearly at the big city. Lily, Lily, Coco, baby. Where the rich get richer and the poor never make it suckers. The department store could low-key have some serious power-up items available. It may just be the boost in strength we need, as soon enough all enemy trainers' Pokemon will be force-evolved to their final stage. Expect to see more legendaries and terrifying monsters from here on out. I'm really starting to feel the pressure this deep into the adventure. Even the wild Pokemon are still keeping up with our levels, which is just scary to think about. But most of the time, they're unevolved randos who can't really do jack diddly or squat to our mons. Case in point, what can a puny little Squirtle do against day one? A four damage bubble beam? Oh, please. Wait, that's four times on low defense. No! Holy crimson chinny chin chin. You are not joking, Barack, when you said that day one can absolutely not eat a rock type move no matter what. That boy almost got bodied by something that's weak against plastic waste. Flame body kind of saving my ass right now. Peak needs to start whipping this dude harder than Barack on the daily. My glute shoots are shuffling right now, guys. That's all I've got to say. Just play patient, Joe. You're almost at the next Pokemon Center, so be as fucking cautious as you can, my brother. Boo Boo tanks pretty well from this guy. Probably takes like 12 HP at most from rollout. Whipping it with Peak is still a fine choice. Just make sure she doesn't take too much damage. Do critical hits break through the attack cut from burn? Does anybody know? I think that only happened in generation one and two, Donald. Good question. Source? Well, it came to me in a dream, so it's pretty real, all right? Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure the burn chip kills him from this range. So switching into boo-boo should be my safest move in case he wants to start rolling around again at the speed of sound. I've got places to go, buddy. I've got to follow my rainbow. Once this roller coaster of an episode is done, I know exactly what song I'll be listening to on repeat for 50 hours straight. Just take it nice and easy through the grass, Joe. Come on, you're a professional at that. We've done it. We made it to Pimp City, bitches. I'm gonna make like a magic carp next episode and splash the cash in that department store. Good shit today, Joe. You put in work against your wife and some of your pickup lines were as good as a bunnel bee. Thanks, boys. My hands are shaky and slimy, so I can't wait to baton pass it over to you next time, Donald. All right, Sligoo. Great work as always. I'm proud of you. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the President's Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, I'll be putting May and her stupid little lie noon out of her misery and hand her the last L of this adventure. 
If a certain Sleepy Joe has any final words to say to her, speak now or forever hold your peace. Good morning to you too, Donald. I'm already May's number one friend on Snappy Chatty, and we've got a 69-day fire emoji streak, whatever that means. So I have a feeling this won't be the last time I'll personally be seeing her. Go nuts, my friend, before she goes on my nuts. How are we today, guys? Already acting out of pocket from your intro, Joe, you never cease to surprise me. I'm doing great, and I'm starting to have hope that we will actually finish this run. You and I didn't let anything faint in our previous two episodes, and your team composition today is hotter than a mag cargo Donald. Considering we are into the last quarter of the game now, it's safe to say we are so back. I'm back, big mad. WTF, what is this? We don't need to throw for content anymore, you agron built imbecile. Chill and nay there, Barack. Ledian is still pathetically weak, even in a randomizer. This wannabe Power Ranger could have launched a Leaf Storm, and Boo Boo would only come out with a small Boo Boo. Leaf Storm was introduced in Diamond and Pearl gum shoes. You should start stockpiling your mind with information instead of swallowing stacks of Dorito bags, you bum. I literally have more money than the two of you MFs combined. Come back when you make three mil on the daily. Well, you better put your money where your mouth is and literally start sucking my main man, Benjamin. Joe! Why would you suggest that? Better question. Why would you even want to see that? That is just creepy as hell, boy -y. Anyway, Donald, I'm sure I don't need to warn you about how terrifying a Metagross can be. Please play carefully around this goon. Damn, this man even has lefties. Don't worry, guys. Leave it to above average size D. Ain't no way he getting a crit with Slash. I can see it. If it ain't Mr. Bin Laden, then it's a fiery dog. And if it ain't a fiery dog, it's a glorious mega chicken. Donald getting carried by a legendary part always. I don't even care if he gets carried, Joe. At least he's doing whatever it takes to win the run. I was meant to ask Donnie, but how's the future site training going? Have you been able to look into the passage of fate and see what reality awaits us? Well, we all live to die, Barack. That's what awaits us at the end of life. A null void of emptiness once you cross the death plane. Just grab the 100 coin star and you can stand on that bitch. Shut up, Joe, you sleepy simply simp. Anyways, I see two things in front of me. This stupid Rudolph-looking ass and tombstones. May will start looking like blue because I'm about to kill her whole team. Dead radicate theory? Let me tell you about the dead lie noon theory. Ah, I get it. Because you'll be making it to Mount Pyre today, Donnie. We will be sure to make a visit to May's team once we send them to the further beyond. While we're there, we might as well visit Winona's pussy. Sorry, guys. I know you should never go back to your ex, but last Wednesday I used every move under the drought-setting sun on that poor thing. Beat up, pound, bone club, string shot, water gun, forest curse, lick, submission. If it's a Pokemon move, I used it on her. What do you mean by, I used the move forest's curse? Well, when the bush gets so hairy you need a lawnmower to move south, you pour some lube on the female in question. And when she begins to squirm, that's when All you right, know Joe. That's enough of your scarily descriptive sex moves. Legends is at a Chris plus six attack from Belly Drum, so Iron Tail is going to exterminate this freaky rodent. Just use Ice Punch, you knackly nutsucker. Ice Punch isn't physical in this game, remember, Joe? Of course it is. It has Punch right there in its name, dumbass. I should lend you my Iron and Zinc pills, Barack. What's the switch, Donnie? I ain't no pussy. Legends with the YOLO Hail Mary. What the fuck? I got it. He's gonna miss an iron tail will one shot. Extra sensory never misses. You fucking teeny dratini rat bastard. How bad do you have to be at this game holy balls and titty sauce? Nice pivot into the doggo. Further proving my statement of broken monsters carrying your overweight ass when it's your turn. Holy pidgey puke that was almost choke of the run. If Entei literally took a fiery dump all over the screen right now, there would be less flaming hot dog shit on the field compared to your gameplay. What were you thinking, Donald? Why are you two freaking out? I had that under control the whole time. Chillax like a munchlax. You literally look like an extra large munchlax, you fatso. High jump kick ends the fight. Can you both stop whining now? No, it doesn't, Hiker Donald. OMFG, bro got called a hiker, the tubbiest trainer sprite that ever lived. I heard you like dragons, Donald. You know Drudagon, more like blood is gone. You should go into hiding after that roast, Kabapi. Solo sis is flabbergasted. Skim frizzy. You two diplin shits are water spouting such utter nonsense. That's enough. We got that rustic May pack now that I've smoked her ass right into the grass. Any final words, Joe? Sure, two things. First, thank God for rule 34. 
Second, thank God the FBI is on my side while I use said Rule 34 on my bay, May. Would you guys allow me the honor to pump one out for the final time? Ew, no. That's disgusting. What have you been doing while Barack and I have been battling her? I've been honing the hone edge. I've been flooring the auroras. I've been circling the ursaring. Call me Grookey because I've been slamming my dick like a stick. Quite disturbing, Joe. But now that we're in the shopping center, I would like to give a quick thank you to all the donators that got us here. No, not my real life Trump shareholders. I mean the commenters who have actually donated money for us to use in this department store. And of course, fund the series. Thank you to US President Central, who I'm getting deja vu with for some reason. The Poisonous Turtle, Noah Zarens 2416, Mimi C193, and Brandon Scruton. You've all helped the series make it this far. So thank you so much. As if that wasn't crazy enough, I want to give an extra special thank you to Do You Even Lift One for the $20 dono and Samuel Dienqua for the whopping 25 pound donation. Ironically, that's exactly how many pounds I gave Joe's mama last night. I know. I heard all 25 rounds live Obama. Thanks for that, by the way. Finally, before we all get back to being sussy little boys, from our Buy Me A Coffee page, I want to thank Kevin, who bought 40 socks, and Matthew Grant Henriquez, who bought a staggering 50 socks. Wow, that is a lot of cum. Stop it, Joe. Viewers, honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you all for the love and support so far in this series. Our editor always says we have the best fans, and for once, that Litwick liquor is right. Anyways, boys, this store is absolutely popping. I grabbed myself 99 Moonstones, just in case, a Thunder, Water, and Leaf Stone also, a couple of Lepa Berries for rationing PP better, and some Dive Balls. Great success. Hold up these TMs are where it's at. Substitute is an instant dub. Sketch is sick and Meteor mash my balls. Is this for real? I'm not falling for that after what you did to me last time I mashed your nuts with a Meteor, Barack. Looks like we have eruption or water spout as TM38. Recover on the second one. The next one might be extreme speed, which would honestly just be godlike to have on any of our physical attackers or legends. And the, I, I can't really tell what the last one is. High crit rate though. It might be poison tail, which could be good coverage depending on who wants to learn it. Go ahead and sell our useless TMs Donnie. It's too risky to use the likes of endure and reversal when we are this deep in the game. And with newfound access to either water spout or eruption, they are way more reliable and powerful. Gotcha, Baraco Taco. Let me just sell a couple of worthless items here while I'm at it. My protein. Regragash! Reggie Steele. Great. You've set off Reggie Biden now for the episode. I hope you're happy, Donatello, you pizza munching milsery. How in all of Goldenrod was I meant to know that selling his pathetic little supplements would do this to him? Pokemon, snap out of this Joe. Take it like a Mandibuzz. I would take it like an American Mandibuzz and put it in a Japanese Mandibuzz. If you don't get it, just Google its name. I couldn't make that shit up if I tried. Common Generation 5L, mwahahaha. I'm out of this joint, suckers. Did that shopping spree get anybody else moist? What's up, boys? I heard one of you are looking for a sponsor to splash some cash in the department store. Moist Cheese Puff or Moist Farmer or Moist Corpse have a ring to it, you know? Oh shit, here we go again. You better watch yourself, Charlie, or I'll pull out the sniper called Skaroopy and I'll let the bug bite. Let me one-up you, Donnie. The chopper called Drapian, and you don't want to cross this poison. I'll unload a full clip in your ass, you want to be Jesus. You buffoons, they're fucking mags, not clips, you absolute fucking dummies. Okay, wet man, give us some space here. The drenched Scooby snack is evolving our pussy right now. Shit, you jackasses caught Sneeko. You should plug your cum sock merch now, Mr. President, while the triggered audience is present. Oh my god, thank you. I keep telling these guys they'll fly off the shelves, but they never believe me. Thanks, damp dude. Well, lick and tongue my balls, that was a pleasant surprise. Have you guys made a Sloppenheimer joke yet? Only like 50 gazillion times, you happy feet bastard. Let's see what cheap fuck evolves into. I have high hopes for this guy. He is my main in Smash Brothers brawl after all. <laughs> Obamna is in fully automatic mode. Watch his mags, boys. Wait, I just realized. Didn't we already have John Wick on this series before? So all of a sudden the fake messiah shows up and we get two worthless evolutions. 
Now that I have to bench a fucking lie noon, I might as well start shoving blue potatoes in the land down under while a beluga whale blows me in the middle of the Pacific. How is that for moist, you bamboozler? Hey, leave Penguin Z0 out of this, buddy. He could cancel your ass with his moist meter, and I ain't talking about his dong. So who wants the sponsorship, you pawn yard pump chumpers? Please don't make me take on a dude who plays League or StarCraft. My org can't take any more shit players. Calm down there, Purple Rain. I'm good on the offer. The farm pays nicely for my bills. I wipe my ass with six mil every night. Why the hell would I need your petty money? And I just steal things if I want them. Who are they going to report me to? The president? Yeah, good talk. You're the only ass munchers who will turn down free money, you know that? Whatever, I'm out of here. I've got to go make a Galarian Ponyta take a shit or something. Peace! I miss my dad already. I remember the days he'd load my rifle with a mag while assaulting me. Ah, uh, those were the days. I don't know what you mean by that, Joe, and I don't think I want to look into it. You actually have a truckload of new encounters available because of the surfing routes in Safari Zone Donald. If you could RNG manipulate a legendary, that would be amazing. Channel your inner Hitler and manipulate some bitches, Barack. Whoa, wait. Donnie, I love you, buddy. Gang, gang. He manipped the king, the kid, the goat, the legend. <laughs> Toilet bird gang, 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 gulp me up and absorb my spicy moisture. Yuppa gang, a gang, gang. We are motherfucking eating it up. <laughs> I did this for you, best buddy. Is it another water type? Yes. Is it four times weak to electric? Absolutely. But will it make my closest companion happy? If it does, then this is totally worth it. Why couldn't you run into something powerful, you bell sprout blowing bimbo? Literally anything except a water type would have been handy. As Joe said, summoning Hitler would have been more useful. Hitler ain't got shit on Toilet Bird. Call me Hook. Gang. God. Any gangers in chat? Okay, so what am I calling this big mouth mammy boy Dumpy or something? If you don't call him Toilet, I will abduct your whole family and bring my binoculars to the playground while wearing no pants. So basically nothing will change. Is that what you're saying? To be fair, that little boy asked me to take them off last time, so it wasn't my fault. Stop it, Joe. That is just creepy as hell, man. Are you going to avoid this double battle by teaching somebody cut Donald? What do I have to worry about? My five water types plus peak will be fine. So what if a shiftry can sweep our whole team? I'm not ashamed of wiping out here. I thought the only thing you were wiping was your ass while Millie rocking. I wish you would treat your dementia more seriously, Joe. I don't think this battle will pose much of a threat to you, Donnie. So do you have your comment question lined up for the viewers? Great timing, Obama. Joe brought up Smash Bros earlier, so I'm going to use that as a basis for my question, which is this. Viewers, what Pokemon should they add to the roster of the next Super Smash Bros game? How about if Laparass dies, he gets added to the next entry? Oh, no! Well, that's a dumb answer, Sleepy Joe. Why would you even suggest... Rick Gasly Gooch, you flary and feet fucker, please no! Quite frankly, I don't care who gets into the next Smash, as long as Donut Chomper Trump here doesn't get to play because his gaming skills are atrocious. How do you nearly lose lap or ass against a fire and ground type? Please somebody explain to me how that makes any sense. To answer your question, B-Rabbit, you choke artist, I would add Swampert. He would be a bulky boy with strong ass brawler kinds of attacks, but he could still have projectile moves like Hydro Pump or Earth Power. He would be like Donkey Kong, but actually fun and playable. Barack, just to let you know, I disliked Donkey Kong before I found out he was related to you. No hard feelings. Shut up! His final smash is obvious. He could just mega evolve into the Chonkmeister 4000 and go bananas on the opponent. No Diddy Kong, or as I like to call him, Kitty Dong. Why the hell do we let you in on these calls, Joe, you creeper? At least he answered my gosh darn question, or Shifu Dark. Go read the Scroll of Darkness again. Speaking of Pokemon Mid-Sword and Wax Shield, I would choose Toxtricity. The variety of moves you could give this guy with his unique poison and electric typing would be monstrous. You could give him damage over time moves and stun moves, which would automatically make him a force to be reckoned with. Low key. His low key form could also be implemented as an echo fighter or as a stance change. His final smash would be his crazy gecko gigantamax form launching a G-Max stun shock. Now that's what I'm talking about. Y'all are tripping rapscaballs with your picks. If you want someone to join with an echo fighter, look no further than Zoroark. The regular version is a TM learning beast with access to brick break, flamethrower, snarl, shadow ball, and the list goes on and on. 
His neutral or side special could be knockoff, which could have the unique effect of having the opponent lose their item or charge. So if Samus had her charge shot ready to go, or if Princess Peach aka God Tier Waifu was holding a turnip and Zoroark used knockoff on them, they would lose their charge and item respectively. Then you have the Legends Arceus version, which would have bitter malice, which would make the opponent deal less damage. Sakurai, if you ever need help in the fighters concept meetings, you know where I'm at, my guy. Wow, I actually really like that idea, Barack. Here I was thinking you only wanted to add Zoroark because he is calamitous. Max, excuse me, Joe, what did you mean by that? Well, apparently it's politically incorrect to call people black nowadays, so I've started using similar words. Calamitous, dark, sprinters, and my favorite, thieves. All right, I've had enough. The gloves are off, buddy. I'm gonna smoke you like a cherim. Put them up! I ain't dealing with this absolute anarchy anymore, you son of a- Go! My fleet of safari balls! Well, that was pathetic. Why didn't you throw the food to make it easier to catch you, idiot? Wow, bait used to be believable. You could have gone near his swiney little face. That would have helped either. Wow, going near used to be believable. Shut up, you boom burster. You've got another three encounters around this area before you even think about ending the episode. You've literally done jack shit for your turn and are purposefully leaving the tough parts of the game to Joe and I. I would do Jack's Nesquik looking shit until the end of time. Rip to pack. I'm so happy they caught- Your brother's killer Barack, right? Isn't that what you were gonna say? Ah ha ha, good one, Joe. You're so original and funny and smart. It's true in the streets they call me Alakazam Barack, but that was just racist on your part. Sheesh. Oh my God, my prediction came through. You passed the swad loon spliffy off to him again, didn't you, Barack? What in Jellicent's name is he talking about? I literally said earlier that in the future I see tombstones and this reindeer looking ass. And look who our capture is. Oh wow, you were right. This is game changing. An abysmal normal type that has absolutely nothing going for it. Your power is so useful, Donnie. On go bongo. The only good thing about this delectable looking treat is the fact he is already level 39. That basically means he is on par with our early 30s mons for what that's worth. When you put it that way, it ain't even worth a pick of my left middle toe. Some animals will pay pure bank to get a snap of that. Stop acting so weird, you glam meow muncher. This Stantler is kind of kicking your ass in the quote retweets right now, so why don't you activate your newfound power up and catch this guy? Like aids to a wiener, huh? It's a freaking Stantler Barack. This man makes Intimidate look like garbage. That's how worthless he is. If we catch him, we have a nice sacrifice to the pokey gods. If not, the outcome of this run will not be changed in the slightest, I guarantee. Leave Mew 3 out of this and just catch Adolf here. I can't bear to look at his goofy A0 sprite looking ass anymore. <laughs> Hold that tinka tink thought for a second. What did you just call this guy, Joe? Nah, 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 nah. That is the funniest shit I ever did see. Ha ha ha. It's Adolf the Stantler, the most famous dictator in history, referenced by one of the most atrocious Pokemon to ever come out of the franchise. I love it. What's worse, the Holocaust or having Stantler stats? I just thought instead of Rudolph, call him Adolf. That's the reason I referred to him as that. Ha 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 ha. That's even fucking worse. It's Donald. Yay. Finally, the real Donnie has appeared. Moby Dick incarnate. I bet he's got thick fat too. Joke's on you, Orangaroo. Whaler gets all the skitties. You know what that means? I get all the kitty pussy meow meow. Let's get it, gamers! <laughs> there it is. Officially the most cringe thing ever said in this playthrough. And I am absolutely dead ass about that. Did you hit the hype dance after saying that, Donald? Also, I'm more of a Passimian nut roller, just to clarify. Nah, I just hit a snug little nay nay while borking. You did not just say that. My soul is writhing in pain after that exchange. I'm not gonna lie, this guy seems like slimy booty clappers, boys. His moveset is pretty damn awful and he has cute charm for an ability. Very relevant to the topic at hand, but logically it's not that great in terms of viability. Oh, and probably the most important factor, it's another water type. Like, come on, man. Don't write him off yet, Donald. He would literally be perfect for the team. As I said, he represents you in your truest form. This is Donald Jillian Dump Ketchup after you give him the greasy ass orb. He transforms into this humongous whale and proceeds to scar 40 boxes of 20 chicken nuggets. That's 8,000 chicken nuggets in total for anyone trying to do the maths. Pure facts. No printer. 
Still, there's no point in whining over it when you're going to be trying to capture it anyway, Donald. If you can just catch this guy in your final encounter down south, I'll take on Archie and the rest of Mount Pyre next time. You pretty much had another filler episode, but hey, what's new there? Hold on now, how is that my fault? I beat May, which progresses the story, went on a killer shopping spree, and caught the mastermind behind World War II himself. If that ain't enough for you, lower your standards a bit. The May fight actually isn't mandatory. You can continue the rest of the game without fighting her, and she even has different dialogue if you fight her post-elite foreign champion. You failed our safari zone capture, and by the looks of it, you're going to fail our Mount Pyre battle too. The progress you've made is embarrassing, my guy. Is that true, Joe? Where did you learn that fact? Have you tested it in game for yourself? I was actually the one who founded that secret message. You see, when I was able to stroke the slig goo five times a day, May's overworld sprite was my number one option to do it to. So I kept playing through the game like normal. And when I was bricked up, I would fly back to Lily Cove to unleash Dragon Pulse. You're welcome, did you know gaming? Shut up, you steeny sucking assholes. Now the whale is burned. He's on a timer now to be caught, but if you two keep distracting me, I won't be able to focus on manipulating the RNG. Oh, please. The only thing you can manipulate is either taxes or women. And I'd argue your scun tank shit at doing both regardless. Well, here goes my last ball. Hopefully this manip works like it did on Barack's mama last night. Ryoiki Tenkai. Get down! Nato Panchi. What the hell? You sabotaged me. Barack, you traitor. Lord Suki Gruki would never disrespect me like that. I'm pretty sure I hit all the frame-perfect inputs, and you still got in the way. What are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to teach you a lesson, Donald. When you ascend your mortality and gain a new transformation, these are the types of powers you gain. The ability to guarantee but also fail a capture. To feel love and yet to give sorrow. To have power while also draining others of power. You see what I'm trying to say? Do these heavenly powers even show you why Stunfisk was created? Come on, Joe, you know there's no answer for that question. All right, rats, listen up. Don't make me go spreading Barack and Joe or dead theories around Lavender Town because I'm approximately eight seconds away from launching the Zap Cannons to your locations. Time for our next team member. I have a good feeling about this one. Call me Dimitri. Kill every last one of them. Rat, 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 snitch, rat. Takashi, snitch, 6-9, ah. Oh, looky here, another burn. How about this time you don't let this chonky boy die, huh? That would be sublime if you could, Doland. Maybe if you stopped cartridge tilting the game, I'd be able to gobble up this tubby little chode. No homo. How many times do I have to warn you? Stop trying to face fuck the rats, Donald. They aren't into it, and you're just lying to yourself if you say you are. Well, it's all or nothing now. This is my last shot of redemption, no red dead. One way or another, I will cram this rat into one of my balls. I wouldn't celebrate yet, Donald, you guzzler, gimping, sweet kiss spamming. What? Not again. Congrats, Donald. You are officially good enough to catch the first ever Route 1 rodent. I'm proud of you. Why, thank you, Sleepy Joe. In fact, I'll name this guy 6ix9ine in your honor. I don't know why anybody would want to be even remotely associated with that snitcher, but you do, you guys. I'm sorry for interfering, Donnie. Thanks for at least not losing anybody today. I guess I should be thankful. No problem, Falco Obama. You better go ham next episode like an oink alone. Screech! Ree! 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 Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The President's Play, a Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. Today I'll be playing through Mount Pyre to progress the story a little further. DZ and Save Me have been trained up to evolve in this next battle, though, so it's time to start the episode with some hype. How are we, boys? I'm good, Barack. I just barely finished my 48th mukbang pizza from the local. They dyed them purple for me and everything. How are you today, Joe? I'm doing okay, guys. Actually feeling a little sad today if you two would be willing to hear what happened to me. Sweet! That's enough EXP for the both of them to evolve simultaneously. It's poetic, really, since I caught them both in episode one. Ha 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 ha. Remember that, Joe? Back when you weren't a sad sap sipper? We evolved a spherical water type, and we get an oval-shaped water type. Now that's Poetry Obama. Let's get it! This guy doesn't even have huge power, so his base stats are going to be atrocious. Obama coming through with the first of many L's this episode, I can already feel it. 
There's only one gender you're feeling here, Joe, and it ain't blue Nito Rans. I'm sorry, you jealous Maractus. Have you seen this guy's moves? He now has recovery with slack off too. So this man is going to be a staple piece of our deck. Shout outs to Max, see? Obama with a worse take than me, goddamn. It's still hashtag free blocky on Twitter in these streets. I can't believe Save Me is evolving into Palkia right now. The redemption arc is going nutty, FRFR. Oh, heck yeah. The squad is back, literally. This time we actually might see him evolve. Although that being said, Barack was the one who got him killed last time, so I have no hopes for this fella. What are you talking about? Squad 2.0 here is an upgrade in every way. My man looking like a Porygon too. He actually has stab, and we have better TMs available for him to learn. Believe it or not, I foresaw this back in episode 10 via Sukuna's powers. That's why I didn't really care when our first squad died. Breloom Obama with the cap. I don't want to hear it. Cap, you were playing like Krusty Ducklet, dick. That's why squad died. There is absolutely no way you could have known we would obtain another one. Have you seen our PC? I think we have every water type up to generation six at this point. So the odds of us actually getting war turtle again was pretty likely. Thank you, Joey Bad A double dollar sign. Now I'm starting to feel sympathetic. So tell us why you are feeling sad on this very faithful day. Well, you see guys, I received some absolutely terrible news yesterday. Something worse than trade evolutions. That shit gave millions of kids trust issues. Let's be real. Anyways, I found out what Jill's first ever Pokemon game was. It was Pearl. Over the years, it's become her favorite. For me, out of all the games, I probably have the most hours in Emerald. So, what's wrong with that, Joe? You differ in game preferences and genitalia, but it's still Pokemon at the end of the day. Forget about him for a second, I'm listening. Now, what starters did you pick? We both picked the water starters of our respective games. By the gods, this cannot be. Surely you had an SP? Nope, original Game Boy. Oh, fuck. Can someone please explain to me what's going on? I might just hit myself in confusion if nothing is done about it. Well, Donald, all is revealed in the ancient scriptures that the memes warned us about. She was a pink DS Piplup girl. He was a blue Game Boy Advance Mudkip boy. Memes, the DNA of the soul. That's very unfortunate. You had an original GBA Joe soon, but what does that string of words mean altogether? Do you not understand, Donald? It means they're incompatible. First, it's arguments over Pokemon starters, then it's sprites versus 3D models, then anime seasons, best Rotom form, dragon versus fairies, and finally Wallace versus Steven as champions. Next minute you know the kids in the White House are gone. Hope it was a good marriage while it lasted, Yosef. Glad to see you acknowledge the severity of the situation, Barack. I hope you come to terms with my pain and split it to Donald, you dustclops groping chicken leg. One word, Sleepy Joe, skill issue. That's two words, you incompetent Piplup pumper. Leave my love for pumping Piplups out of this. How is DZ handling these battles, Barack? Any problems so far? Yeah, just two obstacles, really. One is this fat, sleazy, Probo Pass built orange fuck who won't shut the hell up. And another is a drowsy, drowsy kitty fiddler who can't connect with his wife's link cable anymore and is more depressed than a Q-bone. At least, Joe Mama's still alive and rocking them rog and rollers. My mama got schmurdered on the beat a long, long time ago, Barack. So please refrain from bringing her up. You want to be slave. You can drop the act. Donnie and I know you hate working on that farm. And you are only doing it because of colonization or whatever that stupid shit was called back in the day. Funny you mentioned that, Joe. All jokes aside, I love working on that farm, but I've actually decided to try and work directly with Snoop to start supplying my own giggle smoke. I'm gonna call it Barack's Baby Broccoli. What do you guys think? Have you enacted the plan that we had been talking about, Joe? Yep, Operation Amazon Forest Fire is a go. Smokey the Bear won't save you both this time. Real talk, I have no idea what you flippy floppy wishy washies are talking about, but I don't see it interfering with my gameplay, so I'll let it slide. Can you two believe we are just two gym badges away from making it to the Elite Four? Victory seems so close, but let's not lose focus and mindlessly let team members drop like Hiroshima or Nagasaki. So kind of you to remind yourself not to play like snivy shit today, Barack. You really are going through some well-earned character development. Ha ha. Good one, Donald, but I more so meant the two of you. I at least have the king of curses and masterful designer of curtains on my side. You two still don't have your bullshit anime power-ups, so that's where you become liabilities. Sukuna carries you more than Maharaga carries Sukuna Barak. You and Donald have four deaths and I have three. And to be fair, one of mine was a Hail Mary horn drill, so it was unreactable. 
Even though you and Donnie are chilling with the same amount of tombstones, I can't help but feel more worried about you playing. I looked up to you at the start of this series, and now my endurance is better than yours. I've lost my idol and now don't know who to turn to in my time of need. I miss the old Barack, the work in the mines Barack. Where did he ever go, that dreamy, sophisticated, calculated, black and cracked Obama? Whoa, I blanked out there for a second. What the Tim Pole titties have I come back to? Is Barack not black anymore? Unfortunately, he still is, Donald. I'm going to skeet by that comment, Joe, you dome fossil looking ass. I'm just going to let Osama deal with these punks. Can anything really tank its stab frenzy plan at this point in the game? I don't think so. I see what you're saying, Obama, and I absolutely agree. But please be careful. That move's drawback of a recharge in a Nuzlocke is particularly scary. It's great that you can blow up the opponent that's right in front of you with relative ease. But if the next Pokemon in the back is a Night Slash Critting Hound Doom, Osama will die. Is that what we want as true Americans? Is that a trick question? I want Osama to die. Haha, <laughs> we mean the Celebi Joe, not the terrorist. Yeah, I know, the Onion Fairy. I want him dead. What? Boys, he's boring as hell to watch. He solos the verse. How is that exciting? I hope a bullet seed pierces his fucking skull like the good old days. I hope a scissor bug bites his balls off. I hope Donald gobbles him for dinner, but considering it's a vegetable, there ain't no chance of that happening. I want some thrill back, some magic, not a green goblin little shit carrying our asses through the league and champion. That's whack. I can see why nobody likes you, Joe. Hashtag onion fairy for life. Donald's right. It's Osama or nothing on these streets. You don't want to mess with us Celebi fans. We will leech seed your ass until the end of time, which we travel through. Bitch. Just to let the viewers know, there's been a new Discord created for the president's Pokemon community. It's an ultimate collaboration of Game Producer 6 that Hoopa Humper, Broadway CJ97, Dialzan327, and Pokemon Presidents, your four favorite president tubers all in one place. How convenient. They'll be doing a collaboration video or stream all together soon, so make sure you join the new Discord down below to find out when exactly that's taking place. That shit is gonna be hype. You heard that right, Dill. Trump just absolutely butchered your name upon generating his lines, and GP ain't going back to fix that. Get styled on. Lastly, I wanna shout out the viewers. Your likes, shares, and subscriptions have made such a difference to this channel. So I sincerely thank you all so much for your support. Thanks for also private messaging me all those nudes, especially from the guys. Special shout out to Lee Gandhi. God loves a trier Joe, but he hates pedophiles, so I'm not exactly sure where you are on his tier list of humans. Go ahead and body this double battle, Obama. I can't imagine it being difficult, especially- Oh, heck yes. The glizzy munch machine is here. Strangle me with your loving mitts, Father Swally Ollie. Let it rip in my gaping butthole like a Beyblade. Hoorah! Joe, why can't you control yourself when this stupid blob appears? I'm always left stunned like a spore when you say that creepy shit. But you know what? I'll give you props. You kind of had some sauce with the melody you spoke those words in. Listen to me very clearly, fatty. There's only one sauce I'm searching for in my life. It's a purple poisonous, perfectly placed powder that perpetually pours perpendicularly out of my cheeks. Is it some sort of Bluck Berry Curry, Joe? That would be a purple sauce that could top a dish off with the right ingredients. It's Daddy Swallets. Come, Barack, get with the program. Well, I'd rather suck off a scruffy Rock Ruff's tail. No homo? That was just pathetic Barack. You should have said you were crushing a mushy clavopus, bushy tushy, and or pussy. No homo. Why would I say no homo if I was smashing a pussy? Because it's still gay when two bitches clash. Oh, hot damn. That was some straight magmar coming from Donnie. Safe to say you got smoked Barack, and not in the way you like it either. I think one of these tombstones has your name on it, Joe. Call me the Undertaker because I'm about to send you to an early grave. I'd rather call you Booker T. Just makes more sense, you nick it. What the fuck? Give me my Glock. Give me my machete. Give me that fucking deagle right now. What did you just say? He said, Nick it, a baby thievel. Pokemon number 827. The Fox Pokemon. Smash Bros. Melee is a Pokemon. Please forgive him, Obama. He meant no harm. You're lucky you didn't attack yet, Mr. Biden, because I was ready to sucker punch your jaw. Boys, my comment question today is an easy one, okay? Here it is. Who is your favorite NPC in the series? Preferably an important or named character. Easy. Youngster Joey. Firstly, because I'm honored they named a trainer after me, and second, because he is a youngster. Yummy. Mine is Looker. I know a lot of people view him as a sort of gag character, but he actually gets stuff done in the games he is in. 
He arrests Sharon when he takes over Team Galactic for Cyrus and locks up the sages in black and white. Not to mention that post story in X and Y. Now that was a tearjerker, like if you cry every time. Boys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have an answer for this. Pokemon characters are so one-dimensional and prior to Generation 6, they were literally 2D. You cannot consider them real fleshed out characters. Suck my dick, Game Freak writers. Just because you are a fourth dimensional NPC doesn't mean you have to go insulting literal pixels, Donald. Grow up, idiot. Okay, this trap inch needs to go. Unleashing the ultimate grassroot flurry of frenzy plant, ka-chink, pow. Oh, I swear to Christ, if a hound doom comes in, I will have your head barack. Please be a menace. A pure attacker will do the job. It's okay. This eggy-weggy lump can't do anything major to me. Rain is up too, so I should be free to go. I sense massive damage incoming. Watch out, stab, pedal, dance, holy shit. Will you two stop with the dramatic pauses? You're giving the viewers a heart attack, no doubt. But yeah, like you said, Donnie, that was some beluga whale looking damage. I don't see anyone taking a crit pedal dance from this tropical turd. So let's thank God that isn't gonna happen to us, right? Oh, hell no. Are you trying to manifest that to come true, Joe? I didn't know you were a ghost type using curse, you annoying asshole. Well, at least I have a valid excuse for when Ziggy's skull gets blown off by the dance of the cherry tree. Abort the mission, Barack, abort. Tricycle is your only bet here. Nick it balls, this is intense. You better live, Ziggy. Getting Ziggy with it. All right, enough fun and games. Tricycle is going to steamroll this punk, and then we can forget this battle ever happened. Sound good? Sounds great. To be fair, Barack, Eggy is confused. Luck is literally in your favor. You'd want to really suck to die now. Who is getting sucked to death right now? And there it is, the water pulse, torrent-traced rain-boosted water pulse. Man, what? Wait, we ate that up. Tricycle coming in clutch. I just found our wind convoys. Hooray, he found it. And would you look at that? I just found out some extraordinary news. I send you my congratulations, Donnie, because Barack is now leading in deaths in this series. I fucking knew Barack never learned how to ride a bike. Y'all ever hear a chokema? Chokema does lock run. Obama would know all about that because it seems to be the only thing he ever does every episode. Uncontrollable. The crit was out of my hands. Daddy might be able to eviscerate this palm tree with a crisp heat wave. I know the rain is up, but frankly, who gives a fuck at this rate? He should have frail defenses if his special attack is this high. Sure, see where fire gets you. There's no way, I just misclicked. No, 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 jump, pluff balls. Well, that sounded demonic, get it? Just summon him, Barack, summon your ass, pull your get out of jail free card, you lousy licky licky flicker. What are you talking about? We are so back. The next heat wave is a roll. It's like 92% in our favor. He is as good as dead. And I live another pedal dance anyway, bitches. Here's the moment of truth. One question, viewers, will it kill? The magic pixel. That man had the invisible focus sash. It's okay, you tank one and dish out the final blow. Eating it up, let's freaking go, go gadget. We living, we living, we living. Barack? Ain't no way. What just happened? Lord Sukuna-chan, wherefore art thou? Please, please help me. Ooh, ooh, I'm just a delicate lil simp and Omega Weeb. Please, I'm Suicune shit without your divine intervention. <laughs> help. What the fuck was that? Did you just meat ride your own demonic dick? That shit didn't even work. Fraud Bama makes his triumphant return, ladies and gentlemen. He's even trying to let Save Me die to a pedal dance before the fight is even over. What is this bullshit that I'm watching? Look at me, Barack, you idiot. Don't you ever, 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 ever say any of that shit ever again. Your integrity and your respect just went out the window the moment you started to beg for plot armor. Maybe right now you are Rusty Crusselass, but that doesn't mean you'll always be a bad player. Please never stoop that low again. You know you're better than this. You right, but at least save me grow stronger, I guess. Man, I don't know. That is hilarious. The save me name still applies. It's like he's asking to be saved from that creepy copy pasta. That shit really ruined this Pokemon to modern gamers. Even I hate that dumb paragraph. Like, yeah, for the first two weeks, it made me rock solid thinking of what I would do to absorb a Vaporeon's water. But after that, it just became annoying. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of shutting up and fucking off, your mother is the most breedable human for humans? Yeah, that's right, get jabated. 
Well, its stats are as good as we can ask for, at least. I don't feel like playing anymore. Does anyone want a baton pass in? What, so you can pass your minus three skill issue on to us? Okay, that was too far. I'm only joking, Barack. Here's what you're gonna do. Lead with save me and totally dominate the rest of this mountain. He is powerful enough and at a high enough level that I can't imagine something getting in his way. You'll make quick work of these few trainers, grab the TM at the pinnacle, and then we can call it a day. After this episode, you should just relax. It won't be your turn for another two weeks, so you can rebuild yourself mentally. There's some amazing games coming out this weekend. Spider-Man 2 and Super Mario Bros. Wonder are both going to be Game of the Year contenders. I can feel it. So walk away from this play session not thinking about the deaths you caused, but the deaths you prevented. I'll pick up the slack next time and we will have another flawless run. I'm sorry if I offended you with my words. I'm known to go a bit extreme when popping pillies. Same goes for you, Donnie. I just love you guys. I don't know how to express myself half the time. Damn, that hit deep. Joe Senpai. What the? That was the craziest flip turn in mannerisms I have ever seen. Is this what our ancestors foretold? The Joe humbling arc has begun? Not gonna lie, Joe. With that attitude, I wouldn't mind giving you the title of our team's leader and placing faith in you for this run. Statistically, you are the GOAT after all. Well, boys, as Troy Bolton, my lover, once said, we are all in this together. My success is your success. So I'm down to take over as captain from you, Barack. You've done amazing so far, but before your fuel burns out like a colossal, let me carry us through the rest of the game. Trust me, guys, I've got this. You're right, Joe. My friends are my power. The Wug Trio is back on top and ready to destroy whoever is unfortunate enough to cross our paths. Thank you guys for helping me get through my negativity. It's hard to get over such a depressing mental block, but we are in this shizzle for rizzle. Now you're talking Obama. Who needs the devil to beat a self-imposed challenge of a children's monster collecting game? Call me Freddie Mercury. Don't stop me now. Call me Freddie Mercury, because I'm having a good time. Call me Freddie Mercury, because I have AIDS. It's a serious issue at the moment. Yes, yeah, sorry, can't help you with that one, Joe. What is that TM we just got, Obama? Conversion. Pure ass, but mo' money for the big city. ka -ching. Here's the real morality questions we should be asking ourselves. Is it wrong of me to use my daddy's dead body to fly around the region? He's useless anyway as a corpse, so I might as well get one final use out of him. You're seriously downplaying what you can do with corpses, Barack? Control yourself, Joe. You've behaved so well all episode, let's just end it on a somewhat normal note. Go ahead and pursue the goons in Slateport as soon as possible, Barack. No problem, Donnie. My daddy will soar through the sky and lead us to victory. May he rest in peace or whatever? What type of milk did he bring back? You know what? As dumb as Team Magma and Aqua's final goals are, they at least get stuff done in these games. They steal a submarine and an elusive orb at the top of a cemetery from an elderly couple, and they manage to awaken the dormant Pokemon that they've been searching for. Hell, they even caused the catastrophic weather event that they originally intended. That's true, Donald. It's only after the fact that they realize how much of a screw up the whole thing is. Anyways, I'm gonna end off in Lily Cove for like the millionth episode in a row after depositing our newest casualties. I have faith in you, Captain Joseph. You will carry us on, my wayward son. I'm excited to see how you play next time, Mr. President. The Aqua hideout won't be that easy. One slip up and our whole team could die, but that won't happen, right? Ah, ha, ha. You've got this bestie old buddy old pal. Thank you, my fellow Americans. Just one question. Why do you keep calling me your leader? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Last time I was dubbed the captain of this ship or something, and now I've set sail to find myself a musician. I want at least 10 crew members by the series end. So far, I have the fast food hunter Donald Trump and black body Obama as part of my team. Say hello, boys. I kind of like that title, Joe, not gonna lie. Next on the hit list is that Witch Wendy. Anyways, glad to be here as always, guys. How are you today, Obama? I'm actually feeling so much more relaxed this time around. Um, I took your advice, Joe, and played a video game just to chill out in my free time. It's really made me appreciate life and its simplicity. So I have to start off with a thank you for that. Fantastic news. What game did you end up playing? Spider-Man, Mario, League of Legends? You told him to de-stress Joe, not play some absolute garbage. Well, I started my very first Genshin Impact account. And he's gone skinny dipping in the dumpster again. 
Barack, you are lucky I ain't right beside you because I would wake up, slap your tits until you started to realize your mistake. When did I imply that Genshin was the way to go? You really have strayed too far away from God. You deserve a beak blast to the face, you moron. But I just ordered my Venti costume from Amazon. Speaking of boys, are we still pulling up to the function Halloween night together? 100%. I just got my Street Fighter Rufus costume already. Can't wait to pull some schmicks ups on the hose that night. What is Sukuna dressing up as for Halloween Barack? Hmm. Let me try remember what it was again. Oh, yeah. Maybe it was the fucking King of Curses, AKA the master of pulling Uno reverses. I mean, have you seen his true form? That man is scarier than any costume I've ever seen. That's for damn sure. As long as it doesn't clash with my Mr. Fuji costume, I might even glue a tombstone to my dog's head and bring him as a houndstone. Better than sticking a lit candle in his hair and calling him a griever Joe. PETA ain't got nothing on you, buddy. Speaking of getting lit, boys, I see Snoop is back in the party, so let's get this sucker started. I'm gonna make like a Luxio and spark a spliffy real quick. I know the viewers love when I start whacking the weeds. One time for the one time. Huh, this is awkward. My Hindu Kush isn't in its usual cabinet. Well, thank God I have my backup supply. Gold bet, ghoulies. It's not in the pocket of my gimp suit either. What the hell is going on here? I can't believe it's come to this, Barack, but we had to step in like a quack of all. While Donald and I were double teaming Michelle last night, we politely asked her to toss out your whole supply of goofy purple Urkel. We dubbed it Operation Amazon Forest Fire because we were saving the trees from being sparked up like a shinx. Between the three of us, it was a majority vote. We are politicians after all, so you can imagine how erect this whole plan got me. Light a spliffy, more like strike a stiffy. Nani, you bastards. Snoop is going to die if I don't ascend to his muffled magnitude. I would say sorry, Obama, but you should be the one apologizing. You claim to be this goat at Pokemon, but the closest thing you've gotten to is a go-goat with the amount of grass you've been burning, no ember. I can't bear to see you spamming grassy glide and smoke your entire bag, followed by our whole team, looking like Gen 8 OU. No, no, boys, you don't understand. Snoop Doggy Dog and I made a binding vow, IRL, that if my dankness level was ever below his, then his Torkoal counterpart would be in trouble if we ever used him while I was sober as a sobble. I guarantee you, Joe, if you use him in a battle in this hideout, he will die. Please, don't do it. So this whole time you're telling me you were activating your blaze ability on this small of so that our starter would be safe for the whole playthrough? Okay, Joe, hold on, we might have misplayed on this one. Drugs are never the answer. That's coming from someone who pops like 28 capsules a day and snorts the freshest nose candy for breakfast. That's besides the point. I've been immune to your future sight like a dark type before Obama, so I'm willing to prove you wrong yet again. Dark types aren't immune to that move, Joe. It's typeless. Baka, it's a psychic type move, you absolute moron. You know what else is typeless? Curse, which is exactly how I would describe this conversation. Cursed. Why can none of you appreciate that your captain is sweeping every weak ass grunt in this building with day one? I knocked out a blissy with a fire blast. You would literally never see that in a vanilla run of this game. So give me props, would you? Congrats, Joe. You know when to use Thunderbolt and when to use fire blast. Is there anything else I can fetch for you, my liege? A walkie slush would be highly appreciated peasant, thank you. That thing bleeding pee? I don't think Joe would appreciate a bleeding slocky whoosh or whatever he just requested Donald. Big preesh on that Donnie. I'll switch peak to the front and unless these next battles are important, I'll just get our Snover sniffing editor to cut us away to the submarine fight. These goons ain't shit. I have a bad feeling about this guy's first Pokemon. I have a strong feeling that it will kill Snoop. Spare his young, puffy life, Joey. All right, Yugi Moto, let me scope out the situation here. Seriously, I fail to believe in a million simulated battles that this thing could ever kill our Snoopy Whoopy Pooper Scooper. I'll use Surf to gauge the damage. And if Peek ain't too shotten, then I'm fire blasting him into the Shadow Realm. That's a fair play, Joe. He ate that up, unfortunately. So prove Barack incorrect and let Snoop handle this literal insect. Consider your other options. My hockey is telling me this guy can kill Snoop, I just don't know how. Save me is a reliable option, or even Ziggy with Eruption. Those two could definitely handle this guy. Joe, I will slurp the milk out of your nuts if you listen to my words. I beg. Temptations are at an all-time high, but I'm going to go with our smoky friend here. 
If Beauty Fly kills him, I will get a cleaver to stone axe both of my arms clean off. Ain't no way in hell I am letting a literal butterfly disrespect our fiery turtle right now. Are you witnessing this Barack? He's using detect plus sandstorm strategies, which he himself is not even immune to. If the chip from the weather knocks Goopy Snoopy out, well, then I will seriously question Joe's skill as a trainer. However, I have complete faith in our newly crowned captain. I drove by the local playground this morning for about 10 minutes, and I didn't even see him around the walls. That's true character development. That's because I've started hiding in the bushes now, Donald. The security never look in there. But let me get this straight. You were cruising around a playground full of mixed race children, probably ranging between the ages of five and 13 for 10 whole minutes. Jeez, what a creep. Wow. Okay, Joe, I don't think you can start using blame thrower like a lamp pen. You chandelier kids down to your basement on the daily, so don't diss Donnie about it either. Anyway, thank God this stupid fly is finally dead. The future is not written, Barack. How many times do I have to say it before it gets into your necrozma looking head? Oh, looky here, another fire blast victim. Shit, another miss. Oh, ho, ho. Pump some of that copium into your Vigoroth looking head, jackass. Yo, Barack, you light up that trailblaze yet? Um, well, you see. Oh, fuck, no. Nah. How y'all gonna let me die in a kid's game? Y'all are fucking ass. Tangrowth tentacle toucher. I fucking told the both of you that Snoop would die. You'd think that would be enough for you to listen. But no, now we have lost our fucking pride and joy. Our starter Pokemon. I knew we should have boxed him temporarily until we got to the end of the game. Boxing your starter is such a scumbag move. I have zero respect for those who do it. What emotionless, heartless machines. You dumbass. Did you not hear him say temporarily? And what the stuffle are you talking about? You told us that you boxed your Empoleon for a freaking Luminion a few episodes ago. Oh yeah, but that's totally different. Lord Luminion has a veto for everything. If he committed a crime, instantly forgiven. If he started a war, he'd be given a Nobel Peace Prize. You do know he has the N-word pass, right, Barack? On God, if that waste of space ever swam up to me and called me the N-word, I would slice him into sashimi, served with a side of tatsugiri rolls and, of course, Toros cunt. I swear I should open a restaurant in Lumio City. I'm slightly saddened Paul's balls have been dropped from the menu, but at least the literal tor Ussy is still around. That shit is bussin'. Well, as long as you name the restaurant something marketable, you would make a killing, Barack. Have you ever seen what they are called in game? Restaurant Lana, La Yeah, and La Wow? That just feels racist to say, and that's coming from me. I don't know. Those businesses seem to be doing pretty well for themselves. The waiters gift you nearly 5K for winning a battle, so maybe I should follow the naming convention but modernize it for Gen Z. How about Restaurant Le Slay, where queens dine and kings keep their heads up? Ask our customers if the food is any good and they'll say one word, yes! The food is to die for. Come to Restaurant Le Yolo. Everybody's enjoying our food. Shouldn't you be too? Restaurant La Fomo? Wait, let's be inclusive, guys. What about a diner for Donald's people? Restaurant La Chonk? You'd have to open that in Paldea to avoid legal issues with food suppliers. Anyways, viewers, don't let these brilliant naming ideas distract you from the fact that Joe massacred a fan favorite, our goddamn starter of all people. Come on, man! He's sadly right, Joe. You messed up big time on that one. I cannot wait to see what the commenters have to say about you after this video goes up. That being said, you have a static encounter in the master ballroom, as I like to call it. There is two randomized Pokemon in there, but for fairness sake, I think you should just try to capture the first one. Once you beat this dungeon, there is a boatload of new routes made available by surfing east of Lily Cove. Great, so I'll get to catch another like four water types this episode. Why is it always when I'm playing that I have to catch that stupid wet ass pussy type of Pokemon? And this quote unquote puzzle is stupid as hell too. Hariyama nipples. I'm about to pull off a fucking fury kill with the sniper called Barbarical. I'm telling you, I got hands. Call me Tony Tony, because I'm about to let off the chopper. WTF Joe. I'm fucking sick of this. I'm over this shit already. Viewers, this show is scripted. Every encounter is a water type Pokemon. Ziggy dies next episode. A spoink is going to assimilate Donald's ass in episode 23. Barack is a hacker. We never make it to the Pokemon League. GP looks like Buzzswole's anus. Calm down, Joe. What the vanilla light fuck was that, boy? You Glaceon gagger, shut the hell up. 
None of that is true. Stop upsetting the viewers. This MF can't even see what Pokemon is right in front of him. And here he is making wild exclamations about the future. Pay attention, you mime junior muncher. This fishy fish has bide. We don't know how high his HP stat is, so don't lower it too much because it could spell disaster for Ziggy. This show isn't scripted. All right, watch this. Barack is going to snap out of a daze and crave Lantern's balls in his mouth. Huh? Sorry, guys. I was just imagining chugging Lantern's Dynamax balls in my mouth there for a second. Continue what you were saying, Joe. Oh, please, Joe. I could have told you that. Let's be honest, you were thinking it too. Oh, they just look so juicy. He's got tail glow, so stay on guard. While that sweeping potential could be huge for us, don't let him show his power off against our team right here, right now. The DS memories, they're rushing back to me. That's not an excuse to start blazing, you purple pussy. I better catch this guy's balls in my ball. What is with you guys and balls? Seriously. Balls, 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 balls. Great. He's devolved to just saying that word on its own. Hey, Joe, what's your favorite shape? Cubes, obviously. Wait, what? J, K, balls, 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 balls. We ballin'. Ball on him. Balls, balls. Balls, gang. Well, at least you've somehow managed to stay positive while catching another water type. You have my respect there, Joe. Well, I still respect you as much as I respect women, Donnie. Don't get it twisted. Look, a freaking vegetative monster would have been so much cooler than balls. I know I have nut sacks and butt cracks on the mind 11 days a week, 26 hours a day. But even its grass poison typing would have been nice to have. At least you got some of your medication back, Joe. Your EVs must be through the roof at this point. Oh yeah, you best believe it. My muscles are about to start a revolution. I'm the strongest. My power is maximum. Are you the strongest because you're Biden Urugojo? Or are you Biden Urugojo because you're the strongest? Hot damn! As we begin to surf the 700 seas, I think I'll ask our comment question. The question for today is, what is your favorite Pokeball? Good question, Joe. Mine is the Jet Ball from Legends Arceus. A bit out of left field and a newer entry to the famed Pokeball list. But damn, is this a good one. It is literally different because of the unique gameplay of Legends, with its mobility being upped by a substantial margin compared to the regular Pokeball. You can yeet this sucker across the region to snag yourself a bond sly if you wanted. I love the fact you can capture wild Pokemon from a distance so you don't startle them and mess up your shot completely. My trick shot compilation goes crazy for that game. I must show you boys someday. Kobe! Oh, hell no. What was that voice crack? I want that man dead. That was so gosh darn embarrassing. Bruh! Another water type. Are you for fucking real? I've had enough. I quit this mono water run. Joe, cooperate with us here. Pick back up the pink Game Boy and please continue playing. I know it's frustrating, but we work with the hand we are dealt. Those who felt it, dealt it. You're telling me I dealt it after last Monday's meet and greet with that bitch ass 12 year old James? Curse that silly goose. Not going to think about that situation too deeply, Joe. I'll just answer your question. My fave is the quick ball. Let's call a spade a spade boys. That ball is busted beyond belief. In generation four, the quick ball has a four times multiplier when used on the first turn, which is already one of the highest multipliers a ball can have. It was so handy to just one turn capture for the Sinnoh decks. Then generation five came around to fuck everything up as it usually does. But guess what? This overpowered thingy mub Bob got a buff. It then became a five times multiplier, which is honestly taking the piss out of capturing. That shit is a cakewalk now because of the quick ball, and that's why I love it. Stay mad, Twitter. It's kind of unfair that this Psyduck is my breaking point, but I'm genuinely fed up with this water type bullshit. I know it's the most common type or whatever, but this is just honestly ridiculous. I'm physically malding right now. He's going to be called Drown because I hope he drowns to death somehow. To round out the comment question, mine is the Ultra Ball, the old, reliable, and iconic Pokeball in its own right. When you see these bad boys hit the shelves of the Pokemart, that's when you know that you're in the end game, boys. It's just your standard Pokeball, but better in design and capture rate. I love that the yellow dominance in color is a subtle nod to the fact that some of the most powerful type of Pokemon are in fact yellow. Alakazam, Tapu Koko, Pikachu, Shuckle, and Mothim, just to name a few from the long list of powerhouses. You think Mothim is good? How strong is that crack you're on? 
Look at you, Barack, trying to substitute that turtwig for some garganackle. As we know, Joe is very overprotective of his knackle stack, so you ain't getting some of that. What I tell you, boys, yellow Pokemon equals broken Pokemon. Now you must both be punished. I want you both to get scooped by this guy's spoons. Afton-style baby. Ugh, fine. My fermented asshole is ready, Captain Joe. Okay, pause. What the Klefki cock did I just hear you say, Barack? He meant killed by a scooper, like in the Five Nights at Freddy's game, you freak. And why did you have your asshole on standby like that? You might be the sus king after all. Sus or not, I'm going to see the FNAF movie next week if any of y'all want to come with me. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but as long as Matt Pat drops a zinger of a one-liner, I'll be satisfied. As he would say, that's just a hypothesis. A gay hypothesis. Anyways, I'm going to slap this dude up a little with Ziggy before properly attempting to catch him. He's 11 levels lower, so surely he won't be able to deal that much damage to our MVP. Don't forget he used swagger on you, Joe. If you hit yourself, Ziggy is in trouble. It's me and Ziggy through thick and thin semen, Barack. She's got this. That doesn't look like she's got this, Joe. Fuck. Shit. Holy Ziggas in Paris. If you don't know, now you know Ziga. Man down, where are you from? Ziga. And Chewy, I'm some hot Ziga. Let me make sure my brothers come after you once this episode is over, Joe. You can't keep tossing that word around the way you do. You're right, it's very unfair. I owe you one. I'll let you call me a cracker or wigga if you want Barack. I'll give you the W pass just this one time. Not gonna lie, if I was singing along to a song, I'd rather say Ziga as a censorship so my pastry ass wouldn't get beat up for misusing a historically cherished word. I keep seeing this one video on YouTube of Roddy Rich performing The Box at a concert and the crowd sings along. The crazy thing is, the crowd didn't get any quieter when it got to the N-word part. And there was at least a couple thousand white people there singing out loud. I'm not even joking. That video has come up multiple times on my feed now. It's super weird. You know what's super weird? You calling yourself a pastry? I'm pretty sure you aren't even allowed to say cracker or have the W pass yourself, Donald, you Reese's Pieces piece of shit. I can confirm I never gave him the W pass, Barack. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter what color our skin is. We are all American, so what does it matter? What's your plan for catching this spoony, loony, creep, sleepy Joe? Damn, Donald. Back at it again with the white Crocs? I can't believe you ended racism just like that. I've gone ahead and flattered this dude so he can chip away at himself. I'm spamming tail glow to stall more turns because at this point I'm confident any move on our team will kill him. I'm glad you were able to pull out balls from the box and use him straight away at level 33. That saved us a good bit of grinding. I'm sorry, who pulled their balls out of a box and started grinding away at them? No, no, you must have misheard me, Donald, because what All I right, said All right, my was... hands are up. I did it. You both caught me red-handed. Why do these dumbasses keep hitting themselves? And it's doing so much damage. Damn it. I just realized that all you've talked about today, Joe, is balls in your mouth and you're behind and anywhere else you can stick them. But also that your comment question was about pokey balls. Say, where have you been storing your team of six when it's your turn to play, huh? I am legally not obligated to answer any questions to the press. I am the president, so I can shut you down and boot you off the U.S. soil, you scum of the earth. Move along now. I love how every episode is 50-50 on whether you either abuse your presidential powers, Joe, or you even remember what your job is. Quiet down, you flubby tubby and chubby landerous. For the last time, who the fuck is Joe? What an impressive catch, Joe Mechian, who has long since forgotten his name. What's the nickname? Probably Houdini or something, right? Nah, I'm gonna call this guy Lucas after the Mother 3 protag. The yellow obviously reminds me of Lucas's hair, but they both also use psychic powers in battle. Mother fans unite. Of course, I'm joking because I've never played that slow ass game and only know Lucas because he is my main in Brawl. Game producer and I have both actually played Mother 3, and it is such a good game. If you like Omori or Undertale, then you will definitely like the Mother games. Those games PSI rock. The only mother I like to play with is yours, Obama. Can we get this over with? I am starving here and would like to wrap this video up as soon as possible. Do your little analysis, Barack, so we can dip like a chicken McNugget. I'd be honored to sign us off, Captain. Trace is actually a good scouting ability for a randomizer, so plus one point for that. He looks like a fast mixed attacker with high hit points.
If we touch up his move set a bit, he might be able to provide a decent bit of firepower to the team. All righty then. I'm excited to play next time around. All in all, good showing today, Joe. One crucial death, but that didn't hold you back from catching some potent beasts that we can mess around with next time. I gotta hand it to you, bestie. Same here, Joey. We've landed in Moss Deep, so I smell another gym battle on the horizon. We gotta stay sharp, boys. I believe in us. Finally, the voices are gone for another week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to join the new President's Community Discord down below and do all the regular interactive stuff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And seriously, thank you all for making this journey so enjoyable. We appreciate it all. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today, I, Donald Goat King, J. Trump Ketchum, will be taking on the Moss Deep City Gym. This is obviously one of the most notorious boss battles in the entire series for its double battle gym leader. And now that all Pokemon are forced to fully evolve, I can't imagine we will get an easy fight. It looks like this gym's typing is ice. I'm not sure how I feel about that. How are we today, guys? I'm good, boys. I'm hoping last episode wasn't an omen for more deaths to come for us, but I guess only time will tell. How are you feeling after the Halloween function the other night, Joe? You got pretty crunk that night, my boy. I'm still annoyed at you, Barack, for changing your costume last minute. I was looking forward to seeing your skimpy little body in a venti costume, but all of a sudden you show up as this giant black Jong Lee pillar. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how you won best dress either. My Mr. Fuji costume was 100 times better. To be fair, Joe, you literally looked like yourself. How was anyone supposed to know you were dressed up as that pervert from Lavender Town? I know I look young. But that night I didn't apply any face cream, so my true skin wrinkles were showing. And the Fuji Nader is also old, so I literally couldn't have made the costume any more realistic. I will say, I was impressed by your insane instant fuzzy overhead you landed on that chick at the pool, Donald. Then the FADC Ultra after that. Oh my, it was marvelously outstanding. What can I say? Justin Wong taught me all that I know. If you're Jay Wong, then I'm your Daigo haunting you for life. I'd call it a whack-ass mix-up, and I would have blocked it. Sorry to break it to you, Joe, but I am not currently and never will attempt to hit on you with my street fighting skills. If I do start doing such a repulsive thing, Barack, you know where I keep my shotgun. Underneath the 16th box of donuts in the playroom, I remember Donnie. Anyways, how are you feeling about this ice gym today? Do you have a plan going in or are you just living on a prayer? Well, I wish I was halfway there. Whoa, whoa, lemon on a pear. But seriously, I don't know how to feel. I currently have a full water type team with me, which is over half of our resources. And let's be real, if we lose any of them at this point, I don't really care about them. As long as we don't lose any of our legendaries or non-water types, we should be as golden as Joe's piss. Facts, no ink. Well, I would hope you aren't pissing ink, Joe. You musky, Malamar flipping fool. You know what? I actually, for some reason, have faith in your ass today, Donald. I think you will breeze through this gym like a Pidgeot, you voluptuous, heavenly-built man of muscle. I've always loved talking to you. You're the Wigglytuff to my Chat Tot, the Pikachu to my Ash, the Mother to my Q-Bone. I've always thought this Whale Lord size D, and this has nothing to do with the fact you slipped me that small loan of $8 million. At least I'm not the Zigger to your Zigger. Anyways, Donald, as I am the new captain of the team, I want you to play to absolute perfection today. Be wary of one hit KO moves, random electric or grass type moves, explosion or self-destruct. I want to be able to shatter any future sight predictions you boys have, so lay them on me. You won't be able to break today's future sight, but that's not a bad thing. Toilet Bird has that move, and I can see it will do some serious damage against Tate and Liza if we make it to them and use it. Let me just make sure Nicki Minaj here doesn't kill one of our monsters. But that is a sound strategy, actually. In the double battle, use Future Sight. And when the turn comes around, attack one Pokemon with both of our goons for a sick triple attack. No items would be able to save them, and we could smoke the likes of Articuno or Regiice. My one true love. I'd take a Regiice over a Swallet any day with you, Joe, you Silcoon sucker. Excuse you, Barack, I suck Cascoons now. Get it right. Drown just leveled up, boys. I wonder what it's gonna turn into. Never too late in the run to ask for Kyogre, is it? Certainly not Donnie, but let's be honest. Judging by our past evolutions, we will probably get another Cloister or Kabutops. The game seed is angrier than a hungry sun kern. 
Please be good, please. Oh, duck, yeah. Duck me, baby ducking, duck, yes. Duck me inside out with a briefcase. Oh, yes, duck all over me. All right, someone needs to fess up. Who the fuck hacked the game and stuck a PNG of Donald into this ROM? I thought we were playing a normal ass vanilla copy of Pokemon Sapphire. You're telling me this shit is altered? I can never trust you guys. I cannot believe we pulled Whale Lord Size D, AKA myself, who has Water Spout. This is better than any bum ass Beluga Whale Legendary. His stats are solid overall. I can't even be mad. Once he learns another move or two, this dude is definitely gonna be E4 material. Let's freaking go! Whoa, no need to shout there, buddy. Let's make sure he survives until then. Stay analytical like a star me, and we should be a-okay. I can't lie, boys. This gym is as dog water as dog's water. This shit is free aff, and I ain't worried in the slightest. Make sure to switch out Drown if you love him. Water Spout won't do anything to this horker looking ass. Go ahead and ask your comment question too, Donald. Lately, we've been asking it near the end of these videos, so why don't we spice it up a bit by asking it early? I'm sure the viewers ah! would have- You walrus rustling fuck! Chuck Cuckwood tucking bastard! Ah! Fuck you! Guillotine giving boo-boos to booba! What has come over you, Donald? Calm mind yourself and don't seek revenge using nasty plot. It won't work. What? Walrain is officially bottom five. What a load of blitzel, Smegma. How have we lost two Pokemon to one hit KO moves? If next episode I get hit by one, we can make a shitty little trilogy. This is no time to be bringing up Lord of the Rings. I admire how optimistic you are, Barack. You think we will make it to the next episode. How are we going to hone claw our way through this one? Are you feeling okay, Donald? Ah, I'll be fine, boys, trust me. Once I suppress this boner, we will be back on track. Hold on, pause. What the crawdaunt cock did you just say? Viewers, my comment question of the day is, what is your favorite move name in all of Pokemon? I realize there's a lot of kick-ass move names, so tell me which one is your favorite. You're acting cringe again, Donald. Watch it, buddy. But give me some time to think of an answer. Mine is Genesis Supernova, the exclusive Z move of Mew. The name is unbelievably cool. Mew is literally the Genesis Pokemon where all life stemmed from. So he channels all of his power into a giant spirit bomb which is super cute and intense at the same time. He then throws down the supernova in question at the opponent, reminiscent of Son Goku finishing off Ma Jin Buu at the end of Dragon Ball Z. It's a shame this move is forever locked to Generation 7, but I'm highly considering getting that move tattooed on my body. I know one place that lengthy name would fit. That's a good answer, Obama, because my move is similar in power and even animation. Mine is Necrozma's exclusive Z move. If you went back to the late 90s and told the 10-year-olds at the playgrounds that there is a move called Light That Burns the Sky in this kid's monster collecting game, you'd probably get shanked. This was the 90s. Anything was possible back then. But this move straight up nukes the opposing Pokemon and the five nearest towns after it has been launched. It shouldn't say that the opponent has fainted. It should say they got erased from existence. I can't believe one of the coldest sounding move names comes from such a mid Pokemon. Still not as mid as Freeze Shock or Ice Burn. Common Generation 5L. I guess it makes sense all of our choices come from legendary Pokemon, as they tend to be the ones that get the coolest moves. Mine is Roar of Time. How strong does one have to be in order to roar so hard that it echoes throughout time? That's literally how the games describe this move. The user blasts the target with power that distorts even time. The rollies on my wrist, no Roar of Time. So y'all better watch out when I step out with them on. I wish the Reggies got unique moves like Rock Blast or Heavy Slam or Freeze My Nipples Off. It would make me fall even more deeply in love with them. Can't say I relate or even understand what you're talking about, Joe. Fake tears could be dangerous from this guy going forward. So just keep that info in mind, Donald. Anyways, I think all three of our moves for our comment question are actually all solid. Viewers, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and comment what your favorite move name is down in the comments below. Wait! Ah! Fuck! I changed my answer, you cunts! Oh no, he's gained PTSD from Walrain's guillotine. What the smoochum goochum is going on here? You on some snubble shit, boy? I don't understand, Donald. Why did you change your answer? What's your new favorite attack name? My favorite move is Bite. Witness its power! Oh shit! Mr. President, get down! Wowie! Kaplowie! We are fucking locked into Bide for another two turns. Ain't no way we live in this one! You are a noble sacrifice, Drown. 
Let me harness your soul and cleanse you of your impurities to manifest my true evil. I have done it. My bloodlust has enlightened me to greater heights. This is my true power. Okay, bro. WTF is going on with your hair. Super Saiyan 2? Nah, that's Super Saiyan Jew. You ugly as a Bruxish. Honestly, uglier somehow. What are you talking about? What's wrong with my hair? I meant the M on my forehead. I've gone margin. Oh no, he's gotten a face tattoo. Everyone watch out. You know that I was a margin before, right, Donald? I never had some stupid ass letter implanted on my forehead. Wait, really? Margin Obama honestly sounds super badass, but why did you give up such power? It was just a phase, Donald. The power channels your anger and that's what fuels its potency. It's literally like the move frustration, but I just wanted my peace of mind to return. Ha! You gay goth at a gobbler? Go catch a ditto back home in Africa, will ya? All right, Cortex, you can shut up now. It seems you've become unhinged like back in my grandpa's days. Screw you for killing him, by the way, Barack. Yeah! Fuck you, Zarud. You cottony picker. I'm back in this bitch. I cannot wait to slice and dice every walrus in the whole goddamn world for taking so many precious lives. I can't wait to drain their sacks with my punches like a Riolu. Joke's on you, Donald. You still have a boss battle coming up, you fraud. Let's see you get carried by your whack-ass power-up, shall we? Do I need a transformation now? Starting to feel a little left out, guys. Can I be honest, boys? At my current power level, I can't beat these bitch-ass kids. What do you mean, Majin Donald? My team is late 30s, and they have early 40s. If they have wall reigns with one-hit kill moves, nobody on the team will be safe. Luckily, if anybody dies, I will get faster, better, stronger. No one is gonna die, Daft Punk. Settle down there. I see you withdrew more water types, you absolute idiot. Dog would have been a perfect choice for this fight. What use are you gonna get out of love dicks versus a cloister, huh? If I need to sacrifice someone, would you rather see balls die or love dicks? Exactly. Your team composition isn't impressive, Donald. I'm seriously worried for you in this fight. This feels like the first point in the whole adventure where we could white out and lose a battle. I'm not ready to say goodbye to six of our precious team members, so you better be on the fucking ball for this fight, or I will redirect the missiles from Iraq to your house. Go devour a Poochie and a Poon any Sleepy Joe. I'm the GOAT, and this battle will go down in history as the greatest Nuzlocke clutch of all time. We will celebrate this win with some fresh water, cool soda pop, and lemonade, using fresh fruits plucked by Barack himself. No Trump beak. You were literally complaining 10 seconds ago saying you couldn't beat these guys. Were they just your pre-game Johns? I won't feel a single drop of remorse for you if you get swept like a Mr. Mime. About to be a clear body bag looking like a beldum. Of course they start with the most bullshit Pokemon of the lot. These kids are about to suffer a fate worse than those in Joe's basement. The kids love playing Monopoly with me, I'll have you know. But for real, this is an Arceus awful opener for you, Donald. Hopefully D. Zeef can one-shot that iceberg with a rock tomb. Otherwise, you are in deep trouble. I know I'm floating in the stratosphere with Ray Quaza with the amount of copium I'm huffing right now. But I knew myself that rock tomb wasn't going to be doing Jack, Squilly, or Scott against that unloved bastard. For real! If Articuno is your favorite legendary bird of the three, you need to seek help or find a new planet to live on because that ain't no opinion. That is straight up incorrect. My balls are rumbling. I sense a guillotine on its way to chop toilet bird's head off. Dodge it! Okay, okay, that was slick, Donald. Your power up is really coming in handy right now. Your skill is better than a hidden ability chinchino. That flappy bird goober just used future sight, which reminds me. Use that move with Toilet Bird as I foresaw. It would do some crazy damage in this battle, which, oh shit, I just realized something. What did you just realize, Obama? Probably that I don't have time to set up dumbass future sites. Keep up the firepower. Another guillotine evasion incoming. I can feel it. Well, you know the way I said future sight will do some massive damage in this fight? Okay, fine. I'll use it this turn with Toilet Bird and target Arctic Kuno then. Will that make your bananas happy, you sick ball toy butt munchers? I don't see the issue, Barack. You said the move will be unstoppable in this fight. Oh no, I think I see where this is going. Stay mad, cause I'm at the top. What Gerd or gank are y'all talking about? Well, I hope Toilet Bird's damage is respectable too. Don't get me wrong. But I think I might have predicted from the wrong side of the field again. 
gang. Speak to me, gang. Oh, hell no. They just killed my brother, man. We were homies for life. We were going to get out of this bullshit. Blood is gone for good. Ain't no way. It's so Jover, guys. I can't take this pain anymore. This loss has only made me stronger. Let me cook. Let you cope more like. Donald, you have massacred three Pokemon this episode and are still knee deep in the shits with this fight. Future Sight tore you a new one and Toilet was at full health. He's about to launch another. What the fallopian fuck are you going to do now? You have no strong counters in the back. This is the freest battle I ever did see. Fuck y'all talking about? Go back to your drug addiction, Barack, and fingering pokey gals, Joe. I got this. Wow, he's actually gone psycho. No boost. Guess there's no stopping the absolute carnage he's about to invoke. How long do you think it'll be before he kills another team member, Obama? Depressing that it's a question of when, not if. I give him like five seconds. Tops. How the fuck did he live that? And ha ha ha, you're a comedian, Barack. I don't find this one bit funny. Shit. You palmer pummeling hooligan, you torchic toucher, are you going for a Guinness World Record for most deaths in one video? Or is it giving the most strokes to your president, friend? I can't believe this. Fuck! No, Johns, but I literally could not have done anything about those deaths. Their blood makes mine run deeper. First off, you fat piece of ungabunga shit, stop clicking moves without giving it a second thought. At least consider your options. Two, you should have fixed your team comp to not be total trash before starting a fight that you knew would be difficult. Everybody fucking knows you don't mess with Tate and Liza. Third, stop saying those crazy Tumblr-ass quotes. You're trying to make your words carry meaning, but my foresight shows they don't mean jack shit. But I am getting stronger. I just bodied the left side. Easy. My observation hockey is even so potent right now, I can see the massive explosion incoming. What kind of a throw is this? You honestly thought love dicks could survive? This bloodbath is never ending WTF. How do you manage to get worse with your power up Donald? You wishy-washy wimpod son of a bitch. This is like if Goku went Super Saiyan, then Frieza still beat his ass. Or if Luffy unlocked his gears, but Luchi continued to pack him up. I'm at a loss for words. Fuck me, you are ass. You're literally killing them too quick. I can't mourn over their deaths. It saved me even in the clear right now. It's fine. I wouldn't even worry about it. We just gotta live this future site and we are good boys. Whoop whoop. Load the save state. What was that, bro? He said, load the fucking save state. Use Osama to time travel back 10 minutes when all of our friends were alive. I fucking miss our water types. Damn it. Save me and DZ were the OGs. Love Dicks was meme of the century. Toilet was my motherfucking Ziga. I would ride and die for that bird. And now he dead. Call me Melmetal. I'm about to double iron, bash your skull in Ukraine, dose scumbag. I have this fight in the bag, boys. Sure, I got a little unlucky and four solid teammates perished, but the run lives to die another day. Like, look, this shitty sneezy sack had mirror coat. Do you see what I'm saying? These two bitches were out to get me this whole time. Joe and I will be out to get you too, as well as majority of the audience, I'm sure. Viewers, if you would like us to kick Donald off the team, make sure to get this video to 30,000 likes and 69 dislikes. You don't sound so great, Barack. You good, my G? How can anyone be okay after that mass genocide we all just witnessed? Sensing a lot of hostility. But I guess it's clear to see I am clutch for pulling through such a tough fight while not letting the run go six feet under. Let's freaking go! Well, that was probably the fattest dub I've ever seen. Fatter than a fusion of Snorlax and Slack King. Are you both proud of Papa D for that magnificent showcase? I'll just let these bodies hit the floor real quick before continuing. We have 20 deaths and 21 alive. This shit couldn't be closer to a 50-50 split, and that's the worrying part. Have you no shame, Donald? I secured our seventh badge. What have I to worry about? I'll let one of you boys rock the final gym leader. I guarantee you will do worse than I did. I don't know if Joe has died, fallen asleep, or his jaw has hit the floor, but I think I speak for us all when I say it's impossible to do worse than that battle. Welcome to watch Mojo's top 10 maw chokes of all time. You're right, Barack. I am so good at this game. This is officially the worst episode uh, in the whole series. There's no debate. 
There is absolutely no way you could redeem this shit, Donald, no matter who you encounter here. Damn it. I thought it was going to be one of those sick priority fake outs where you say I can't redeem myself, but then I encounter a Mewtwo or something and totally clutch the episode out with a sick capture. Then we all hold hands and make up. Keep those obese ambipom mitts away from me. I hope you get run over by 30 Tauros next time you step outside your gaff. Mufasa style, baby. Long live the slow king. Donald Walrein inhaler and anal rollerblader. Y'all can talk smack, but it'll never get me down. I'm still pretty fly for a white guy. How many times do we have to fucking go over this? You're as orange as a trap inch eating a carrot or a tep pig served with some sweet potatoes. We don't want you as part of our community because then I'd be acting racist towards myself and I don't like being oppressed. Some of us didn't have a choice, Joe. Be careful now. You're right, Barack. I'm gonna nickname this pine cone after you and call him Plug. I could imagine you smoking this little guy on a humid summer's evening. Thanks, Donald. Years of my ancestors fighting back against their captors and literally bleeding in the fight for freedom. All forgotten and forgiven because you referenced weed with a Pokemon. That's the equality we've been seeking. I knew you'd appreciate that, Barack. I'm getting a little tired, boys. So I'll get my last encounter here, then literally save in the cave. I'm pooped after that intense fight. I can't wait for this episode to be finished. What a nightmare it has been. No dark cry. Holy mommy, mini or milkers. This is what I'm talking about. The slack cussy is about to be bussy ussy. It's literally you, Joe, you lazy sack of shink shit. You'll need more than a slack king. Holy, Holy shit. shit. If you don't catch this bastard, I'll let the toolie slack off all over your face. Giggity giggity. I guess I was wrong. Turns out you can make that 50-50 split even closer. 21 alive, 21 dead. You're a savage Donald. 21, 21. Why are you giving the answer to nine plus 10 dreepy Joe? Anyways, my strategy is to flatter this guy with my balls, hopefully causing him to damage himself. That sounds like a strategy that would work on Joe. I can't lie. Shit, maybe that really is me then. I can't process how strong this guy is about to be. He has legendary stats with arguably the best ability in the whole game. This guy's giving me cutie flies in my stomach. I'm sweating like a Gudra over here. For once in your miserable life, Donnie, please don't butcher this encounter. This guy could solo the game if we get him. Please, I'm begging you on this one. Go get him, Donnie boy. Catch that sucker. I take back what I said. You pulled off the comeback of the cinch with that one, Donald. You are the king, the kid, the goat, the legend. Is that the legend 27? Why, thank you, gentlemen. I hope you know I'll still be naming this lazy country boy after yourself, Joe. I saw this coming, but after realizing the pure strength that this chonker possesses, I'm not offended in the slightest. Donald, I am honored to be named after what I can imagine is going to be the most powerful being in the entirety of this Pokemon Sapphire game. Is it gay if I pop a boner to myself? Move aside day one in Osama. Joe is the freaking MVP of this run now. Those stats are ludicrous, and the ability is just a joke with how broken it is. If we head into the Elite Four with just this guy, I'd say we would still have a 90% chance of winning. Just gonna cure this guy's poison and sign off from there. Apart from that catch, I wasn't too shabby the rest of this episode, right boys? Wait, what was that, Joe's mama? You wanna fuck? Sorry boys, gotta go. Uh, I gotta go give him a hand, I guess. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Last episode. Well, we don't talk about last episode. We got our seventh gym badge and let's leave it at that. Anyways, this episode is already looking much better with me in the driver's seat as this Snorlax is our encounter for Route 126. How are we today, boys? I'm good, Barack. Just chilling, just killing. How are you, Joe? Trust me, we knew you were killing since the last episode. Your tyranny made the Holocaust look like a freaking joke. Aside from that, I'm great guys. Joe with the cold opening comparison, you love to see it. I'm gonna weaken this guy with nature power and see if I can catch him real quick. Huh, you're doing what now? Wait, won't that turn into surf? Like a same type attack bonus surf? And won't said surf just kill him instead? So much for a better start. This episode is already worse than my last unfortunate play session. Literally impossible Donald. Your killing spree is being nominated for an Oscar because that whole sequence of events had to have been scripted. It will go down in the anal glands of time as the biggest throw that a content creator has ever performed. 
I'm more of a sock guy. Blue, cool, calm, and collected. You will never see me throw in a fight, ever. I'm more of a cum sock guy, too, Donald. Blue balls, cool toys, and calm maneuvers. Um, Joey Mercrowy, look at the screen. Isn't there something you want to say? What is it now, Monkey Dory? Oh, Wiener Schnitzel! It's him! We finally got him! It's a sand shrew! Let's a freaking go! I guess everything is coming full circle now, like whipping up some poffins in the kitsch. Viewers, this play session will be a shorter one than usual, as it will consist of just evolving and catching new monsters to refill our resources. This is our power creep episode, as we've trained up some of our boxed Pokemon, mainly because we had no choice, really. What? Why are you both looking at me? What did I do? At least when the pigs overpopulate on the farm, I can just send them to you for slaughtering Donald. Or if I need manure, I know who to call. You were slinging shit like a cacnea. My man let me down more than an iron jugulus. More disappointing than the difficulty of X and Y. At least I didn't black out. Well, I guess if me or Joe lose our whole team, we white out. But for you, it's a blackout, right, Barack? You would orange out, you Q-fan shit stain. Easy, fellas, easy. This episode should be filled with positivity and happiness and all that homosexual stuff. We caught this anime-defining plot armor rodent. I'm just going to call him Freakachu for the LOLs. If memory serves me correct, we already have a Dawnstone to instantly evolve this guy. That alone is promising. Always so close, Sleepy Joe, and yet always so far, my good friend. Let's be honest, how many more shitty water types can we get before this playthrough ends? A lot, probably. Surely our wet streak is over by now, though, right? Oh, you just had to go and open that literal thick fat mouth of yours, didn't you, X-Plowed? Shut up, you nimble nut sucker. Don't make me come over to your house and make you feel the struggle of a bug. Quiet down, shuckle fucks. I have high hopes for this guy. Even though both of your roasts are in the PU tier, I'm glad to see your funny little quarrels are back. I miss you two having the bants between each other. Reminds me of when we started this adventure. I loved our little arguments and skull bashes too. But then Donnie became a salty little bitch and literally dipped for a whole episode. What a Vigoroth Viagra gulper. I only sip Viagra now, but that's not the point. Even though last video I let seven bodies get whisked away to the Shadow Realm, you two weren't anywhere near as mean to me as you were back in episode 16. Y'all were on Giratina Demon Time for no apparent reason. I'm on ball throwing and mowing time right now, hot damn! Anything that's in my sights is mine. I'm gonna call this dude Sir Shit. You aren't exempt from catching these strays either, like I'm flinging a smoke ball Barack. I'll give it to you, Joe. You got more bars than a Hershey's factory in Isira City. Oh, please. I got more heat coming out of this head than a Senny Scorch. Stop bugging. That fire double entendre is going to go over more people's heads than a Char Cadet. Those flames have my mind blown, let me tell you. Fire bars, Barack. Now put your pants seer ass to good use and show us a fire battle. And so that's why they call it Collywobbles. Anyways, let me eviscerate this blue rat for taunting us that we lost DZ last episode. I activate Called by the Grave. I told you cholera would come in handy someday. At least we got a cute word out of it. Beat that, COVID. There you go, spreading fake news again. We all know COVID didn't exist. Stop bringing that stupid ass topic up for the viewers. 2020 was bottom five years of all time. I think you could even agree on that, Joe. 1346 was a pretty bad year, too. Enough about shitty pandemics. What boogie-woogie did we get from Plug? Let's freaking go. We got our boy Dick Pinch in the building. This guy did what to you now? Okay, Barack, let's stay focused here. Please highlight on the doll where exactly the creature pinched you. You're in a safe space now. He cannot hurt you here amongst friends. If you boys don't know who Dick Pinch is, we are going to have some serious issues. This guy has great HP and attack. So funny enough, he's probably the best evolution we could have gotten out of a bug-type Pokemon. This power-up arc is going well so far. Speaking of power-ups, I've decided I don't want a weeb anime power-up like you guys. Mainly because I already attract so much purloin as it is right now. And if I got any sexier, I'd be on the run from these hoes like Jeffrey Dahmer. But Joe, think of the marketable merch we could use if you had a dope ass transformation. What will it be, bestie buddy, old pal? You gonna go gear fifth zoo or yell Bon Kai or go berry on mode? Don't listen to him, Joe. The downsides are not worth the extra skills gained. I believe in you. Just take your gameplay vitamins as usual and you should honestly be okay for the rest of the run, Captain. Look, Donald, it's your ex-girlfriend. 
Very funny, Joe. Wake up sometime today, yes? Bro, I ain't kidding. Remember those Siamese twins I wingmanned you with a couple of years ago? Oh, shit. No way. Brittany, Melissa, is that you? Did you ever open that cheese shop like you both always wanted? What the scrap am I listening to? Both of you can go skydiving off of Altru Tower because whatever the hell you just spoke is weird. Since this thing is level 16, I'll fire off my comment question of the day. Viewers, don't forget to answer down in the comment section below. My question for today is what region would you like the next Pokemon games to be based off of? Japan, easy choice. Go back to Japan. You're a Japanese development team. Stick to what you know and love. It's no secret that I despise the Generation 5 games, and that's because the region being the U.S. is a gargantuan insult. The U.S. is more than just industrial cities and roadworks and big bridges and corrupt nationalism. We have a variety of landscapes and beauties and tons of money and the happiest people on the planet. But you look at N or Getsis or the darkened art style and it just makes us look fucking depressing. The first four gens are full of life and have a wide array of towns and cities, whereas black and white focus too much on the realism. I want to play these games to escape reality, not be reminded of it. Whoa, that was deep, Donald. I actually feel a bit of empathy for you now. I only empathize with your ruptured snoo-snoo. What a terrible answer and opinion. I would love for Game Freak to spice it up a bit, and I'm not great with the geographical state of the world since Pangea broke up, but I think Mexico would be a cool pick. Imagine a regional variant of Pikachu in a sombrero. Sign me the heck up. Nah, but real talk though, the culture and the good vibes of the Mexico could be done beautifully in high quality Pokemon generation. You already know the music and the food would be banging in the game too. What about a burrito version of Sandaconda? I am literally cooking right now. If we still had Godzilla, he would have had a stroke listening to that and would have freaking died. This might be considered a hot take, but the newer Pokemon games going across Europe was a great choice in terms of changing up the art style and theming of the game. Kalos being based off France in particular was amazing, and I love how you could customize your fashion style, which obviously that country is known for. I don't actually have a particular answer to this comment question, but all I hope for is that Game Freak ties in the culture of the real-life country with the Pokemon version. Like they could do another part of the US, but they should really add a gun Pokemon or a star spangled color theme Pokemon. Or they could do Germany with a car or beer looking Pokemon. No, I don't want a game based in Germany. If that means my lover Reggie Wedgie Steel would have to be re-enlisted into the Third Reich. Don't ruin our happy marriage, Barack. Well, I take it the divorce with Winona was a success then, Joe, since now apparently you are infatuated with a chunk of metal. Having trouble there, Barack? This is so stupid. Why is catching this wheezing giving me so much hassle? I'm about to wrestle with Jimmy if it breaks out of this netball. What was this talk about a cheese shop earlier, Donald? Well, there's actually not much of a story behind it, Barack. Basically, Brittany and Melissa wanted to open a family-run cheese store back when I was dating them. Unfortunately, they moved to Australia back in the summer of 69. And to this day, I wonder, did they ever fulfill their dream? If I had a Jirachi, I would have spent my wish on them in a heartbeat. Weirdly sweet, Donnie. I'll call them cheesing just for you. I heard a rumor that only Melissa moved to the land down under because she was too afraid to break up with you, Donald. This is just what Brittany told me a while ago, but I'm sure her sister is doing well. That doesn't make any sense, Joe. If they are Siamese twins, how could one move out of the country while the other one stays? Did you not see Melissa hanging out of her like a giraffe rigged tail? The power of modern day technology, Barack. Keep up, you old timer. Wow, you just got called old by Joe. That's like a zigzagoon calling you a zigga. Anyway, whoop de doo We have another water type evolution happening here. Yeah, and not the greatest one at that. I guess one upside is the fact that it's a final evolution. I guess I'm out of the toilet gang and in with the gong gang. The Q cucks clang won't be happy about this. Turns out that's where the infestation had begun. And that, folks, is why I don't let whirlipedes run trains on me anymore. Speaking of eight surprise penises, look, Donnie, it's your fantasy brought to life. I'll take you all on, you foul beasts. Aha! Aren't you both so original? I'm not sure if this is a good capture, as Cray Dilly in a randomizer isn't a particularly reliable monster. 
Normally, with its guaranteed tough defenses, it can act as a solid wall. But without that certainty, this thing could be a liability right off the bat. Did you both know this guy has four type weaknesses? You'd think it has a lot less, but grass doesn't resist shit, apparently. I couldn't give a Tyrogue's ass if this guy's booty cheeks or not. He ain't a water type, so he's instantly a win in my books. What do we say about checking out Tyrogue asses, Joe? Stick to Iggly Buff Booty. Oh, fuck. Fuck that little pink shit stain and that wiener scoffing ass cracker. I'll let the dog sick him like a crown Zacian. Firm, firm. Get him, boys. Control yourself, Joe. I'm trying to focus. Let's hope dog doesn't die right now. I hate that I am the only reliable trainer among us. The people have lost trust in you both, I'll have you know. They've said they can't believe Fraud Bama is back on the team. Don L is the biggest bum of all time. And now they only have faith in some pan champ pumper called Joe Biden. I don't know who this guy is, but apparently he will carry our team to victory. They must have meant the Slack King, not your forgetful ass, Mr. President. What are you going to name this hentai lover Obama? Well, calling him Dick Chain is too obvious. And there isn't enough letters for that thing Donald's mama keeps under her bed. So I'm just going to call him Phallus. Sounds sophisticated, doesn't it? Shut up, Simi Poor. There's something I need to tell Joe before I forget. Next episode, I will actually be the one playing instead of you. I know the turn order usually has you next on the throat chopping block, but I need to so badly redeem myself after last episode. I will take on the underwater aqua hideout myself to prove how powerful I've become. I don't want to become a sham to the audience, so I will step up and fight Archie at his peak next episode. Plus, that'll leave the eighth gym for you, Sleepy Joe. How does that sound? Leaving the stronger trainers to me? Huh. I accept your offer, Donnie. I'll be impressed if you kill less than five Pokemon next episode at this rate. Fine by me, Toxel Toucher. Well, you look like Claude Sire's fecal matter, you poisonous prick. Go vol beat your dick off into that cum sock you were chattering about earlier, why don't you? I will, once I make like a grubbin' and X scissor your sister first. Fucking try me, boy! Joe Mama said she would shed the skin off my dragon hair, so let me ring her right now to see if I can use pound on her tonight. You won't do a goddamn I'll thing, do you Snorlax piece of shit. You want Joe to start Mama isn't into this? little mill tank cows like you, so why do you even bother? You purr, I'm gonna hone ugly, my claws against mother, your sister's sweet kissed ass chin, cheeks when I pull Shut the hell up! Let me descend my divine Rayquaz ass down on you mere mortals. To my right, a Silvalley. To my left, a Flareon. Put your pokey dollars where your mouths are, and play like competent players for once in your shitty watch og little lives. He started it, Dad. Nuh-uh. I did not. I don't give a beldam who started it. I am finishing it. Oh, look! We got Pokemon number 218. Are you kidding me? That's Caterpie, Donald. Not Chopma. Chop my dick off. Oh, Wilmer Gooch. How does this keep happening to me? <laughs> okay, that was a good one, boys. Fitting because this little guy is technically a slug, so I'll call him Slugma in your honor, Joe. That's fine, but who is this Slugma? Donnie, do you know what Barack is talking about? Is that some sort of hidden bug legendary or something? L-M-A-O. Not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea, Joe, but I've lost my car all of a sudden. Where did it go? Moral of the story, boys, make sure to check if she has a dick first. Saves you a lot of trouble in the long run. Great advice as always, Joe. But holy S for ears, Batman. We ran into a Batman. Why are you calling us the superhero? Wouldn't you be the black man, Barack? Batman, not black man. Uh, same thing. Well, get ready to wrap it up after this capture, Barack, as you've covered all surf routes up to Pacific Log Town. So that should be a good time to end this gaming sesh. I know I've been playing for 25 minutes, but realistically, our Palafin piping editor will probably cut down this part to like 15 minutes by now. All we've been doing is surfing and telling very strange stories that I'm sure Game Producer 6 won't take out of context to scar the viewers. There's two routes to the left, to the left of the town. Once I snag those two, we can leave it off for today. Hey, that, that's no fair. You're getting extra gaming time, and GP said it's my turn to play the pink Game Boy. Chill out there, Donnie. I ain't trying to jolt tick you off my guy. How about I name the next two monsters after whatever you think of fucked up spacing and everything? Gee willikers, you'd really do that for me, Obama senpai. Will you stop sucking each other off with leech life and try to actually capture this guy, Obama? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't call me that name Joe. You know that's inappropriate right now. What's the issue with it, Barry? You see, boys, that's the fusion name between Sukuna and myself. 
back in 2012 when Leonardo DiCaprio used the DNA splicers on us for the first time, he combined our names too. Only when Sukuna surfaces are we then called Obamna. We are many, you are but one. Wake up, babe, new president's lore just dropped. There goes Joe talking to his Anya Forger pillow again. I'm actually speaking to my Deku body pillow. Get your facts straight. I should be getting my Ash Ketchum one from Amazon any day now. Leave my cousin out of this creepy Joe. Somehow I feel this is all my fault, so I'm obligated to say this. Shut up. Welcome to the squad, X. But in the end, he became strong enough to take on the challenges of reality. All while banging six of the school's hottest chicks? Technically nine if you count EX. Would you look at that? A literal MILF. Crikey, is that a baby Kanga in its pouch? A literal jilf. I've come to accept I will never tame you guys at this rate. It is just not possible. This guy is a low enough level. I think I can address something real quick for the viewers. We just want to apologize for the inconsistent uploads recently on these videos. As the series is now reaching its intense climax. Shout outs to Donald's sister. We are aiming for a smooth finish with weekly uploads up until the finale. The delays in the last few episodes were due to a few causes. Was it because GP's writer's block hit him like a bronzong? Possibly. Was it because he's a ditto dodging dickhead? Maybe. But in reality, the problem was the three of us. Since we are playing this totally too legit to quit copy of Pocket O Monsters Sapphire for the Nintendo on a sexy ass Whismur pink Game Boy, we physically have to send the Game Boy and cartridge to each other in the mail before each play session. The U.S. post system has been shafting us lately, so if there's anyone to blame, it's them. Come on, guys. The mailman is just trying to do his job. He puts in his blood, sweat, and piss into delivering this precious save file to us every week, so let's cut him some slack. I actually have a male woman who I give the package to every week. Oh, I also give her the Game Boy, I guess. Never mind. We found the mistake. Give me five minutes and I'll get her fired like a pneumal. Thanks, boys, for backing me up, but I just wanted to put it out there for the audience. This detail was also revealed in the Discord server earlier this week. The link is down below my belt saws buckle. Are you spamming Horn Leech again, Sleepy Joe? Reminds me of my all-time favorite Pokemon pickup line. Ahem. Why hello there, young lady and or young laddie. Come and sip your Drampus sap, why don't you? If that line ever works, I will chug a hydro cannon from a fur alligator's wet cheeks. Anyways, Barack, go ahead and call this beast mama, but not spaced out. She deserves that much respect, at least. Okay, Donald, that's no problem. I would say that this is one of your more tame nicknames, so I'm fine with it. The more mommies, the merrier. Insert something funny. Hilarious rebuttal plus callback. Intricate and sly Pokemon reference for the fans. Dramatic pause to boost viewer retention. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, Donatello. I already have a nickname lined up for this guy. I will space it out like a Palkia for you if you'd like, but I need to shout out a homie of mine who got me this far. Barack, that is totes adorbs. You don't have to name him after me. I don't deserve such credit. I'm not talking about your Delmize ass Joe. Shout out to the boy, Melofira. That's where GP gained a lot of his clout. So viewers, if you could head over to his Twitch channel down below and drop that boy a follow, we would be forever grateful. Have you seen that man dressed up in a bread costume? He's just irresistible, I tell you. I've seen some tasty bread throughout my life in more ways than one. So I'll have to check him out and see if he is as delicious looking as Barack is making him out to be. KFC would have been a good name here, so think it over one more time. Obama. Our editor features in his streams occasionally. I heard they're doing a bathtub charity stream soon, which is just breathtaking. How generous of them to use their body for good over evil. Two streamers, one tub. I feel like I've seen that video before and I don't like where this is going. Anybody want to play a game of cups? Let me get my vintage Synesty set out. Run, Barack! Save yourself! Oh, Christ! I better make this quick! Mello also loves to use Melfi's, so I'm going to manifest this nickname to bring us a chicken Melfi one day. Work with us here, Konami. Good work today, Barack. I'm going to run like a reboot to Mackers to fill up my margin power. The more smack em sack em mac munchies I massacre, the stronger my form shall be. You running somewhere? Good one, Donald. I'm going to head to the church to say some prayers for our team next episode. Also to see if the priest can teach me their child-loving skills. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. Today I will be playing instead of Joe for the sole purpose of redeeming myself for that rough seventh gym fight I had. Oopsie doopsie, I'll be bodying Archie with all my might. No quirks needed. How's it going, boys?
I'm doing great, Donnie. I just planted 99 new seeds on the farm today by hand. It was meant to be 100, but I think I dropped the last one somewhere. Either that or it ran away. Anyways, glad to be back again with you guys. Always a pleasure. How about you, Joe? I'm good peasants. Just did my usual captain duties today. I went to work as the best trainer, ate a pizza as the strongest, walked my dogs as the psycho. You know, the usual stuff -o. I love the leadership, Joe, don't get me wrong. If we were all a phalanx, you'd definitely be the front one, but I'd appreciate if you acted a little more humble. Silence, mortal! There shall be no retreat as we continue our scuba diving adventures here to capture another foul beast of the wild. As your ruler, you shall listen when I say, catch the next goon at all costs. Great, the Joe Tyranny arc has begun. Or maybe we were always in it. This has to be the worst segment of the manga. The ending is so poorly written. Wait, I'm anime only for the President Sapphire series. Are we in trouble, Barack? Spoilers are a serious crime. Donald, call me Absol, because I sense a disaster on its way. Oh gosh, dangity darn it, guys. It's a Curlia, even though it's only one level away from evolving. I hate this bitch. I'm out of here. I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but Joe, look at its gender. It's a male. Now sit back down, please. Oh, back, Satan, stay back! Arceus in heaven above, cleanse me of my sins! Different desk, same crappy build. I might just get a scissors called Parasect and use cut on my middle toe. At least then I will stop stubbing this shit. Oh, thank you, Swee. You were doing a bit, a callback. I'm glad you don't want to bang this dancing queen. He's probably only 17, too. I do not joke about whipping out my scatterbug to scatter bang this tutu enticing femboy. Once he gives me his ghouls, the pleasure of treasure will finally be unlocked. I cannot wait to transfer this guy up to generation four so he can false swipe my nuts on repeat, forever edging me and more importantly, helping me get over my erectile dysfunction. It's all in the name of medical research, I'm telling you. Okay, Mr. DiMaggio, while that was insanely creepy, what is Donald naming this endangered dude? Well, guys, I'm just hot off of watching the FNAF movie. Pure cinematic masterpiece BT dubs. I just can't see Curly as anything but a girl. Kind of like how everyone named Albert is age 50 and above. Call me Purple Guy, because I'm about to put a kid up in this animatronic stomach. There he is. There's the one that got away. It's okay, Obama. Don't be upset. There, there, buddy. Maybe in another life, Joe will be your guy. You'd keep all your promises. It'll be you two against the world. What? Not Joe. The sunken, you cheesing chomper. Oh man, I was looking forward to making out in your Mustang to Radiohead Obama. Ew, that's disgusting. Why Radiohead? Better question, why in a Mustang? Mother Trumpers have no class, I swear. I'm going to call this guy Sonny from Omori and grab his evolutionary item. Remember guys, whenever in doubt, just use hash. Hashtag use hash? Now that's a movement I can get behind. Speaking of, wasn't his name Mooney? Regardless of what this guy evolves into, another grass type is going to be extremely helpful. At least we won't have to rely on Osama as much. This should be a blast! Interesting word choice there, Donald. What are you thinking, Joe? I'm thinking I'm in the mood for some vicious hentai right about now. And just like that, he speaks and his wish has been granted. How do you keep getting away with this Joe Gatto? Our president is tonight's big loser. His punishment? Polishing our brand new Tangela's shoes while Frikachu lives up to his name. Who knows what violent voltage he will perform on our poor old captain. I thought you said punishment? You're a fool if you didn't see that coming. Getting geek -a chewed by a Frikachu is like drinking water to Joe. Ew! Water! Disgusting! Miss me with that bullshit! I respect your opinion, Sleepy Joe, but just know I will not be slobbing on your knob. This evolution, though, that might make me act frisky like a phantom. Did we just obtain an Indian? Or does this guy already have a laser sight aimed at him for a crisp headshot? I know it's early in the episode to be asking boys, but we have some tough fights ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask our comment question. All I'm doing now is searching for the aqua entrance and taking on the first few goons anyway. Viewers, my question of the day is, what is your favorite Pokemon anime opening of all time? This one's easy. Unbeatable from advanced battle. The singer oozes confidence like a gulpin. Instant hard on for me. Nah, for real though. That man makes it a statement that you cannot win against him. You just can't. He's unstoppable. He literally says you can try your best. This might be fun. Top five coldest lines ever dropped and you're telling me it's in a Pokemon theme song? The animated opening is freaking nostalgic as hell too. All the legendaries, Ash's smug look as his team smokes everyone. The Reggies, it was just 
Perfect. Perfect. Down to the minute detail. Perfect. I want to be the very best. I guarantee you 100% of you finished that line. It's bloody iconic, boys. Even if I take off the nostalgia glasses for a second, the song itself is a pure slap The beat, the vocals going 110%. The lyrics have both emotion and determination behind them. It's genuinely well written. The actual animated opening literally places the spotlight on Ash. Our underdog, our protag, and the kid we are always cheering for. His character as a whole is perfection. And this theme couldn't be more suitable for him. Pokemon really dropped peak on their first try, huh? Solid picks, guys. Now let me hit you with one out of left field. We will be heroes from Battle Dimension. There's no full version for the anime opening, which is a damn shame because it's a tune and a half. The female singer Kirsten Price sings the song with such grace and beauty. It's almost like a theme that represents Dawn, one of the best written characters in the whole franchise. Let's be honest with ourselves. She wants to make friends and become a hero using her Pokemon, but she isn't quite there yet. It's a song of hope. As she literally says, even if you are far from home, you don't have to feel alone as long as you have some trustworthy pals with you. I sure know who my pals are in that case. Anyways, it's incredibly sweet to me. Sure, it ain't the most upbeat or badass song they've used, but I like its softness here. Odd choice, I know. Whatever keeps you in good spirits to dunk on these trainers, Donald. I see you're pulling no punches with the team composition by bringing day one, Lucas, and our recent edition, X. Those boys should be proving their worth in battle very soon. This battle also ends the Ho-Oh versus Ante debate. Day one is clearly superior. <laughs> Rough girl. Stop, Joe. Don't make my nuts use victory dance. Hell no! Pause! What in tarnation Giratina alteration did I just witness? Why do you two always act so sus whenever I'm playing, huh? Oh look, our ball disease is evolving. Surely these nuts can't get any spikier. Spikes? Is your future sight hinting at a foratress, Joe? That was a decent guess, Donald, but unfortunately his tasty balls just got spikier. I don't know about you kids, but I wouldn't want to be slugging on those things anytime soon. Man, this sucks. I haven't been this disappointed since the Queen of England died. She owed the U.S. like a trillion dollars. I know you miss your ex, Joe, but she's in a better place now. Any other reality besides this one where she doesn't have to put up with your wacky shenanigans anymore? You were right, Biden. That quick revive juice got me all kinds of messed up. I should have linked Prince Philip on this shit before he bit the dust. Holy biscuit tits and crumpet buns. Elizabeth, you're back once again for the renegade master? Power to the people, you fish and chip scoffing pig. Mr. America, how's that far-fetched stick doing? Is it ready for a wild round of my tapu lele? Oh God, I wasn't prepared for this resurrection erection today. I'm sorry, your highness, my Sir Viper is not ready for that puss puss and cuss cuss combo. Goman Nassai. Um, I think she meant me, Barack. Get in line. Doland. Joey, why in God's name is that slave in the same call as us? I'll throw a nest ball at him to guarantee his capture since we are levels above his whippity ass. No, please, not the dungeon again! Shut up, peasant. Encounter time. Oh look, a snail, an American's favorite delicacy, am I correct? Just because I say just sweet crust and wee wee and I'm covered in bread and molest souffles on the daily doesn't mean I'm French. I didn't know dementia was contagious, but I can see why you two were a perfect match, Sleepy Joe. Leave my dyspepsia out of this, young goose. I don't care about your willy and croissants. You know I meant to say Germany. It was an easy mistake, like your birth. Well, glizzy rizzy, if I may. I think what Donald was trying- Back! Shut the fuck up, Naga. Stay back, you pest. What are you thinking about naming this funny little guy Thin Lizzy? Call him Lord after our Lord Helix, the true religion of England. Just nobody wants to admit it. Oh, my Lord, forgive my sins. He does look delicious. This revival blessing won't last forever, so I'm heading back to Galar to have a catch up with Opal. That old bitch is always away with the fairies, I swear. Happy birthday, Mr. Exotic. If I still had a functioning body, you bet I would be giving you brain like a yuxi and twice as much tail. Oh, swoobat stank. I forgot it was your birthday this week, Joe. Donald and I will both use the move, celebrate to commemorate such a wonderful day. What age did you say you are now? If I remember correctly, I'm years old now. Never thought I'd make it this far, to be honest with you all. 
Well, here's to many more sleepy, Joe. You don't look a day over 8,000, you seismitoed sucker. Are you planning on calling any scorching hot serenas for the weekend? That's gross. Why would I do that? Well, I mean, to Z celebrate your birthday, of course. What are you talking about? It's not my birthday. I don't even have a birthday. What are you two strangers doing in my house? Get out of my damn colored TV. I want to watch the Knicks playing basketball. I see. After he leveled up, Joe learned amnesia. You know, after my last birthday, I began to question the mortality of my own birth, Barack. Life will throw many obstacles and challenges your way, each of which you must find a way to overcome and proceed to the next, all for the purpose of what may I ask. We all live to die, so what is life worth living for? Well, fellas, I'm not a Pokemon professor, but if I had to guess, it's for moments like these, times where we can all get together and play through a children's role-playing game with the sole purpose of fulfilling self-inflicted rules to gain insignificant pleasure. But is this not life's true essence? I guess what I'm trying to say, boys, is this. Life is like a nuzlocke. If you die, you die for good. Are you serious right now, Donald? Wow, that was breathtaking. I still don't know who you are, you hip howden looking chump. But that was inspirational, magnificent. You should run for president someday. Really, Joe? Really? You're falling for this Team Rocket level propaganda? Make Hoenn great again. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is get this stupid ass strength puzzle out of the way and get ready for the battle of your life. My hands are wetter than a choodle right now. Shit! Is there any way we can convince you to not power up in this fight? You saw the carnage it caused last time. That would defeat the purpose of this redemption saga, Joe. Besides, my team isn't mega turtonator dung like it was during the Tate and Liza fight. So I literally just have to play smart. That's the part we worry about, you playing smart. Very funny, Joe. Now say something to really piss me off so I can transform. You suck ass, you iron thorn built cum stain. Ha, pathetic. No, you're pathetic. You probo pass coke sniffing Jew looking ass. Wow, never heard that one before you yawn spammer. I just hacked your Twitter and made you tweet black and white were peak. You did what now you flailing zirkit tree? Oh Christ, here we go. You know what? Keep expectations low. If day one is the only one alive by the end, this battle is a dub. Opening kill, easy. Time to brick break a mother. I got this shit. Fuck you, Rain. Young Joey Lowy back calling me splurge. X is physically gifted, but will times four be enough for a total knockout? Absol freaking lootly. Off to a terrific start. If this archfiend is trying to awaken Kai Ogre, he'll need more than a T-tar to do it. Hell, Hell no. no. Tread carefully, Donnie. We don't know the power of this guy. Well, you know what they say? Sleep Claws is a bitch if you're the computer. I'll size up this thick onigiri munch munch with another crickety brick break. What's a legendary to a non-believer? You might be better off switching and T-bolting with day one. Well, the chip from X should be handy regardless. Let's pray he doesn't rock slide our Groudon puss, eh? You're a pro at sleeping, Joe. Tell me, does it look like this goof is going to last the three turn sleep count? Oh, a million percent Majin Donald. That baby is deep in the coma lands. Let's give him a nice electrical send off and zap him to death in his sleep. I would be surprised if this didn't kill. That's two out of five, boys. Two out of five. Keep up the pressure, Donald, and we are making it through this laughing. I told you, this is child's play to me. Bring out whoever you'd like. I'll take him all on. <sighs> well, there you have it, boys. I was trying to hold in the Octazooka for as long as I could, but you know the drill. As soon as I see a Reggie, I can't help but bust. So much for No Nut November, I was doing so well. Does it disturb anybody else knowing someone has failed NNN to one of our videos? Just me? Christ, wait a minute, Donald. He got the Omni Boost. He was powerful before, but now he is ascending. Who the fuck is busting to these videos? If it's you, please don't leave a comment about it. That shit needs to be covered up like a mimic you. More like this guy's body will be covered once I... Wait, is this his second boost? Does this literal golem have two times all of his stats right now? Is that the image that's being burnt into my eyes right now? No worries, surf clears. It ain't clearing shit. Did you see how slowly his health bar went down? Man, I wish I was playing right now so I could be getting irresistibly pounded by Reggie Brock. This is no time for your fantasies, Joe. Okay, hold up, I'm back in the kitsch. He's healing with a potion right now, so I'm doing the same with Synthesis. Stab's super effective ancient power only did 40, which, when you think about it, is quite embarrassing. I'm not actually worried about this sculpturous prick. Never a good sign when Donald is making up his own words. But you're right! That return did a crisp four damage. 
you might be able to stall out his PowerPoints at this rate. Between dive, surf, and synthesis, it is very unlikely this dreamy unit can take you out. In before the surprise dynamic punch. Why the hell would you say that out loud, Joe? If he starts swinging like Tyson, kiss your kipper goodbye. I know you my kipper for real, right, Donald? Ha 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 ha! Totally, Joe. Keep it going. Bring about as much bad luck as you can muster because I will still body this fool. Three out of five. Three out of five. You are so close to victory now, Donnie. You want bad luck? So be it. With this treasure, I summon your worst nightmare, Donald. Oh, now this is a salty run back I have been itching for. Time to psycho boost this video's like and subscription rating by blowing you away. If Kipper had a bit more health right now, I would be fissuring you to the depths of the Earth's core and drowning you in Magcargo hot lava. You fuck! Okay, okay, watch the spore, Donald. I think he's trying to get you back for that sleep clause comment you made earlier. Wait, switch out. Donald, I predict an ice type move incoming. Wow, not even an ice beam or ice punch? What a coward. Let me tell you something, boys. I'm on a fucking roll in this battle. So I'm going to prove how dominant I am to this game by 1v1-ing this buzz with our murky. I guess I'll start by dodging another sheer cold. To make it more interesting, I'm gonna keep spamming poison powder, even though it's going to miss like a hundred times and still fuck this kid up! Yeah, hair! Well, that's stupid. Just switch out to Lucas and disintegrate him. Hold on, Joe. We might have to let him cook on this one. We don't have anyone high enough level to nullify sheer cold. And if we were to lose anybody, I wouldn't really care about Murkrow. Sis doesn't even have a nickname. Another I have one. no attachment to her. If you can whittle away at this man to infinity and beyond, then go ahead, Donald. And if another not, one. Meh. Who cares anyway? At least it gives us a safe switch. Did you just see that? And another one! Donald, you madman! Donald, you freak! Donald, you shed in just sucker! Donnie, my bestie! You absolute beast! Did you just dodge five consecutive sheer colds right here on YouTube.tv forward slash Game Producer 6? That's it, my gloves are off. I'm making love to the love balls tonight for this Omega Clutch. I guess you could say my play was colder than a sheer cold. Cause this flutter main fucker could not land even a single one. Oh, but boy, I ain't done yet. I still have to show you my poisonous fly stall tactics. You are playing so cancerous right now, Donald. I love it. Sick him, boy. This guy's AI is smarter than your average trainer. So if he had a super effective move, he'd be using it right now. Safe to say quick attack is probably his strongest option, which ain't doing a bean to us. Pack your bags, Archie. This game is over for you. Goody, goody. He has now been poisoned. Glorious. I will proceed to witness his life force slowly drain from his body as I take to the skies. Whenever it's a president's play series, you expect to see some wacky stuff. But a Murkrow croaking an Electabuzz was probably not on anybody's mind when booting up this video. You're totally right there, Donnie. Since he's nearly dead, it wouldn't be a bad idea to switch out now since we are on set mode. Might as well send in a fresh monster for whatever his final Pokemon is, plus it will save us a turn. Already one step ahead of you, Obama. I'm gonna let him put Murky asleep so he's unlikely to use Spore again. Then I can switch in day one to the quick attack with no fear of being put to sleep. Checkmate, bitch. And I was worried you couldn't play smart. I look like the fool. Where was this Donald for 90% of the adventure? Who cares, Joe? The important thing is we have him now in the end game where it truly matters. Before we get to said end game, let me finish Thanos snapping the opposing team in this infinity war. Time to avenge all those who have fallen. Didn't you let most of them die though? Side note, why didn't Tony Stark just perform the MVC2 loop on Thanos? I thought that's what the infinity was referencing. Yo, you want to learn how to do a fucking infinite? Three swift thunderbolts, and this fight is finished. I'm keeping my guard up, however, now that the rain is set, this literal pink pussy could launch any water type devastation our way. I will let you ride Michelle like a Basque Legion if you come out of this battle unscathed Donald. Offer me something I haven't done before, will you? Cheapskate. I will offer you my black back door like it's Pokestar Studios, Donnie boy. I know why mine is black, but how come yours is too, Joe? Actually, don't answer that. I'm pretty confident for all the years I've known you, Joe, you would have offered that to me before. I can't pinpoint when exactly, but it sounds like something you'd offer just about anybody. The only thing I'm offering you is this insanely huge dub, Donald. Let's freaking go. Margin Trump, the man, the myth, the magical wonder, the freaking goat. Man really said, hold up. I'm about to beat these fraudulent allegations in one fell swoop. You just changed from Bugsy to Lance in his single showing. 
I'm popping off, guys. I'm so happy. All in a day's work, boys, but thank you. Unfortunate that the Slugma evolution here isn't all that great, but I guess it's never a bad thing to tick off the list. I'm so dead-ass happy for you. I'm not even going to hit you with the Slugma ass right now. The what? Wait, I thought I murdered Kai Ogre. Why is he still trying to summon him like it's one of those knockoff Pokemon gotchas? It's the classic, you beat me in the gameplay, but I still win in the cutscene moment, Donnie. It's okay, we will be catching this legendary next episode anyway. Interesting, so basically, this fumbling idiot thought that the red orb would work on the blue Pokemon. Is this bastard colorblind? Your uniform is even blue for God's sake. How do you manage to screw up this badly? Why do these orbs even work on legendary Pokemon to begin with? It's a walking plot device. I'm surprised this doesn't happen regularly. Why is there a hellish storm covering the land? Because little Timmy found a blue ball and used it to control the whale of the sea. Why does it exist? Fair point, guys, but it's a Pokemon story. It's just an excuse to sell merchandise, so don't fret over it. There he is, the champion of the league. We will be seeing him in three or four more episodes, boys, so be prepared. Shit, are we nearing the end already? Save your tears for another day, Donald. We aren't at the finish line just yet. Let's wrap it up on the back of that huge win. Joe, you kind of said all that needs to be said. Excellent play from you today, Donald. I would call that a successful redemption, but I guess we will have to let the viewers decide if that holds true. What's up, bitches and bitchettes? Welcome back to the President's Play Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke Edition. Today I will be sweeping this final gym from Wallace the Theater Boy with my cheerleaders Barack Obama and Donald H. Trump. What's going on, fellas? Nothing much, Joe. Just mentally preparing myself for the final saga of this series. I've been sparring with Sukuna a couple hours here and there to be ready for the league. How's it hanging, Donald? I'm good, Barack. Still chuffed after the last video, I gotta say. Even I was shocked with my performance. What's the game plan, Joe? Evolving Sir Shit straight away? You'd want to be careful if that's the case. This Corsola is doing damage. Knock him a please. The spider's fine. Get over it. GP wouldn't script a death at the start of a video. Is this a prank? We aren't live right now, are we? It's all right, it's all right. As Dawn would say, let me crush your head with my pokey thighs because there's no need to worry. Or at least that's what I wish she would say to me. We've only been recording for a hot minute, so let's start over. Now, if I just hold B and select at the same time, it should... Did you just load a save state? Oh, for the love of Whitney, how far back did you go? Well, we were in Slateport only a short while ago for the submarine cutscene, so if I had to guess... Oh my good gracious, gobbly Galvantula. This is before the third gym. Are you shitting me? Bullshit, your wife, King Kong, Lil Ziga. Oh my gosh, the memories are rushing back to me. Two cannon tits. Okay, Joe, listen to every move I call out. First, you're going north, 12 tiles, left three steps. Then once you get to that patch of grass, you need to turn around in six frames exactly. Six hours later. After that, we are back to where we left off. Holy hell, I am giga drained after that. I cannot believe you retraced every RNG value to recreate our journey step by step, Barack. That was gnarly. And good on you, Joe, for following all of his instructions. Shame Sir Shit still died against that Corsola, so this was all practically useless, but it was worth a shot. Gonna grab our next encounter on this dangerous machine real quick. How y'all can control this doohickey is beyond my understanding. Aha! Uh -huh. Payback is a bitch, Donnie. Since you called the Slack King Joe when you were playing, I'm gonna dedicate this lazy gimp to you. I thought payback was a dark type move. Well, slather my tree with honey. That was some college of knowledge coming from yourself, Donald. Totally unexpected hot damn. I only know that because I was paying back Joe's mama last night with a jaw lock. Call me a self-harming Ma's chiff because that was pure dark. You know, Joe's mama used to be my manager, right? I'd always slam her body like a dog until she was left sore. You could say my boss stiff. How did this turn into a gangbang roast against my mother? I want to turn. Let me go next. Oh, God, we fucked up, Donnie. Abort, abort. Wait, I changed my mind. I'm actually a normal type. Let's move swiftly along. You're going to roast me with this slack off, right, Sleepy Joe? Oh, yeah, you are indeed correct, Don Flamingo. I had a good name lined up, but now I can't remember. Just remember how much of a dickhead Donald is. Does that help? Try insult him like he did to you. That's right. That's me, big pee pee head. No leperberry. Aha! I got it. I'm gonna call this bitch Donald Dick. Can you at least use D-dance on D-dick then? You'd like that, wouldn't you, you naughty boy?
That was close, Donald. Good work diverting that dodgy conversation. No worries, Barack. I just couldn't stand the thought of poor old Joe getting flamed in the comments for saying he wants to head smash his own mom. I'd rather them shit on him for getting the whole team swept or something. What are you two shallow slimeballs whispering about? Oh, nothing, Mr. Chestnut. We were just saying we should be quiet to listen out for the cry of whatever this Kai ogre happens to be randomized to. Who wants to nut on my chest? I'm not saying no, I'm just wondering. You have a shorter attention span than a Tynamo, Joe. Ha! Tyna Joe. Who? The... CAC? A level 50 grass type. Holy sheet! This is exactly what we needed, boys. Imagine evolving this guy and having a level 51 vile plume or executor or septile. The potential for this guy is outstanding. I'm excited too, Joe. Yeah! No, you palmy bastard. I think I'm having a heart attack. Quick, call the amber lamp. Don't be ridiculous, Joe. Let me shapeshift into a cum fae for you and use aromatherapy. Poof. Oh, wowie zowie. You've been cured of your heart disease, you little bitch. Well, tickle my marsh and stomp on my balls. I didn't think that would actually work, Barack. Thanks, I owe you one. I even managed to catch this prickly little goof while undergoing all that stress. Guess it's time to end the episode here. What do you say? Explain the nickname first, and then I'll crush claw your dreams. Okay, well, according to our editor, Cack the Jack is a common phrase in the land of the Irish and the leprechauns, which means to shit the pit, duke the jukes, soil the poipole, scatter the fecal matter, level the Nutella, hoof the bidoof. Okay, stop now, please. That's enough shit coming from you. Oh, for God's sake. Ha, 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 ha. He got you there, Barack. And just to rub some purifying salt in the wound, you ain't ending this episode just yet, Joe. Nice try. I know exactly how you feel, Joe. That cruel dudeni colored dipstick makes me feel that way inside, too. You and I will get through this. Don't worry, buddy. Technically, I've been playing for like half a day to make it back here, so I think I should pass the turnover to one of you guys. Um, I don't really feel like fighting Wallace anymore. Plus, I think I need a haircut, and I broke my right ear recently, and my grandpa died at some point, and my son twisted his nipple, and the sun is slowly approaching the earth. I've got to do something, guys. I wasn't going to bring it up, but you have been smack-talking Donald and I the past few episodes, Joe, and we've let it slide like a tortuga. All of a sudden, it's your turn to fight, and you're running away like a radicate. So much for our reliable captain. Wait, that was you shit-talking, Joe? Er, my gird, that is embarrassing as hell. I didn't even notice that's how abysmal your roast must have been. All right, save and quit then, you cowardice bitch. Give it up. You suck. Wait, hold on, I changed my mind. This gym is dark type. That automatically makes it more free than a five-finger discount at Walmart. I'm surprised you didn't call it a Barack type gym. I was really expecting it this time. I have a little decency towards you, Obama. Come on, I'm not that bad. Plus, that's what I'd call a ghost type gym because I want your kind dead. Hey, to the freakity, yo. What did he just say? The only thing dying here is this chicken kicking licking cock. Joe, what the dodrio do do is this? Why aren't you switching? I'm meticulously utilizing my cross chop so I can land a critical hit on the last one against Wallace's final team member. It will literally be a life or death situation for twitch.tv forward slash Mellofira here. So by rolling the proper RNG value, I'm guaranteeing that final critical hit for when I need it the most. Well, there you have it, boys. I was trying to hold in the hydro steam for as long as I could, but you know the drill. As soon as someone mentions random number generators, I can't help but bust. Quite unprofessional, Barack. At least I completed No Nut November. Anyways, boys, while I'm tail slapping this gym upside the head real quick, I think it's time for another comment question. Viewers, today's question is, what is your favorite item in all of Pokemon, bringing it back to the basics? I've actually admitted mine before, but it's the amulet coin. Straight up just doubles the money you get from battles. What more is there to love? Buying stuff is an integral part of playing any Pokemon game, and this makes acquiring those items much easier. If you need potions or Pokeballs, you can buy more throughout the adventure. If you need vitamins or certain technical machines for competitive battling, you'll get the funds up in no time. Just slap this dog tag looking item on your overleveled starter, blitz the Elite Four, and then you're practically a millionaire. Works for just about any game, any region. Oh my gosh, we should do that with Snoop. Anywho, mine is Eviolite. 
It's very rare that a game freak messes with the idea of stopping an evolution to weigh up the pros and cons of a final stage Pokemon. Generally speaking, the ending monster is always the strongest. But with this item, they've created a genuine advantage in having a mid or first stage evolution. What's better than a max special defense Blissey? A 150% special defense Chansey. Brings me back to the red and blue days when that egg carrying MILF was one of the greats. She's not the only effective user of the item, however. Dubblade, Dusclops, Scyther, Bish Sharp, Porygon 2, and literally the entirety of Little Cup. I would personally love to see a similar item that boosts attack, maybe by 1.3 times for balance sake, and see how that would impact the meta. Here's to hoping. Mine is leftovers. If you're ever struggling to figure out what type of item to give to your Pokemon, this one is always a safe bet. Free healing is huge, whether that be competitive or in a challenge run like what we're doing right now. In earlier generations, it was obviously overpowered for being too strong for how low damaging the metagame was, especially in Gen 2. But as the power has drastically increased since those days, the item has scaled relatively smoothly in comparison. It's not broken anymore, but it can still help you out a ton in the right situations. All right, I'm ready to face the consequences of the statement. Toxic stalling and protect spamming adds another layer to the game. There, I said it. There ain't anything wrong with those strategies. They just aren't as flashy as pure offense teams, so people like to shit on them. Lefties is literally so iconic as an item. The creator of FNAF named an animatronic after them. Give me an item with a greater achievement than that. You can't. Lefty was not inspired by a regularly restorative item in a children's role-playing game. It was a cheap cash grab to include a dark-skin-toned Freddy to appeal to the minorities. I see it worked on yourself, Barack. That makes sense. So does Lolbit represent me, then? Day 966 of Donald thinking he is white. Sweet Marini on a pike. When will this suffering end? Speaking of, I believe Chica and Law just leveled up, so we're getting two evolutions here for the price of one. Looking like a Ninkata. Please evolve into something even more delicious looking. A Kingdra would be nice. Hold up, did anyone else's vagina just get extremely itchy? I would say this is a good cop. Vaj is one of our better soldiers still alive and kicking in our PC, so having a spare cub foo-foo isn't a bad thing, really. You know, I was with a cloister-looking bitch once. I told her all I'm asking for is the minky and the brain. All right, you jet-punching piplup, quiet down. We have the most important evolution of the run right here. Oh my god! No! Please no! Barack, are we safe where we stand? I really don't know, Donald. My advice, prepare for the worst coming from Joe. I can't tell if that was a groan of pain, pleasure, or both. Frankly, I'd rather not know the answer. Ironic how the name still fits as he's become as yellow as Joe's piss. Stats are decent across the board with notable HP, which is huge. Hold on, Obama, something ain't right. Joe, you've been acting sus this episode, and I don't mean in an NDD deep-throating way like I'm used to. Is everything good, buddy? Shut up, Espathra Piper. I'm insecure and I know what for, but talking about it ain't gonna help. Oh, Joe, don't be like this. I've known you my whole life, ever since you held me hostage until my parents forked over that hollow Pikachu Illustrator card. Understandable, by the way, so you can trust Barack and I to help you through your worries. What's up, my man? He's right, Joe. These little screams or orgasms or whatever you are having aren't pleasant to listen to constantly. Please, tell us what's really going on. Okay, okay, guys, I'll tell you. Only because I trust you too and the other seven million people watching this video right now. I think the reason I'm having these little strokes or heart attacks or liver failures or strokes is because I'm a teeny bit nervous in fighting Wallace. I've literally been playing for six hours and I only got 33 hours of sleep last night. It's well past my bedtime right now, so I think I'm just freaking a little bit since this final gym leader is so important to this run, you know? And that's totally understandable. Of course, you would be rattled like a Dunsparce if so much pressure was put on you. I bet your PP has been getting lower, too. I just presume that happened once you surpassed a couple thousand years old anyway. My Twizzler hasn't been twisted in decades at this point. My heart goes out to you, Joe, but don't worry. We will get through this gym together as a team. Is that all that's bothering you? There's nothing else we can help you with? We are here for you, my boy. Well, I did intake 80 HP ups, proteins, irons, calciums, zincs, and carbos each this morning. I know the daily dosage is like 10 max, but they are just so darn yummy, I couldn't resist. Ha ha ha. Do you guys think Murkrow will live this toxic poison? You took how many? 
You dark-winged dick, ripping prison girthy Max Schmirky. I was joking, you idiots. He's living 100%. Don't even think about using Rock Smash. Get the hell out of there, man. Cack the Jack or Chica is honestly your best bet, or Thunderbolt from day one. Are we going to skim over the fact that Joe has ingested so many tablets today he could drop dead at any minute? Our Murkro is basically you right now, you drug addict. Poisoned and left on its last legs. You cannot say shit about drugs, you rowel at reef blower. I'm gonna start calling you Tropius the way the grass makes you fly. Both of you sit the hell down. I've got this on lock like a Klefki. This crawdaunt is garbage. Endeavor is one of the most useless moves ever, unless you try to cheese with it. Extra sensory is okay, I guess, but it is pointless unless it's super effective. And Ice Punch, I suppose, is its only good move. Why should I even be worried right now? Oh, please. I rolled a fresh bell sprout or two, and all of a sudden, I have a problem. I better not get this much hate when I chow down on some she nautics next time. Now, now, Barack, this episode ain't about you. We're here to support and encourage our best man, Joe, who we have so much faith in, right? Uh, I suppose so. Thank you, Oomphies. Y'all are the best. I'm feeling like I've overcome my anxiousness now. These happy days must carry on. So once again, let's go back to the start. I don't know about you boys, but I feel like after that last segment, I heard a single teardrop falling from the editing room. Speaking of which, we are approaching the finale of this series. So make sure to show your love and support viewers by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. Imagine the last episode when we rip the elite four limb by limb and make Steven stone our bitch. How hype is that going to be? The last episode will also premiere live here on YouTube. So make sure to hit the bell and turn on notifications to be sure to catch that when it drops. This series has been a long ride, but all good things come to an end. Except Gen 4OU, peak metagame balance. I wouldn't say that now, Donald. The introduction of Stealth Rocks butchered a lot of monsters like my brother in Christ Moltres. They should have planned ahead the significance of entry hazards and buffed the Phoenix. Buff the Phoenix? No! Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I've got five bars activating X Factor. I can't control it. <laughs> Limiters removed. Operating nano machines, son. Oh my gosh, Barack, are you seeing this? I know. I can't believe it. It's 2023. Who leads with a mighty Enna anymore? You can do better than that, Wallace. No, you spoink shagger. I mean, full power master Joshi over here. What's this all about? Puny worm pulse. This is the effects of overdosing on the body. If you frail little humans could withstand it, you mere ningans become so overwhelmed with power that your feeble bodies cannot comprehend its enhancement in physical and mental capabilities. Witness my true power. This is my OD form. So you've gone OD. That's kind of OD. So what you're saying is you've been stockpiling this power with the use of the vitamins this whole playthrough. That's all fine and dandy. But here's my biggest concern. How exactly does any of this help you in a Pokemon battle? You can mash the A button 100 times harder. So what? These Crawdons seem to be savages. What if Wallace pulled out three or four of them? Would you lose? Nah, I'd win. I can literally flex on them. Oh, Butterfree on a baguette. This isn't good. I get worried when your Gojo Biden personality takes over. You get too cocky for your own good. Why is bro saying my ego too big? When day one is finna sweep the nature boy here real quick. One time for the one. Woo! You didn't even kill him, you fool. And there's the item, probably a berry ready to mess shit up. You fell for the trap. A lychee berry. Oh God, someone help us. We are in deep trouble. Oh yes, so much trouble. Because now he's wasted his healing item as this second thunderbolt kills. Nobody could have seen this coming. Oh wait, I did. Wait a darn diddly diglet here. Joe is actually cooking at this moment. One serving of your finest marinated chin chow balls, please. Two seconds. I'll whip him up after I switch out day one. No! More like he was destined to die one day. <laughs> uh, am I right, folks? There just ain't no way. My baby boy. If you want, I can reload the safe state and we can try this all over. Keep again. your trap in shut, bitch. You dealing in headlights looking saws fuck. I will joust your fucking dog shit ass like a sir fetched. I'll leave your body covered in snow like a snom. You wiggly tough ass cracker. As if a P ain't killing this sucker right now. Have some faith in my god tier ass. Bullshit, no grand bull. Can you guys guess who I am? Hey kids, it's me, Clown Joe from Jubilife. Hop in the back of my pokey van for a free poke etch app and free chalky ice cream, as well as some savory cum. Sounds like that guy, I think his name was Lee. He's from JBTV. He's always pulling freaky stunts like that. 
I'm a little concerned you know about this creepy subject, Joe, but I'm even more worried about our team right now. Our ace literally just dropped like a ton of rocks because of a ton of rocks. Now Chica is pimp smacking himself while getting electrocuted. This battle is going south real quick. I just need to low kick this puppy. Give me a chance here, will you? It just had to be the black dog, didn't it? I don't make the teams Barack, I just sweep them. My visions are showing me I will definitely be breaking through confusion on this turn. I knew it. I was right about you, Crooked Joe. You really are the most corrupt president in our history. Screw the election, screw the media, and screw being the representative of our country. The fact you are the most dog shit Pokemon player in the US, no, in the world, proves that you are an incompetent trainer. Incompetent? Need I remind you that you lost four monsters in the Tate and Liza fight and a total of seven Pokemon in that episode as a whole. I'm about halfway through Wallace's team, who is much tougher, and I've lost two monsters so far. I'm actually on pace here for a decent finish. I like the positivity, Joe. Ice Beam should mangle this Cacturn with no issues. Just don't get hacked out against this guy. I don't know what this Cub Chew Coke sniffer was taking in the pre-fight stalls, but using mist there was not the play. Sayonara, my favorite fleshlight. Imagine if he had two more cac turns, this fight would be one and done. Man's on that charge of bug copium. The bug buzz from that shit ain't bad, I can't lie, but we can't expect a free ride to victory. This crabby, non-crabby looking Pokemon would get smoked right now if I got an Omni Booster too. I'm gonna whip out my Super Rod and fish for it. Wait, he's using extra sensory, but that Perky Murky is immune to psychic type moves. Switch him in, that would be your best play, to also cure Laud of Confusion. Damn. Fraud Bomba is defeating the allegations today by choosing smarts over violence. What a mastermind of a read. I ran out of ancient power PP anyway, you cosmog conkers. Plus Rock Smash knocks out from here. A monkey could have made the right choice there. Let me rephrase that. Barack's sister could have made the right choice there and she's a girl. Shit! Look at this mozzarella bastard. What's the point in lowering your monster's health to use Endeavor? That would be a terrible strategy if we used it. There's a big difference between him and us. He could use items, Joe. What the actual fuck are you thinking? He should have used Ice Punch. That would have one-shot Murkrow easily. He might use Endeavor again, so I'll go in to cack the jack. But now he's going to use Ice Punch. Oh, what's the point? He's dead already. Well, we do have a lot of HP, so there's a chance. Yamatai Kudasai! Miss me with that weeb shit, Obama. Not now. I need to focus my Biden blast so I can secure me some lobster for dinner. As someone who has unfortunately been in this situation before, please don't let the battle slip now, Joe. How can I slip if I'm the one doing the mopping? This chicken milf or melf or furry thing here is going to leaf blade this guy into the next big bang. Let's get it. You forgot about the psychic move already, didn't you? No, I didn't, broke Obama. We are living this every time. Oh my God, my heart, my young deep fried golden covered heart. Now it's time for the switch and Rock Smash will take him out. I told you that I'm the bestest. You've only been playing decent for the past two turns. You still have a lot to make up for to catch the dub. Where's Glizzy Rizzybeth when I need her? She can roast this guy while gagging on my chip. Please give us a Sableye or Sharpedo or something easy. We need this right now. It's the last month. Yippee! I love a challenge. Time to fuck up some more aquatic life. I respect the poison play. Hold on, boys. We've so got this. I honestly didn't have any Wait a damn Sandshrew second. He's got a Lumberry? Wait, what the fuck, a Petcha? This is a fucking joke. This battle is scripted, Joe. How much you getting paid? And then Ice Punch to eviscerate Murky. A bit unlucky is what I'd call that. Don't worry, guys. I'll get him back with a hypnosis so I can safely switch into our kicking chicken. It's a foolproof strategy, let me assure you. And now you've got to break through confusion only to land a 60% accuracy move. Dear Lord, where did it all go wrong? Is it because I caught the stupid ass toilet bird from back then? If so, forgive me. Didn't know you were so religious, Donald. Say hi to Wagma when you rot in hell. You're both acting like this is Jover, but it ain't Jover. Here's the confusion break. And there's the fucking miss. <laughs> Everything this battle has been a miss. You sleepy bastard. Donald was right. Guys, why can I see the pearly gates? Why is Arceus himself slowly descending down upon me? Is it the end of the world? I sure don't feel fine. This is why they call me the Climax King, the Clutch Crown Prince. Here it comes, cross chop crit to close out the battle. Wait, we might still live if we get the low roll and the stars align.
in chain. Hello, you insignificant worm poles. Welcome to the idiotic Americans play a Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. That's what they call the series anyway. I would just title it the greatest embarrassment in history. Take last episode as an example, in fact. Ha ha! Special grade Gojo Biden got cut in half by Wallace the Washing Machine, who I will now be bodying with the medal in full like a Saul Galeo. I'm doing good, guys. Thanks for asking. Anyway. I didn't ask if you were okay, Don Dozo Bozo. Good morning, Barack. Looking blacker than usual today, I see. You'll never believe it, but I just woke up from the strangest dream. I was fighting Wallace, and I lost our entire team, including the likes of Day One, Cack the Jack, and Chica. I was also extremely muscular and sexy. Well, even more than I usually am, I should say. Anywho, where's the Game Boy? I can't find it anywhere. It's my turn right now, isn't it? You sacks of Grimer sludge make me laugh. I'm about to chew this guy up and spit him out. Call me Toilet. Remember him? Remember when he died? Ha! I'll make sure to leave some leftovers for you archons. You leave Toilet Bird out of this, you monster? But why it is you who does not belong in this world, Mr. Good Biden? What even is a man? Man is what you're doing right now, my lord. Utter manslaughter, just sweet crumbs. All I know is man can never be hot. Look, what a dumb play from the king of curses and forgetter of clearing his Google searches. I don't know what Umbrians were like back in the Hayan era, but they run powder snow now, you old timer. Wow, you're so right. How do you know so much about his team, O.D. Joe E? Oh yeah, because he fucking obliterated your entire team last time you played. Sit down and shut up or shit down and shut up. I really don't care which. I think the only time I can respect a lie noon is when he is used in your hands, my master. You're even going for the horn drill that killed Wagma and his entire clan? This is why you're the goat. Please, sign my Meditite titties. Okay, now that the worst evolution is dead, I'm going to use Fisher with Dugong. The first is going to miss, so I'll land the second one with my domain expansion. I heard they retconned your malevolent shrine in the latest episodes, my lord. May I lower my head and ask you why they would do such a thing? It's not a retcon, it's an evolution. They said they wanted me to cook, so cook I did. Ryoiki Tenkai. Here comes the cleavers and dismantines. Watch out, Donnie. Fukuma, Mizushi. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Papi Suka Suka, please swap bodies with me. There's nothing I'd love more than you inside me. No pause. Stop talking, you boofalant built fuck. I make my exit once again, but let me assure you that we will most definitely be meeting very soon. Put it to my brain. Scream die, Sukuna, and pop it. I do rejoice every time I hear the sound of your voice, Barack. What the? I'm alive? What happened while I was gone, guys? I don't recall a thing. All I remember is Melf hitting the fattest cross chop that we had to hope was a critical... Did we get it? Did we beat Wallace? Tell me everything. Tell him, Mr. O.D. Joey. Well, Barack, we won. LOL. That's it. Come on, Joe. Spill the sinus tea. Yeah. Make like a chat tot and chatter to me, will ya? You bluebird bitch. Okay, fine. Um, truth be told, boys, I don't really remember what happened. Dead ass. When did we get to Moss Deep and Sutopolis? I thought we were in Slateport last time I was playing. Oh. My. God. Were you unconsciously playing for six hours last time? Is that even humanly possible? You're like Wigglytuff from Mystery Dungeon who sleeps with his eyes open. Fuck! Keep that Volo Voodoo shit away from me. Well, in that case, I guess the run lives on, in a state of neither success or failure. In a state of perpetual purple purloin pussy purgatory. I take that as a yes. A state of what now? You know better than to try and understand Joe in any of these videos. Just focus on evolving my penis and making it stronger. No homo. He says in the gayest voice there ever was. Boy, George called, he wants his karma charmeleon back. You're not special. He rang me earlier asking to join Team Mystic, you frogadier finger flipper. I'm severely confused. What are you two even talking about? Sexy gay man, Barack. Get with the program. Wait, run it back. I thought of something better. Sleepy Joe, you are officially a frog -a queer finger licker. Anyways, folks, it's about that time. The final comment question of this playthrough. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, to say the least, so thank you for participating up until now. This one is not directly Pokemon related, although it can be depending on your answer. Boys, viewers, I ask you all, 
What was your favorite moment throughout this entire series? The one thing that will stand out to you whenever you think back on these videos. It could be a quote, a gameplay section, a crazy luck moment, or anything in between. Wow, Barack, that's probably the best question we have ever asked. Hatterene's off to you. I already have a couple of answers floating around inside my massive brain. So if any of you are ready, take it away. Mine is the Winona fight from episode 17, AKA the romantic showdown. Our pokey bars went blow for blow in that battle, Donnie. It was honestly pure Vulpix all the way through. Joe, you even gotten some nice punches and your final pickup line to simultaneously win the battle was freaking sweet. I will always cherish that gym leader fight. It had everything. There was tension, comedy, and more emotion than the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie. Damn, you know that GP was cooking when Barack chooses him over Generation 1 material? Meowskarata munchies. My favorite moment is when you caught Dog at the start of episode six, Joe. I know I made fun of you and made that degrading Facebook post about how stupid you were for bringing only three Pokeballs, but in the end, you only needed two. Securing our first legendary for the run was a massive dub. Even though Dog has fallen off the map a little since then, we still wouldn't be here where we stand if it wasn't for his divine summoning. That's when I began to respect you as a trainer, buddy old pal. Thanks, Donnie. Knowing you've got my back means the world to me. Of course, Joe, you have my highest order of respect. Well, bar last episode, but hey, my transformation debut wasn't exactly a perfect fight either. I wonder what my ongo schlongo is going to evolve into. So Donald's dick is now a pussy? I knew it. Ha ha ha! Classic one, Sleepinator Giuseppe. Go ahead and answer the comment question, my good man. My favorite moment is when you said you'd love to put a ferris seat in you like a butt plug Barack. I couldn't stop thinking about it self-destructing inside your booty. Ha ha ha! Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, Joe. That never happened, you silly swana. Are you sure you didn't say that, Joe? Sounds like your typical Thursday morning. Why would I lie about something like this? Roll the tape. So I walked up to her, double slapped that bitch in the face five times and said, grow the fuck up, you disrespectful nihilego. I then kicked her out of her own home, tiptoed upstairs and found her custom made ferro seed vibrator. After some long debate with my sexual inner demons, in the hole it went, guys. Oops, my B. LOL, good one, Barack. That was funny. Same here, Baki. I would love nothing more than for a lie noon to sweep my back door with a plus six belly drum then proceeds to insert his wiener at an extreme speed so I can feel it in my stomach. Oh yeah, I've been a naughty keto cheeto Lord Lie Noonie Wooney. Wait, what the hell? Where did he pull that fake memory from? I swear that never happened. I am very creeped out. Joe, explain. Oh, would you look at that, guys? We made it to Evergrande City. Kind of weird that it's called a city when it's literally just two Pokemon centers in the final dungeon, am I right? I ain't letting that one slide. You creepy Mareep tipper. What's next? Gonna manipulate our memories to fool us into thinking you're our biological brother. Donald trump stand down for my besto friend -o. My brother. There's a skin color joke there, but that's beneath me. Just like your entire race, Barack. Anyways, get to your victory road encounter already, will ya? This is our last Pokemon capture of the entire run. Thank the satanic Vivalon. We didn't end on a water type. Am I the only one concerned that he is level 48? 10 levels higher than our lead monster right here? Holy sheet! Well, I'm not worried, and I'm the one playing, so lower your chunky BPM, Donald. I'm kind of sad we didn't end on a water type Pokemon. That would have made the final encounter feel complete, you know? You know, last Tuesday I was daydreaming about Lorantis feet as I usually do, when I realized why exactly I hate water types so much. I was actually meant to be a voice actor for a character in the anime who predominantly uses that type. Specifically, it was for one of the YouTube series. I got the part and everything, but things just got complicated, so it didn't end up happening. That's super cool, Joe. Who are you meant to play? I was supposed to voice Nessa in Pokemon Twilight Wings. Oh, sweet dreadnought dick. Let me guess. The almighty, crabominably white supremacist Joe didn't want to play someone black. No, Barack, you have a lug ass writer. It was because I found out she's a girl. I went into the audition blind thinking Nessa was a boy's name. Don't get me wrong, being black didn't help, but I ain't voicing a character who doesn't have man juice running through their body. Gross! And so, you hold this personal vendetta against the most common type in the entire series? That, and I have a fear of drowning. 
I never unlocked the swimming skill in all of my years of leveling up my skill tree. Joe talking pure Kabuto shit as usual. Can we focus on this capture? What do you want me to name this guy? Cunt or something? Nah, I've moved on to Tapu Bulu dick now. I'm over the Taurus craze. Well, in that case, shout out to GigaChat Ashimus Maximus Ketchumus for catching 30 of these wild beasts without breaking a sweat. I shall channel all 30 of them with this one mighty bull boy. Serious question, guys. What do you think all of those Tauruses do at Professor Oak's lab or wherever they're stored? Do you think they all do each other? This ain't even a me being weirdo type of shit. I'm just genuinely asking. Here's another head scratcher. Do bulls know what being gay is? And what's their opinion on it? I'm all for it, don't get me wrong, but it's just a thought. Barack, have you ever witnessed two bulls fucking on your farm? And so our final cavern truly begins. Before we get too deep into this place, boys, I had an idea for the last episode, if any of you were willing to lend an ear. Sure thing, Barack, but I'll need them both back by tomorrow. What is it? I was thinking, what if the three of us met up in real life to play this game together for the final episode? Three homies chilling in a room, huddled over a kawaii pink Game Boy, fully clothed and having a good time. Thoughts? I was with you until I heard fully clothed. Quick question. Where do the ninja boys factor into all of this? If there isn't at least a party of six of those devious little scallywags applauding my arrival, then I don't want to be in the finale. Uh, the finale of what, by the way? The finale of this Sapphire series, Joe. You are seriously slower than a sandy gas today on God. Plus, there won't be anyone applauding your entrance, as I was thinking of letting you host the event in the White House. It's a place of mutual significance to all three of us. So what other setting could be more fitting? It's just double checking. So that's a no to the farmhouse where Barack shuckles his corn. Last chance, going once, going twice. Not like it matters, Donald. The FBI still can't locate Barack's exact whereabouts. They've been searching cotton farms for months and jumping junkies on the daily. We've ceased millions of dollars worth of coke and unregistered firearms, all for naught. We still don't know where this Sneasler lives, so I guess the White House will do. Shit, won't we have to regain custody from Winona? That bitch ain't as fly as she seems. No worries there, Donald, I have my ways. How far are you planning to get through Victory Road Barack? You aiming to do the whole thing? By God, no Joe, not a chance. Demolishing Wallace with Sukuna's cursed energy has drained me. I feel drier than a heliolisk. I just want to gauge how strong these trainers are here. Then the final episode can consist of the three of us collectively clawing through this dungeon, the Elite Four, and finally the champion. We can even premiere it live. You boys seal what I'm saying? I get you, Barack. Not only that, but we need an intensive training time skip to get our Mons into shape for this end game. With the mixed type trainers and fierce level gap between our party and wild Pokemon, we are in no position to comfortably take on even Victory Road right now. But Joe is kind of cooking right now. Between him and Osama, I'd say we could sweep the league. This is coming from the guy who whited out last time. Yeah, I think I'll pass on your advice this time, Mr. President. I really don't want to get cheesed by some sort of mean look, perish, trapping bullshit. So I'm switching out just to be extra, extra safe. Fine, don't listen to me. I was going to tell you how phallus is your best switch in for this meat flap right now, but do what you want, I guess. Okay, no, you're right. Let me listen to you for the umpteenth time this series and show you exactly what I mean. Now, phallus is going to die. I hope no one liked her. I obviously love Dick, but... Joe, what the hell? Switching in a rock type to a submission. You mad son, stay in your lane ting, yeah? See what I mean, Donald? Stay in and use karate chop Obama. I bet you won't, you pussy. Well, this wiener is not about to shaft this pussy tonight. No homo. Obviously, that's no homo. That's literally straight. Oh, please no. Let our dicks live, you furry munch. See, anyone else would have died there to the Darude sandstorm damage, but Phallus has just been chilling. Go ahead, boys. Use lick on your master's feet now. Really? All that to prove that shitty little point? Why didn't you instead predict the switch into Donald's dick to nullify the incoming ghost type move, huh? Well, as previously established, you are a ghost type rock, so I guess you have that ghostly sense or some freaky spidey shit. Loved you in Spider-Man 2 by the way you galvantula swinging turd. Donald, do you hear a shitty little spide ops talking right now? Gonna ignore and force this trainer to use his item after bringing your dick down to 18 HP. To be fair, using submission against my dick has proved super effective before. I understand where this guy is coming from, but holy how holy city is goaded Barack back. 
This isn't some one-trick pony to that's going to get Osama killed or something by the end of the battle, is it? He's a choke artist at the end of the day, Donald. We will never forget the time he smoked that seawattle-sized spliffy, which got him addicted to drugs. Man was DMing the viewers to buy his Barack baby broccoli. That makes you more of a scumbag than that guy Damien who left his Charmander out in the rain to die. You take that back, you Delia motherfucker. It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. Well, at least I didn't kill the whole squad in the final fucking gym battle. What a pathetic loser. I didn't want to call you out over it, but this Nuzlocke is technically a loss for me on a personal note because you played like utter grottle shit. Dear Joe, thanks for the support, asshole. Shut up, you shiny manectric bitch. Guys, please stop fighting. This is why I brought up that ruling in episode nine, to continue the run and avoid this conflict among teammates. Look at what you're doing. The more you two bicker, the more endangered Osama is, which in this case is a very bad thing. Wait, Donald, are you for realsies right now? For Frostmoth freaking realsies, Joe. Are you telling me? You used your advanced future sight to predict Joe would get unlucky to confusion hacks and enemy held items to the point he would white out? And so, to cherish our times together, you suggested continuing the run after a wipeout. Hearing you say it makes me sound gay, but if that's the case, I want to continue playing with both of your pocket monsters while riding on Phallus's neck, homo. Mic drop. Wow, Donald. The student really has become the master now. You've come a long way since those earlier episodes, and this is not an outcome even I could have predicted. Joe, my good friend, I'm sorry I got so salty and dissed you the way I did. I know we will need complete synergy next episode to take down the toughest trainers in the entire game, so I do truly apologize. It's all G, Barack. I got carried away myself, and I know next time we will all cook up some pure fue cocoa and finally complete this adventure. Thanks, Donald, for everything. No problem, guys. I love you all too much, I guess. Oh, hey guys, about time you showed up. How's it going? We ready to start? Ready to start? Joe, we've been waiting here for two hours now. We all agreed on a 4 p.m. start. Where were you? Oh, you know, just floating around the White House like a bronze or doing my daily quests. Planting berries, touching up the Golurk statue, trying to beat the maids in a certain amount of turns, the usual, really. See? I told you he beat his maids. Better them than his scrunched up Tepig. Off to your usual slow start, Reggie Biden, so I'll give you five turns to wake up. Folks, welcome to the very special finale of the President's Play, a Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. Our whole journey has led up to this point, so let's get right into this episode. Today, I have with me my two great friends, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. What's up, boys? Good evening, boyos. God, I can't wait for this crap to be over. Damn it, Joe. We were having a touching callback. Today, all three of us are going to be finishing this game together here in the White House. Donald is flicking through our party here and is going to be grabbing our actual final encounter before Victory Road. Shoutouts to Karoa in the Pokey Force One Discord who pointed out we never caught something in ever grand a city itself. You the goat, and I loved your games on the PlayStation, you poochie ain't a built mother trumper. I would say that dream traveler looks more like a Lopmon, but again, I don't want to spark these Digimon debates like a Voltorb. Anyways, folks, Pokey Force One is a Discord made up of the five gods of the President Play Pokemon community. Broadway CJ97, Dilkson327, Pokemon Presidents, Discommel, and the man, the myth, the legend, Game Producer 6. I wouldn't say that Metapod Muncher is a man or a legend, but a myth is pretty accurate. He hasn't opened a single direct message of mine. You're telling me I beat the Facebook tutorial for nothing? I'm not surprised you need a tutorial for social media Sleepy Joe, but let's just be glad we are all here, kicking it back like Hitman Lee. It pains my perfectly healthy heart that our cheap fuck has turned into this abomination of a Pokemon. But I'm just content knowing that Wally will bury this rodent. And so, the mind games begin. Realistically, we won't be using this walking lump of CAC since we've trained our relevant team members for this episode. But it wouldn't have felt complete letting the series end without knowing what our encounter here was. But when the series ends, we could have released, then re-released, the President's Sapphire Complete Edition for the next 13 years. Bethesda-style, baby. Speaking of, 
I'm going to commemorate the ending of this series by nicknaming this guy something special. Sexism. If you think about it long enough, without Rosa Parks standing up, or should I say, sitting down for herself, this series would have never existed. You're welcome, Barack. Jesus Christ on a psych Lazar. Not even my hockey sensei Stevie Wonder could have seen that coming. You know, I didn't see shit. There may be a bit of cutting here and there, as if GP gained the ability sharpness, but I can assure you all that since this is the finale, it's only done to keep the hype and excitement going. Plus, when you think about it, the only tough trainers left are Wimpy Wally with his cancerous cancer team and actual cancer. Then the five strongest trainers from the Pokemon League, I can tell those battles alone will be crazy. Crazy? Barack, call the IRL Squirtle Squad AKA the feds to do another drug test on our homeboy Donnie, because I don't know what you gotta be smoking to think there's five members of the elite four. Like, come on, big boy, isn't it obvious? I mean, I know I can count from zero really well, but this is embarrassing even for your Stantler stained standards. Hitler did nothing wrong. Leave him out of this. Wow, he actually channeled it in the end. We off screen trained dog to 49 to lower encounters. So, what the Azu real dick is this? Oh, mothers. Oh, ducks. Oh, mothers. Oh, ducks. What the duck's up with this sci fuck? I'm so happy to be here with you guys in person for the finale. Me too, Joe. But can you stop rubbing the inside of my leg with your hand? You've been doing it for a while now. I just didn't want to say anything. Oh, sorry, Barack. Just getting comfortable, I guess. I'll go sit closer to Donald then. Can you stop feeling up my leg, Joe? I'm not even trying to, fatty noy baddie. Your wide Snorlax looking ass is taking up about four tiles of this couch. Speaking of feeling, you kept going on about storing youngsters in your basement, Joe. But when Donald and I explored the White House here like a mystery dungeon, we couldn't find the staircase. We knew all along you were joking about it, buddy. Why didn't you just admit it? What a funny haha -ha kind of moment. Do you think I'm stupid? Why would I tie them up and use all out pummeling on them underneath a building? with some of the highest security in the country. They've been safely migrated to an unmarked farm off the south of Chicago. You can tell you have never been a pokephile before, Barack. Amateur. Uh, should he be offended by that? Oh, that makes sense. I was wondering who was knocking this morning with a cage full of screams. <laughs> Wait, what? What now? Okay, funk this Krogunk shunk. I'm speed blitzing this shit. What do you guys think of this version of Victory Road? Meh, it's okay. A bit mid, if I'm honest. My stroke game is longer than this shitty skitty dungeon, so it sucks Riolu feet, in my opinion. Don't tempt me! This guy always confused the piss out of me. He says that he's made it this far so many times, but the last stretch is so long, yet the exit is like 40 steps away. What the hell has he been wiping out to the wild Pokemon? Hardly. I know that in our game, they're around level 50, but in the vanilla Sapphire, aren't they only around the early 40s? Doesn't make sense to me either. My head cannon is that this sick, mucky, schmucky, shuckle fucky guy called Wally is camping at the end of the tunnel and is telling this idiot to lay down his tactical insertion before every fight, while this poor soul thinks this AIDS spreading mother fluffer is powering him up for the Pokemon League. He's actually boosting off of his naivety not only physically tormenting his team, but psychologically abusing this unbeknownst trainer. And that class was my analysis on why Wally is the final neo-Nazi left after the Pokemon War. Send tweet. Whoa, no more Nazi jokes. They're worse than the ability snow warning on a Stantler. What is that, a Hail Hitler? Oh, fuck, I didn't mean that. It's okay, I'm sure Jew didn't mean it, Barack. Oh my God, I fell for it too. Okay. Yours sounded like it was on purpose, Joe, but we'll let it slide like the rocks for now. I can't lie, boys, I'm a little nervous for this fight, mainly because I know that the hospital is full. So when I beat this rodent to a pulp, he'll be left to fend for himself on the streets. And the last thing I want is the homeless getting sick. What is happening right now? Hey, Joe? Yes, my lover? Catch! Whoa, whoa, Yo, whoa, watch wait, it. hold up. Ha, 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 that was smooth F, right, guys? What the hell do you think you're doing, you lampant licking licky licky flicker? Why would you throw the Game Boy at Joe like Ash's Charizard? Because he's weak to rock throw, I get it. No, because that lazy Donald lookalike bastard threw the match against Richie's Pikachu during the Indigo League. Peak fiction, by the way, I want Brock inside of me. <laughs> you are down bad for that one, Obama, holy sussy, a moon gussy. At least you have Brock on the outside of you. Brock's skin color, that is. What? I've been playing the past couple of minutes, and Barack, you got the last episode all by yourself. 
I thought I would be nice and use bat and pass to Joe to let him redeem himself after wiping to Wallace. Deku here has the potential to be more dangerous, so if you beat him, I'm sure the allegations will cease to exist. Beating up a kid will make the kidnapping allegations disappear? Say less, he's done for. I more so meant the fraud allegations. Can we please stop talking about kidnapping? This is the finale. You'll need an intricate plan if you want to take down this flaming horsey. First off, this is not a horsey. This is a rapid dash. Second, I'm clicking waterfall twice and he's dead. Who has been spreading these false accusations, by the way? I haven't a scooby of an idea who has been spreading those false accusations, Joe. But all I know is that you swiped them from Donald. He proved his redemption in the Majin Super Saving Jew arc. That shit had me geeking for real. Well, I'm about to kill this slow bro like Latios from Pokemon Heroes. Then I can sell his soul to a Jew. Don't get too cocky, Joe. Otherwise, you might die again. I can't die now. Otherwise, how will I open the Joe fuck fest with you, Donnie? Someone silence that freaking Rotom phone because the callbacks have been popping off today. But I have to agree with Donald. He's speaking from experience after all. We remember how the first fight with Wally went, right? Funny enough, I don't recall, boys, but I am getting the taste of bullshit in my mouth all of a sudden. Anybody got a packet of balls on them to wash down the taste? Well, I was on Microsoft Edge earlier munching my very last bag of Paul's balls. If you check over there at the desk, you might find some rolling around. Hopefully not at the speed of sound. Do I even want to ask what you were Googling, Joe? You know what? Let's get back to your gameplay. You seem to be having no issue with Wally so far. And now Lucas is dead to a crit. Wait, Wait what? Oh, whoops, it didn't use focus energy yet. I misread the calculation as 700 damage instead of 70. My B. You tie rogue toucher. How could you play with us like that? And now Sandstorm is going to make the battle take an extra nine years. How are we going to keep entertaining the viewers? Well, I do have one idea. What the? What is that? Donnie, do you hear music? Oh, sheer force. Joe, stay with us. Peep this, boys. I'll take you to the dick ick shop. I'll let you lick my massive cock. Go ahead, boy, don't you stop. Keep going and you give me slop. Whoa, you know that I'm gay. Is that or you want it? You're gonna run that thing up or shut up, suck up on it. Phalluses rise and okay, get you to the next level. Dead box jam packed. Donald, he won't settle. A Zacian baby when I pull out the big sword. If you be my skitty, I'll be your way, Lord. In the daycare, in the back of the center. Give you the big hand with the might of a kingler. Got the country lit. I'm the president, bitch. Show you my little blue monster collars, leader one stitch. Say you wanna lick these nuts, baby. No worries. Like rice, my balls taste better. Dip in some curry. I'm a nurse joy vet when it comes to the switch. After work up in some sex, you'll make use of the stick. I ain't falling asleep, baby, enough of the sass. I'm melt in your mouth, boy, and nut in your ass. First things first, freaking bars. Second, did you sing that song knowing that 30 is about to die? You really think the sandstorm will do 26 damage? I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that like a hound doom. I've been cooking up that version of Dick Shop since Dick Shop dropped in our run, be honest. Did you guys like it? The phallus bar didn't go unnoticed. I dug that one like a diglet. But what was that about you? Dipping your balls in curry? While definitely questionable, it might just be the single greatest thing to come out of Sword and Shield. Well, you know, rapping is my way of expressing who I truly am, Donald. This song in particular puts together my two favorite pastimes, playing Pokemon at the dick shop and slathering my balls in some nice rice sauce. It's the main underlying theme if you dissect the lines in detail. Oh, God. Is that where that smell of curry has been coming from this whole time? Don't think about it too hard, Nifty Fifty. As I said, if I could get you to feature on the worldwide release of Dick Shop, I will literally do anything for you, homie. Anyway, time for Ziggy to clean up. And he's hallucinating again. Great. You know what? As long as it doesn't affect your gameplay, I don't mind who you mistaken me for Joe. Why, thank you, Big Mommy Lenora. Yo, 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 wait! <laughs> Pause. I'm tired of this professional pokey file. Let's finish him once and for all. I wish I could say the same to you, Joe. I love how we have like three monsters in the back chilling at full health, including our legendary doggo. And for some reason, you still risk Ziggy getting killed. Well, guess what? He didn't end up dying. So is there really any cause for complaint when we are so close to the final gauntlet? Touche, sleepinator. I must be tripping bound sweet balls. Did the incarnation of the sun just set up the rain? You both saw that too, right? Uh, sure. I was definitely paying attention and not daydreaming about May's muscular mouth going to town on me. I'm totally on the same page as you, Barack. 
What the Serena shit? I must be going insane, or did I just witness Soul cock the son who started the rain switch to hail? Where's Hitler when you need him? You're right, it is a slight annoyance, Barack. As now, it's going to take two waterfalls to kill him instead of one in the rain. He would need a major ass pull to kill one of our mons right now. Let me tell you, comebacks never start with the move agility. I'm sorry, Wally, although your words have touched my heart, I'm afraid I won't be returning you the favor physically. I'll leave that to your hypno. Sorry, Joe, his hypno is dead. If it makes you feel any better, his whole team is about to be wiped, and Wally himself will probably perish soon after this video drops. Can we get an 07 in chat for the wannabe Joker guys? Good stuff, Joe. Just like that, we have completed mid Ori Road. That guy was piss easy. Let it be known that he was no rival to us. On an unrelated note, I think he just died. He ain't budging. Ripping pepperoni, sweet prince of Persian. Who gives a freaking fracture at this point? We have finally made it. The illustrious Pokemon League. This shit's so magnificent. Crying emoji. Wait a minute. Didn't we start our adventure here? How did we make it back to the first town? Why are you both crying? Save the game, Joe. Just in case I need to whoop yo ass in the next few seconds. And if the game freezes, we won't have to go through that whack ass dungeon again. My nerves are going crazy like a berserker. Just go inside already, Joe. All right, Mom, I'm home. Get the boxing gloves on. Wait, hold on. Our house is looking a little different. Who are these two blokes guarding my bedroom? Wait, slow down. What are you doing? Uh-oh, I see where this is going. I'm just going for a quick nap in my bed, guys. Relax. No way! Please stop! <laughs> <laughs> Did they fall for it? Did we get them? God, that was some immaculate acting Joe. Thanks, Obama. You two were pretty good yourselves. In case it wasn't obvious, folks, y'all got pranked. There is no way we can beat the Pokemon League with our current party. We will need a star-studded lineup in order to beat the strongest trainers in all of the land. We've all come to a consensus of what our final team should be. The only difficult call was boxing cheap fuck, as Donald wanted him on the team, whereas Joe and I did not. It's true, guys. He was begging. <laughs> oh, shut up, you two. Trust me when I say this was not an easy task. There were a lot of great choices that we unfortunately had to pass up for these top six monsters. Without further ado, here's our final team for the last segment of this series. Oh, yeah. Talk about pure power, no Medicham. While we withdraw and give these beasts their items, I wanted to quickly talk about something. In the last episode, we asked our final comment question, and some people were confused by this. But we have a reasonable excuse for that. For this episode, we want you to ask us a question. Our editor is going to do a Q&A video shortly after this series ends. So comment down below any questions you have in regards to this series. It can be about its production or writing or any general queries, really. We are open to answer anything. Oh, man. I had a great comment question ready to go. Ah, what the hell? Shoot your shot, Joe. Wait, really? All right, I'll make it count. Um, viewers, for the final time, my comment question of the day is, how deep is your cat's asshole? Ain't no way. What did I say, Donald? I told you he would ask that by the end of the day. Hand it over. Damn it! I can't believe I lost a $200 bet over that Bidoof-shaped shit! Okay, that's even more messed up that you thought I would say something so bizarre. Call me Joe Joe like the adventure. If you're struggling for an item on cheesing, I'd recommend something reliable like a citrus berry. My two lovelies have a bit of an odd ball move set in Dig, Sacred Fire, and Hyper Beam. And we don't have any held items that boost those types on us. They've got great mixed defenses, but just in case Soft Boil isn't doing it for us, I say go with the citrus just to be safe. Let me guess, was Brittany's favorite fruit and orange like a citrus? Not sure, I never bothered to ask, but the way she drained the juices from my orange tree, you'd swear they were her faves. Enough about your nuts, here is our team for the league. We have Dog the Entei, Peak the Gardevoir, Lap or Ass the Lapras, Cheesing the Weezing, Joe the Slack King, and finally, the Goat Osama the Celebi. Even announcing our team members sounds like you're spitting that hot Darmanitan Joe. You're in Zen mode, my guy. Repping the black and white with the US Gen 5. I'm the P-R-E-S-I and, will you know the rest? You know the rest? Someone hold me back. I might just eat Joe's ass by the end of this with his bars. No homo. For any viewers who have caught this episode live or are watching it shortly after publishing, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much. You're like the die-hard Netflix fans who watch a series the first week it airs. So even if other fans hop on the bandwagon down the line, we know you were all OGs. Just like my watch. Damn, that was slick Barack. 
Very good point, too. This episode was a long time coming, so no matter the outcome, your viewership is deeply appreciated. Who wants to take on Sydney boys? Well, Barack hasn't gotten a shot yet today, so I think it's only fair I shed tail it to him. What do you say, Obama? Sounds good to me. Let's do this dance. And so, your Elite Four battle officially begins, Barack. Before you start, there's somebody on the line who wants to tell you something. What up, motherfuckers? Good morning, you puffin-burning fucks. Oh my god, my brother in Christ Snoopy the doggy dog and my all-time go-to doubles partner Gordomaton? What are you both doing here? Although I may never forgive you for toasting my ass in the aqua hideout, I need you to give you 120% homie. As I once said, straight from the bottom, this the belly of the beast. From a peasant to a prince to a mother freaking king. You are that King Obamna. This bloody Mr. Rhyme looking fuck is right, Bardock. You've got to get your act together like Alakazam's team. Think about your clutch 2012 choice banded turret rock slide, double flinch you pulled off against Wolfie, and bring about some of that fiery horse shit in this fight. I will. I've already hit the two perfect damage rolls to clobber that fish. Want to clob my puss? Oh, hell no. This is why I can't stick to quitting the smoke, you broke ass mother saws buckers. Fucking hell, you said it, Snooper Scooper. Pass me some of that Max Flair lettuce. I'm trying to feel some shit like a Rolts tonight. Fuck me. I love when nations cross over like that. Kawaii desu. Skeeting past that, this e-speed kills from this range thanks to Psychic. This battle is going incredible so far. You just had to open your trap pinch, Barack. Looks like you did bring that rapid dash shit to the fight. But in the opponent's favor. Seeking could have been dead and gone by now if it didn't have that stupid luck-based item. And how exactly do you propose I could have avoided its activation? I'm gonna save Joe for a possible late game sweep and let Osama use his destructive force on the team. Nice of him to waste his item. Now Thunder Punch is going to decimate these meat sacks. I forgot these trainers are type themed. If Phoebe is a dark type like Wallace, you both may sweet kiss this run goodbye. You'll be fine, Joe. Both of us are here to help you out if you need it. Donald's right. With our combined skill, we can beat this league together. No matter what happens, we will never fall. Let's get it. Oh, for fur alligator's sake, someone get me some chalky vanilla -ish. I need to stress lick right now. Stop panicking. He's guaranteed to die. Don't mention that ghost type move around Osama. That could seriously put him in the danger zone. Speaking of, if we come out of these battles victorious, doesn't May show up at the end? That's someone you can stress lick, Joe. You're telling me she shows up at the end for a victory blowy for Joey McLoey? Come on, Barack, you buffoonic baboon tunic looking goon. Get your shit together instead of flinging it. I've literally been playing perfectly. Frenzy Plant will make this boo-boo die a thousand deaths. Do you get same type attack bonus when using Fling Barack? Asking for a friend. We are halfway there, looking like Leffen on an up air. Who's next? Joe with the laser gator prediction. Good shit, buddy. Hopefully he doesn't go crazy on this recharge turn. Block, all right, this is free. Just to confirm, is that a no to the vanilla order? As I said, I just want a single lick. Joe! Hey, boy, show me what that tongue do. We can't switch out because of block, right? This chunk outspeeds. This has to kill or Osama dies. This is Osama we are talking about, guys. I knew we could bet on him. What would you rate his performance in this battle so far? Well, he failed to one-shot the seeking and had to waste a turn from Frenzy McKenzie plant. But aside from that, he has gone above and beyond in this battle. I give him a 9 out of 11. If we had to pick the one reoccurring enemy Pokemon that has continuously haunted us in this run, Slowbro has got to be a top contender. This menace was on May's team twice and Wally's team earlier. Sword and Shield OU called. They want their defensive pivot back. Oh gosh, I am so scared. He's splashing away at me. Yamate! This Barney the dinosaur looking ass ain't shit. And before you call me out on it, yes, the burn was intentional. And that's the only reason I was using Sacred Fire. Sydney better have burn heal. You scare me when you play optimally, Obama. Life's too short, remember? Stunt it. I know it's what the fans want. So maybe if you prove yourself today, Barack, I will officially dub you as one of my besties. Seems only right after all the hardship the three of us have endured. No metatype. What are you blabbering on about, you blubber ball? I don't care about your click or gang gang or being your bestie or whatever. What made you think that? Wow, GP overlooks a critical trait of our character, part always. Weird retcon. I'm astonished, but not flinching. Going against that is normal for me. You sure it was Barack who sent you the bestie requesty Donnie? 
I'm like 89.3, 1% positive, no HIV. It must have been you, Obama, or was it someone else? The burn butchers the damage from this explosion. Let's go. Who is the final soul that shall be mine? Oh, you Makuhita meat mopper. This guy is more dangerous than a splashing slow bro Barack. Watch out for his super pumper glumper. You were saying? Bah ha 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 ha. Maybe if you brought dog to the Wallace fight, you wouldn't have whited out. Bah ha 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 ha. Don't lose focus. That's one down. I'll heal up the team real quick. Then I'll use switcheroo on Joe. Our fate will be decided in the next few battles. We've got this. That was nice of you to bring in the moral support for Barack before the previous fight, Joe. I find that ironic, as we both had the same idea. Here you go, Garfield. I brought your tangy ass some lasagna to shut your little bitch ass up while I riz back my sweet Prince Joseph. I believe my cherubi is waiting to be popped by your succulent salazzle. At this point, I wouldn't mind a rough vice grip around my throat from your iron hands. What's hanging, normies? Your savior is back. Screw the monarchy. Anybody got some water that I can turn into ass wine? I'm looking to break my PB. Elizabeth and Charlos, that's the best you could contact Donald? This is by far the most toxic combination, and I ain't croaking. You've got one guy who is 100% moist for you, and a thirsty aft Brit who is 1,000% moist for you. What the venom at is going on? Oh, you're still here, Donkey Kong. Superb. I brought my whip this time. Now get back in your cage. You're going to win your first tournament under my control. Brute bonnet balls. I just found my newest Smash Bros sponsor. Moist Rizabeth goes hard. I understand why you simp for her now, Joseph Phyllis. <laughs> yeah, baby, uh, that's what it's all about. Damn it. I never thanked Lizandre for quickscoping Winona and retrieving the White House back for me. Two women fighting for my affection 1v1 on Rust. It was beautiful to watch. The threesome after wasn't too shabby either. How are you feeling about Phoebes being an electric type trainer, Joe? Well, this T-Punch Jolteon is kind of wrecking the whole squad right now. And their rough skin is hurting Dog more than his rabies. We are taking critical damage right now. Make a move, Joe! Oh, shit! I got it. Melissa and Brittany have dig. Normally, this would be a risky switch because of the tight damage rolls, but I think I've got an idea. This hurts more than a missed jump kick. You sure this was the right play? Say it loud, Donald. What was her favorite fruit to play with? What? My balls? Oh, I get it! Citrus! Like the berry she was holding. I totally meant for this to happen. I save your ass yet again. Now she's got to dig, dig, dig. How many times has she dug? Trio, looking like presidents in this bitch. Two daughters, but I fuck all they sons in this bitch. Yo, 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 watch out. I'm faster, better, stronger. I'm digging, I'm zigging, I'm winning. We stay up. Whoa, whoa, watch the wordplay, Joe. Let's go back to admiring Cheesing's digging performance. Oh, yeah. Cheesing is my digger for real. Fucking what now? Dig is our only ground type move on this team, if I recall. And the Pokemon with said move is literally on six HP. She's way out of commission. What's your next idea, Joe? Well, I'm going to switch into myself and just rip this team to shreds. We know Freakachu had okay stats, so I'm not too worried. And by the time anybody else hits the field, I'll have enough speed boost stacked up to run through them like a reboot. Although I do think my scoliosis is kicking in. Oh heavens, why is it flaring up now like a blitz? Oh, it's nothing. It's just my back is aching from carrying this weak ass team. Rough, 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 rough. Osama, no diffs you, Joe. Sorry to tell you. Stay in your lane like a varoom. Aw, oh, shit. He's gone and given me actual scoliosis with the stun spore. This sucks shelmet lips. I'd rather take back shots from a rev of room. Did you remember to pray today? Don't be so insensitive, Barack. We all know Joe prays every moment he is awake, which is usually only two hours a day. And who does he pray for? His beloved dick shop. You really loved that little guy, didn't you, buddy? I did, I really did. I just can't get over your earlier rendition. Whoa, Joey, you're a lyrical genius. You should become an artist, you know. Thanks, guys. I love when you two are impressed with my style, like I'm ordering an ultra rare soda. Speaking of Gen Z, I recently came up with a nursery rhyme that even those sexy bastards will love. Check it out. Uh huh. Sticking out your lot for the swatler. You're so gulpity. You're so phantom hacks. Oh, wowie zowie. Maybe keep that one in the vault for a while, Joe. She's hitting you with the classic Confuse plus para Joe. You ready to give up those speed boosts and switch? As if. This flattery has got me dominating the court like a cinderace. Plus one psychic and hydro pump are such a nasty combo. I don't see anyone living beyond two hits. 
The speed boost is also nullifying the paralysis speed cut. So if I just avoid the stun, I'm Gucci to Scucci. Another jolty is scary, however. Watch the Sundere punch. Baka. I am about to blow her back out like an arch Aladon. This chick means nothing to me. You know I'd rather be with you boys than this ghost girl kidnapping freak, right? You literally just said you'd snap her spine sexually. I'll be surprised to see the day you choose us guys over some puss puss and cuss cuss. Stop with the puss puss incantation. Otherwise this feline looking freak will resurrect like the burned tower theory. What? You were afraid she was going to have a Raikou? Well, no need to worry. She has an even scarier legendary instead. Greasy bolt and balls. This is intense. Watch out, Joe. Ain't nothing like a cheese string. They're really grasping at straws to try reconfuse me with dizzy punch. Another hydro and this bird will be sent plummeting back to the power plant. Double AJ is meant to bring a sign of peace. Please don't pester him and bring about another bloody Sunday Joe. Will you relax? You two are on my case as if I killed our whole team recently or something. I'm a good player and this Omega Clutch Slifer Slacker is bodying any fool who stands in his way. I'm just saying you could have clicked Psychic in case the pumpy missed. Always believe the pumpy. I make the torch icky sicky when I pull out the blicky. Aha! See? Burn tower theory. Gonna break through two stuns and it's Jover. GG, baby! You've broken through a lot of paralysis hacks, Joe. You sure you can do it again? I'm like a skill link balloon called Vince Carter hitting four bullet seeds. I got one more in me. Cynthia on a seismitoad stick. Don't stay in and risk it, Joe, or you're cooked. Don't play the hero. Ask yourself the important question here. You're right. Would you like some lap or ass? He meant ask yourself, is it worth risking Joe's life by staying in? You know he has rock slide, you idiot. Silly goobers, I was asking Osama that question. You don't listen or understand. The rocks do over half health to our fucking onion fairy. One critical hit and it's donezo! You think I give a gosh darn diddly about rock slide doing over half health? We outspeed and outrage kills in five million simulations. That would have been the singular outcome. Right now, I'm a man on a mission. And no amount of Luxio or smelly cat is going to distract me from that goal. Maybe in another life, Phoebe, we could have been friends. Well, I guess no one told her life was going to be this way. Now that she lost as an E4 member, her job's a joke, she's broke, and she can't even entice Joe. So her love life is DOA. Next up is Glacia. Sock it to her, Donnie boy. Can I just say, I love how well we are all playing. You've got this, Donald, you're a beast. Never forget that. Ah, very nice segue, Barack. Beast, like Mr. Mister. I presume Keanu is with him as well, right? Just get them in the call already. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Who is Mr. Mister? Huh? Wait, are you serious? Are they not about to join and give me support? Are they not coming? Are you saying that none of the guests even like me? Well, Donald, I'm sorry to brick break it to you. Your attitude throughout the series has proven oh, that. Oh, Barry, you can drop the act now. Give them a quick text, you Porygon pipe cleaner, and ask them where the heck are they? They missed their cue. I heard they were shooting a Matrix in real life video or something, Donald, so I'm sure they are just running behind schedule. We can't have a finale of guest appearances for everyone except you. That would be meaner than a look. Oh, that's totally understandable. As long as they show up before the end of the battle, I won't commit Harakiri tonight. Famous actors and stuff, I get it. Good, good bestie. Ha! Just focus on your ghost type trainer. Yay! Barack, listen Yay. to me. You incompetent Yay. Zeb strike a fike a fuck. Yay. Yay. I was stalling Yay. in that last Yay. fight for Yay. you to catch Yay. on, Yay. that all the Yay. guest stars Yay. should Yay. appear Yay. in this episode. Yay. But you couldn't even star Yay. piece that together. Yay. Yay. If you value your life, you will ring those other two and get Yay. them in here Yay. ASAP. Yay. No sipper. Capiche? Crinkly cub chew coochie. I'll text them. It's an emergency. They should get in here soon. I'm sorry, Josephine the Third. You've been forgiven, my child. Just don't mess up like this ever again. So, Donald, what's your opinion on the battle so far? Is there anything you want to share with us like Pokey Russ? Not really. I mean, ghost types are kind of Dax Bun booty cheeks in this generation. Bayonet and Dust Clops are like the only threats. This is basically the original Phoebe fight from the vanilla game, but push back one space with higher level monsters and possibly better matchups for us. Like Miss Drevis? Really? Is anyone going to try and convince me this is a tougher enemy than a Sable? I didn't think so. These MFs don't abide by sleep claws, though, so get ready to try and wake up for 8,000 turns or watch our whole team go from the dream world to the nether realm. The randomized movesets can really hit us with some surprises. Don't forget that. 
The AI levels are getting stronger as we progress too. So if the opponent thinks a switch will benefit them, then they won't hesitate to do so. Okay, hold the Silcoon sex phone for a hot minute. These carnivine looking asses are not gonna switch out. I don't believe that like the Gen 5 starter leaks. Well, that's a rock blast from the past. But no, I am dead ass like you going to town on a Wismer's butthole Joe. Oh, you are actually dead ass, dead ass? Damn it, how did that not kill? He's on like negative five HP. Feeling a little left out of the banter, guys. I could use a helping hand here. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Did somebody say beast? A bit late to the power-up punch, you golden go wannabe. Settle down, youngsters. Let's not fight like combuskins and chillax a little, why don't we? I have some hazelnut flavor gummy bears if anybody would like some. You're on a call, Mr. Wick. You're not actually here in person. Oh, what the unknown. Mail me some of those bad boys when you get the chance. Friends, I'm so glad you could make it. Ooh, ooh. someone giffy cat that and send it to my dad to prove to that ball toy bitch he was wrong. People do love me. Already on a tight timer as it is, I'm recording for my next challenge, which I've come to ask you to do. Donald, if you finish this fight without letting anybody die, I will not end world hunger. If just a singular Pokemon faints, I will end it immediately with a global emergency airdrop. I also joined to see your McDonald's Majin powered up state. To see if I could spar with it? My Keanu fried chicken form has been looking for a challenge since the day that sad little Fear Row died. If my presence enticed you to switch sides that episode, I do apologize a quintillion times. Trumpy Wumpy! You got yourself a deal, Jimmy. I'll make sure that not a single monster dies. And Revenator, I'll show you the extent of the Mac Pack's power when I'm done with the boys here. Sound good? Good luck, Jay Ketchum. Remember, sharing wealth is bad for your health. See you later, you silly snovers. Remember to always tie your shoes from back to front and don't ever attempt to pee standing up or sitting down. There, you happy now, Donny boy? As an Avalug-shaped friend of mine would say, just sweet crust, that was something else. Just sweet crust, that was something else. I feel revitalized after that. I'll let Melissa light this ghost doll up in flames. Burn, baby, burn. Gliscor Inferno. Okay, I see you're both trying to spread out the screen time between all our team members, but let's just be logical about this. Cheesing is good for taking one, maybe two lives per battle if we are being generous, but leave the sweeping to Osama and Joe, the dynamic duotion. Don't sleep on my two girls, sleep with them. Do you not see the literal flames they are making it rain down on the opponent? Getting that coin flip burn on sacred fire, stalling them out with the first turn of dig, then shooting out of the ground like a Ziglet is an ultra powerful combo. I'd nearly give them lefties at this point to aid her healing capabilities. You just referred to cheesing as they and her in the same sentence. It's 2024, Donald, get with the times. Oh, shiz niche, a ghost. How the hell did we all forget Gengar was an option for her team? Only the coolest ghost type ever created. And that's on Jaw! Of course, he's got future sight in his arsenal looking like me when I die. We gonna dig on him, then dig him a grave real quick. Dig only does a third of her health. Here comes the full restore. Here's the future sight. Psych! That's the wrong number! Then Kabapi, dig one hit, one kill. Critical. Bye bye you chunk of hunk! Excellent play, Donald. Great example of what Gengar becomes without the levitate ability. I will never forgive Sun and Moon for that unnecessary nerf. Getting lucky and taking out one of her ace monsters isn't real talent. It's blatant luck, let's be honest. It'll be interesting to see how you fare against this spooky gal now. Wanna see them crit a Gengar to death? Wanna see them do it again? Mihyoi minyoi. Never mind, Donald. You are officially the king, the kid, the goat, the god. Not gonna lie, boys. This has probably been the easiest fight so far. This shit is more free than the fucking slaves. Up top, Barack. Blood thinks the fight is over. Put your fat ass Eternatus looking hand away, you Bulbasaur butt squeezer. This bayonet could have literally anything to wipe you out, so keep your energy focused. Low key hope he gets the Omni Boost. Give me a freaking challenge here, Game Freak. Hold on, they might still bust out the last second earthquake to save the day. All right, never mind. This fight is curtains. The burned return is just pitiful now. I'm starting to feel bad for her. Three damage? Just give her the quick and painless death, Donald. I can't watch this anymore. I might finish her with a unique kind of death. Something like a peak water spout, since she hasn't gotten much of a chance to shine in this league. Like a green Chan C. Be smart and optimal. Switch to, uh, sexism and use. Um...
Hello, Joe. Oh, good morning, folks. Anyway, this fight is finito. You can barely stay awake for this episode, and now you're talking about playing optimally. You sleeping sod. I don't feel like I know you anymore. Godier was right. Now you're just somebody that I used to Joe. I can't decide who should play for this next battle, boys. Anybody got any suggestions? Um, maybe we rotate it back to you, Barack. Realistically, we will all collectively be contributing to these final two fights anyway, so whoever is pressing the buttons doesn't really matter at this point. Fair assessment, Joe. Let me heal up the squad before continuing. Can you show me the Game Boy for a sec, my bestie Donnie? Here, Barack. But hold on, did you just say... What's up, Fluttermane muckers? Guess who's back? Back again. It is I, the king of curses, and lord of the dance because he always rehearses. I've been waiting for this moment ever since I slept with May May and Wee Wee. Time to show off what they taught me. New president style. Watch out, Joe. I can see in your perks arsenal you don't have quick revive this time around. Why you chose mule kick over it is beyond my understanding, but you won't be getting back up this time. What is it you seek, my lord? TLDR, because I smoked Wallace without even trying, Barack and I made a vow that in exchange for my massacre, you three would sacrifice a Pokemon during the Elite Four for me. <laughs> okay, my lord, listen here. Although I would let you go full annihilate on my booty cheeks and clap those suckers like a sphere, I will have to politely decline your request. This league is already tough enough as it is. Unless God himself comes down from the Hall of Origin to force palm us, we ain't sacrificing shit, sookie dookie. Dear mister, I'm too good to ball or wipe my ass. This will be the last package I ever send your sleepy ass. Holy fur fru fucker. GP, is that you? This is the first time I've heard your voice. You sound more like a pussy than I would have imagined. Why are you stanced up like that? Are you guzzling a glizzy or what is happening here? Make like an edge of slash and change. Guys, please stop using flatter on me even though I am the hottest Cinderace on OnlyFans. Unfortunately, boys, that finger licking and kicking bastard is right. You have got to sacrifice a Pokemon right now. If you don't follow through with his binding vow, you boys won't be around for a season two. Why the hell would we want a season two? Who would want to go through all this grand bullshit again? He's right. I don't know if I can take much more heartache. I fell in love with a lot of monsters in this run and lost nearly all of them. I'm not going through all those tears and sleepless nights again. If we succeed, that'll be my 50th Nuzlocke win. I'd be content to leave my streak at that. I can officially retire and quit loud. Look at you all. You've grown so much without even knowing. Barack, you started off as the cold, heartless machine. You calculated the numbers and ran through the game, never looking back. But now you've loved and lost, which is better than not loving at all. You've tuned your sense of humor alongside your buddies as well. Well, I do love these guys. Joe, you've come leaps and bounds from where you once began. Despite being thousands of years old, you never seem to grasp the concept or the point of playing a Pokemon game. Now, I think you finally understand it's about passion, skill, and most of all, friendship. I see. The friends we made along the way, huh? And then there's you, Donald. I can't lie. Even I didn't like you at the beginning. You were cocky, arrogant, selfish, rotund, oddly colored. The list goes on. And while most of those things remain true, you've gained so much respect and courage during this playthrough. You've unlocked your true potential. Yeah, I'm pretty skillful, some might say. I'm amazed with the three of you. Stand proud. You're all strong. Thank you for sharing this journey with not only myself, but with the viewers. Now get in there and kick some ass. You've come so far, you can't lose the whole team to Aubrey. Before you go, gay producer Dix, I never received my payment for this series. How are you sending the money to me? Um, I'll probably send a check out. A check out? Check out my nuts in your mouth. Get destroyed, Joey Max Slowey. Tell Candace I said hello. Okay, Game Maker 7. That was a bit rude. I didn't appreciate that for my homeboy. Donald, if I want you to like it, then you will like it. I'm literally the writer for this show. Damn. Well, now I'm erect like a watchog. What the frillish? I didn't write that in the script. Love that guy. Love that guy. He's very sweet indeed. Wait, why the hell are we getting joyful when we have to let somebody die? How do we choose our sacrifice? The only proper and fair way. Spinning the wheel of fortune. Yippee, I've always wanted to be here. Let's hope I get half a car. All right, well, Barack, you're the closest to the PC. Pull up Microsoft Edge there and spin that Al Creamy. Oh, um, actually, uh, I changed my mind. I was more of a Jeopardy kind of kid. Ha ha ha. Barack, why don't you give me the mouse and we can stop before... Joe? Biden. Guys, I can explain. 
This is the fucking work computer. How are you gonna launch nukes from one machine and a missile from your body? That's fucking disgusting. You aren't even incognito. Don't fucking tell me this is Bush's only cameo in this whole series. Oh wow, would you look at that. Sukuna must have been here before me because the wheel is ready to go. I'm going to kill him for not closing the tab, but let's spin, spin, spin. Oh, thank God. Osama and Joe are fine. Sucks that dog is gone, but it could have been much worse. No! My sweet baby boy, they massacred him. You heartless dickheads. Have you no shame in what you're saying? All right, give me the controller. I'm going to stall by chucking pokeballs at this goof until he kills us. Work with us here, Joe. Begin the ball's incantation, please. One ball's chant later. Balls, 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 ho, 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 ho. So sad. Balls, balls, balls. Ten turns later and the deed has been done. At least we know this magneton hits like a shit-dipped paper towel. Guys, I think this is my limit. Aka, go on without me. Don't give up now, buddy. It's time for the Joe Nidge Ponage redemption arc. Inside you, there are two presidents. It's Jover. And we are so Barack. Gasp, you two are right. This fight ain't Jover. It's Jonely just begun. Right, let's a Joe. Bone meringue should cover all bases here as it's effective against both steel and electric types. If it's exclusively the former, we also have jump kick on peak and high jump kick on lap or ass. Looks like we gotta kick it up a notch then, boys. I'm about to show these steels who the boss is, like I'm Wick Strum. If Snoop was still here, she would have learned stratosphere jump kick by now. I miss his real life spliffies and gimp suit dress up nights, I can't lie, but it was a necessary sacrifice to regain my Pokemon skill. We appreciate your sacrifice, Barack. It also puts my mind at ease, knowing that you're locked in for these fights like a team in the battle factory. Hopefully dog's death doesn't destroy your mental Joe. How are you holding up my brother? I'm about to whip out my sack of snake snacks and dance with this guy, Kakatakoi Kuchiet. Have any of you ever wanted Ma Wild to use crunch on your large leak? Not really. I've only ever thought about that maybe 303 times total in my whole life. To be honest, I've always wanted to chillax and chow down on some nice Malween with him. I heard that's on the menu at SawCon this year, Maripi Joe, but watch for confusion. Time to bust out the plesiosaur. Laparass hasn't gotten the chance to shine in any of these fights, so I'm gonna send her in. It's based off a dinosaur? Why, that doesn't make sense. I thought they were based off of giraffes because in the Mystery Dungeon games, it can fly. You do know there are dinos that had wings, Joe, yes? And what fucking giraffes have you been seeing soaring through the sky like the laddies? I think I would have remembered seeing some airborne creatures back when Jesus and I were eradicating the dinosaurs with his flip-flops. That would have made exterminating them more tedious than EV training. Hey, watch it. I love raising a full squad of EVs. How is training those little guys in any way annoying? I was referring to effort values, Barack. Oh, right. My apologies, man. Let me just cancel the nuke I ordered for express delivery. My B. Anywho, back to this intense penultimate battle. The only way this battle can be classified as intense is if it takes place in Fall Arbor Town. Bone Meringue overloads these magnets in a single scoopity swoopity. This Drake fellow is the type of guy to see his Pokemon get one shot and say, Youch, that's gonna leave a mark. The type of guy to trip while running from a killer like it's a freaking horror movie and go, shoot, I'm done for. Oh, is this the guy whose feet turn into a figure eight while running? He ain't worth piss and really is goofy. Ah, uh, come on, Bugs Bunny, show us a real man steel type. Now, Joe, control yourself. You promised you wouldn't use explosion on your Dratini if one of these guys appeared. Please! Ba, 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 ha. Your baby doll eyes are churning. Don't give in, Jemima. It's not your time to go. My soul is ready. Do it, my lover. We gotta kill this guy, Obama, quick. It's already too late, Donny boy. Give me that delectable ragey juice and complete me. Ah! Hold on, Joe's sick fetish is helping us. It made this Yahtzee Nazi spritzy idiot heal us. We would have been in danger had that present went kaboom. He has cleansed me of all my Reggie lust and desire. I now have no sinful feelings towards any of the Reggie monsters and shall solely treat them with the utmost respect. Huh, I was wondering why that last present actually did damage to us, but I guess you are no longer one of them. You did well, Reggie Biden. We won't forget you as long as we live. Arigato florigato, Donald son. My mind is finally at peace. Now watch as our wet pet giraffe one-shots a chompy boy with a swift kick to the jaw. That was beautiful, Mr. President. 
I'm glad another one of your storylines has come to a close. Have any of you noticed we haven't even used Joe or Osama once for this entire fight? And the audience were probably thinking that they were carrying, I mean, they low key, right? But it just goes to show how important team synergy is. Peak and lap or ass have been obliterating these steel types. So let's just accept the fact that this fight is over. Our rain dish is activating every turn as well. So even if by some chance we miss a high jump kick, we have the regenerative healing ability to keep going. This is a disgusting battle overall. The wish stalling is laughable at this rate. I'm going to say our win percentage at this point is like 130%. Anyone care to disagree? Well, considering this is the last turn of the fight, make that 131%, baby. Oh, my goal, that gracious, galurky, schmirky goodness. That's it. That's the Elite Four down and out for the count. So that's it. The game's over now since we beat the Elite Four trainers, right? Hooray! Counting finally comes in handy. We did it. Let's see celebrate with a victory dance. Do you seriously not know how this goes, Joe? You said you've beaten red and blue like a bajillion times. How could you forget the champion fight? You mean the secret optional bonus rival fight at the very end of the game? Uh, I wouldn't really call that a champion fight if I'm being honest. Get a good look at our team boys. This is the very last time we will be healing and prepping them up in this entire series. This is literally it. We either make it or break it here. For the final time, viewers, we ask for your energy and support going into this final battle. As stoic as ever, Barack, my heart is racing. This is our ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. How are you feeling, Joe? Call me Terrapagos, because I'm feeling stellar. I guess this is the beginning of the end. We've come a long way since those starting episodes, so let's prove to the people how we've made it to where we are now. I'm feeling the nerves get to me for the first time in a thousand years. The excitement is too real right now. I already know this battle is about to be more legendary than an ultra wormhole. We all need to be on our A game for this. Stay sharp like a Porygon, got it. I'm pretty sure the next room is the Hall of Fame, but let's see what it is you two have been hyping up. Steve-O, it's you. You come sock sucker. The final trainer standing in our way. We hope you'll give us everything you have as well. Now, now bring, bring it. it. Just six more Pokemon to knock out and we win. Let's do this, boys. Do your worst, Mr. Fan Mark. Oh, what the shit? By the love of Starmy Analytic Anal Beads, this is his worst? What kind of baller ass team is this guy rocking? Looking like that cheating MF Tobias. That boy game sharked his team for the DP League, I swear. Wait. Peek is kind of popping off right now. Her defenses are actually allowing her to wall out a Latios. I cannot believe it. Not only that, if we get the confusion from Signal Beam, things will be looking really good for us. Better yet, if we get the burn, he'll be cooked alive. I call the first bite. Signal Beam can't burn enemies, Joe. Don't die on us now, old man. Any of you snippety whippity snappers want to learn how to catch a Pokemon? We've no time for this. The Ganlon Berry has boosted his defense, and there's the first healing item of the fight! Pete can no longer 1v1 this guy. Abort! Abort! Hear me out. I'm thinking a switch to lap or ass, and we transform into this guy to reveal his moves and gain his wicked stats. Surely he has something that can help us turn the tables. I'm down for that like Pokemon show. We can resist his fire punch then and counterattack from there. We also get the defensive boost he just got. That might not make much of a difference, but it's handy to note. And did he seriously use Darude right now? Not a particular opponent you want to be facing at level 58, but we got to make this work up like a Doe duo. Let's act like a Doe duo and put our heads together. Let's see if he likes lap or ass more first. It's still going. Surely this is, yup, a crit already. Nice. This is the final boss. You have to expect things to be a little unfair here, Barack. We still gain his moveset knowledge for the fight which is a huge advantage for taking down a beast of this caliber. T-Wave, wrist the speed tie, fuck yeah! Surely we deserve the paralysis after that critical hit game, come on. Let's go, you paraplegic Pissimian, looking like Barack in a wheelchair. What the LD Goss did you just say? You know what, scrap that, there's no time to bicker. I was going to sack lap or ass, but to be honest, I think I'll set up boosts with Joe. Take the paralysis, which will barely matter at plus six speed, and that will also prevent us from getting burned, poisoned, or put to sleep. I love when King Barack is on top of his shit. We're playing checkers. He's playing 8D chess. What type of chess did you say? 8D? You 8Ds! Say, I love you too much to DN you right now, Donald. 8D chess, that is all. There is no joke. 
That's how I know you a homie for life. Sorry to interrupt this moment like a pokey nav call, but just want to address the situation we are in. Hydro Pump and Sky Uppercut don't do anything to this guy, which is fantastic for letting us set up and style on him. And all he can do to retaliate at this point is Air Cutter, which won't do diddly, and Fire Punch, which can't do squat. He can't even burn us since he himself used Thunder Wave on us. What a moron. Maybe stick to exclusively using Sky Uppercut, since it has more PP than Hydro Pump. We probably won't need all five uses, but in general, it covers a little bit more than a fighting type move. The lefties is helping us get back to tip top shape too, which is nice. Bit of a slow burner of an opening to the fight, but I'm pretty confident in saying this guy's soul is already sold. Fetch me their souls. Get Latias in here so I can point at her and say, your brother's soul is mine. Don't go too freaky and geeky on me yet, you two. This is only his first Pokemon that we've taken down. You better get your guard back up quick like in a scavalier. If we came a bit more prepared with a wider move coverage, that legend wouldn't have left such a dent in us. That would have went so much easier if we had a ghost type move like Lick or something. Okay, I'll be the one to ask, what's the correlation between Feraligator and Lick? How come every time you say that move, he appears? Because I would relentlessly lick his back sprite, that's what. He went for the block. So what other menacing move could he possibly have? It doesn't matter because we will never find out. Psychic plus E speed annihilates him, even at full health, based on prior calculations. You got any ideas what he's up to, Donnie? It's impossible to guess what made such a smart AI go for such a niche move. There's not many decent follow-up options. The only viable one I can think of is block paired with perish, so... Oh. I thought moves were randomized. What the Garbodor gooch stains is this? Surely we don't get paralyzed three times in a row and die to this block trapping trap queen wap buster, right? I'm like, I'm gay, what's up? Hello! Speaking of pretty ass, this cum sock jaw locker and Joe cock blocker used future sight too. Looking like me since all the boys stare at my cake. No homo! In a 1v1, always bet on Joe, especially against other males. You broke through. I love you, Joe, buddy old pal. I owe you a lovely kiss on the nuts for this. Don't forget it. I didn't know your hidden ability was rivalry. I am the Omega male, or whatever these egotistics say to assert dominance over their relative gender. Also, don't think we forget that you miscalc the extreme speed killing, Barack, you cricketoon cringe meister. We're past that. The focus is this drizzy camel. Oh, joltic jinkies. He actually has a water type move. My future sight is saying that future sight is going to deal some massive damage. I think we misplayed on this one, boys. Outspeed water spout. Please work. Oh, you toxel titty fuckler suckler. Oh. Let it all out, buddy. It's okay. Venipede shit sticks. I love you, Peak. I really do. But thanks, schnitzel shrudels. You are dead, baby. Maybe now I can stop hitting my fucking toe off of random desks and coffee tables that spawn out of nowhere when you're around. Why can't you just get a boner like everyone else, Joe? Look, she was a noble sacrifice. Water Spout might not have even killed anyway because of her low HP. Whereas Hydro Pump is a certified kill no matter what way you look at it. We just need to land one. I'm getting even more annoyed because this double turd growing grumpy bastard seems to be having no issues landing his pumpies over and over. Look on the bright side, our speed boosts are stacking up again. The final Hydro hit is gonna be hype when it happens. Looking more like an if rather than a when it happens at this rate. I say we switch out to cheesing to cheese this guy. Whoa, let's not call off this hype mode like it's Pokemon Coliseum. I have faith in your God tier ass, Joe. Watch this, Reed. He misses this Hydro and ours will finally land. Yay! I knew you couldn't, Reed. Well, shit, we only have one PP left. Oh, please, we can't choke the final battle. This is a certified hood scrafty classic tension builder. We got this. I hope to Tapu Fini it is, because we are losing health rapidly to this humpity humpback. Another fucking miss! All four of them fucked us over. That's it, I'm walking away now. Wait, my Kamala comatose buddy. I've got something from the heart to tell you. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, Joe, baby, don't go. I swear to Arceus, if one of you calls me a heartless or the door to darkness, I will hit you with the darkest of lariats. That really doesn't help your case, Barack. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? Let's action your digging plan, Donald. Things can't go worse than Joe's quad pump miss. Guys, I haven't played Fortnite since the VR edition back in 1941. Of course, my tech skill is going to be off a little. 
Not what we meant, but that's better than you quad pumping your scullipede. Ugh, fine, I'll do it live. But this is the last time I'm showing you all my shadow wiglet. Zip those pants back up, mister, and watch this amalgamation work it the way you like it. No diggity. Dig, 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 you little digger. I get nervous every time you say that word, Barack. He has more of a right to say it than we do, Joe. Not that he has rights to begin with in any way. It's 4-3 right now. We have the numbers advantage. If we trade one for one from this point onwards, we will win this battle. Bitch, I got more rights than Meowth. Gyarados, Gyarados, what do we do here? Taking a page out of your book, Barack, going for the burn. He's finally gone senile. Oh, my Lombre Linguini, a fire move on a water type. Someone clearly fell asleep during the Watson fight. Gyarados has color change, so I'm going to flip him to a fire type, so then ground moves will become super effective. The rest god just called you sleepy. How will you ever recover from this Donnie? He gotta go for the late recovery like a Mewtwo because we've got bigger fish to fry. This guy is at plus two with cosmic power right now, and we are giving him free time to set up using a multi-turn move. If he can heal himself, we are done for. I guess the burn is coming in handy for the chip damage. Clef Abel Cack, he is making an indomitable fortress, which is as bad as self-healing. If our attack doesn't break through his sub, this guy is going to pose a major problem. Just check the weather and it's still raining, all right. That's it. No more Mustang talk. I don't want to hear it. Come on, Joe. You know you're the goat, so keep your head up. The three of us ride or die together. Don't forget it. I hate to be that guy, but Joe isn't overreacting here. This watery snake, who coincidentally looks like Tom Hanks' penis, is getting more solid and solid as the turns tick by. Not only that, we are dangerously close to champion mark here using another item, which will leave us in a tighter spot than Gen 5 Red Health. I mean, surely a second hit will knock out the sub this time around, right? Okay, that's one less worry for now. Has anybody got any suggestions? There's always the power button on the Game Boy, guys. Our last resort. We can't say we lost if the screen is turned off. And there's the item. Fuck. Well, thank God we all came here today with our eulogies pre-written. You know, I could sit here for the next 80 years and PP stall him with soft boiled and dig. Unfortunately, the world might have ended by then and you two would most certainly be dead. But I could pull out the dub for us in that situation. Hold on, I've got an idea. We haven't manipulated anything this episode. So what if I switch out our Pokemon to entice him to switch and lose his boosts? Oh my God, I'm a freaking genius. I will eat Barboach booty hole if this works. Joe is a smart switch if you're actually doing that. I know I said earlier trainers might switch, but he has no reason to do so right now. This is genuinely ridiculous. Watch this. Let me show you why the fans say I'm number one. What the? Why did he? How did? What? Huh? So will I ring Dick Shop's son now or later for you to clean him out? Give me the Game Boy. Where is this micro game genie you have implanted in this thing? Donald J. Trump, plump dump truck, catch him. Explain now. Right now, it's just that everything feels so right. I forgot to say earlier, have you done today's Pokey Doku Joe? Oh, Whirlipede Whirlers. I never even got a chance to look at it. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, give me a sec. I'm going to go crush claw grip my pen and commit Sudoku right now before we continue. I'm dead. Houndstone emoji. Okay, shit. Nobody panic. We are back to being even on Mons, and we just lost the guy who carried us through the league. Pidgeot piss stains. Nobody panic. Another fucking critical. Don't think about it. Burn her with sacred fire. The fucking hard counter flash fire. Cleffa cockamimi clout chasers. What are we even meant to do now? Well, I think we all know what our only option left is. The older than Joe's middle nut, old reliable. You've escaped death multiple times before, Mr. Osama. Do so for us again, and Joe's mama will forever be in your debt. I actually lost a salty run back against that literal cheating ass Magnus Carlson last week, and I put my mama on the line. They say to this day, she's still getting pounded by that poniard piper. Live, live, live. Okay, perfect. What are we doing here? Risk the thunder punch or mega horn or what? Frenzy plant, just mess her up. If this doesn't knock her out, boys, the runzo is donezo. That slow scroll. She has so much health. Rest in peace, you freaking chunky fairy. Only room for one of them around here. And it's the onion. You know well that if we get through the recharge turn unscathed, then our grass stab will annihilate this moon boy. Bro tried to use disable. Shout out to my main monkey, Barack. Not now, Joe. That's the last thing I need to be hearing as we fight for our life here against his last Pokemon. 
Wait, wait, wait! Oh my god, Gyarados is his last Pokemon, and his stat, sub and type, have all been reset. There is no knowledge that is not power, and right now we have all the information we need for this fishy fish. Say guys, how about we end it on a bang? We all put in 100% for this final attack to finish off this troublesome snake. What do we think? Sounds perfect to me. We all need to charge up to the same power level for this to work. We only get one chance. Let's end it for good. All right, let's do this, boys. On three, zero. My power is rising. You got this, Donnie? One. Yeah, guys, I'm ready. Let's do this, besties. Oh my God, Donald. Two. You called me bestie. Let's end this. Three. Ha! Guys, what just happened? Did we? Yep, it seems like it. We beat Fanmark. We won the challenge. That's cool and all, but where's the actual champion? When do we get to fight the real final boss? Oh, Joe, come here, you forgetful dote. I love you, buddy. Hey, <laughs> get off me, demon. I can't lie. You're both the greatest. I'm honored to be crowned champion beside you two lovable guys. Look, May is even here for the victory, BJ. Go ahead, we will leave and give you two as long as you need. Guys, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm in a different kind of euphoria right now. I don't even care that she's here. That was never the end goal of this journey. The point of this adventure was getting to experience it all with my two best friends. I want you both to stay so we can watch these heartfelt credits together. Screw these hoes, am I right? Wow, you just chose bros over hoes. I never thought I'd see the day. Dap me up, buddy. Whoa, good shit, Donnie. You fucking cooked in that glacier fight. I appreciate it, Mr. President. You were bawling as well, I must admit. I can't stand here and take the credit when at the end of the day, our sensei Barack taught us everything we know. We couldn't have made it this far without you, Obama. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu, Barack-kun. No need to thank me, fellas. You have long since surpassed my power. I'm so proud of you as my students. I think the team that we've inducted into the Hall of Fame couldn't be more perfect either. Least we forget those who have fallen and those who helped us along the way. You will always reside in our hearts, forever and ever. Well, guys, I gotta say, those really were the president's Pokemon Sapphire randomizer nuzlocke of our lives. Boom, title drop. You said it, Joe. I actually can't believe it. It's over. Where did the time go? It only seemed like yesterday that we all sat down in that shoddy little Discord call, booted up this game, and started the adventure that would change our lives forever. Seven short months later, here we are at our journey's end. We've had many ups and many downs, but now it's crazy to think that it's finished. What is this feeling right now? Don't be sad that it's over. Be glad that it ever happened at all. From what started as a small side project done out of curiosity and love, has evolved into a passionate community that we're all oh so proud to be a part of. If I'm being honest, I'm honored to have spent every second of this adventure with you guys by my side. For those who patiently awaited for these episodes every week, for anyone who kicked off their weekend with our wackiness, for people who use our compilations to fall asleep to, and finally, those who needed an escape from their horrible reality. Thank you all so, so much for watching. This is all a one-man show created, produced, written, and edited by Game Producer 6. More than anything else, he wouldn't have been able to do it without the fans and their voices. Our editor has put too many hours into this series to count, so just know that every like, comment, share, and subscription has meant the world to him. He would wake up every single day, checking the analytics, reading and replying to all comments, thinking of new ideas, witty references, and puns to make this series even a little bit better for the fans. You'll never understand the feeling of joy and excitement he got from waking up the day after an episode aired and seeing the comments go on endlessly about a funny gag or answering the comment question or quoting their favorite line. He's grateful for every single interaction you've all shared with him. It's been a pleasure, fellas. You know I love you both beyond anything else in this world and thank you for accompanying me on this adventure. I will forever cherish the afternoon spent playing this game with you two. I've started to realize who I truly am because of this series. Both of you have gotten me to show my more emotional side and got me out of my robotic mindset. My sincerest gratitude to you, my besties. 
I do apologize to the both of you for all the things I've said and done to you in the past. I only hated on you both because I just wished we were closer as friends. Now that we've gone through an entire game's worth of love and heartbreak, I think our bonds will never be broken, no matter what. That's the end of this adventure, everybody. We will be back again one day, but for now, I guess this is goodbye. This is only the beginning of our legendary saga. I can't wait for the next journey. For the final time, viewers, on behalf of the three of us, thank you all so much for watching. May you have a wonderful day wherever you may be, and we will catch you in the next one. So, anyone down for a cheeky Mackers? Oh, heck yeah. Sure, why not? Still can't believe they named a fast food place after you, Donnie. Just because he's the mascot doesn't mean he owns McDonald's, Joe. The new ketchup sauce arrives next week. We've got to try it together sometime.